Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you from Seven Days to Die, and I'm going to be doing a new series in this game here because I've been itching to play this game a little bit. I've been playing it offline a little, or uh, uh, not on the channel a little bit, occasionally in the Discord, and I thought, you know, why not not jump into this? But welcome everybody to Bar Life. Just so you know, this is going to be a challenge for me to try to survive in because I'm going to put a little stipulation on it. I can't just go find a really nice strong POI and live in that or build up a base somewhere and make a cool whore base somewhere, whatever. I have to live in a bar. Okay, that's the stipulation of this this, uh, this challenge. Now, I'm going to survive, and the series is going to go on as long as I stay alive, but I have to live in a bar. That means every horde that I fight, every base that I live in, has to be inside of a bar. So I can have, I guess, multiple bases, but I'm going to first start off with building one, and it's got to be my horde base and my main base where I'm going to be surviving in. Cannot leave it, got to defend it at all costs, because I am a thirsty individual, and I desperately need a drink. But the first thing that I got to do is start surviving, obviously. So, in case you guys are wondering, the default settings for the game are on right now. So I'm not uh, I'm not playing on like some super hard difficulty. But every 14 days or every two hordes, I am going to increase the difficulty. While I'm explaining all this, I should probably be knocking out some of the uh, some of the starter stuff because if I uh, if I die before I even get there, that's going to be really sheepish of me. Um, but every 14 days, I'm going to be increasing the difficulty until it's on insane, and then I'll probably get overrun and die. So. I could also die at any point in between then, too, so at any point, this series could come screeching to a halt. I'm also going to eat this stuff out of my inventory and get a little bit of organization going here on my hotbar. Let's pick that right back up, because I'm not going to need that. Alright, this is going to be a, uh, a hardcore series, so if I die, that is game over, baby. So, I gotta try not to die. <laughs> gotta try not to die. That's going to be really bad if I do. I saw another stone over here, right there. There it is. Now, uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone axe. So if I die, that's game over. As of right now, the Horde Knight zombies are set to 24. So it's a little bit higher than the normal. So it is going to be a little bit of a, a workout to try to uh, make it through the Horde Knights. While we're making all these things, let's go ahead and just make the whole the whole suit. Uh, and then we're going to throw those things on. Move that down to the hot bar. All right. Looking pretty good. Now, uh, I do have to make... Oh, there's a desert right here. Look at that. I do have to make a wooden club. So we're going to go ahead and make that real fast. And I think what I'm going to do is I have to spec into something. I have to spec into some kind of uh, of class of some kind because my skill points that I'm going to be getting after, right after, um, right after I get done doing all this stuff here. I'm going to grab some of this real fast just so I can get some wood for making a frame here in a little bit too. But I got to figure out where I'm going to be putting all my skill points. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it safe because this is my first playthrough of this since. Um, since the 28 Days Later series I did way back on the channel, way, way back in the day. Um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, I'm not going to actually be using a bow, so I'm just going to scrap it. I'm not I'm not even going to use it. I'm not going to use a bow. I'm going to try to get enough uh, to get a pistol up and running or something, and I'm going to go with that. So let's, uh, I'm going to probably be kicking myself later when I find like a bird or, or a rabbit I can't catch up to. Uh, I shouldn't probably scrap that then. Oh well, oh darn. That's in the past. I'm going to focus on the future. Let's go ahead and slap that down right here. This is where I spawned in, so this will be my starter spot. And I'm going to get all the starter quests done right here. Bam! Done. Tutorial has been finished. Alright, so yeah, this is only this is a hardcore series, though. But after finishing that... So if, if I die, that's it. Remember, that's game over. Looks like our trader is that way, 620 meters. I'm hoping it's not wrecked, because he is kind of a jerk. Swears a lot and treats me just poorly. All right, but let's go ahead. We got four skill points for finishing the tutorial. We got to separate those out into something here. I'm thinking I'm going to put one into Pummel Pete so I can make level two clubs. Plus, later on, I can make a baseball bat, and that'll become real, real awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Make quality two uh, bats right off the bat. Off the bat. Didn't mean to make that pun. All right, Sexy T-Rex, I think, will be the next one to reduce stamina usage from using tools and melee weapons. I think that'd be a good one. Minor 69er, I'm also going to do that one just so I can make quality two uh, tools like my axe and also... Lower the uh, the tool damage and stuff. Go ahead and get that in there. And I think the next one I'm going to do is put right into cardio, just so that I get a little bit better health or stamina regen while I'm running around here. And then scrap everything I just made <laughs> and make make ourselves new ones because um, I can make better ones now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Bam! Quality two. All right, we got to get looting. We got to get surviving because um, I need to find a bar. <laughs> Ooh, nails. I want to want to try to collect as many nails as possible, but I really do need to find a bar because uh, that's going to be... That's a deli. That's going to be where I, I live forever and ever. I'm going to take basically everything right now just until I find uh, until I, I find the merchant because then I can just sell it. 
All right, so this looks like more of the city's type. Oh, there's a military vehicle right there. There might be something good in that. Uh, this looks more like the city, which you don't usually find like small town bars. Oh, uh, sure, why not? I'll take some. Uh, I'll take some leggings. I don't need any more plant fibers because I'm not going to be making. Uh, I'm not going to be making any. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, bedroll where I'm going because it is a, a hardcore series. So if I die, I'm done. So I'm not going to worry about it. But we do got a little bit of. Uh, of armor now, that's kind of nice. Well, speaking of animals, there's one right here. Let's see if I can't get him. Oh, run, 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 run. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, come on, I hit him once. Don't go in here, this, there's zombies in here. Now, I don't actually have any bone shiv yet, so I'm just gonna hack this guy up. Ooh, there's a zombie right there. Didn't quite get all of them. What's in here real fast? I'll grab it, it looks like a hunter's book. I'm not gonna be using spears, but I'll read it just so that I have the knowledge. Try to take out some of these guys, some of the locals, some of the church-going people out here. Got turned into zombies. Now let's quick hack this guy up, get that last little bit of meat out of him I can. Let's get out of here. Now, I shouldn't be going through the center of town. Because like I said, small towns. Uh, is this the sporting goods store? Oh, it's a deli, okay. How many bones do I have? There we go, that's enough to make a bone shiv, which I'm going to make so I can uh, harvest these guys up a little bit more efficiently and get more meat out of them. Check that. Check that. I see you there, mister. Check that. Grab me some food while I'm in here. I also need to check your ovens, because I wouldn't mind finding a cooking grill if I could get so lucky. Excuse me. Yeah, cooking. Not, not, don't need any of that. Uh, I'll take that, but I don't need any of that. Dang it. I need to find a cooking grill. There's an extra bit of water that's always appreciated. Nah, I don't need any of that. Shoot. All right, I'm gonna start hooking it back towards whoever the trader is. Oh, volume, f volume five. Okay, so just in case you're wondering, volume seven is the only one that's really worth worth anything to me, because that's how I get, uh, that's how I make double pocket mods. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for volume seven. That's volume one and five. Need volume seven. Now we're gonna be cutting through the town here, checking every single one of these things. Not gonna be doing archery, so the archery books aren't gonna be of any use to me. But I'll take that so I can sell it. Um, but I'll still learn them just so that I can maybe get some fanfare if I complete the set. Uh, but I don't see any... Oh, there's one right down there. I'm checking every single one of these places, though. Because I could find... Oh, volume 3. That would have been perfect if I would have found Volume 7 right there. Uh, but I'll check all those for some of the easy books starting off. But I do need to work my way towards where the trader actually is. So let's keep checking, keep looting, and work our way towards the trader. Hopefully it's Jen. Jen's the nice trader. That's the one that I really want. That's not the right book. Jen's the one that I want. Also not the right book. Not the right book. Come on. I'm learning a lot of the spear books. Holy cow. Chicken, 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 chicken. Got him. Volume 4. Are you kidding me? It's taunting me. <gasps> Volume 2. Dang it. Which one? Is it the only one I'm missing already? Uh, where, where Needle and Thread. I'm missing 2. I'm missing 6 and 7. Oh, are you kidding me? All of this and I'm missing the... At least one of the ones that I need. Ugh, hang on. What do you got in here? Nope, that's the archery guide, volume seven. That's the right, not the right volume seven. There's another archery guide. Don't need that one, so I'll just take it to, to sell it to hopefully the tra trader Jen, if that's the one I got here. Another, another needle and thread that I don't need. Now I do also need to collect nails so that I can create storage places in my bar as soon as I find it. Uh, so, oh, there's an engine. Okay, that's a good find right off the bat. Uh, ooh, there's a ATM. Is this a working vending machine? No, it's not. Okay, ATMs are nice, but I'm gonna need a lockpick to get into it. I'm just gonna save it for right now, and then if I find it later, or when I find the lockpick later, I'll, I'll definitely come back and open that. Of course, it's gonna. Oh, there's some nails. That's very nice. Uh, it's gonna come in real handy to have like a oh, jerk to have like a uh, 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 a candy to allow me to have 100% lockpicking. Is there, a, is there a bar around here? There's a shotgun messiah, which would be awesome. I don't suppose I can find like a gun right away. It looks like a, a remnant, actually, of a shotgun messiah. I wonder if I can find something easy in here real quick. Just found some bullets in there, but that's about it. I also found uh, some baton parts, so that's not exactly the greatest. This guy doesn't seem to like the fact that I'm in here. Maybe this was his store. I'm so sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to intrude. Didn't find anything I really wanted anyway, so your store kind of sucks. There is a Savage Country right here, which I won't mind quickly hopping in. Maybe seeing if there's the cash registers are open. That is something I can quick grab. Nope, they're all they're all wide open. So, but I wouldn't mind getting some actual, honest to god clothing. Wouldn't that be fun? 
Maybe get some pants. There we go. There's some pants. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, wear those things. Scrap. And that'll take this so I can sell because it's worth 50 bucks. And that's a little bit better than the average bear. Let's see if I can find anything useful in here without alerting too many people. Uh-oh. Alerted somebody who fell right in front of me. That was really nice of him. Uh, I also did just find a sewing kit there, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna need those if I am gonna if I do end up finding the BDU bottoms. Um, we're gonna scrap those just because I'm actually I found a pink pair of them over there that I'm wearing right now. But if I do find the needle and thread book, I'm going to want to have uh, the BDU or I'm gonna want to have some uh, of those sewing kits. So I'm trying to scrap everything I don't really need. All right, I think I've overstayed my welcome perhaps because the, the locals are getting a little crabby. So I'm just trying to grab some extra stuff as fast as I can. Scrap, scrap. I'm going to need a lot of cloth. I'm going to make bandages or those pockets. Yep, definitely overstayed my welcome. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before they find out what I've been doing. What did I get anyway out of all that? I got a shirt. I got I got some stuff. I didn't get a jacket, which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well, you can't win them all. This looks like a food truck right here. Which should be an excellent place to find a cooking pot. Yes, right there. Good. Is there is there anything in here that I might need? No. I'm looking for a grill. No. Well, oh well. Maybe I can get lucky and find a wrench inside here. No, but I did find some nails, which I'll take. All right. Let's push forward and try to get to the trader now. I know I've been dawdling here. There is a working stiffs right here, which I might get lucky and be able to find like a grill in the front of this. No, those are bones, which I'll take for right now, though. Maybe I can find a cooking grill in some... Oh, man, come on. I, don't, I need a cooking grill so I can cook up some of this meat. Uh, but I'm going to stop in here real quick and just see if I can't find... Get lucky and find a cooking grill inside here. As well as there's toilets in the back, I think, that maybe I can get lucky, really lucky, and find either a knife or pistol in. I'll gladly take either one of them. And I can also loot these guys for some extra casino co uh, tokens. Oh, looks like the locals aren't happy that I'm here, though. Behold, the wall of toilets. All right, let's check. Anything go... Okay. First one I, ch First one I check has one. Uh, I'm not going to complain at all about that. I do have six rounds for this, so in a pinch, that could actually save my life. Uh, that was a pretty lucky find. Can I get a knife? No, I knew that was going to be way too lucky to get that. All right, so let's just check the rest of these things and see if there's any knife or another t uh, gun in any of these. No such luck, but you know what? I am not going to complain whatsoever because that was incredibly lucky right off the bat to even find that. There's some lockpicks in there. That's amazing. I am wicked over encumbered right now, too. I have to kind of think about sorting some stuff out. Is this thing active right here? Oh, hold on. Wait, I remember there's a zombie that drops down here. That's not an active uh, vending machine, though, so... Let's just, uh, let's just get out of here. Maybe check the toolkits on the way out and see if I can't get lucky and find... That's worth some money. I'm gonna. I, my, I'm over encumbered really bad now, so I'm going to want to just skedaddle. Actually, I'm just making it worse by checking more and more stuff, like these grills. I need to see if I can get a grill out of them. Nope. 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 Didn't find a grill. Okay. All of the locals in the world apparently have found me in here, though. So I'm actually just trying to get out of here right now. I found a couple more nails in one of them, but everybody in the area seems to know that I'm in here right now. So I gotta. I gotta fight my way out of this take her out. She was kind of jogging a little bit. Excuse me. I'm just trying to leave your uh, wonderful establishment. Cheers, everybody. I just leveled up there. That's always appreciated to have happen to me. Uh, thanks to all those zombies that were coming in here trying to murder me, actually. I, there's quite a bit of experience I got there. Here, help me out here, buddy. You want to get this? Thanks. Now, I should probably repair this before that completely breaks and then I can't hit him at all. All right, let's get out there now that they've, he was kind enough to help me take out that grocery cart that was in the way. Don't need any seeds. I am not going to be doing any farming on this because farming is a giant waste of skill points because it doesn't work. Like, you don't get a yield in this game anymore from doing that, so there's no point in doing it. All right, I got to get out of this farm, and I'm wicked over encumbered, so this might take me a little bit, but I will make it to the trader. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. In case you guys are wondering what's frustrating me, that is Trader Wrecked. That's the one trader I didn't want to get. Wrecked is kind of a jerk. He swears a lot, and uh, he treats me just poorly, and I don't like him. <laughs> I don't want to have Trader Wrecked as my main trader. This sucks. All right. Well, oh, that's actually a good find. I found a wheel. Uh, I'm hoping to find at least one schematic in one of these stations like this. Not in that one. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to find it. Uh, how about the chem station? Anything in here? No. 
nothing of value anyway. Oh, there's a wrench. I'll take that. That's a good find. Uh, so I can start breaking down some things. That's actually a really good find. What about the books that are up here? Anything in here? No. All right, don't need that at all. Let's go check the bus real fast, and then uh, at least we found a wrench. I mean, that wasn't that bad. Let's go check the bus real fast here. See what's in here. It looks like there is somebody that heard me open the, the bus door here. Uh, I don't need the seeds. All right, let's trade erect. How are you? Yeah, I could, I, I could use a little kindness, but I don't expect to get that from you. So let's go ahead and sell a whole lot of this stuff that I have these extra ones of. As well as all these pants, if you'll take them. No, I mean, I'm not going to take any more of those. All right, I was worried about that. All right, the, the parts we're going to sell later on, I'll keep those. But I do want to actually uh, save my inventory space just a little bit. So I'm going to sell some stuff that normally I would be keeping later. But for right now, just to make room, I'm going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and scrap the rest of these then for the leather because I can always use it. Uh, there's steel sledgehammer parts. Actually, you know what? Let's loot his cash register. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, sell him the rest of the stuff. Oil sells for quite a bit. I have uh, 20. I'll find more oil. Let's sell that. I'm going to need the cooking pot. I want to keep that. I'm going to keep the wrench. I'm going to sell the steel sledgehammer parts. And uh, I'm going to sell that and that. I'm going to keep the wheel because that's going to be kind of tough to find later. Man, I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip yeah, save it, man. I hear footsteps outside. I'm trying to save your save your uh, trading station here. Oh, there's another Kenny over there. All right, those, those cicadas chirping mean that it is noon on the first day, and I still haven't found a place to live. That's a little nerve-wracking. All right, let's go talk to Rekt again. Let's get uh, let's loot all of his stuff he's got in here, too. We're going to steal it all because it's all mine. All good things come to me. I'm looting all of your stuff, Rekt. How do you feel about that? Tell me how you really feel. Uh, sure, I'll sell those to you in just a second. <laughs> Alright, now there is also a working vending machine here, too. Which he does have a jailbreakers. And I do know where there's an ATM, which means I could actually get more money. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. I might actually run back and grab that real fast. Alright, Rex. Hi. Let me see your inventory again. I'm going to sell you those things because I just found them. I mean, I found them somewhere. I was going to say I found them here, but that's not true. I didn't, I didn't find them here. <laughs> no, that definitely didn't happen. All right, let's. Uh, what do you got, actually? Robotic parts, double barrel shotgun would be nice to have right away, but it takes five grand, and I actually already have two grand. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to pass on that though. You restock on day four, so I have enough time. There's another zombie out here. I have enough time before that happens. So there is a puffer coat. Oh, nerdy glasses. I almost have enough for that. That gives me extra XP. I would love to get those. What do you got in your secret stash, though? Uh, another double barrel shotgun, a tactical assault rifle. That'd be incredible. I can almost afford that double barrel right there, which would be amazing too. What's this great heist do? 20% uh, more damage to land claim property. I don't care about that. I'm not playing multiplayer. Grandpa's moonshine would be nice too. The recipe. Mini bike chassis would also be great. All right, it looks like the winner though, for what I want to buy from him, is the nerdy glasses right there. I want to get this three thousand dollars. All right, fine. All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this hey, fetch for right now. Go. We're gonna do the fetch quest, and we're gonna see if we can buy those nerdy glasses before the uh, the episode is over. Oh, you got a Lieutenant Dan. You got a Lieutenant Dan crawling around outside your shop, uh, wrecked. Let's take care of him before I go anywhere. I'm also going to save this waypoint. It's gonna be wrecked. All right, so where is this quest you need me to do? Uh, 200 some meters that way? We're just going to hoof it there because I want to hurry up and finish that so that we can earn some money to buy those nerdy glasses. 10% XP gain from wearing them. That's incredible. Plus, it also helps out my intellect, I believe. And intellect is what I need to get better prices and increase my daring adventure and all those other things like better barter. It's very good to increase your intellect, so I will definitely be pushing for that. There is a dog right there, a wolf right there. Now, I only have six rounds, so normally I would go for it, except for I don't want to die this early, so I'm thinking I'm just going to bypass that. I really do need to get more meat, though, but oh well. You know, there'll be other other opportunities to get food, including right there, because there's a, there's a chicken right there. Let's see if I can't catch up to him and get him. Chicken, come here. Come here. Come here. Got him. All right, let's carve him up really fast before the zombie eats me. I'm gonna craft myself a quick shovel here, actually, because I think I see some uh, some blue things in there that mean that those are okay. Somebody just fell over in there. Somebody's still falling over in there. Holy cow! What's going on in that building? Uh, which means those are cobblestone rocks, which I wouldn't mind collecting, just because they're gonna come in handy when I do eventually find a bar. Now I do want to be careful because there could be like a dog in here or something, which would really make my life a living hell. 
There is somebody up there, though. A little skater boy, or actually, this used to be the spider zombie, but it's uh, since been remodeled. Oh, that sucks. Don't need that at all. Uh, yeah, not much else in here that I need. I'll take all that. Sure, why not? All right, now I do need to get the satchel here. That's what I'm primarily here for. Now, there is a way to go through these POIs that you're supposed to do. I think there's somebody in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's two somebodies in there. Knock her out cold. There we go. Take off her head. Beautiful. Now, there is a way to go through this, so I guess I'll do that. But it does look like the, the package is on the ground floor. Let's go ahead and scrap that chair right away. I'm grabbing basically everything. Oh, hi, buddy. Whoa, almost made him do a full flip. Zombies everywhere. Ever oh, I hit him all the way down there. Let's go ahead and just pop that guy. Take him out. One of my rounds there. I only have five more now. All right, we're just going to hop down. Take this guy out. Boom, done. All right, let's grab the chair for the leather and uh, see if there's any water in here. Which there is. I'm going to go ahead and drink that just because I don't have any room. I don't want to overburden myself, so drink that right away. Now, there is a satchel somewhere in here that I want to find. There's some 762, which is always appreciated. And where is the satchel? It's right... Through, is it on the outside of the building and I didn't even need to come in here? It might be. might have been. All right, this book allows me to craft steel clubs, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and grab all that food and everything in there, which I wouldn't mind eating because I'm getting a little hungry. I should probably eat everything, like my cat food and whatever else I can to free up some open room, too. Because um, I am overburdened now with a bunch of stuff. I can reload this. So I found a little bit more ammo for that, so that's always appreciated. Let's crack open this Mo Power Electronics, and hopefully we'll find something good in it. Uh, there is a book, Tech Junkies, which uh, that's all stun baton stuff, which I don't really need, so I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to grab this car battery, though, because uh, that could come in handy later down the line. Now, am I trapped down here, or can I just can I knock out something and easily get out? I'm going to knock out this area and try to get out this way. Looks like I can't get out any other way. And it looks like the satchel was on the outside of the building, so I didn't even really need to come in here. Yep, there it is. It's around the back. All right, got it. Let's hurry back to Wreck then, and uh, and see if he uh, gives me enough money to buy those nerdy glasses. That dog is still there, and I have 12 rounds now, which should be able to put that down, especially if I get a headshot on him right away. Bam. Got him. Good shooting, Tex. All right, let's carve him up, and we got some dinner for later. All right, Wrecked, you jerk. I did the thing you wanted. So the art of mining would be a good one to pick here. Get a get a small chance uh, to mine rare gems from ores, which would actually be pretty good. I'm not going to be doing a lot of mining later, although this would be nice too, just because it'll add extra defense and everything to the armor I'm wearing. But you know what? <laughs> take the books when you can get them. <coughs> I'll definitely take that one. All right, let's go ahead and read that right away. Let's talk to him again real quick. See your inventory. How much money do I have? Not enough. Eee, not enough yet. I might need to sell some stuff. I really do want to get that. All right, let's. You know what? Let's take a. Let's take another one of these things and let's go to clear zombies. It's 100 meters away. Except that. What? Whoa! Like I said, he's so polite, isn't he? All right, let's get back here. 100 and some meters away. Let's go clear the zombies out of here quick. See if we can't get a little XP and a little bit of money. And I think I even might have uh, leveled up a couple times. I really should be spending that here. Now I'm going to put a point into better bartering to lower that price a little bit so I can have a better chance of getting that. Uh, as well as Daring Adventurer so that all these quests I'm doing, I'm actually going to get some a uh, little bit better rewards out of them. So that's always a good thing. If you're going to be doing quests, it's good to have those things pumped up as much as you can. Once I get the nerdy goggles, they'll increase my intellect by one too, so I'll be able to get um, closer to leveling those up. I think I need to be level 3 though before I level them up completely. But we're heading over here now to clear out all the zombies in this place because that is the mission. It looks like it is a gas station. All right, let's go ahead and get this going. Hello, anybody in here? Can I loot your stuff? Thank you. There we go. Knock him on his butt. Take him out. I'm also going to be able to get a fair amount of water. Okay, I'm going to use this right away just because my inventory is full, but that's going to give me some uh, good uh, digestion. Oh, there's a beer. Absolutely, I'm going to take that. Looks like we have a friend outside, but it's going to take him... I was going to say a couple seconds to get in here, but that's an absolute lie. Ooh, there's some medicine right there, which is awesome. Awesome to find. All right, now that he's been dealt with, we can move on on our merry way. I'm finding some good medications and stuff in here, but my inventory really doesn't exist... Or I really don't have enough inventory to be handling all this stuff, which is kind of a shame because normally I'd be thrilled to find this kind of loot. All right, let's go clear out the rest of the zombies in here. Let's wake everyone up. Maybe. There we go. That definitely woke him up. That guy's probably... His head has got to be throbbing. 
Take that guy out. All right, let me get the book. Nope, I was hoping to get the schematic. We can leave the gunpowder in there because I can't really do anything with it at the moment. Now, there is an underground bunker to this place, I believe, so that's some place where I'm going to have to go. Oh, missed on that one, and then he hit me, which sucks. That's the first hit I've taken so far, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've, I've done better, I've done worse, but I'm still alive, so I'm not going to complain. Grab the cobble over here. There's a workbench. Hopefully this has a workbench schematic. Nope. All right, I see see some cobble rocks, but there is a, uh, a uh, hatch right here that I can go down and go clear out that underground bunker area. So I'm going to have to dip down there real fast. I'm just grabbing some extra stones and whatnot before I head down that way. That guy batting on the wall there is going to be a problem, though, a little bit later. Let's get down here and take out whoever is down here. Open sesame. Are you both back there? Oops, missed completely. There's a nurse and a bald dude back there. I don't know. Oh, that guy. Okay. I apparently died of a heart attack. Maybe I had a, a head trauma that was causing him to bleed or something. But all right. Now I can talk to the trader. Let's loot this place quickly. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. And then we'll get on out of here. Place is all cleared. I did find a hood in there, which was kind of nice. A, uh, a, a padded hood. So it's not like the greatest thing ever. But hey, it's something. I will take it. Not going to complain at all. Uh, let's go ahead and drink one of these coffees so I get a little extra wiggle room in my uh, mobility here. And let's start running or walking slowly back to the trader here because I am chock-a-block full of, it, uh, of items in my inventory right now. All right, Wrecked, I did what you wanted. What do you got? Ammo. I will definitely take ammo. <laughs> no, sir. I'm going to stick around. Let's see what you got. How much do I got? I do have enough to buy the nerdy glasses now. So where are those things? Ooh, there's also a steel pickaxe and honey. I actually might be able to get the honey, so hold on. Let's get the nerdy glasses first. We're going to buy those for sure. And then let's go ahead and buy ourselves a jar of honey. And yeah, we'll buy both, too, just, just in case I get infected. That's always good to have. I don't think he's got anything else here that I desperately need. I mainly just wanted the nerdy glasses right there. Let's go ahead and throw those on. I should be getting a little extra, uh, extra stuff now. However, I do want to run back and use a lockpicking candy on that ATM. And then what I think we should do is we should hightail it somewhere else. Because if this town has a wrecked, I don't really want to stay here. <laughs> I'm also really overburdened. Oh, there's actually stuff I was going to sell him. I should probably do that quick. All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. It's because of friendly things like that that I don't really want to live here. Because if Rex here, he's going to treat me very poorly. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here, bust open this ATM, even use the lockpicking candy because I'm thinking that I can always find those later on in other vending machines. And then uh, I'll take whatever money's in there and I'm going to head out of here. And I've given it a little bit of thought because if you look at the map, if you go down, you hit the bottom of the map. I think that I'm actually in the southern eastern part of the map. Okay, so I, I'm, and the, the, the desert's right there, which that has a higher loot stage, which would be very handy to go get. Uh, go get into but that also has higher difficulty and I'm still pretty fresh still pretty new So I don't think that'd be a good idea for me to go attack the desert right away So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head north and I'm gonna see if I can find another town Because another town means another trader and another trader gives me the possibility of finding somebody a little bit more friendly. Oh There we go. I just found a pickaxe in this car. I'll definitely take that for sure. Uh, that should help get through some rocks and other things a little bit faster and some uh, iron and metal. Uh, I did search this working stiffs earlier today, so there's not going to be anything in there. I'm just going to go over here and try my luck with this ATM. Now, there's actually an ATM right here. This is not the one I, re I re realized or that I had marked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these things right here. Let me scrap that right now. I'm going to use those right here because that lasts like 10 minutes. And I am going to unlock this one and take this one too. Do a little double whammy here. I didn't actually realize there was an ATM right here. So it's a little bit of a blessing. The numbers finally hit zero. What do we got in here? $391. Okay, I can sell those for sure and make a nice little stack of cash. But let's get over here because over here was the other ATM. That was right up against that buy and go, I believe. Now there is a zombie over here. So I got to deal with her because it takes a while to open these things. And she could stumble her way over here. It looks like it's Britney. We got Britney Spears over here. Oops, I did it again. I smashed in your face. All right, let's go ahead and unlock this one, too. Still got eight minutes on the lockpicking candy. And we are in. All right, what do we got in here? 
Oh, $1,045. Okay, that's actually pretty good. There is a cop zombie right there. I do not want to mess with that at all. So I am going to take a wide berth around that. There's a spider zombie right there, too. What is with that? It's getting nighttime. I want to head north, so I'm going to have to go through this. Spider zombie, I'm going to have to deal with you. Take him out. Don't want to deal with the cop zombie. It looks like I'm going to have to go through some pretty uh, big areas. That's not going to be that great to go through because uh, ferals can exist. There's a stripper zombie, too. The ferals can exist here in the bigger cities, so that could be a problem for me. But uh, I have to cut through here because i got to head north. I'm going to head north to try to find myself a new town. I'm hoping to at least get out of the town here so that I can... Is that another... That's another spider zombie in front of me. So that I can at least get into the forest and the woods because I think I'll have a better chance of surviving if I can get in there. All right, took that one out. That is a feral because she is running during the daytime. Great. Ferals have an increased chance at giving you an infection. And they also run at you even during the daytime. They take a little bit of extra beating. Let's see if I can't get this uh, spider zombie's attention. Jump if I can. Club him. Club him again. Club him a third time. All right, he's down. Stamina is a thing, of course. So I have to pay attention to that. But I need to just book it straight through here. I can't really stop for much of anything. I'm going to check probably the... Um, the mailboxes, and that's about it. And the newspaper dispensers, because I'm still looking for volume seven. There's oh, there's a military guy right there. Ooh, I I need to get my stamina back though if I'm gonna clear through this. Okay, the military guy is not a feral, thankfully. Now if he drops loot, it could be very good. That's if he drops loot. He takes quite a beating though. There's a chicken. Okay, he's he's down. Not gonna worry about the chicken yet. Oh, tempting me. Just teasing me with it. I don't really want to grab too many books because otherwise I'll run out of inventory space, but... In fact, you know what? I'm just going to read that one right now so that I can save on inventory space. Let's get moving again, though. i got to get through here. Chicken, you're lucky. I'm not really hunting at the moment. I do have a fair amount of meat, though, so I could act absolutely make myself uh, some food. I, I think I can make bacon and eggs, but it's going to take a skill point. Leveled up. Cheers, everybody. Managed to get a level up there. Teasing me again with the wrong volume. Go figure. All right, let's get in here and check to see if there is... Ooh, there's zombies in here. Clear these guys out real fast. Oh, stamina. Because I need to check your ovens. I'm looking for a grill. Although, that's some food, so I'll eat that. Sure, why not? Oop, I hear somebody outside. No grill. I will drink that, though, because that gives me increased, like, speed and everything. So, I don't think it lasts for very long, though. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, increase speed. That's exactly what I need to get through here. Let's get moving. That Mega Crush really helped out. Oh, he hit me, but I just leveled him there. Mega Crush is doing some work, though, man. I am flying through the town now. I'm out of the, the bigger district right now, so I shouldn't be having any problems with ferals anymore. Uh, I should just be able to just book it now. Oh, there's another uh, nice wrench, too. I'm, I'm going to want that for, uh, for making the workbench, assuming I actually do find the schematic. All right, but I just got to get through this. Hopefully, I don't run into any, any dogs or anything in any of these backyards because that would be really awkward. Mega Crush has wore off. It did get me out of the downtown area, and there's only about an hour left to go before it is nighttime. So I think I will be getting out of the town at least. But it means I have to find a new one. A new one with a new trader because this one, I, I mean, even if it had a bar in it, which I didn't check too closely. I didn't check too closely because I just don't want Trader Wrecked. I just don't want him. He's kind of a jerk. So if, if this one did have a, uh, a bar in it, I'm going to pass on it. And we'll find a new place to stay. Someplace with uh, somebody a little bit more friendly. Oh, hey, Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no legs. All right, we are leaving the town now. One hour until nighttime. That's when things are going to get a little sketchy because everybody's going to run then. And that could, that could be a real problem. <laughs> that could be a real problem. But I should actually try to find a road. Oh, what's that? Hold on. It looks like there's a building through the trees up ahead there. So maybe I actually am heading towards a town. There's absolutely a town up ahead. I can see it through the trees. All right, we're just going to beeline it for that. I'm going to make myself a bandana just for a little extra extra defense or extra cold and heat resist. Just because I have a spot for it, so I mine as well. Got the cloth for it too, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I got a little distracted chasing after bird's nests and stuff, so I'm not exactly coming at this uh, town directly on like what I was thinking. But it is about to be nighttime, and if there is a bar inside that town, which is what I'm hoping for, because I need to find a place to settle down. But if there's a bar inside the town, I'm going to probably 
want to clear it out during the day. And that, that could be a problem trying to get up here or trying to clear it out at night. So I might have to find a place just to hunker down for the set, for just the time being. Oh, there's a there's a, uh, a stump right there. So let's go ahead and break that down. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some extra honey out of it. I'm going to loot. Oh, there's a car there. There's a chicken running around taunting me. I could shoot the chicken. No, it did not get some honey. But I could shoot the chicken, but it's going to alert every zombie in the area. So maybe there is another. I want to open this, but when I open this, it's going to alert all the zombies in the area too. Let's do it real quick. Get this guy coming after me. It's about to be nighttime. So I got to put him down quick. There we go. And that sound, that ominous sound, means that it is nighttime now. Which means the zombies are all running now. In fact, I hear one coming at me. It's Brittany, bitch! <laughs> I did manage to find a flashlight. Now, I don't really need it. I did raise the, uh, the brightness up so that you guys can see what I'm doing still as I'm going through this. Uh, and it does allow me to kind of see at night, which is a little cheeky, a little cheaty, but I mean, it's a, other than, otherwise you guys just wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing. So I figured that was probably the, the way to, uh, oh no. Okay, that, this guy running at me isn't what I'm worried about. There's a bear right up ahead. Excuse me, dude. Do you see him right up there? There's a bear right there. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I do not have enough firepower to take down a bear, although I do have a lot of rounds, and I could use the food, but if I do that, I gotta be someplace safe, because that bear would easily wreck me. I'm gonna take a wide berth around that thing. Ooh, there's also a bird's nest over here. It's probably not a good idea to attack a bear early on like this. I haven't found really any eggs in any of these bird's nests, which is a little little bit of a shame. Oh, pff, there's one. I'm gonna probably find a place to just hunker down for the night. Maybe keep an eye on that bear. Some more eggs. I just said I wasn't finding any, and there they all are. Bam, eggs galore. But all right, I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Maybe just hide out here on this car. That'd probably be a good idea because there's a chicken right there just taunting me. Yo, chicken, get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna repair all my stuff. I'm gonna go look through, maybe uh, do some inventory management. Keep an eye on that bear for sure, but I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up. So if you guys did enjoy it, I'm gonna wait here till morning. Just that way I can start fresh in the morning, clear out whatever I find here in this town. Whew, everything will be good then. But if you did enjoy this episode, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you all for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this series, actually. Uh, this first episode here and uh, if you like the idea of the series, you know living in a bar, let me know I'm gonna see how long I survive. It's gonna be kind of brutal. I, I think uh, I don't know I'm not very good at this game, so I don't really know It's kind of a toss of it could be like next episode could be the last one But at least I got one episode out of it. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next week. See you away bear Bye bye Hey everybody Grimer here coming at you once again from seven days to die bar life and check it out There's the bear right next to the car that we were standing on I had to relocate throughout the night to over here. I've been keeping an eye on him. I also got attacked by one zombie. Nothing I couldn't handle. And I tried to make as much room in my inventory as I could. But I don't really know if there's anything else I can get rid of. So, I think what we're going to have to do is just press on. Alright, now in this episode, our main goal is to find, one, the traitor, and two, a bar. <laughs> Mainly, our main goal is to find a bar. Alright, we need to find a place to get a drink. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into town here and see if I can't find a place now that the zombies are no longer running. Uh, assuming that none of these are feral, it could have actually spawned in at night, and that could have been a, that could be a problem uh, because feral zombies, like I said, they spawn in at night and they could absolutely still be running during the day. So I'm going to just kind of squeak through here. There's a gas station up ahead. I don't really need a gas station. There's a cafe. There's a <gasps> right there, the dead rooster. You see it? I see it. Now, the dead rooster is usually a POI that you have to do missions on. And it's fun to do that because there's roosters in there, there's there's chickens, and there's a lot of food. It's a bar, though. And I really shouldn't be picky. Especially with my inventory is packed full as this. But it's also on the... Where's this? It's also on the southern end of the town. And I don't see a trader anywhere nearby. So maybe I should try to find the trader first, and maybe I'll get lucky and find another dead rooster, or... That sounds kind of morbid. Another dead rooster, or hey, uh, Lieutenant Dan, you mind coming over here? Thank you. Uh, notice how I got 440 XP there? It's because I got my nerdy glasses on. Instead of 400, I got 440. 10% extra. Uh, but let, maybe I can get lucky and find like a Grumpy's Pub or a. Uh, I think there's Buzz's Bar is still in the game, but I'm not too sure. There's another pickaxe, which is awesome. I'm going to probably sell a couple of those guys, see which one's the best, and then sell the rest. Or I could scrap them for the additional iron. But uh, if there's another bar that I can find that's closer to like Trader Gen, or Trader 
what's the other hue? I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping for. Trader Gen or Trader Hue, because those two are nice and they uh, they don't uh, insult me. So if I'm gonna trade a wreck here in town, I'm not living here. Not, not, not. I guess I, I probably could. It's frustrating because I don't really want to live next to such a jerk. I want to live next. <gasps> they do have a Grumpy's Pub. Oh, that's a good find. Oh, and it's right across from a forever video. That has a working vending machine in it, like, every time. What do you think? Can I get the trifecta and get volume 7? Huh? Huh? No, but I can get that one. I didn't have that one yet. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he hit me first. Ow, ooh, he had some, uh, mad skills there. There's also a working sips there, which I wouldn't mind checking to see if I can get a, a cooking grill, but... Grumpy's Pub has a pretty... It's got a fence around it, and it's also got... Um, it's also got the, um, cobble walls to it, so it's actually pretty durable. I could probably work with this. This is a bar. It's it's super shady too. This is exactly the kind of place I was looking for. Plus, that way, if I get a, a quest for the uh, the rooster place on there, I can always go and get more roosters or more chickens out of it. So, maybe this is the better way to go. I can't believe they had both of them here in this town. I didn't find one in the other town. All right, let's go see. Let's go say hi. Hi, I'm your new owner. I'm your new landlord. You got uh, you got anything to drink, buddy? You might want to watch check your head there. You might have a concussion. Ooh, yeah, you definitely have a concussion. I hear some people outside, and I don't want them wrecking my place. Nurse, do you mind? Oh, there's a missus. Hey, no, bar's closed right now. It's still way too early. You crazy drunk. All right, let's clear out the rest of this place. I think I'm going to call this home. Because it's a little bit more in the center of town, so wherever the trader is, I should be able to call this place home and be just fine. All right, let's actually... Uh, here, this will work. It's not much of a container, but it'll work. Let's go ahead and just chuck a bunch of stuff in there. And make some a little extra wiggle room. That way I, I'm not as overburdened and I can move around a little bit quicker. Anyone in here? Anyone taking a poop? Oh, hey, it's Kenny. Good night, Kenny. Anyone in this other stall? No? Nope. Cheeky toilet pistol, maybe? Nope. There's uh, that water there I'll take. What about back here? Anyone back here? Oh, I see you. You see that pup over there? There's a dog right through there. Let's see if I can't pop him in the face. Did I get him? No, he's right there. Okay, dog is down. Got him that time. All right, that also woke up everybody out there. So let me get up here and uh, try to deal with those guys. Oh, there's uh, the Kenny's up here too. Yo, your brother was downstairs taking a dump. Oh, Lieutenant Dan, how'd you even get up here with any legs? That's some upper body strength like you've never seen before. All right, now hopefully there wasn't two dogs. Hi, everybody. You want to get out of my bar? All right, I gotta clear these guys out real quick. Cheers, everybody. Leveled up on that one. So sweet. I got two skill points. I must have forgot to use one there. Let's actually check real quick at um, at my skills here. Now, I know that my intellect would be a good thing to pump at least a little bit into, especially if I'm going to start doing things for a trader nearby. Let's actually pump one point. Let's pump two points in that. That way, when I get to going on these things right here, um, I can actually um, I actually have them unlocked and I can actually increase them also. I think I'm uh, doing a lot of quests here is going to be the name of the game for uh, for surviving this place. Let's see if I can't grab a couple pieces of leather off the doggo here. Chop that one up. Now, I can loot this place after hours. I don't have to loot it right now. I just need to move in. I just I was really hoping to find a cooking grill. Cotton seed recipe. I'm not going to be doing any farming, so I'm just going to sell that. But I just said I'm not going to do any looting, and here I am looting. All right, let's get out of here. I can loot all this stuff. There's also... Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. There's some good stuff in here. <laughs> all right. Uh, ooh, that's a, a shotgun tube extender. I don't need any arrows. I'm not going to be rocking a bow at all during the series because I just don't like it. I like guns better. Let's go ahead and ha hack this open. Savage Country. See if there's any cool wardrobe outfits in here. Some shoes. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, wear those instead. And then uh, we'll take those to sell them. Uh, I just got to find the trader. Now, I've noticed in a lot of worlds, the trader is like always on the east side of the town. So I'm wondering if that also applies to here. Scrap that because it's an absolute piece of junk. Do more damage to bears. That's handy because I know where one is. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, hey, somebody got in here. Did somebody break my fence? I bet she broke my fence. All right. We're going to call this home sweet home. I'm going to have to store some stuff. Actually, you know what would be probably a better idea, a smarter idea, is to actually make a storage chest. <laughs> And actually plop that thing down. All right, let's take out the only what we need. We're going to take the money because I want to try to find a trader to sell stuff. 
We're going to take the money because I'm going to find a trader to sell stuff. Everything that I plan on selling, I also want to take with me. I don't need... Actually, steal two parts I'll keep because that might come in handy uh, later. Uh, I'm going to sell that because I'm not going to be doing any farming. Is that it? Is that really all I'm going to be doing? How's my sta uh, how's my health and stuff going right here? Let's go ahead and just use one of these guys real quick just to get my, uh, uh, my hydration up a little bit farther. And I think that's it. We're going to take one of these guys and repair my club. I think that's it. One thing uh, that I really want to make is uh, I want to make a land claim block just to keep anything from uh, spawning in here. I also wouldn't mind making a bedroll because I think that also keeps things from spawning, but I don't intend on never using it because remember, if I die, I'm dead. <laughs> I know it seems like duh, but if I die, I'm dead. Right up here. Right there in the corner. My place. This is my bar. This is Grimer's Pub. Alright, there is actually some space up here in the ceiling. So I might be able to create like a second floor to this, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and eat this down someplace for right now. Alright, and let's go exploring and see if... Actually, let's first see if there's anything interesting in this forever video. I really want to kill this bunny, but I'm thinking... Can I get it? Oops. Got it. Awesome. Let's go in here and kill any zombies that are in here. Which is usually one back here. Kenny, working his uh, desk job here. And let's check uh, this... Uh, uh, this vending machine. It's usually active. Yeah, it is. All right, sweet. All right, we got another jailbreakers, which I'm going to buy. And that's about it for right now. I got to clear out the rest of the locals in the area, in the, in the movie store, though. Now, I'm not here to loot this place. I'm simply here to check that vending machine, but I do want to get the XP while the XP's uh, getting is good. Hey, you want to hit, not hit that light? Thanks. Whoa, Lieutenant Dan, you just fell from, the, from up top. Oh, oh, ow, 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 my stamina ran out there. Lieutenant Dan, you pack a punch. All right, so this area is cleared out now. At least I can have access to the vending machine, which I should probably mark down on the map, actually, come to think of it, because I am going to be living here. So let's do that for a vending machine, and we're going to go vend, just like that. Bam. All right, so at least we have a, a working vending machine right next to our pub. That's pretty awesome. Volume 7, volume 7. No, but I will sell you. But let's get moving here and see if we can't find the trader. What did I say? I said that they're... It's, that's west. I said they're usually to the east. So is there a road that leads to the east? Volume 7? No, I'll sell it, though. I am going to check all of the... The, uh... Oh! All of the uh, the mailboxes, though. That That's it right there. Hold on, there should be a mailbox in front of here. There's also medical supplies right here sitting on the road. I'll take it. Anything in here? Bandages? Nope. There's a guy sitting right here just chilling. He doesn't care at all that I'm here. There's mailboxes down here. There's a trader down there. I just saw that what looked like the trader area. So I guess it is to the east. It looks like that theory is working out correctly. Let's loot this. Don't need it, but I will sell it. Loot. <gasps> Volume 6. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you joking? Does that mean... Hold on one second. Does that mean the only one I'm missing is Volume 7? The only one I care about? That's got to be deliberate. That's got to be done intentional. It's like they know. Hey, where are you going? You hover. Oh, you're climbing. I was like, you hovering up there? You I think that one's possessed. I don't think that's a zombie. I can't believe. Oh, there's a big guy in there. I can't believe I found all of the volumes for the the looting or for the um, needle and thread without finding volume seven. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this looks like Jen, which would be amazing because Jen's the nice one. She often has medical supplies too, so I'm not gonna really complain too much if it's Jen. Uh, she's much easier on the eyes than Rekt is. Yeah, this is Jen. Awesome. All right, so we we have a trader Jen here. That's amazing, actually. That's better than I could have hoped for. Let me just loot her place here real quick. Looking for a work bench. Oh, there's another pickaxe. I should have probably brought some of those so I could sell them. Um, more cash, or we'll take everything. Uh, I'm looking for the schematics for these, either the workbench or I guess the only thing left now is the forge and the, uh, the cement mixer. Work uh, schematic. Dang it. All right, I don't need steel arrowheads for anything. Not rocking those. Uh, take all that. What do we got in here? Health bar. I thought I just saw you right there. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Sugar butts are going to buy that too. Jailbreakers, buy that as well. Some really good stuff in there. Alright, that's that's all for right now. So, sugar butts lower, uh, increases my bartering skill by, I think, 10% or something like that. So, it'll lower their, her prices if, uh, if I see something I want to buy and it's expensive. That'll help out a lot. Cement mixer, please be good to me. No, it's just stone. Dang it. Now, I don't have looting or spawning uh, loot respawn on, so I'm never going to get these uh, shot again. Hello, Jen. Nice to see you. 
You're the quiet type. I get it. Okay, let's go ahead and just sell some stuff. Sell that, sell that. Don't need it. Nope, nope. Uh, nope, don't need it. I have plenty of these back home, but I actually... That's a really good durability on that. I'm going to take that with me and compare them, and I'll sell the other ones later. All right. Do you have anything I care about? Antibiotics would be good. Oh, well, let's sell all of this, too. I got those out of... A, oh, that's 2000 some dollars for that. Sweet. Awesome. I got those out of a couple of ATMs. All right. Tough guy sunglasses. Oh, she's got a beaker. I'm... I could save 100 bucks with the sugar butt, so I might do that before I actually take that. Uh, because the, the, the they costed 100 bucks. So it kind of pays for itself. You got anything in here? Grandpa, Grandpa's awesome sauce recipe would be great, but I don't really know if I'll ever get around to doing it. Uh, one of my completing the pistol pizza. It's storming outside, which is un unfortunate. Shotguns do 10% more damage would be incredible. She's got a double barrel and a lever, lever action. She's got some good stuff in here, actually. Double barrel I would not mind getting, which I can afford right now, but if I buy it, I can't buy the beaker. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the beaker, but first... Like you just brightened my day. I didn't do anything. I'm, glad I could have uh, I'm going to use the sugar butts. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the beaker. Actually, do I have any points saved up? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna buy the beaker then. So that should pay for itself. I should have done that before selling everything too. That was kind of a dumb move. Yeah, I lowered it a couple hundred bucks. So I'm gonna buy that. I still have uh, quite a bit of money. Um, I'll sell that. I have a bunch of them. Back home, whatever. Uh, got a bunch of forged iron too somewhere in there. All right. So I guess the next thing I want to buy from her would be that double barrel shotgun. So, to do that, I'm going to need jobs. So, ooh, these are all kind of... Oh, clear zombies is relatively close. I'm going to go do this real quick. All right, we are at the quest. Let's start it up right away because I don't got time to dawdle. Because Jen's... Uh, that better barter candy is going, and I kind of forgot about that. Oh, I am a little... Going to have to cap you and finish you off. Because... Uh, with, oh, there's a working vendo here. Ooh, eye candy. Let's go ahead and buy that. I already have a health bar... They're kind of good to have a multiple ones up, though. So let's go ahead and quick mark this as a uh, vend. That way I know it's here. I don't really want to do too much looting. I hear somebody, somebody must have heard those shots, but I got to kill everybody in here quick and get back. Oh, that was just trash. I was about to club some trash. There's a There was a weapons bag underneath there, but like I said, trying to go as quick as possible so that I can quickly get to uh, Jen. She got the double barrel that is going to be at a reduced price right now because of the candy. So I want to kind of get there quickly. All right, who else is in here? You're in here. Check the bookcases. I only have six minutes left on the loot candy. We're, ah, that's not really worth selling. It's only a couple bucks. Let's get up here. There's got to be people up top here. There's one right there. Let's drop on down here. This should be where the rest of them are. Knock that one over, knock that one over, knock that one over. Keep an eye on stamina here. That one's done. Cheers, everybody. Leveled up. All right, I think that's, uh, yep, we're talk to trader. All right, that is everybody. There is a pipe shotgun right there, which I don't have any ammo for. Because I don't have any shotgun shells. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, oh, the hunting knife schematic. Let's definitely use that. We're going to use that, too, for learning how to make that mod for vehicles. And I think that's everything that I can do in here. So I think it's time for me to skedaddle. The key's right here on the door. It's always nice to have. Opens up everything. I love that about Alpha 7 or Alpha uh, 20, rather, that you can just do that. Grab that to sell. All right. She was making a racket. Let's take care of her real fast. Now, where is the trader? We're going to head that way. The more I think about this as I run back to Jen here, the more foolish I feel for just spending the sugar butts and just getting the beaker because I could have just went and collected enough money. Amazing. But... I didn't think about that. All right, so Molotov cocktails are going to come in handy for the horde base. So let me see your inventory. How much cash do I have? Uh, how much does it cost? Is it lowered now? Ooh, I'm so close. What can I sell? Um, I can sell the oil for right now. Is that enough? Yes, it is. All right, let's go ahead and buy the double barrel shotgun. Now, I don't have any ammo for that either, which I can get rid of this pipe shotgun, so we're going to sell that. Uh, but I don't have any ammo for it. Do you have any shotgun shells? Uh, shot. Nope, not there. What about any secret sash shot? No, she does not. Okay, so I don't have any shotgun shells for this, but at least I got a double barrel shotgun. Now, let's grab another quest for, from her because we're going to need to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, the fetch one is the closest. We'll do that. It's hoping to get another clear zombies, but you can't always get what you want, and we'll take what we can get. The reason why I'm trying to knock out as many quests as I can for Jen is because after I finish her first tier uh, levels of quests, she'll offer me a bicycle, which would be incredible to find. 
uh, because or incredible to get because that would make traveling significantly faster. However, uh, it's not the best. I'd still rather have like a mini bike. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, scrap those. Uh, I'd rather have a mini bike, of course. Um, looking to see if there's maybe a. Nope. I was hoping to see if there was a work or a, a cooking grill in there. I can't believe I haven't found a cooking grill. That's like one of the most common things to find. Going this way, I should come close to my my uh, bar, so I'm gonna dip in there, dump my inventory, and uh, and then uh, head on over to the next quest. I got my cheeks flapping in the wind now as I'm flying through here. Actually, one thing I wanted to do is I want to make a stone uh, a stone axe or a stone shovel. So I might as well do that real quick while I'm uh, while I'm out here. I need a little bit of wood. And I need some stone now. I I can't find stone because I wouldn't mind being able to break down the uh, uh, the cobblestone. There we go, stone. Make ourselves a shovel, uh, and that way we'll keep the stones, we'll keep the wood, and we'll lose the plant fibers. That way, as I'm going, if I if I want to break down like uh, any cobble, uh, like uh, cobble blocks that I find, I can, because I'm going to need to start collecting cobblestone to start reinforcing the bar. All right, it's more everything I do is about reinforcing the bar. It's all about living in the bar. All right, am I go <laughs> am I gone funeral home? I gotta retrieve supplies out of here. Looks like they are up. All right, so let's get in here and start killing some guys. Ow! Okay, he got the first hit on me. Got to be careful not to have those hits happen all that often because I don't want to get infected. Kenny, get down. Your brother was up here too. Matching twin. Nothing in there except for some cloth. Let's get back here. We are looking for some stuff. Oh, hey, buddy. This was it. chemistry station. Is this a meth lab? It might be a meth lab. Oh yeah, the burnt guy right there. I guess he didn't get fully cremated. Whoa, he fell right off the table. My uh, sugar butts candy has worn out. Oh, I hear a flappy bastard here. Nope, missed him completely. Got him. Didn't even hit me. That was kind of lucky, actually. Anyone else? I could go in right there, but let me just take a squiz up here and take a little peekaroo because something tells me this is like hiding something. Uh-huh. Yep, there is a little secret something hiding in here. This looks like one of the secret stashes, hidden stashes. Yep, hidden stash. Sweet. I'm glad I came up here now. Ooh, a barbed wire mod. That's actually really good. Let's see. Let's modify and throw that right on the club. What that does is it's 20% chance to cause bleeding and 40% with power attack. So almost half the attacks I do are going to cause bleeding. Oh, that's also really good too. Fortify grip. But I can't really put that on the, the mod or on the club now because I just put something in there. So I'm going to stick that in my axe for right now. All right. Cheers. That was actually really good coming up here. Hi. Alrighty, guys, I'm looking for a satchel. Have you seen one? Let's just drink that right away just to hydrate myself a bit. Looking for a satchel. It should be up here somewhere, I'm thinking. Let's check the main loot. Uh, art of mining. Uh, backpack. Uh, craft. Uh, can craft black strap and super strong coffee. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, now that is, uh, I think, a better hood than what I'm wearing. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just swap that right away. I think, right? Uh, light armor rating. 5.5, 5.9, that's what I'm talking about. All right, sweet, so that's actually better. Is this worth anything? 22 bucks, maybe I'll hold on to it for right now. Where is the uh, where is the stuff that I need, though? Is it over here? I'm looking and following the marker right there. There it is. Grab the satchel. Let's get back to Jen. Oh, fanfare. Look at that. That was the last archery book I needed. If I was actually doing archery, I'd be thrilled. I'm not, so I'm not. But at least uh, I got that part done. All right, check it out. Right here is a POI that I have seen before, actually. And right here is a munitions crate. A little sneaky munitions crate. What do we got? Shotgun shells. That's what I like to see. Let's load up the dubsy here. Oh, it already is. All right, can't preload it. Is that a workbench? I see a workbench in that garage over there. What do we got? Do we got the schematic? No, we do not. I do have a wrench, though. I should be breaking these things down because I get forged iron out of them, and I'm going to need that, provided I actually am able to make, like, the forge and stuff. Forges aren't exactly found all over the place. Really only found in traders. So that could be a problem. Oh, there it is! Yes! Yes! Read. <laughs> there it is, fanfare. Finished the needle and thread series. I can now make double pocket mods, provided I have the material to do it. Uh, which I'm not too sure I do. I'm actually going off on a little tangent here. What, was that it again? Yes, it was. Of course, it gives me two of them back to back right now. I'm going off on a little tangent here because I'm... Oh, I thought that was it again. I was like, are you kidding me? Because, oh, I saw a workbench in here. I actually saw this is what I was coming in here for. Uh, because I knew there were uh, mailboxes over there. And I was hoping to find exactly what I just found right there. Do you have it? 
No, you don't. But you do have one of those needle and thread, uh, those sewing things, which I need for, uh, for making the double Pokemon, so I'm not gonna complain about that. I do have one point available, and I think I'm gonna put that right into, like, Daring Adventure right here, so I can get even more rewards for turning in this quest. Probably be a good idea. But I think I'm gonna have to take a break from doing all these Daring Adventure, uh, points and start putting it into other things that are more useful after this. Because I'm almost about to level up again, but if I can put it into, like, Master Chef so I can actually cook up some of this food, that'd probably be a good idea. Because although I have been doing alright on food, and I can buy things from the vending machine to survive for right now, being able to cook up this meat that I collected early game would be tremendously helpful. Jen, lovely to well, see you again. Batter up volume 1, do 10% more damage with clubs? Absolutely, because that's exactly what I'm going to be using. So I will gladly do that. Let's do it. pick up another quest here. I don't know if I can knock it out before the day's over, but hopefully I can. Let me sell all the stuff I have that I don't need, and then we're going to take a quick trip back to the bar and drop off all of our gubs again. Oh, that is a dog kennel. And I was thinking there might be a dog in here, but it does not look like it. There's just a stripper. Of course there's a stripper in the shed. Why wouldn't there be? But there is some free stuff I can grab, too. So I'm going to just go ahead and loot this as I make my way back to the bar. I believe this is my neighbor, actually. So, whoops, I just killed my neighbor. Oh, darn. I already have that, but that's okay. There's some dinosaur juice in there, too. There's some, uh, it's the, uh gas there <laughs> um, and it, can I get lucky and find possibly maybe nope I was hoping to find a cooking grill but that's not gonna happen I still need one of those things or a forge because then I can make my own I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky this episode or not but one thing I do want to do is I want to store all my stuff Let's just do a quick stack into that quick stack into the garbage quick stack into there and then we're just gonna dump everything else up up in there Jen is really making me work for this one. I gotta go almost a half a kilometer out this way, clear it, and then make my way back with whatever inventory I have and try to turn it in before nightfall. Maybe even get lucky and grab another quest. I'm gonna try to knock out as many quests as I can because like I said, I'm itching, just itching to have that bicycle because that would make this trip so much easier. I did also level up in there. Now I said I gotta start worrying about other things here, so I am gonna put that point into Master Chef so I can cook up my food a little bit later on. But I think from here on out, I'm gonna be pumping a little bit into more like the strength and getting my pummel peed up a little bit higher. That way I can like maybe one shot a lot of these zombies and that'll make my life a lot easier as far as getting through like POIs faster. Excuse me, Kenny, I just made my way all the way out here and you were my greeting party. It looks like there is a passing gas all the way out here in the middle of the woods. There must be like a small road or something that connects to it. Maybe? Yeah, right here. A dirt path leading to this place. Wow, that's pretty far out there. Any gasoline in any of this? No? Alright. It's alright. I don't want your gasoline anyway. Let's, uh, let's reset that. And let's... Uh, I should have actually looked in here first to see if there were any workbenches or something. I'm not too ashamed to do a double loot on the workbenches because I am desperately looking for the, uh, the schematics for those. Close that inner door. Break her arm off. Close that door right on her and then break her arm through the door. Why not? Alright, there is a passing gas uh, box right here. I'm going to go ahead and open up right away too. Maybe you get some uh, mini bike parts or bicycle parts. I guess bicycle parts won't really help me if I'm going to get one from Jen. There is an iron sledge schematic. Now, I don't actually intend on using one, so maybe I'll just sell that. I'm not trying to listen to see if she actually came through the door yet or not. <laughs> She's working on it. She's also very frustrated that I closed the door in her face, but you know, that's just tough. She's gonna have to deal with it. I believe that's Brittany also smashing her way through that. She's back there complaining about her loneliness killing her and something, but no, it's actually just my club that's killing her. There is a ladder here in the bathroom that goes up. I wonder if there's any guys flapping up here. Yeah, there is. A little batter up there on the bird. Take him out right away. Oh, there's another one. Oh, wow, okay, quick reaction on that one. I didn't expect there to be two. That was kind of a shocking uh, development there. I got all of them. Okay, we cleared out everything. Gotta talk to the trader now, but first I'm gonna grab what I can. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, actually, let's say I go ahead and throw you into one of these things here, just so, so we can hold you. Take some extra ammo. Hi. Take your leg out, get you on the other side. You must have been an outside guy that walked in here. Grab some food. Always appreciate it. I don't suppose there's like a cooking grill up in here. That's what I'm really looking for, is a cooking grill. Oh! Forge schematic. That is a great find right there. In a car parts box, of all things. That's kind of strange. All right, let's go ahead and grab all that. That was fantastic. Holy cow. Is there anything cheeky hiding in front or on top? Nope. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, with the forge schematic, I can start... F I can make a cooking grill. I can actually do that. I hear a Lieutenant Dan someplace, though. Well, Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. 
So fog has rolled in on my trip back. I just grabbed a little bit of clay. I don't really remember how much I need, but I don't really care. I'll find more if I get back to the bar safe and sound. No honey in that one. That's a little bit of a shame. But this lady here is in my way. Excuse me, miss. Have you uh, found a way to turn off the fog? Because I wouldn't mind learning that. Lady, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone right back there that looks just like you. It's crazy. I mean, actually, now you guys look exactly like. All right, Jen, I'm, I'm back. Hello. Ooh, a pocket mod. More ammo, though. That would be nice, too. Hmm. There's also a shotgun mod here, which I could put on the dubsy here, and then I'd be able to do more damage with it. But the pocket mod is way too tempting to take. So let me look at your jobs here. You got buried supplies from here on out. All right, let's take one that's the closest. And we're going to check your inventory also. Wait, what did you say about kissing me? She said something about kissing me. I heard it. All right, let's go ahead and install uh, the pocket mod on my boots here so we have an extra inventory space. That's always appreciated. And we're going to sell some of the stuff I don't need, like this stuff, like that right there. I don't intend on making iron sledgehammer. Sell, 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 sell. Get rid of that. Um, that should be pretty good, I'm thinking. How much inventory space we got? Not a lot. Let's let's run back to the bar, and then we're going to hoof it out. We Running out of time, running out of time. We're gonna hoof it out to that spot and try to dig up that uh, buried treasure quest. I'm gonna bring some ammo with me in case I'm stuck out there at night. Oh man, if I can find it right away, that'd be ideal. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use this crush, and that way we can run out there super fast, and we'll have a lot of stamina, and we're not gonna stop at nothing. We're just gonna go and hopefully make our way out there and find this treasure quick and then run back. All right, Crush really did the trick on getting us out here fast, so let's just start digging. Let's go pick a corner, and we're going to just start digging right here. Circle closed in a little bit, and it looks like it closed in that way, so I think I'm going to start digging over here now. I only have uh, 10 seconds left on this Mega Crush, which is unfortunate. I probably should have brought some coffee or something to increase my stamina, too. I was hoping to dig down and find it right away. That didn't happen. Nighttime is only two hours away, so i got to really hurry. Well, as far as hoping to find this thing quickly, that never happened. So, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to get back in time. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. Never mind. Let's grab this quick. Uh, let's, uh, I'll take that to sell it. And we're just going to grab everything out of here that should spawn in some guys. Which we'll hopefully dispatch up quickly. Just for the XP. I meant to dispatch of them quickly, but it's actually taking longer to shoot them with the gun, I think. So, I'm just going to switch back to the club. Take out some of these guys. We did level up, so cheers, everybody. All right, let's head back and see if... We, I only got an hour to get back on. My stamina is completely drained. Um, yeah. Stamina regen a little bit on that one, too, so we're going to drink that, too. Sure, get it all in me. All right, let's get running. I actually made some fairly decent time getting back here. I guess I guess, I guess that putting uh, that point into cardio right away in the beginning really paid off. All right, so what do we got? All right, antibiotics would be tremendously good to have. I don't need that at all, so I guess the antibiotics is actually the best one to pick, so I guess I'll go with that. If you have any jobs, I'm going to take your last job. I'll finish that first thing in the morning. So let's go into your inventory and sell that, because I don't need it. And the rest of this stuff I think I'll keep. Now, I don't think you have anything. I think I just checked through this multiple times that I actually need right now, so I'm going to have to come back on day four to check your inventory. Unless I get my better bartering skill up. All right, let's head back to... Let's see, where is that one? Okay, that one's way out that way. So in the morning, before the trader opens, I'm going to head out there. And I'm going to try to dig that, that one up. But for right now, I am going to go ahead and repair my, my shovel. I'm going to head back to the bar. And we got to do some renovating in here because we got to make this place a little bit more habitable. All right, so here we are in the bar. Now, I'm going to grab my wood. I actually don't have a lot of that. So maybe while it's still daytime, I'm going to go cut down a couple of trees. And see if I can't get a little bit more wood because 500 is going to go quick and I don't want to be out here at night cutting these down, things down. So I'm going to grab as much as I can and then head back inside. Alright, it is nighttime. I'm heading back to the bar. Gotta start reinforcing this place to deal with zombies. Oh, that's a plague. I was like, what am I hearing? Oh, someone heard that. One's heard that. There's a couple. There's two people out here. All right. If you could stop bashing on my my uh, wall, that'd be great. Of course, it's Brittany. Yeah, not that innocent. You know, you're sitting here doing some vandalization of my property. I know it doesn't look that great, but it means a lot to me. All right. So deconstruction first. I gotta tear all of these windows out. I'm gonna be replacing them with uh, some frame blocks for right now. 
That way we can actually start putting in a little bit of something more sturdy here. I'll upgrade those all the way to cobble, but first it's all about demo. Oh, we got company. Looks like it's just Kenny. Check him out before he causes any more ruckus. Somebody's bashing away on the back door here. I might want to go investigate that. Ah, yes. Mrs., do you mind stopping that? Thanks. It's a private property. You're not welcome here. All right, that looks a lot better and a lot more cleared up. Now, I do have a visitor in back that I really want to go deal with. I think he broke through my fence, to be honest. There he is. Yeah, he broke through my fence, all right. I have two visitors. Hey, buddy. Oh, uh, that's a feral fat guy, too. All right, we're pulling out the gun. Take that guy's head clean off. All right, feral fat guy down. They are really doing a number on my... On my oh, there's a... There's a, 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 a guy, a jumpy guy. Spider. All right, I think I seem to have ticked off absolutely everybody in here. Take his head off, too. We good? We good? I think we're good. All right, so I went ahead and cleared out this whole place. Looks good. Right for the redevelopment, okay? Which will happen in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy this, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you all for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will see you guys next week with more Seven Days to Die from my bar. I'm in Grumpy's Pub. Soon to be Grimer's Pub. So thank you all for watching. And bye bye Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die. And welcome back to Bar Life. We are here inside of Grumpy's Pub, a.k.a. Grimer's Pub. This is where I'm going to be building my base. Obviously, for the rest of the series, I have to live in this pub for the rest of my time here. But it's early in the morning. It's not quite morning yet. The zombies are still running around all terrifying-like. I went ahead and sorted my inventory a bit here. This is stuff that I don't really need that I can sell and, uh, and make a couple extra bucks. In this case, really just a couple extra bucks. I've got some ammo on me. I'm a little hungry. So what do I have for food? Do I have, do I have any food? I haven't actually made my forge yet, which we did find the schematic in the last uh, episode. But I do want to find some food. Here we go. Let's eat some food and get uh, get my hunger situation a little bit under control. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out and try... Ooh, there's a nice there's a ration. We're going to eat that too. Just stuff it all inside me here. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to head out and we are going to try and get uh, this quest done for Jen. Because if I remember correctly, Trader Wrecked was selling a... Uh, uh, mini bike chassis, which I wouldn't mind getting before the traders restock, which they restock on day four. So today is my last day to actually go get that. And there's, I forgot about 3,000 casino coins right now. And I think it costed like 5,000 or 5,400, I think it was, something like that. So I got a, a little bit more to collect there. So I need to sell some stuff. I need to uh, maybe break down some stuff and I need to complete some more quests. So let's get running out to that buried treasure and see if we can't find it before the day breaks. There's the beautiful chime of the morning as we're running out here. I didn't get there before the uh, before dawn, but that's okay. Uh, the trader doesn't open for another two hours anyway, so I still have some time to try to find this uh, buried treasure or buried uh, buried supplies. So I'm gonna just head out there now. I'm gonna collect some stones along the way, so that, that way I can repair my stone shovel. I need to find a better shovel. I thought I found one. No, I didn't. I must not have found one. Hmm, must have been hallucinating that. First victim of today, it's Brittany. She's back. Um, judging from the blood and the eyeball missing, you do not look that innocent. Kind of look a little toxic. Oops, I did it again. Let's just pop her head off, no problem, and let's get going. I'm almost to that uh, buried supply. All right, this should be it here. I ran all the way out here. There is a skater boy over there, so, but I'm going to go ahead and start this and get to digging because this is going to take a little bit to find, I'm thinking, and I got to hurry up and get it, get back, get my reward from uh, from Jen, and then head over to Wreck and probably do a couple missions for him so I can get enough cash to maybe buy that mini bike chassis. I think that would be a good investment because those things don't come along very often. 
I just realized as I'm digging, I do actually have a skill point to spend, so I could put that in the salesman to get 10% better deal, which I might do here, just so that I can get uh, better deals for the mini bike chassis coming up here. Dealing with the traders is going to be huge in this series, because they offer so many tremendously good things. Oh, look at that. There it is. I dug down and managed to find it. Alright, so this should spawn some zombies, but let's go ahead and grab this real quick. What do we got? Ooh, we got that, which I don't really need. I'm not going to be planting any seeds. All the rest of the stuff is good, including the food. It should also spawn a few zombies for me to kill for some additional XP. Let's take this guy out. Excuse me, buddy. Um, got a couple extra friends here. I see one of your pals dropped a loot bag. What do we got in here? Ah, some uh, cash, all that stuff, all good stuff, including some extra ammo for the one gun that I actually do have. Or actually, I technically have two guns, so it could have been either one of those things. Uh, but let's get back to Jen here and see how, see how much I can get for doing that quest. Alright, back here at Jen's. Let's check the vending machine real quick for those right there. I don't have my cash on me, which is a little foolish. I will, uh, I will definitely uh, go grab that before I leave here, because if I'm going to be buying... I'm actually here to sell. Okay. Ooh, here's a batter up volume I don't have. Bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Absolutely, because I'm going to be using those, so we're going to select that one for sure. See if she has any jobs in the nearby area that's really close. I, let's go do, do the fetch one real quick. I need as much money as possible. Plus, if I keep doing these quests for Trader Jen, I might be able to get a bicycle to run down to Trader Wreck real fast. But let's go ahead and sell what all the stuff that I have here that I don't need. Let's just uh, sell, 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 sell all the cash. Uh, sell that one book there. The trophy I just found. That uh, book I don't need. Sell, sell. All right, let's sell all this too, even though that's kind of hurting me. I probably shouldn't. I should save that for ammo later. Let's do some inventory management here, and then let's get... Oh, she's got a baseball bat. 18% damage, or 18 uh, melee damage. Does a little bit more than the, the, the uh, club that I'm using, and it would be a lot of fun. But you know what? No, I'll, I'll hold off, and I'll I'll get a baseball bat. How did I miss that the first time I looked at her inventory? <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll get a baseball bat later. But all right, let's... Uh, Let's get out of here and uh, read this book, and then I have some money now. I can buy the sugar butts. Let me go ahead and do that, and then let's dump some inventory back at our our, uh, our bar real fast, and then let's head off to that mission and knock that out quickly. I need I need some extra cash here. I need to be able to go buy that mini bike chassis. So the reason I bought the sugar butts candy is because if I'm going to be buying something at Trader Wreck for like five grand, that should save me about five hundred dollars, and the tr uh, sugar butts only cost a hundred, so that's totally worth it. Let's check these cars real quick. Do a little double dipping here, a little double loot real fast well, since I'm here and find things like that. It's an extra 160 bucks right there I just just made when I sell that to the trader. Can I loot this one? Is that a thing? Yes, I can. A uh, tier 3 stone axe. That's actually better than the one I'm currently using, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and modify this. Take that out of there. Throw it into this one. Modify. There we go. Got it. And we're going to go ahead and equip that. Scrap my old one. I don't need that anymore. And we'll use the stone to repair the existing one. Boom. Done. Alright, let's go ahead and reset this and clear out this cafe. All right, so the way in here is you actually have to climb onto the ceiling of this place. I'm going to go ahead and grab that extra torch, because why not? There is a guy right there. I don't really want to waste an ammo on him. Let's go down there and just club him right in the... Oh, never mind, I'll miss. Club him right inside the head. Now, this is a fetch, so I don't actually need to clear out everybody. Oh, here. Here's a lady right here. Totally missed her, too. It's like, I know how to swing a club, I swear. Let's grab the cooking pot. Might come in handy a little bit later. I still don't have a grill. This is not a functioning... Uh, it's not a functioning one, but I do have a wrench. I could actually break this down and get some steel parts from it, or some steel, uh, forged steel. Alright, with that broken down, I am ready to keep on moving. Looks like I woke up somebody in the office over there. I'll be over there with you soon enough, don't you worry. Here's the, uh, carrier satchel. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that. Now, I just need to get out of here, actually, now. I don't actually need to kill anything else, but obviously I'm going to for the XP. Excuse me, miss! Pardon me, sir. I do remember this place being great for getting a lot of leather, which I don't really think I need. But I could actually grab a few pieces here, since I am here actually digging up the chairs already. I also remember this place has a dog. Oh, here comes the dog. Dog down. We got a couple of Lieutenant Dans coming my way, too. Excuse me, pardon me. Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. I hear somebody walking. Did he finally get through that door? I think he might have. I hear a lot of commotion outside. Which, uh, ooh, there's a working vendo here. What do we got in here? Health bar is always handy to have. I'll grab that. Um, eye candy, I'll grab both of them. And the tea and lamb rations. I'm grabbing some food right now while I'm here. Alright, let's check this real fast. We're going to basically try to get through the rest of this quickly. 
All right, let's go check the main loot. I don't really care about anything else in there. Let's get in here. Nobody in here. Somebody was bashing around in here, though. So this takes me back into the room. This is where the zombie was trying to break through the door. And he successfully did right here. But let's get in here, grab the main loot. Let's get, uh, ooh, another art of mining right here. Uh, craft diamond tip bl uh, blade mods. Nice. Dramatically increased durability. Like that. Let's go ahead and use that. What am I wearing on my feet right here? Some crappy boots. Got it. All right, let's modify, take that out of there, and we're going to put that right into here. And then we're going to equip those, and then those are only worth 15, so we're going to scrap them for the parts. What do we got in here? Yeah, I don't need that. All right, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we got from the Shamway Foods. And then go turn this into Trader Gen. That should give us enough to actually buy the mini bike, cha mini bike chassis, I think. Like, it's possible. Uh, but I don't, I don't really know for sure. Let's, um... Yeah, nothing in there that I really know. Let's grab the keys and let's get on out of here. This is absolutely perfect. I get to go walk right past my pub to go get back to Jen there, which gives me a prime opportunity to sort some stuff and actually make a little bit of wiggle room in my inventory. Okay, Jen, it is super foggy out here, but I think I might have enough to uh, to maybe buy that mini bike chassis at uh, at wrecked. Oh, here's another thing. Like, do more damage to wolves. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting a Gravedigger mod. There's always good to have more ammo, but I'll do the Hunter's Journal uh, because I think it'll come in handy. Let's grab the nearest uh, clear zombies. You're looking to earn some fantastic we'll have that. It wasn't enough to actually unlock the bike, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and sell what I got. And then hopefully, that's, I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to be close, though, but let's go ahead and knock out this one quest, and then hopefully we'll get the bike from her. Hopefully we'll get the bicycle. So I got to run all the way over there. 270 meters of a dead sprint. Let's go. While I'm sitting here catching my breath, I do remember I did I did level up in all of this mayhem, which means that I can actually put another point into something. I would like to continue furthering this, but it's really important for me to be able to take on these terrible things in the world. So I think it might be beneficial to me to start working on my strength perk right here so I can get a sex rex up to at least level 2, because right there it says killing blows grant 10 stamina. That's the start of it. Right here, killing blows grant 20, and killing blows grant uh, 30 stamina. It's good to get that up as high as you can, because you, your stamina is going to be really important, especially if I'm doing a strength build. So we're going to go ahead and put that point right there into that. So that should do nothing for me, actually, right now. I still need... I still need to uh, uh, level up one more time to be able to benefit Pummel Pete and Sex Rex. Looks like I'm going to be looting this gas station here, which is pretty awesome. I'm trying to think. What's, what's, uh, have I seen this one before? Is there a workbench? There is a workbench in there. This is unlocked. Oh, there's a dog right there. It's a workbench. I kind of want to check that for the workbench schematic, but I also want to pop old doggo right in the face. Uh oh, let's back up here a little bit. Take that dog out. <laughs> Alright, let's get in here and check this workbench at least. This is also the main loot, so that was a little easy. But let's check this for the schematic. Or just some cloth. I'm going to go ahead and break this down too. But this way when we reset the POI, this part will be regenerated and I can check it again. I'm going to start doing that just for mainly these workbenches. Although the main loot's right here. Nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just doing it for the workbenches to try to find the schematic and grab some parts from it. But all that stuff, I'm just going to leave there. I'm going to go and reset the loot. It's just it's tough to find, you know, the workbenches. So, all right, let's reset this and let's actually go through this properly. Now the dog should be back. Excuse me, sir. You don't need to get up. You stay down. Oh, there's a big guy back here. Pardon me. Excuse me. Upgraded strength. Oh, you're missing your arm now. Take that guy out too. Awesome. Nice. Now we can check these shelves. Now we can actually loot the whole place now that I've reset the POI. Wire tool. I think I have one of those things, but I could always sell it. Oh, no. Wire tool. Journal entry. Never mind. I must not have found it. I think it was a paintbrush I'm thinking about. Oops. I gotta open the door first here. Hi, Kenny! Yeah, I don't see the dog anywhere. That's a little troublesome. Alright, let's check this again. Do I get the schematic? No, I do not, but I did get some forged steel, which I will gladly take. There's a paintbrush. I think I already have one of them. Let's go ahead and break down this workbench again, get some more supplies out of it. All the forged iron and all of the... Um, all the forged steel... Oh, no, I don't get forged steel. It's all the forged iron and all the mechanical parts are going to be coming real handy, though, for when I need them in the future. There is also a lot of activity down there. Let's just go ahead and pop that guy in the head. Pop that one in the leg, get her to drop down. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, I forgot the floor is a little, a little sketchy here. Oh, that one's running now because he's a little upset that I shot him a bunch. Ooh, shot him right in the balls. That ought to take him out. 
All right. Ooh, that's nice. I got some ammo. I can't really use a 7.62 yet. I still don't have a machine gun, which I could make a pipe machine gun, I suppose. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Just haven't done it yet. Ooh, there's the oil recipe. We'll go ahead and use that. I don't really know if I'm, that's super important, but it's nice to have the knowledge. There's a bandolier mod, all right? And there's also some chest armor, which I don't actually have yet. So the bandolier mod is awesome, actually, because let's modify the chest armor I just found. Throw the bandolier mod in there and then wear that immediately. That way I can reload like 10% faster. So that is extremely good to find. Well, let's go, uh, actually, let's get up on the on the ceiling here because, or up, up on the roof, because I believe there is a, yes, uh, uh, there's a box up here that I can get. And what do we got? Let's see what's in here. There's some repair kits and some oil shale, not too shabby. I will gladly take it. I'll just grab all that. And I also, cheers everybody, it just leveled up. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, go ahead and spend that skill point immediately into strength because that's what we're pr uh, pumping up right now. Can I get down from here without breaking my legs? Let's just, uh, let's just take the safe way back. I don't want to break my legs because that would really put a hamper on my on my fun today. Who's making all this racket over here? Oh, it's Brittany. Oh, there's also a, a lady over there too. So let's take Brittany out. I got a little increased strength now. You guys are going to love this. I also wouldn't mind going through the, the dead rooster and getting the chickens out of there for the food, even if it's not for a quest. So maybe I'll do that later in this episode if I have time. Uh, but first off, top priority, getting that mini bike chassis is going to be huge. And then tonight, maybe even start looking at my uh, my setup I have over there and seeing what I can do to improve it. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this cobble since it's sitting right here. Taking a sneaky peek inside of this uh, uh, this uh, warehouse right here, trying to find some extra gub, some uh, working stiffs here. Trying to find a little extra cash right there at the beginning, which I successfully did, actually. I don't suppose I could find a cooking grill. I mean, I can make that now, but there's some more grills in there. Let me deal with this guy real fast. And this guy cooking grill. Is there one in here? No cooking grill. Dang it, that's unfortunate. Oh well, winners can't uh, or I guess uh, can't win all the time, so we'll just have to press on. I'm just grabbing some of these shelves on my way out real fast. Alright, you guys. Um, oh, you can be taken out easily. Let's get a little extra X XP. I don't really have time to be doing this, so I gotta make it quick. Alright, let's get out of here. If I am unable to get the uh, bicycle from Jen. I'm going to have to take some time to run down to wreck to actually get that uh, sorted out. So I don't really want to waste too much time here uh, doing this kind of stuff. I'm going to sell some of this stuff though. Motor tool parts I'll keep for right now for in the future I might need them. None of that stuff actually fits in there so it's all going in here. And I think I have a paintbrush. Yeah I do. So I can sell that too. Alright let's go talk to Jen. Jen lovely to see you. What do you got? Ooh needle and thread I already have. There's another batter. Oh Okay, I want to complete this batter up series, so this is kind of important, but there is an armor pocket mod, which would be incredible. Mm. I gotta go with the batter up. I got uh, Maybe that's a mistake. Oh, here we go. All right, I did it. Let's get the bicycle. We're definitely selecting that one for sure. Do you have any special jobs? Let's see, that one's to the west, okay? Which is I that way. I have not gone that way, but that's actually relatively close, actually. Let's go ahead and read that book that I, I, you know, sacrificed so much for. Let's grab another one of these jobs that maybe... Is there one to the west? No. There's one to the south. Let's grab that because I'm heading that way to go see Wrecked anyway. All right, so let's head down. How much money do I have? Oh, I have plenty now. Okay, I can... Oh, I forgot to sell it. I'll, mm, 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 I'll sell it to Wrecked. Um, I'm going to head down to see Trader Wrecked. Pick up that mini bike chassis that I believe he has. And if he doesn't, then I'm going to feel like a big old... Da -da -da. But let's get on this bicycle. We have wheels, people! Oh, I just found another pistol in this uh, purse right here. I stopped because I ran over a chicken. It turns out that it happened to be on, <laughs> on top of a purse. That was a pretty good find. I could probably sell that for a good chunk of change or break it down for the handgun parts. Uh, but what else did I find in there? I found some, uh, found some money as well. So that's not too shabby. Not too shabby. In fact, what does more damage? Does that does mine do more damage or does this? What does this do? Range damage 27.3, 29. Okay, the one I'm rocking still does more damage. We're going to keep going with that. Got another chicken. This is a good, uh, good haul here. I'm getting some good stuff, good food. Gotta love it. Uh, we should be coming up on Wrecked here pretty soon because we're back in the main town. Yeah, he's down there just a little bit in the southeast part of the town. So it's still, we gotta go through the whole town to get to him, which is a little unfortunate. But I want that mini bike chassis. Oh, there's a pond. Let's just go through it. Bob's Boars is right here. That place has a tremendous amount of building material in it. In fact, you know what? I'm actually gonna mark that. It also has super corn in it, too. Let's, uh, let's go with a fortress thing, and we're going to call it Bob's Boars. All right. It's good to know where that place is, because we can always come back here. 
and uh, and loot all the building supplies in there. There's concrete, there's cobble, there's a lot of stuff, and not to mention super corn. There is also a mutated pig down in the basement uh, that's uh, called Gracie, I believe. So that could be a problem. I'm going to definitely need some guns to take that thing out. There is a construction site right here, which there is a cement mixer in the back side of it. Wouldn't mind checking that just in case I get super lucky and manage to find the actual schematic for that. Uh, this is a good place to do that. Let's just stop in here. This whole area is a big construction site. Maybe I'll grab some of this stuff. I should be able to make it to... Ooh, there's a, there's a spear uh, book I don't know. Let's go ahead and read that. Fanfare! That completed that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got some, uh, we got some company here. We got some company here. Some birds. Oop, missed him. Why can I not hit this guy? There we go. Alright, looks like there is some construction workers here also that are probably not thrilled that I'm here. But hey, did you see, guys? I, I completed that spear, uh, spear guide book thing. The whole set. Aren't you proud of me? I believe, yeah, the cement mixer is just through here, so I'm just going to break my way through. I don't really want to go through the whole POI. I'm just trying to get to that. Hopefully this isn't wet cement, because that would be a little awkward if I stepped right in it and immediately sank in. Okay. Let me grab this real quick. It's not in there. All right, we'll just grab the sand. Actually, I wouldn't mind breaking it down, too. But I got to deal with the locals to do that. Locals dealt with. I wouldn't mind breaking this down, though. I took out all those guys. I might as well start breaking it down now. Now, they all came out of here, and it looks like there's a box in here, too, so I might as well loot this place while I'm here. I'm getting wildly distracted. I need to get to wrecked before it's too late, though. Should still be open for a little... Oh, there's a guy in here. Hi, buddy. You didn't actually make a fuss when I made a big deal back there. Construction site box. Has a little bit of scrap iron in. What's this button do? Nothing? All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get direct. Oh, motion sensor schematic. Absolutely. And here we have an actual speaker schematic and some extra stuff. Nice. Not going to complain. All right. Seriously, I got to get direct. I'm getting wildly distracted. I'm almost there. He's right around the corner. There is a locked ATM here, and I have two lock picks. I don't have my... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to mark it. I'll hit it on the way back. If I can find a jailbreaker candy at the vending machine, uh, then I will come back and easily be able to open that up and make a fat stack of cash. There is a boar right there. I have a gun right here. All right. That's extra meat right there. Now, there might be some more boars in this pen. I'm getting wildly distracted. Oh, there's another one right there. Sweet. Let's go ahead and harvest this bad boy up. That's a lot of meat, actually, I'm going to be bringing home, which is awesome because I can always use more food. Let's go ahead and pop... Got that one, too. Oh, there's one right here. Sorry, you didn't see that. Got him. There appears to be a few boars in this pen. All right, I think that's all the boars that are in here, I hope, because I'm just running through here. Uh, Trader Rect is just up ahead, so let's get over to him and start selling some of the stuff, including that flashlight. Hey, Rect, man, I missed you with every bullet so far. All right, let's go check this real fast. Jailbreaker's going to buy that for the ATM on the way back. Uh, I'm gonna grab these rations also because I'm a little hungry and the health bar is always handy to have as well Let's go ahead and use that right away so I can get uh, rid of my little hunger debuff there And let's go talk to Rekt. All right, let's see. What do you got? Uh, actually, you know what? Sorry Let's go ahead and use this right away and then then we'll talk to him. All right, let's see your inventory Let's start selling some stuff that I don't need that I grabbed along the way stuff like that Oh, I actually wanted that wire tool. Whoops. All right, well, hopefully I find another one. I don't actually need this other pistol, but I'm going to actually break that down because it didn't really sell for much. What do these sell? These sell for actually more. Okay, so that's a good thing I broke that down. Let's sell those two. Don't need any of those because uh, I'm not going to be using that. And I think that oh, the flashlight we can also sell. All right, sweet. So we got like eight grand. Now, did you have a... Um, oh, you have the advanced bellows, which would be awesome to get. Uh, the schematic, at least, so I might be picking that up. But first things first, mini bike, bike, uh, mini bike chassis right there. Let's go ahead and buy that. I still have three grand left over, which is amazing. It means that I can actually buy, where was it? The advanced bellows schematic, too, while I'm here. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Rex. All right, let's go ahead and use. And then we got the chassis already. Sweet. Awesome. Not too shabby. All right, now let's head back north to Jen. The day, it's late in the day. I got some extra meat. I got a lot of extra gubs. I don't really need to do any looting in this town, really. I don't really intend on appeasing Wrecked, so I don't really care if he likes me or not. Uh, I do care if Jen likes me, though, because she's nice. She's pretty, and she treats me really kindly, whereas Wrecked is a jerk and treats me very poorly. There is an ATM here, which I think I already got because I haven't marked. Nope, this is the one I actually was talking about. 
I don't know. I, I guess I, my short-term memory really kind of beat me up there. Let's go ahead and use this right away. We'll get into this, and hopefully that pays off, and hopefully I get more than $100 worth of uh, casino coins out of this ATM. It's a little bit of a gamble, but it's only a little bit of one. All right, ATM open. Let's see what we got. Thousand some bucks. That's awesome because that actually comes out to $1,700 Ruskies right there. So nice. All right, let's grab some gas too over here and let's get on the road. Now, I'm going to head up to that other trader since there's still a little bit of time in the day and the traders reset tomorrow. So I think it would be. Oh, there's a. There's a. There's a. There's a thing. Hold on. Oh, I didn't have it. Dang it. I'm not going to take the time to break that down though because I have more important things to do. As I was saying, uh, that trader resets tomorrow. So if I can get there today, even with this. Uh, Sugar butts thing going. Um, if I can get there today, I might be able to check to see if that trader has, is selling anything of any kind of value to me before it resets tomorrow. But if he's selling another mini bike component, I still have some cash. I don't know if I have enough though. That could it could be heartbreaking if I don't have enough to buy whatever he's selling. I made it over here with a fair amount of time left in the day. Actually, it looks like it might be another trader gen, which is actually absolutely fantastic. That means I'll be getting tier two quests here as well as, I don't need that, as well as at the one that I started with over by my pub. So that's incredible. I wonder if I can find a pub around here so that I can get, uh, like a little base setup over here, actually. That'd be incredible. I have to find a bar, though, if I'm gonna do that. Oh, cheers, everybody. Just level up again right there. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy so he doesn't follow me. Oh, he did hit me, though. I do want to get in there because I still have three minutes left on my looting candy, or my, not my looting candy, but my, um, my uh, barter candy, so I don't want to spend too much time out here. But there is a guy right here in front that's going to definitely know I'm here, so I'm going to take him out, too. I don't want him bashing on the door, bothering Jen and during her uh, business hours. All right, first things first. Let's see what she got in here. We got some more sugar butts. Absolutely be buying those things. Skull crushers would be coming handy. I'm going to buy them just because they'll be coming handy for the Horde Knight for sure. Uh, while we still got the bartering uh, thing going, we're going to go check our inventory, and then I'll, then I'll loot this place. Jen, how's it going? You're Thanks. All right, do you have any like jobs? Look at We can actually do jobs right here that are tier good, 2 already. Previous year, there, is there like a really close one I can knock out? It doesn't look like it. All right, there's not a close one. Let's actually just see your inventory real fast, because... Oh, there's an advanced bonus right there. I didn't need to buy the schematic. I mean, it's not the end of the world, though, so I'm not going to complain. Time charges would be nice. Um, a generator bank. Uh, deal. I'm going to grab that, actually. I think that would be really handy to have. Advanced Bellows also would be really handy to have, but I don't have money for that. Now, triple armor Pokemon. What can I sell? I need this. I need this in my life. Let's sell those. Is that enough? It is enough. Let's buy the triple armor Pokemon. Uh, the rest of this stuff would be, because I don't have a lot of time. The rest of this stuff would, oh. Mini bike handlebar. She does have it. Oh, man. Uh, do you have any jobs? I'm going to try to knock out a job really fast. Let's do the closest one. Fetch, got it. This is going to be a super speed run if I can do this. Super speed run. I don't care if I have to bust through the wall just to go grab the supplies. I'm not going to be doing the POI. I'm looking at grabbing this and getting it done ASAP. Excuse me, miss. I have a mission. I have nine casino tokens. There is no way I'm going to be able to buy those mini bike handlebars. I should have come up here way sooner. Ugh. Unless I find, like, a safe that I can crack. Because I do have the looting candy, actually. Or, the yeah, the, the lock picking candy. Oh, this is a big one, too. Dang it. Bigger one. There's a workbench in there, too. I gotta check it. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Dang it. Check this real fast. Nothing in there. I'm not gonna break it down, though. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset and go. There should be more zombies in here now, though. Alright, we're going guns a blazing, though, because I got I got things I gotta do. Nope. Oh, 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 they're beating the crap out of me. Ooh, I got infected on that, too. I did not expect them to be there. Ow. All right, where is... Where is this thing? All right, it should be down on this level, which means I think it's right in here. Let's just grab this quick and get out of here. Got it. All right, let's go complete this quest real fast. Hopefully she just gives me oodles and oodles of money. I don't really see that happening. I got turned around someplace. Where am I? All right, right through here. Got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's get back to her real fast. I'm also fatigued, which means that I need vitamins. I just had to say it. I just had to say it, you know? What if she has something I want and I can't afford it? I said it. I knew I shouldn't have. Uh, what do we got here? Something that... Oh, that's actually really nice. A fire axe would be great, but I kind of need something that's, like, really expensive to sell. Actually, the fire axe is perfect for what it needs, so we're going to go ahead and take the fire axe. Do you have any jobs, like, right next door? It doesn't look like it. I'm not going to be able to complete them in the amount of time, I don't think. Not clear zombies. All right. Never mind. Let's see your inventory. It's, I didn't actually mean to sell that, but it was, like, an instinct. 
Oh, I have all this cash. Oh, that's not enough though. And the and the the bartering thing, the sugar butts wore off too, so that's not gonna help. Help. I didn't mean to sell my. Ah, uh, I can't afford it. I can't afford the mini bike handle bars. That's so. Uh, <laughs> I want it so bad. They're gonna disappear next day. I shouldn't. Have, uh, what, what can I sell? It's worth like thousands of dollars. Well, other than that, I'm not gonna sell that. And sell these things. So, all right, let's just sell what I can, and then go home, hanging my head in shame. Even with the sugar butts candy, that's only gonna drop at like 400. So I'm not gonna make it. What if? What if I take a stab at a close job? Sure, let's try it. I know I already wasted enough time. Oh, I, I also need to check these things before they close because I don't really want to. I'm infected too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't do the job. I can't do the job. It's it's foolish of me to even try. I don't need the forge schematic, but odds are, no, I was gonna say odds are I'll find it in there. But I am looting this place for whatever I can sell, and then we'll see if that musters up just enough to maybe be able to take the sugar butts and then get it. I don't I don't see it happening though. But I oh. see I got like two grand actually for doing that quest. So if I could knock out another quest, I'd absolutely get it. But there's nothing really close. No schematics in any of these things either. So that was kind of a waste of time. All right, I'm heading back, hanging my head in shame. I do have to go get some antibiotics that I have. I got some honey, I believe, back at my uh, my pub. So I'm just gonna head home. Oh, it hurts! It hurts. Handlebars right there. That that would have. I think I could have got a mini bike up and running then because I have the chassis, the handlebars, the tires. I think I have, or at least I can make them. And uh, the engine. I had it all. It was just I ran out of time. As I'm heading back into the town where I live, I see that this place is right here. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a workbench down here that I would absolutely love to go loot real fast. To try to get lucky and find... Oh, oh, you're teasing me. Bicycle handlebars. Come on. I think there's some laundry machines here. There's also a stripper in here that I gotta deal with. But I think there's a laundry machine in here too that might, may or may not... I'm gonna scrap that for the paint because... uh. That way I can actually start painting some stuff. There's also a stripper in here, too. Strippers all over the place. There's also a construction worker. Sounds like that's like the start of some kind of weird joke. But he doesn't have a head anymore, so I don't think he cares. Oh, these are all dead. Dang it. Waste of time. Waste of time. Let's just grab some cobble and get out of here. Not gonna lie, those zombies kind of messed me up. And I'm also thirsty and hungry and I'm infected. So let's see if I can heal myself up a bit here. What do I got for an infection? Here we go. Let's use that. Start curing the infection. Let's get myself... A little bit under control here, because I am in rough, rough shape. Alright, nighttime has fallen. All my gripes and complaints are done now. I'm healing up from my infection, which is good. I wouldn't mind that going away before I venture out and do anything. It is also nighttime, which means the zombies are going to be running again. I do have to keep that in mind. I do have one can of food. I don't have a lot of food. I need to make that forge. What do I need to make a forge? I looked up how to make the advanced bellows, which convinced me not to actually buy it while I was at Jen's, because I can always make it. But let's see, the forge. Let's get this thing up and running here, because I'm going to want this. Uh, let's see, I need uh, stones, clay, leather, duct tape, and short iron pipes. So what do we got? We got pipes. We got, I thought I had duct tape and pipes. Uh, let's see, leather's right here. Uh, the stone's right there. And do we have any clay? We have some clay. All right, let's go ahead and make the forge. That will allow me to start making some iron, um, some forged iron, which makes me it able to make more tools and whatnot. Just, uh, just like this iron pickaxe that I got, I can make the... The axe I accidentally uh, sold. <laughs> I get a little excited sometimes. I just sell things on a whim sometimes. But what if I went upstairs here? Okay, I kind of want to go upstairs. I know there's a way to get up there like this way. Then I have to tunnel through the wall. And what if I went upstairs here? And uh, can I can I get up here like this actually? I guess I could, right? Like um, if I change these to... Uh, let's go shape and let's go to ladder. Uh, ladder. Uh, let's just do a standard ladder like that. And what if uh, what if I stuck that? Oh, I can't actually. It's like it won't. Mm. Oh, that's a little upsetting. Cause I can put it right there. But okay. All right, all right. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this. 500 XP on or 500 health points tonight. We're gonna break that, and then we're gonna put a ladder here against the wall, and that should allow us to climb on up there then. All right, let's put down the ladder. I'm going to keep it too high off the ground so I can jump up and grab it, but zombies can't. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do a uh, copy shape and put that back so that way... Uh, oh, I don't have any wood on me. That's fine. What can I do up here? Not much. Oh, the front of the pub is that way. Uh, I kind of have to, like, bash through this, it would seem. that 5,000? Oh, my gosh. That's going to take a while to get through. That's 10,000 hit points. Oh, I should be using this. It's 10,000... 
hit points just to get through this so I can get to the other side. What if I just... Why, why, why am I doing that? Why don't I just go up here? All right, let's slap a couple ladders down there and we can climb on up here. Is anyone up here, by the way? I don't really know. Is this going to collapse if I walk over it? I don't really know these things. All right, so there's the front of the building. I'm thinking about setting up a horde base on the front of the building, but one thing I should probably do is get some light up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I think I grabbed an extra, yeah, I did, an extra torch. That way you guys can see what I'm doing up here. Let's go ahead and slap that on the wall right there. A little bit brighter up here. So if I'm going to set up a horde base on the front of this thing, I want to make sure that I'm off the ground so that the zombies don't come up here and get, or don't flood in here from all the different sides and try to kill me. And I can channel the zombies into one spot. So I think that'd be a good idea for me to do. The forge is done. I'm actually going to place... I'm basically, my whole base is going to be up top here. I don't really want to do much down below. But let's... Uh, oh, this isn't full, full blocks. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. All right, let's go ahead and remove some of this. Replace this with full blocks. I need to go grab some wood. So let's just hop down here real fast. Because uh, I keep trying to do... Oh, there's some wood in there. I keep trying to do some stuff. And it's just not working because I don't ever have any wood on me. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Put the same plates just upside down. And that way I should be able to place my forge on it, just like so. Alright, sweet. We're going to throw a little bit of fuel in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of this uh, metal smelting up here. Uh, if I can find where I put it. Uh, we're just going to smelt up a bunch of stuff in there, to be honest. Like, see, Oh, there's some clay. I want to make sure I chuck that in there, too. And where's uh, where's all my iron? There's 200 and some. I probably have more than that someplace. There's another 200 and some. It looks like I have it spread out all over the place. And there's a whole bunch right there. All right, so let's go ahead and chuck some of this in there and get it smelting up. That way we'll be able to use it to uh, forge whatever I want with it, including a cooking grill. You know, while we're at it, actually, might as well make those bellows, too, because those can go in there. So what, how do we make the advanced bellows? Wood, uh, leather, short iron pipes, duct tape, nails. I got the wood, uh, leather, nails, pipes. All right, let's go ahead and craft the advanced bellows so we can chuck those into our forge. And then we should be looking pretty good. So this increases the smelting speed, which would be great, because it'll start melting that a lot faster then. All right, so we're really cooking now. We're really doing pretty good. I'm not complaining at all about where we are at. I am a little injured still. But I'll survive. All right, so there's some stuff in here. What is this? A shotgun tube extender. Can I actually equip this onto here? Modify? I kind of forgot I had that. No, I can't. Okay, it looks like that has to go into something else. Let's go ahead and reload the dubsy here because I don't really want to be in a fight and not have that reloaded. All right, so yeah, we had an engine. It, we did have tires. It was just the handlebars we needed. I don't suppose I can make those, can I? Uh, mini bike handlebars are locked behind Grease Monkey or the mini bike handlebar schematic. All right, so let's just take a peek at what I would need for Grease Monkey at, as far as what level it would need. Grease Monkey right here. Uh, learn to assemble, uh, what it, was it right here? Craft bicycle parts, craft wheels, bicycle parts are whatever, cheaper. Mini bike, I would need to get at least two points into that, which I need to be level four, which I already am. Okay, that changes the name of the game a little bit. I need, to, I need two points and I have one right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my sex rex up a little bit here, okay? I'm gonna put the point into that for right now. That should do well for my stamina issues. And then I think what I'm gonna do then is I am gonna put a couple points into Gre Grease Monkey then and get Mini Bike Master so I can get my Mini Bike up and running. I just need to be able to handlebar make the handlebars. But that's all gonna have to happen in another episode though because I think this episode is probably done. We've done quite a bit of work. We got our forge up and running. We we found another Trader Gen, which is awesome. She had the mini bike part. She had everything I ever wanted. I just didn't have the cash to pay her, which is really unfortunate. So let's go ahead and end this episode here after I take my one stone I have in here, apparently, and repair my uh, my uh, stone axe there, because that was looking a little rough. I'm going to get to work on actually doing a little work up here as far as building storage and... Uh, and, uh, you know, like storage in this area, replacing the floor with something that I can actually stand on and place things on. So in the next episode, you should see a little bit of difference up here. But uh, but you'll see all that next week. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week with more 7 Days to Die from Bar Life here, from my bar. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, and if you are, go down and leave a like. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die, aka Bar Life in this series right now, because we are living in a bar. Check it out, my forge is still smelting stuff up here, I made a bunch more nails, and I even made myself a cooking pot. How about that? We're going to go ahead and squirt that right in there. I believe, that for me to make, I need to put another ladder right there so I don't keep having trouble going down there. Uh, I believe, for me to make a, uh, bacon and eggs, I need these things actually. 
I think that's what I need. I do hear a wolf outside also, which is a little concerning. It's right there in case you were wondering. Um, it's a little concerning, but we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get to cooking up some food because I'm a little hungry. Cook up all of that as well as add uh, whatever grilled meat I can make. We're going to just cook up all the food. We're cooking up everything. Making tons and tons of food. All right. So this should give us, let's go ahead and start sorting some of this stuff here. We're, we're going to throw all of that in there. Let's go ahead and repair. And then we're going to get one, one rock down here and also repair that. All right. Squirt all that stuff in there. No problem. All right. Let's grab some food and eat that right away because I'm a little bit hungry. I also need to heal up a little bit. I wouldn't mind going and killing that wolf actually so that I can get uh, so I can get a little bit more meat because that's always fun to have. I got I got a gun. I can do it. But where is he is the question. I haven't moved all my stuff up here yet. Let's see if we can't go wolf hunting. Oh, there he is. Got him. He must have actually worked his way inside my fence. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go back there and carve him up. The morning of day four has just chimed, and we still have this tier one quest to knock out here in town before we go see Jen. Now, she's going to start giving us tier two quests, which give us a lot better reward, but she's also not open for a couple of hours, so I think it would be good if we went down here and checked this. Oh, it's the dead rooster. I actually specifically didn't move into this place because I was hoping that this would actually be a quest. Now, there is actually a lot of meat to be had in here, but what I'm going to... Oh, I'm thirsty. Gosh, I should have filled up. All right, let's hope... Hopefully, we can find one in here. We can find something to drink in here. Now, there are going to be roosters. Yep. Got to make sure I... I got to make sure I get the roosters, too. They are just as important as the zombies. They are going to make a, a mad dash to get out of here, too. So, I kind of have to kill them as they're trying to escape because there's that window over there that they like to run out of. I got to make sure I get them before they get there. Go back down the stairs, please, buddy. You've had way too much to drink. We're cutting you off. All right, now I do believe after looting this place relatively thoroughly, I say that as I keep finding new, more new things like this, like that right there, uh, that there is a dog out back. So we're going to go ahead and grab the double barrel shotgun. We're going to get his attention. Close that. Let's wait for him to get to the door. There he is. We're just going to blast him in the face. All right, dog's been taken care of. Let's see, what's back here? There's also some food back here, I remember. There's also some cobblestone, which I might want to start collecting because Horde Knight is only a few days away. And I do not want to be caught without any building supplies for Horde Knight. That would be terrible. So we're going to grab concrete. We're going to grab stones. We're going to grab clay, uh, cobblestone, the whole thing. Cheers, everybody. I managed to level up there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, what did I say I was going to put that into? Grease Monkey, right? Tell you what, instead of just going all out on Grease Monkey right away, I'm going to hold on to it because it's day four. The trader's stock would have restocked. If they have a uh, mini bike handlebars, if they have that, either the schematic or the actual uh, handlebars themselves, like like Jen had, you know, yesterday, then I could just buy them, and I don't need to put any points into that. But if they don't, I might want to think about investing that. That'd be amazing, amazing having a mini bike before the first horde night. All right, kill the chickens right there. A couple of pop shots, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, there's another chicken. Don't want him to get out of here. He's trying. All right, Lieutenant Dan just died from bleeding damage right there. Chicken, you're coming up the stairs, are you? Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and harvest you up while they watch. This is going to be you guys if you get any closer. Lieutenant Dan, get out of here. All the way down the stairs. You too. Sliding all the way down the stairs like it's a slip and slide. <laughs> all right, let's take her out. Put her out of her misery. Is that everybody down here? Is that all, all everybody? I think that's everybody. Cheeky toilet pistol right there. That's pretty awesome. Twenty-seven point two. This one does twenty-nine. So that I can, I can. I've learned it's actually better to scrap that because it actually sells for better. Sells for more. I might want to save those because actually I think I can make an SMG out of handgun parts, and that might come in handy for an SMG turret, which I think I already know how to do actually. So I might not want to actually be selling the handgun parts unless it's you know to buy a mini bike handlebars or something like that. There's a padded hood. Ooh, a laser sight mod, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and actually equip. Uh, modify. Let's equip that actually on my pistol so, so it does a little extra damage, I believe. Yeah, increases the damage on that thing, which is always much appreciated. Now, there was a hood there, too. Is that better than the one I'm wearing? It looks like it's about the same. Light armor rating. Yeah, it does, it does about the same. It also doesn't sell for much, so we're just going to go ahead and scrap that. Let's bust open the shotgun messiah box and see what we got. Nothing of any value, really, so we're just going to scrap most of that and just take the parts to sell. Let me get in here and carve up these chickens if I can reach in there. 
All right, basement's all clear. Now, I'm not entirely done here. If you look, my uh, my objective isn't finished, so I still need to get up here and clear out any zombies. I think there's one on the roof. I think that's the one that I'm missing, and he'll come down if I walk up here. So let's go see if I can't get his attention. There he is. Dropping in to say hi. Hello, buddy. All right, that's everything there. Now, I'm picking up all those chairs simply. Ooh, let's drink that because I'm a little thirsty. Eight times scope. That'd be amazing for a hunting rifle. Let's go ahead and scrap those chairs for the wood. After all, I need supplies for uh, making a horde base here. And uh, let's get back to Jen. She should be open by now. And let's see what she has to offer. Oh, Jen, darling, let me check your vending machine real fast. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Nothing that I really want to buy. You wouldn't happen to have some mini bike handlebars, do you? Well, let me just see. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to finish this. All right, I guess uh, whichever one sells more, I could actually throw that into something to increase its defense a little bit, which wouldn't be too bad. But what uh, what actually sells for the most? One of these guys, one of these guys. It looks like, uh, sure, we'll just do that, actually. I'm not going to take the liner mod. Do you have any jobs? Let's uh, let's do a clear zombies that's only a... Uh, oh, look at clear zombies. Only... wonder if we that's my place. Old house bed, bungalow. Okay, we're going to accept that one. Oh, let's go ahead and do that real quick, because that's less than 100 meters away. Let's sell to sell. Sell all that stuff. Don't need that. And we're going to sell all the cash as well. All right, you wouldn't have to have a mini bike handlebars, do you? Because that's kind of what I'm looking for. A tier 2 pistol, which would be really nice. Lucky Looter Goggles, which would be extremely nice. Another armor pocket mod. Let me just look to see. Let me just not get a little carried away here. Because she might have something else farther down the line here that I want to buy. She's selling the Gyrocopter Accessories Schematic. Now, I am not good at flying the Gyrocopter. I barely ever play long enough to even get to that. But if I can get it now, it might be worth it. I'm going to hold off for just a little bit because it's still early in the day. I'm going to go and probably purchase these Lucky Looter Goggles, actually, and maybe this Armor Pocket mod. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And that way, we can actually install those. There's one in that. Let's see. Uh, I can put the Armor Pocket mod there. And then I can also I can switch between my, my Lucky Looter Goggles and my, uh, my XP, my Nerdy Glasses, so I can find better loot. I just got to remember to do it before I open containers. So the quest was for the building like next door to her, which is awesome. So this is just a clear zombies, I believe. So let's just get in here and clear this out really fast. Missed it. Got it. Lieutenant Dan, ow! Oh, hey, Lieutenant Dan, you had a bag on you that was bigger than you. Oh, I should have put my looter goggles on. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. See, that's the, that's the only trick to it is that sometimes you forget. Oh, hey, buddy. Take these guys out quickly so that they don't uh, cause me any more grief. Anything in. Oh, God, I got a. Looter goggles. Looter goggles. Let's go ahead and check out some rounds in there. That's not too shabby. What do we got back here? Anything good? What does that actually do for me, anyway, as far as my looter goggles? It puts me up to loot stage 22 right now, which I know I'm inside of a POI and it goes up because of that. So, without the looter goggles on, though, what do, what do I got? Let's, uh, let's see what we got. So without the looter goggles, my loot stage is 19. So it, it literally does plus three, which is better than nothing. So I think I'll take it. More uh, no, more needle and thread there, which is nice. Uh, sewing kits, because I'm going to definitely need those. Excuse me, you guys. Sorry to wake you up. But I need to clear you all out of here. You have officially been evicted. All right, I've officially cleared out the entire place. Let's go ahead and switch to the Lucky Looter goggles here and see what kind of goods we can find in all of this, all of these gubs laying around here. Hopefully we'll find something decent. Triple Armor Pocket Mod. Ooh, in a book I've read, do more damage to humans. I don't really know where that would come in handy, but there is also armor right there. Do I have uh, any arm armor? I don't think I do. Yeah, that's awesome. In fact, let's go ahead and modify. I know exactly where I'm going to throw that Triple Armor Pocket Mod. Look at my inventory. It's filling up nicely. I can actually hold more stuff now, which is always great. Grab some of that, although aloe seems to be everywhere. I actually uh, don't know if I have too much of it. Let's go ahead and pop open this Poppin' Pills box and see what kind of goods we have. A little bit of first aid bandages. Not going to not gonna complain at all. Shock and Messiah crate over here as well. I'm going to pop this thing open too. And do we have a gun? Nope, but we have some bolts I don't need and a, and a bow I don't need. All right, there should be keys here. So let's, let's open this up and get back to where the rest of the stuff was in the house. Now that I have my lucky looter goggles on, I'm going to raid this whole place. All right, the whole place has been looted. I didn't actually find anything of any real huge value in there, but I'm not going to complain. At least I got the mission done. I can go ahead and turn that back into Jen, and I should get a hefty reward for it. It is a tier two quest. I can always grab another one and knock out some more for it and get some more money and cash. But given that it's uh, day four, 
I might want to actually take a trip around and see what the other traders have to sell. Uh, what's you? Ooh, uh, iron helmet. That would be better than what I'm currently wearing. I'm thinking. Although the thing I'm currently wearing actually has more spots available, and it's also worse than most. So let's go ahead and actually complete it and grab that. Uh, do you have any jobs? Let's take another close one, another clear zombies. I will take it for sure. You. I should actually have these on so I can get a little bit more XP. Um, all right, let's see. What can I sell? I got I got a bunch of stuff out of there, a bunch of junk that I don't really need, so I'm going to sell a lot of it. Let's go ahead and sell all this stuff too. The steel armor parts I'm going to sell as well. Plant fiber uh, wrappings I don't need at all. Uh, the, the, the gloves. So, all right, I think that's it. She doesn't actually have anything that I super desperately need, does she? Like I said, the gyrocopter parts would be nice, and I might actually buy them before the before it's too late. I should probably... Well, you know, all right, they're going to be there for a few days. I, I have enough time to wait for a second. All right, let's go ahead and wear my, uh, my new mask that I got here. Uh, we're going to modify that and throw that other pocket mod in there, so that we, at least we have that. It also gives me this, which I could probably sell for a couple bucks if I go to the next trader over. Hmm, I'm tempted to knock out as many quests for Jen today as I can, just so that I can get as far ahead in that. So I, well, I, I need to know whether or not to spend mon points in the Grease Monkey, so maybe... Okay, we're going to do this one more quest, and then we're going to run down to Wrecked, and then we're going to go... There's a bookshelf that I want to grab real fast. All right, I can sell it, no problem. Some some shoes on the ground here, sure, I can sell it. Actually, I think I can break those things down. They don't, they're not really worth much. Same with my hood, that's not really worth much either. All right, let's go ahead and reset that. And that way we can scrap the chairs, check the mailbox again. Another book I can sell. Money, 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 money. Uh, that's another thing I can scrap. Check this, anything good, nothing good in there. All right, so, oh, there's a workbench right there. I should have probably got that first, dang it. All right, whatever, no biggie, let's hop down. There's also wood down here I'm going to collect, too. I should have my lucky looter goggles on, and I don't because I'm a big old da 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 All right, so let's first, let's clear this place out first. That's why I'm here, actually. Double Britney's in the back room here. That's kind of entertaining. All right, I've cleared and looted, like, this entire place, but I think there's some people up in the attic, actually, because I haven't cleared the area yet. I don't really know how to get up there. The only thing that I've seen is how to get up there is actually back here in this room here. There's a hole right here. So I'm thinking maybe I have to like pillar up maybe. This is definitely not the right way to go, but I don't really know how else to get up here. So we're just going to do this. Oh boy, they're, they're in here. Okay, guns blazing. Uh-huh. There's still somebody though. It looks like I came up right next to the main loot, which is interesting. Let me go ahead and grab this. I don't mind if I do. Uh, I could not figure out how... Oh, there's a pipe shotgun, tier 5, which is awesome. Another thing, uh, another book I don't know. 10% more uh, from all ores when mining with a pick. Uh, yes, please. Let's go ahead and take that. We're going to go ahead and, and eat the food because I'm getting a little hungry. Open this up here. Scrap that. Ooh, we got some steroids. That's good. That could come in handy real fast here really soon. Uh, I am apparently done with the area, though, because I have to go talk to the trader. So I did finish this. I just have to get out of here. Ooh, uh, first aid schematic, first aid bandage schematic. That is awesome to find, because all that aloe vera that I find and stuff, I can now use to turn into uh, first aid bandages, which is fantastic. Okay, so there is a zombie coming up here from down below. She's heading back down the ladder, though, apparently. Um, she's also bleeding down there right now, so she's going to have a little bit of a rough go. Oh, you're back for more. There we go. All right, I did find a... Oh, there's a... Those are actually better cold resist, worse for heat resist. Uh, let's wear them. Yeah, okay, let's wear them and we'll scrap the other ones. All right, let's get out of here, though, because, okay, what? Oh, it's in here. There's a ladder. I totally missed that. It's already noon. I've got to get out of here and go turn in this quest, though. Oh, there's a there's an airdrop. Okay, right there. All right, let's, uh, let's mark this. Let's go for uh, save waypoint uh, one scene. And then uh, that is probably, it's on the southern end of town. Oh, that didn't save, did it? Let's go with, uh, yeah, save uh, one scene. And then that is, I'm guessing, just outside of town, maybe just south of town. So we're going to go with save waypoint uh, one. All right, hopefully I can find that here in a little bit because I don't have the actual waypoint set up so that I can actually see those. But I am going to head that way because I wouldn't mind going and checking that trader wreck and seeing what he has uh, on sale today. And at least Trader Wrecked, maybe even the other Trader Gen too, and see what she has on sale. Maybe find the handlebars, and I don't have to use my Grease Monkey points into that. I'm still saving those. I haven't applied them to anything. 
But if I can't find them in these two traders, or these these two remaining traders, then I guess I'm gonna have to pump some points in the Grease Monkey. I know there's more traders out there, but I just don't know where they are at the moment. Jen, how's it going? Amazing. A crossbow? I don't plan on using that. Iron leg armor, though, that's a little bit better. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and complete it using that. I think I'm still wearing the wrong goggles, of course. Yes, I am, so I don't actually, if I'm wearing these, does that affect my intellect, it does, oh, it does affect this. Dang it. Dang it. All right. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I am, I was actually screwing myself over by not wearing my, uh, my goggles when I'm, or my, uh, my nerdy glasses when I was in there. But all right, let's go ahead and start making some room. Let's sell the stuff I don't really need. Uh, those you can sell. I'm not going to actually use this pipe, uh, shotgun, even though it's tier five, which is awesome. It's just the dub Z, I think, is a little bit better because it holds at least two rounds. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over. Do I not have leg armor on? Never mind, I don't have to switch over anything there. I'm just going to take that. Uh, anything else that I want to sell? That chair can go. I don't even know why I grabbed it. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of the stuff I'll stash at the bar before I go. Let me grab another job. I don't want to do a restore power this early. Let's do a fetch and clear. And let's head out of here and go see if we can find that, uh, find that the airdrop. But first, I'm going to dump my stuff in the bar. I should probably grab my bike, don't you think? Where's my Where's my bike? Did I forget to grab it? Did I run all over here? I can't even remember. I think I forgot to grab my bike. I am such a dip da Sure did. Bike's right here. That was kind of a dumb move on my part, but oh well. We we got it now. We should be good. Let's head on to south here and uh, drop off my supplies at the pub, and then we're going to head on down to Trader Rex and see what he has to, uh, what he has for sale because I do have a little bit of cash. So if he has the handlebars, I can buy him. All right, inventory settled. Uh, we managed to store most of our stuff back. I did grab a Jailbreaker's Candy in, in the event that I happen to find another uh, one of those uh, ATMs or something along the way. Because so I'd feel pretty foolish if I actually found it but wasn't able to actually break into it. I do have my lockpicks with me also. Who knows what I might end up finding. But while I'm going down here, I'm going to head towards my X to see if I can't find that airdrop. Now, it's going to give off a plume of smoke, so I want to be able to see as much as I can. But it should be this. There it is, right there. It's going to give off just that plume of smoke for a little bit. There it goes. See, the plume's gone already. So you have to spot it quickly. Let's make sure I have my loot goggles on here. So at least I get a little bit better chance of finding something kind of vaguely useful. Let's see what's in here. All right, some food. Not going to complain about that. Some uh, cornbread and a wrench. That's worse than the one I have. That was actually pretty crappy, although I'll take the food. Not going to complain there. I did actually find an ATM right here at this gas station. How about that? Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. Excuse me, sir. I need to break into this. I can't have you watching me. There's another guy coming over there. Let's see if we can't just pop him from here. He's down. All right, so let's go ahead and tur turn these or put these on. And we're going to go ahead and use our Jailbreakers candy. Hopefully, I can buy some more of those. I still have one back at the pub also. And we're just going to go ahead and pick this lock, get the cash out of it. I suppose I could have tried with some of the uh, lock picks I had before using my Jailbreakers. Maybe save me 100 bucks, But I'm not really going to compl complain too much about that. The lock is picked. I thought I got XP for that, but apparently I don't. Let's go ahead and put my uh, lucky goggles on again. Grab this. Grab the 700 some bucks. All right, sweet. Now, we can get on to Trader Wrecked, but I also kind of want to... I kind of want to get in here because uh, I'm looking for mini bike parts, right? This is where you find mini bike parts, isn't it? Is in this kind of stuff. Yeah, and there's also a, a chem station in here. So how do, how do we, I think it's in the back? I think it's in the back. Uh, the southwest side is where you get into this thing. So let me go p take a peek in here. See if I can't find a couple of uh, goods to sell Trader Rex before I get to them, like that, for example. Ooh, I just found some. Uh, I just found some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. That's 20% better bartering. That's like a like a double sugar butts, actually. So I am not upset at all about that. That will come in real handy. If I find something really expensive, that's what I'm definitely going to be using that on. Oh, zombies are in here. That's for sure. Let's take the stripper out here. There's another one that fell over there. Hit her right in the butt cheeks. Uh, okay, we got a big guy over here. Excuse me, buddy. I need you to go down. Take him out, too. All right, so here is the chem station. Let's see what we got here. A schematic. No schematic, just some flowers. Don't need that at all. I'm actually not going to break that down because there's not much I really need from that either. Um, let's see if there's anything in the car. I can sell a lot of that. I don't really need a little bit of lead, though. I'm not going to worry about that. Now, I think there's more stuff. I think there's a bunker. Yeah, there's a bunker here, I believe. Plus, there's some uh, stuff that I can collect for collect, uh, crafting or for building my horde base here that I want to go ahead and dig up like this. And this. 
And this. And this. And this. All right, now, can I get the workbench schematic, please? I said please, come on. All right, what do we got down here? More fun stuff. I think there's a couple zombies down here, too. Hello, miss. Barging in. Sorry, I'm stealing all your stuff. This is a robbery. All right, what do we got in here? Anything good? Anything good? Don't really need that, although I could probably turn it into a first aid skim uh, bandage. But whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll be all right not doing that. Let's check what we got in the weapons bag. Machete parts. I might want to keep a hold of those things, but let's go ahead and bust open these crates. There's somebody upstairs that hears me and isn't thrilled that I'm down here looting this place. I should probably have minded my own business. There's a better uh, bone shiv than what I got. Actually, let's, uh, let's grab my other one, scrap that, and then use that to repair the one I just found. Uh, I'm going to just scrap those for right now just for the brass. And I uh, don't need that at all. Oop, that's not something I want to hack open. Uh, okay, don't need a pipe baton or those for, at all. I can put that uh, uh, mod that I just have. Oh, that's already full. Um, into something. Modify. Let's throw it in there. Give it a little extra defense. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get the trade wreck before the day's over. All right, Wrecked, I never really wanted to see your face again, but let's check your vending machine first and see what you got in here. Uh, nothing of any kind of value. What uh, what do you got in your inventory, though, is more what I'm interested in. Also, while I'm here, I'm going to sell what I got. Uh, I'll get rid of those machete parts right now. Might be kicking myself later for that, but, you know, oh well, I, I'll survive. Uh, I should also be putting my nerdy glasses on so I get a better barter thing. It's kind of stupid of me not to. I did find these, which is increased perception, which is interesting. I'm going to keep them just in case I come in handy. All right, now what do you have, actually? The tripwire poster, and yeah, I don't really need those at all. Uh, doing a little shopping. Another pocket mod, but I think everything has a pocket. I, although I don't think my legs do. Hold on, I might actually buy that in a second. I'll check that in a little bit. I did find a puffer coat, actually, while I was looting one of these places. What do we got in here? Anything really good? The Great Heist? What is this? Motion devices. Okay, I don't really care about motion detection devices. Has an entire bicycle, which I don't really need. You have an AK-47 machine gun. Ooh, and a battery bank schematic. You have some good stuff, wrecked. You have some good stuffed. Stuff stuffed. You have some good stuff. All right, let me quick check. I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have anything in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pop this. I'm gonna use that to see if I can't buy everything. All right, let's uh, let's see, what do you got in your inventory? I want to get that machine gun, or that AK, yeah, that AK-47. We're gonna buy that for sure. And then this right here, the battery bank schematic, would also come in handy too, so let's, uh, yeah, I can buy that too now that I popped that uh, sugar butts. I could have also downed that and had an even better price. But that is awesome. All right, that is actually really good. Now, I don't think I have any ammo for this. Well, oh, no, I do, I do have some. Not going to complain. That was actually a really good find. Now, I do want to swing up north and go visit the other gen and see what she has for sale. Now, if I can't afford it, it's not the end of the world. I could always grab a mission while I'm up there because she has the tier two missions also. But I could grab the, the uh, mission, do some questing. That thunder is really loud. And, uh, and get a little, a couple extra cash. I might be able to squeeze in one mission before the, uh, the day is done. I just want to swing into this barn real quick to see if there's a workbench in it or something. Because that'll come in real handy if there is. Uh, I want to try to find the schematic for that without having to put points into that. Okay, I'm going to go in. Oh, God, there's a, there's a boar. Okay, machine gun already saved me right there. Sweet, I did not know that before. I was like, what is that noise? It actually made me jump a little bit. I was kind of freaked out. I had never heard it before. All right, are there boars in here then? Oh, yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Oh, okay, there's... Maybe coming in here was a mistake, but I am getting some tremendously good, uh... Uh, good food out of this, so maybe it wasn't a mistake, but I did get hit right in the butt. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> I just leveled up. Let's go ahead and dig this boar up also. I did not know there's boars in here. Had I known that, maybe I wouldn't have come in here. All right, let's get the double barrel out here so that we have... Actually, let's get the pistol. I don't want to use up all my AK rounds. There is a workbench in here, so might have been worth coming in here. Was it? Was it? Was it? Okay, claw hammer. I'll take it. That's not a bad thing. I'm also not wearing my looting goggles because I completely forgot to put them on, like a big old da 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 All right, so it's not the end of the world. There was actually a, uh, a workbench in here, so it's good to know that. Those actually sell for decent-ish, so I'm not going to be too upset. Is there something up there? Is there something? Or is that on the wall? Oh, there's something up there. What is it? It's a food pile. Awesome. Don't need the cornmeal. I'll drink that and I'll just take the food. 
All right, let's get going. Hopefully I can get up to Jen in time to actually complete a quest or at least see what she has. It's not the end of the world if I can't actually buy anything from her right now because she'll still maintain her inventory until day seven. I hit the brakes and I'm going back to Wreck because if I remember correctly, which maybe I don't, my brain sucks. He had an armor pocket mod, didn't he? That I was going to think about buying? Or, or am I completely hallucinating that? I was not hallucinating. He does have it, and I still have the bartering candy going, so I can buy it for a little right, bit cheaper. Actually, you know what? Let's sell some of the stuff that I don't really need here, too, that I just found. So that'll free up a little bit of inventory space. You know, I don't actually have any animal fat back at the at the base, so I might want to actually hold on to that. Sale is a sale. All right, let's go ahead and uh, equip that into this leggings right here. Modify, throw that in there. Another inventory spot open up. Very nice. Now, if I go make the double armor or the double pocket mods, which I believe I can back at the base, I should have like a full inventory I can carry without putting any points into that. So that's actually really good. Now, I have two kilometers to go to try to get to that other gen. I really don't know if I'm going to have time to do a quest now that I had to turn around and go back to Wrecked. So, maybe I won't be able to, but I'm definitely going to go there because I really want to see what she has to offer right now. Alright, I made it up here to Jen's. I do not have enough time to do a quest, which I actually already have a quest for her. But you can call me Dr. Jen. Dr. Jen, hello, nice to see you. Let's see what you have in your inventory. Don't mind the gun pointing at your face. Uh, all right, so do you have anything? Times two scope is kind of nice for some weapons. You have a cigar. Okay, I want that. <laughs> I want that, it's not that expensive. You have two cigars actually, because the cigar uh, in uh, decreases or increases my bartering so that uh, increases my strength too, which is the kind of thing I'm I'm rocking, you know? There's also a hunting knife tier 3. I also want that. Okay, so she's got some stuff. She's got some stuff that I would not mind getting. Pistol Pete's also. Ooh, you're more accurate in rapid firing your 9mm. Okay, I wouldn't mind getting that too. So she's got a couple of things. She's also got a Magnum schematic, which I don't really care about. I don't really like the Magnum. Urban Combat. Uh, uh, less damage. Okay, I wouldn't mind getting that too. Okay, and an anvil. Okay, I need to come back to this one with a fat stack of cash. Maybe next so time I'll I think what, what I'll do is in the next episode... I will do some more quests for the gen nearby me, and then I will, uh, yeah, there's nothing really in there that I need, and then I'll come back to this gen and spend a fortune uh, with what she's got. Hopefully I can find another sugar butts, come to think of it, because that's actually quite a bit of stuff to buy, I wouldn't mind saving an extra dollar or two. Well, we're heading back to the pub here, I actually stopped off, this is actually where I need to do my quest, and there's some stuff here that I could collect for, for helping build a horde base, so I might as well grab that while I'm here too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through and do the quest now, because it's almost nighttime and that could be a little sketchy. Especially with a full inventory of stuff already that I kind of want to go clear out. I also need to go and see if I can make the, I can make the double arm, or double clothing pocket mod, so that, that should help me with uh, inventory space too. And I think it's just wiser for me to head back and do that. I can always come back and knock out this quest in the morning. Ooh, there's actually a Shamway uh, shipping crate up top here. And a poppin' pill sealed crate, not going to complain. Good stuff, give me some drugs. Oh, look at that. All right, sweet. After 10 seconds without killing anything, it downgrades to one level. Uh, let's see. Uh, Killer Instinct. Gain 5% damage on each kill, up to 50%. Is that only when I'm fist fighting, though? Let's go ahead and use that. I don't need the blood bag for anything, so we're just going to eat that out of my inventory. Uh, I wonder if that's only when I'm fist fighting, though. Hmm. All right, it's almost nighttime. Let me get out of here and get back to the pub. Before going into the pub, I'm going to take a cheeky gander here at the, the vending machine over here. See if I can't find anything of any kind of value. Nothing! Nothing, dang it. Although there is a beer. I wouldn't mind a beer. But no, nothing that I actually desperately need right now. So I was looking for another maybe uh, maybe sugar butts or something like that, but no luck. It is officially nighttime now, so let's go ahead and park the bike right there. Get inside, and I have to move all my stuff up there. I still haven't done that, but for right now I'm just like chucking it in here. And wherever it lands, it lands. Now, we can make these pocket mods, right? So double clothing, double pocket mod. So I need leather, duct tape, clothing fragments, and sewing kits. So let's see what I got. I got some sewing kits. I got some clothing. I got some, uh, what's it? Yeah, cloth fragments. Not clothing fragments. Cloth fragments. Uh, leather and duct tape. Duct tape. Oh, where is it? It's right here. I know it. It's right in front of me. There it is right there. Now, where's the glue? Because I don't think it's going to be enough duct tape. But let's go ahead. How much does it take? It takes two per. And I think I need three. Is that three that I can hold right here? So let's see. One can go in the shirt. Two. Three. Yeah, three. I need three of them. All right, so let's make some duct tape. And we're going to make uh, five of them, I think is what I need. Awesome. Now, I think I might have some more clothing fragments around here, cloth fragments. I keep saying clothing. 
Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't at all. All right, let's go look at the pocket mods again. We can make four of those. I don't need four, I only need three. So I made a little too much duct tape, but that's okay. That's, I'm not gonna complain at all about that. It's gonna be a good thing. While I have some stuff in my inventory, I can head up here and start sorting this out. I left a spot for my workbench. I'm hoping to actually use it, but I don't know how to make the workbench right now, so you know, I might not be able to. Got some stuff cooked up there. Let's get some forged iron going here, like a lot of it. Uh, let's just chuck some of these in there. Actually, let's check all of those in there. Let's turn that on, and let's get the forged iron going. And then, because we'll, we'll eventually use that. All right, now I'm getting these pocket mods in here, so let's go ahead and modify, install that. That should give me two extra spots. Let's go ahead and modify, install that. Two more extra spots. And then modify, install that. Six extra spots. So I only need three more spots full if I have a full inventory and I don't need to worry about anything. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, though, because all I have to do now is sort out all, all, all my stuff, and I'm probably gonna try to open up the other side of this. It looks like I did a little digging here last episode, and it's gonna take me a while to punch through that, as well as punch through this, because I need to make a horde base in front of this place, so I need to kind of get to work on doing that. Plus, sorting my inventory is gonna take a while, so I, I, it's just gonna be a little bit. This is gonna be some boring stuff, people. So if you did enjoy this episode, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Um, if you are enjoying the series, let me know in the comments section too, by the way, because uh, I'm having a lot of fun playing it, and I will continue to play it so long as you guys are enjoying it. Alrighty, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die, playing a little bit of bar life here today. Hopefully, you guys are all having a wonderful day. My day's about to start here. We're about 15 minutes away from the start of a new day. Let's go ahead and just chow down on a piece of meat right there. Give us a little bit of a boost uh, to our little running ability right here. You know, gives us a... Uh, what does that do actually again? <laughs> it's that max stamina bonus right there. That's what I was talking about. Um, all right, and then we're going to probably slurp down one of these. I really should cook up some water. I don't really have any, like, any water, actually. Let's go ahead and get some of that going right now. Let's go uh, water. Get a little bit of boiling water going here. Uh, we need some uh, wood in there, too. Look at that. I don't have any of that. Let's grab a whole bunch of it. Slap down not anywhere near that much. <laughs> In there. How much is this gonna take? 34 minutes? Okay, let me just grab all this and click a whole bunch. Uh, a little too much there. Trying to conserve. That's perfect right there. Let's go ahead and cook that. Take all this food out here and eat that right into this chest. Alright. Alright, I think we finally got ourselves settled here. Alright, so in today's episode, we gotta get going, actually. We gotta get going right now. Um, I did need to drink something. Let's just drink that for right now. Actually, you know what? We're gonna drink one of these too because I want to be able to run around a lot. Uh, give me a little uh, coffee regen, salmon regen thing. All right, we don't got a lot of time to waste today because I got a list. I got a list of things I need to do, and it starts with checking this vending machine in the forever video. In this vending machine, hopefully we're gonna find some sugar butts because there was some good stuff over at the at Gen 2. Sugar butts, sugar butts, no. There is some eye candy. Ooh, I don't have a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna buy the eye candy though. Um, Cause uh, I'm looking for some sugar butts. Uh, Gen 2 had a lot of really good things and I want to uh, get some of those things actually. I'm just coming back here just to quickly uh, dump chests, throw the eye candy in there. Um, I want to get those things, but if I can get some sugar butts, then maybe I can actually, like, purchase a lot of them. She's got a cigar, which will also help my bartering, so that should come in handy too. Uh, but the next thing on my list after checking that vending machine is to go do this quest ASAP, like, as soon as I possibly can. I gotta get over here and knock this out because, let's point it, like, that way so I can get out of here quickly. Oh, I should have checked. I think there's a workbench down here. That was stupid. I should yeah, right there. Right there. Take that guy out. Oh, hey, the construction worker. There's zombies around. Take him out there. And poop. Pop you in the head. Oh, you're not dead yet. Alright, so I should have actually checked this. Let's go ahead and throw those on real quick. Aha! Schematic? No, I should have checked this first. That was such a stupid mistake. Alright, now I don't really think I need to break these things down anymore because, uh,. I can make like the the iron and stuff, so I don't ooh, look at that. There's some glue right there. I'll take it, because uh, I can make like the uh, uh, the iron and everything I need for them. So uh, or that I usually get from. So I don't really need to break them down too much anymore. You in here? No. All right, because uh, these guys I can just scrap because I don't need them. And this I'm gonna want to uh, collect too because all these good stuff uh, for building bases I'm gonna want to grab. It's on my list. Collect for horde bases is that is on my list of things I need to do. Uh, so I'm gonna run through here really quick kill everybody, probably switch these in back, kill everybody, and then I'm going to start looting and finish this quest, because i got to clear the area to finish the quest for Jen. 
Who wants to die first? Brittany! Oops! I did it again. Ooh, okay, he hit me. I should probably stop singing and start killing. What do you think, Brittany? Yeah? Yeah. All right, this hope, oh, look at that. I found a, a pipe pistol. And what does this do? Uh, when uh, in combat, the health recovers one hit point every punch. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and read that right away. Grab everything out of there. We finished clearing out the area and found the little bag we're supposed to find. It. Ooh, tempered blade mod. What do I have in here? Nothing? Let's actually go ahead and uh, throw that right into there. Give it a little extra damage and do some more fun stuff. All right, so let's bust open the Savage Country box here. I think I left a couple of things down in the basement to loot real fast. Yeah, there we go. We'll grab that. In fact, can I throw that in anything? Um, modify. Nope, we can't throw it in that one. Uh, two things in there. Two things in there. Uh, one thing in there, but I think that's all I have. In there. Yeah, I can't really throw that anywhere. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so let's get out of here then. I'm going to run down and grab the stuff in the basement that I might have left, and then we're going to skedaddle, and I think it's this way. And then uh, we're going to uh, get back to Jen, who should be open now. All right, back here at Jen. Now, I know I've been saving my skill points in case I need to do Grease Monkey just to get a, a vehicle up and running, but I have three of them right now. Let's quick check her vending machine for Sugar Butts. Sugar Butts, no. Health bar would be nice, though. Um, but I'm going to leave it because I'm running a little low on cash. Jen, I did something for you. Let me make sure I have my glasses on. It's, it's right. It's me. All right. Wow, I didn't think you had Ooh, an iron crossbow would be kind of nice. But Molotov cocktails, I think, are going to come in real more handy. I'm not really doing anything with archery anyway. Ooh, an iron shovel, actually. What am I thinking? That would be way better than my other shovel that I got. Let's go ahead and select that one. It's complete. Now, actually, before it, what I should have done beforehand, let me actually look at these uh, skill points I have. So, intellect is what I was looking at, because this is where we can lower prices right here with better barter. And I need intellect five for that. But I have three points. So what does the next point cost? I have I have uh, three points to spend. I have four points in intellect right now, thanks to the nerdy glasses I'm wearing. So the next one... I can put uh, a bunch into this, actually. I can just put one into there right now and get the next point of better barter. As well as... No, this one takes level six. Ooh. What does that cost? Six. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, pu I'm putting it in intellect, trying to get better barter up and running here. So that next one will be really handy. So I guess it wasn't really a big deal. That, that That's more for jobs, that next one. So it's all good. So I guess it wasn't a big deal that I didn't really bump it up. All right. So do you have any jobs? I'm here to do a lot of quests for you. For a lot of money. So let's start off with the fetch ones because oh, those are I easier. You, but, um, what? Yeah. What did you say about kissing? Hygiene all. All right. So these things I can sell because I've read them. I don't know why I have an office chair there. I didn't mean to grab it in the first place. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that too. I don't really need this pipe pistol for anything. So we're going to sell that. And then the rest of this stuff I think I'm going to keep. All right. So what am I up to? 2,300? Pretty good. Not going to complain because I need like over 10,000 to buy everything I want from, uh, from Gen 2, the other Gen. Uh, so I need to get uh, I need to get a lot of money. So I think we better head off right. Actually, let's swing by the bar real fast, dump my inventory, and then we're gonna head off to uh, the next quest. All right, off to the next quest. However, we do have some uh, locals nearby my house here that I want to deal with. Need the XP anyway. I do have my XP goggles on, right? Yes, I do. Let's take those things out. Bam, she's definitely dead. All right, let's get going to the next uh, mission here because I need to make some money. All right, here we are at the house. Now, I really do want to take a quick look because I need, uh, I need to, oh, there's actually hay bales here. It's interesting. I do need to find uh, a workbench, maybe. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding a workbench that I can, like, oh, I, I didn't mean to jump the whole fence there. Okay, I guess I'm in here now. Uh, if I could raid that uh, first before resetting the area, that'd be very awesome. And I'm just going to check. Oh, there's, there's enemies here. Excuse me. I'm just down here to check to see if you have a workbench. I don't want to do any looting. All right, I did not see a workbench in the basement there, so I'm just gonna reset the POI right now. Didn't loot anything, I'm not trying to be that, that cheesy. I'm just trying to find the workbench schematic if I could. There is also a ton of supplies in here though. That, uh, oh, look at this crawler. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan, he ain't got no legs. Um, there's a ton of supplies. Oh, Jesus, there's Brittany right there, just scared me. I heard someone crawling, but I thought it was somebody outside. Um, there's a ton of supplies in here for uh, making a uh, horde base, so I'm going to definitely be scooping this up for sure. i got to get some mods in this uh, shovel. I probably should have looked at that while I was still back at the bar. Uh, but we are going to grab all of this stuff before I go, although I do got to get going, so maybe I'll just grab the cobble. Well, hello! You managed to make your way in here finally. This is the thing that was making so much noise outside. All right, sweet. Cheers, everybody. I just leveled up to killing that lady there, so sweet. Awesome. We actually have a point, and I know exactly where I'm going to spend that, actually. I'm going to put that right into better bartering, right, or uh, into Daring Adventure right now. So we get 15% more Duke uh, Casino Coins. We also get the uh, three additional options. Now, if I can get this next one, this next one is going to be amazing, okay? It takes intellect to eight, so what do I need for that? Two. 
I need four skill points. Oh, that's going to be really pricey. Five total, because then I got to put one into that. But what that will do, if you read the description just above here, it says uh, you are doing your adventure, blah, blah, blah. You can now choose two quest rewards and get 20% more Duke coins. That's amazing. That is huge. I want to get that. So I might be pumping up uh, intellect, I guess. Although I really do need to focus on strength. Excuse me, Brittany. Pardon me. All right, we found ourselves a BDU top here, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I like I like wearing the BDU tops. Kind of reminds me of my days in the military. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my sweater for that. Sweet, not gonna complain at all. Still a little bit of resources to pick up here in the basement, and then we're moving up. It's getting nine, it's like 9:30 right now in the morning. Mm, I gotta get, I gotta get moving. I gotta stop digging up stuff and get moving. Actually, I don't actually have to kill everybody in here. I just started murdering some people, and then I just realized uh, the quest is just to retrieve the supply. So I should really stop dilly dallying here. Uh, I don't. I mean, I could get the loot that's in the in the POI, uh, which would be very nice. But my goal today is to make money. So I need to complete as many quests as possible for Jen, and then get a move on. So I gotta get a move on. Real quick before I get a move on, I believe. Let me uh, check this car real quick. This is the next door neighbor next to the POI. I believe there is an engine just sitting here in the open right here, but uh, it might be guarded by a dog or another zombie. Oh, it's a zombie. I can see his hand right there. So let's just uh, run around here and give him a good slap right in the back of the head. So this engine right here, excuse me, buddy. This engine right here actually has a chance of dropping an engine, a really good one. So I figured I might as well do that since I'm over in this area. It did not drop one. How unfortunate, but there is also some building supplies. I just said I need to get to doing some uh, some uh, jobs here to get some money, and yet here I am. Oh, there's a workbench in here. This might have been worth it. Throw those on, give me the best chance. Please, please, please. Dang it. All right, I'm not going to be too upset, though. I'll find one eventually. Ah, I found another forge schematic. That doesn't really help me. Man, dang it. I was really hoping to find something more valuable in there, but... Oh, well. It was kind of a bust. Whatever, we'll take the gas and we'll just uh, skedaddle, I guess. Jen, Jen, darling, I did the thing that you wanted. Uh, do I have the right glasses on? Now I do. Don't look so good. Well, you, you look pretty good. Amazing. All right, so I got more options here. Structural brace mod. They said iron shovel. What does it do? Block damage, 57.6. Uh, looks like on this one does 61. Okay, we're gonna keep the one I have. Bandages are always appreciated. Cocktails are always even more appreciated. Structural brace mod. I did say I need something for the shovel, so I guess we'll just go with the structural base brace mod. And just do that. Any more jobs? We need a fetch, a fetch and clear. Let's do a fetch here. Do hurry. Awesome. All right, now let me look at your inventory here because I got some stuff I want to sell. I don't need the forge schematic. I already have that. So let's sell that. Any and all uh, sch schematics that we already have learned. You can take that flashlight. You don't want that? Okay, I understand. All right, I think that's uh, all we're going to sell to you. Let's then. go ahead and uh, safe, modify okay. and stick that in there to give it a little extra block damage and, of course, uh, improve its durability. And then let's uh, prepare the club. And then let's get back to the bar and dump that off over there. And then we're going to do this next mission. Oh, pardon me, buddy. Uh, Jen's mine. Back off. Just going past this trailer that I've biked past plenty of times. There's actually a workbench in here. I don't, I don't suppose it could be right here. The thing I passed up over and over. Oh, baby. Oh. I'm not even going to use a hockey. Use. Workbench. We got it. Pat, pat, pat. You are very nice to me. I'm not even going to break you down. I'm going to leave you right there as, a, as like a momentum, or as like a, a commemorating this event. We have the workbench schematic. Thank you. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do it. So we're just missing the cement mixer and the chem station, I believe, now. But that, okay, cement mixer is also very important, so I really do want to get that. So I'll be super excited when I see that. But the workbench was huge, huge, huge. Rabbit. There's a bunny right here. Oh, dang it, he ran away. Okay, I was going to go club him. This is actually right back to where we just were. Excuse me, stripper. You need to get out of here. It's actually right back to where we just were. Let's put these back on. They worked out very well. Ooh, leg spike. Um, they, uh, they worked out very well there for getting me that uh, the workbench schematic. Could you please sit down? I need to get moving here. All right, so we need to finish this quest quickly, too, because I need to get more money. We're up to 3600 bucks, and I need over ten grand. remember. Is there anything in here? Uh, yes, I'll take that and sell you. Um, so we need to get over ten grand to buy everything. Now, I know that the traders restock after day six, so I still have time. Uh, I don't need to check for a workbench, so we're just going to go for it this time. Oh, there's a guy out here who's going to hate the fact that I'm inside there making all that ruckus. But um, I know that I still have another day to go get uh, stuff from the, the trader if I don't get 10 grand on this go. However, uh, tomorrow I hope to be building on the horde base because I only have one more day and then I'm in trouble. I mean, day 7 I can also do some modifications and stuff, but that's really pushing. It is... Uh, uh, midday now with those uh, cicadas doing their crickets chirping thing or whatever it is that they do. Uh, so I do have to kind of hurry. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of 
pressed for time. So let me go clear out this place real quick. Find this fetch reward, which is actually... Ow! Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's crawling. I thought he was dead. Would you just die? <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty close here. Hold on. Let me, can I... Can I... Can, can I please? Uh, it's actually somewhere... It's right here. Hold on. Maybe I can get it. Oh, there's somebody in here. Excuse me, lady. I'm just stealing all your stuff. All right, well, with that one taken, I, like I said, I'm not really pushing forward to the, get all of the loot that I need to. There's actually a uh, vehicle here I wouldn't mind searching. It's uh, Mo Powers, so it could have some fun stuff, robotic stuff in there. Uh, look at that right there. There's the basic sensor schematic, and then there's a Tech Junkie Volume 3, and something I can sell, and then some electrical parts. I'll take those, too. That's what those are, right? Electrical parts? Yeah, electrical parts. Oh, look at that. Uh, there's something I don't need because I'm not going to be doing any farming. It's a gigantic waste of time. All right, let's get out of here and sell the stuff that I just found. I'm not pushing for the main loot in the POIs here. I'm simply going the wrong way. I'm sim Oh, this actually would have reset, too. This one right here. Grab the book out of here. There we go. And let's get back and give this all the gin. Oh, stop off right here to dig up the supplies. I'm going to need them for tomorrow when I get to base building. Um... As I was saying, though, I'm not actually uh, trying to get the main loot in these places. I'm simply just trying to blow through them as fast as possible so that I can get uh, get on to uh, uh, the next quest because I'm here just for money. There's also a cement mix right there. I wonder if I've actually looted Oh, no. I will. Please, both, both in this single episode. Dang it. <laughs> I knew it was too much. Oh, I didn't put my goggles on. That's why. It was actually my mistake. My bad. See, now, I do know something about this POI is that there is some really good loot right underneath this area if I dig this up. But I think I think it's a little a little cheap. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. I, it's so tempting, though. So tempting. Oh, Jen, darling. All right, what do you got? Another iron crossbow. Here's a hunter book I don't have yet. Do 10% more to vultures. That's probably going to win out on this one. A worse shovel than what I got. Pipe bombs are kind of fun, but I'd rather have molotovs. And first aid managers are always always nice too. And iron crossbow, like I said, if I was rocking a bow and arrow and going stealthy and archery and stuff, I'd love that thing. But I think we're gonna go with the hunter's journal. All right, let me just uh, read that real quick so I don't actually where to go. Where so I don't there it is. So I don't actually sell that. Let's see. Let's sell some stuff to you, Jen. Take all of that stuff. I don't care about those pumpkin seeds at all. I can have a couple of these radiators too. I don't really want them either. Uh, that should probably be good. All right, now I don't know if I've, I, I've I've looked through her inventory a, a billion times, so I don't really think I need I hope to. You come back and see me sometime. Well, voila, I'm back. Ta-da! Your I dreams have come true. Okay. All right, let's have another quest. How much money am I up to? Over oh, five five thousand. That's pretty good. It's getting there, getting there. Let's keep pushing. I realize I've been doing a lot of questing uh, this series so far, but it's it's the name of the game right now is is getting the, some of these really good rewards from the traders. It's so handy for survival. But first, I'm gonna swing by the base. Swung by the bar, dump off my supplies again, and head off to that other quest. Landed it. All right, so <laughs> here we are at, it looks like, what is this? Is this a gas star? No, this is an auto parts place, isn't it? Yeah, it's no really. All right, sweet. Well, I guess let's not waste any time. Let's get in here and get to it, then. Somebody already woke up inside there. Hello, do you mind? Looks like I gotta do some killing. Ooh, stripper dropped a loot bag. Where? Where are you hiding that, miss? Where were where were you? I don't want to know. Okay, let's go throw on the loot goggles real fast. Take a peek at this. Somebody's coming towards me. Iron sledgehammer I don't really need, but I will sell because it's 80 some bucks. All right, so it looks like we have a few more friends in here. Now this is a clear area, and oh, he died from bleed damage. Uh, this is a clear area and collect the supplies, so I got to do both. So, whew, all right, I need to uh, I need to kill some stuff in here. Cheers, everybody. Just level up. Up here on the roof right now, I did manage to find the bicycle handlebar schematic. I'll read it, but I don't really need it. I have a bicycle already, so it's not that big of a deal. It looks like some uh, some ladies from downstairs managed to bust their way in. I heard them bouncing around or banging around on a door down there. Didn't drop a nice... Uh, ooh, there's a bird right there. Bird tilt with. Bam. Uh, they didn't drop a loot bag like last time. That's a little unfortunate. Found some good stuff. Found a couple jars of honey and stuff. That's always good. Completely forgot to put my looting goggles on. Go figure. Uh, I did not find the uh, supplies yet, so there's still some stuff I got to do. But um, I also haven't cleared the area. And it looks like, looks like actually, I just came in. That is there someone in here? There is somebody in there. Hello, you look a little crispy. All right, I take it it's in here. Oh, is there something in here? Something hidden? Something secret? Something safe? Yes, there is a little bit of some stuff. Let's get in here. Ooh, stuff woke up like that. Let's just go. Let's go loud because I got to hurry up. Oh, please die. Dang, that guy took a beating. All right, let's get in here. 
and uh, loot this place quickly. Let's actually throw on the looter goggles so I actually get the little bonus there. Oh, there's some acid. That's always appreciated. Comes in handy for making a ver variety of things. What do we got in here? Scrap that. It's kind of junk. What do we got in this car right now? All right, I got to get moving, though. I'm not really I'm not really going very fast, so let's uh, leave all that stuff in there. Anything in here? Uh, some wire tools. Now, I think I accidentally sold my previous wire tools, so I kind of needed those. Let's open these up right here. Get these doors wide open. Let whoever it is making that ruckus out there come on in. Hi, buddy. Wow, you survived that. Okay. Hey, you even left me a present. What do you got? Ah, some money. Ooh, 200 bucks. That's actually pretty nice. We'll scrap the arrows, and then we'll uh, use the tea, I guess, just to get the good digestion. And, uh, yeah, that was that was a very nice little present there. Now, what do we got down below? Let's hop down here, actually. Anyone down here? Hello. Let's wake everybody up. Oh, hey, it's Lieutenant Dan. Oh, he dropped something, too. Man, they're just dropping things left and right. I hear people making ruckus over there. You guys want to come through here and walk right through these spikes? That'd be great. Let's check this real quick while you're while you're fiddling around. Don't need that. Scrap. You got this. Oh, did you? You did. You guys did. That was very kind of you. Ooh, it hurts, don't it? Okay, so sweet. The POI killed him for me, basically. Grab some of this, because we're going to need that for the base. It's getting a little late in the day, so I might want to hurry it up just a wee bit here. Ooh, I do need this, though. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm here. Clear area is finished. That means I did actually complete this quest now. And normally I say I'm not going to stick around to find the, the loot in the POI, but I'm, I'm actually right here, so I might as well grab it, since I am right here. <sighs> Hopefully it has some good stuff in it. Does this have any good stuff in it? No. All right. Main loot right here. Oh, we don't really need those. I'm not using any crossbows or arrows. Let's see. What do we got? Anything good? Piece of meat. I'll eat that. Don't really need this, but I'll sell it since I'm heading back there anyway. Another uh, fitting mod, which will be handy for sticking in something, but I don't really have any place to put it yet, so I'll just stash it back home. Let's open up both of these things real quick. I need to get a better axe. I had one, but I sold it. Trying desperately to get money. I'm a greedy guy. What do we got? Oh, here we go. Power attacks increase your chance to knock down enemies. Let's use that. Very nice. Awesome. I'm almost... I've got to be getting close to finishing that. Iron Sledge Schematic, I don't really intend on ever using that. It's worth 184 bucks, so I might as well take it. I think I said anything hiding back there? No, there isn't. Alright, let's get out of here and get back to Jen. Alright, Jen, I did all that you asked. I knew you had it in you. Good I'm one. wearing the glasses. Okay, good. <laughs> shotgun Choke Barrel. Hmm, Titans your Shotgun Spread. That's not too shabby. Claw Hammer, I think I have a few of them already. If not, I can make them, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, pipe, oh man, I don't really know what to choose here. Uh, what's this sell for? 220... Uh, am I going to go with the, oh, no, the claw hammer? Let's complete that. I can probably sell that. Oh, sweet. I did another group of stuff. The nail gun would be really nice. Cobblestone. Ooh. That's 500 cobblestone. Oh, never mind. Mini bike, mini bike parts. What am I thinking? Let's just... Because <laughs> that would help with base building for sure. But mini bike parts all the way. Let's complete it right there. Do you have any jobs? Buried supplies? Previous tiers? Not, they're not going to pay me much. So, okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's sell you some stuff real quick here. I'm going to keep this just because I'm not sure if I have one back at the base. Uh, but we're going to sell, sell, sell. Don't need the iron sledgehammer schematic or the iron sledgehammer itself. Let's grab a bunch of chairs again on accident. Happens. Uh, all this money you can have also. Sell that too. Those things I don't need. Anything else? I think I'm going to keep everything else. Now, let's better. just see. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> she, gave, she gave me an engine and the chassis. I already have the chassis. Ugh. Jen, that was mean. All right, I'm going to... Head back to the base. Who's knocking on her door over here? Uh, I'm going to head back to the bar, though. Excuse me. Do you mind? Jen is busy. She was helping someone else. Um, I'm going to head back to the, the bar, drop my stuff again, and then quickly pedal out to the other Jen. See if I can quickly grab a quest from out there, too. 600 meters from that way. So I got I to gotta pedal really quick to get out there. But if I can get a quest for her as well, knock that out, too. What am I up to, anyway? For money, come on, game, you can do it. Ten thousand. I made it. I made it. Okay, what I need to do is I need to get out there and start buying stuff. I need to check for a sugar butts at her vendor for at her at her vending machine first. That will lose me a hundred bucks, but that should be fine because then her prices will drop drastically, and then that'll help me a lot. First things first, though, is I'm going to be buying the cigar because that's uh I do have. Let me actually get up here real quick. I do actually have the chassis, right? Like I I know I got it. Like I'm telling myself I got it. Uh, vehicles and electronic chassis right there. Okay, I do have it, so I can actually sell this for four hundred some bucks, which is awesome. Uh, what do I have in sellables? Anything in here? That too, I can sell that. All right, let me sort. Let me dump. Uh, let me just dump this all in the dump chest. Actually, I'll sort it out overnight instead. Uh, let's see. I'm getting not really hungry actually. Okay, we're just gonna throw all of it in there. Take all of it. All of this. All of it in there. 
Okay, so now we got everything sorted and settled. Let's head on over to let's let's hop on the bike, please. There we go. <laughs> let's let's get everything sorted and settled here. Or now that we have everything sorted and settled, let's do a little cross country trip about a half a kilometer this way. And we're gonna go say hi to Gen 2, because I know she's got all the good stuff. I got my money with me. I didn't even check to see if I had a sugar butts in my box. That was kind of dumb. I'm just hoping that she does. Now you might be asking yourself, Grimer, how did you know you needed 10,000 uh, casino tokens? It's because I looked at my, my previous episode's footage and I saw that that's how much I was going to need to purchase all of this stuff. It's actually a little over 10,000, but if I get a good discount... Oh, you don't have any. Is there a vending machine nearby here that I know of? No, there's not. But I do actually already have a quest for here. What? I just don't have it selected. So let's go ahead and make that active. Let's go, let's go knock that out real fast before I even talk to her. Uh, excuse me, Jen is mine. It's super foggy, but we made it to the location of the POI I gotta clear out. That's kind of nifty. There is an electronic thing here. I wonder if I can get some good stuff out of it. Come on, come on, come on. Pretty stuff. Nice shiny new things. There we go. Awesome. All right. Uh, drone robotic cargo mod schematic. Awesome. So if I do get a drone, that'll come in handy. Also tech junkies. Robot weapons do 10% more damage. Sweet. Awesome. Well, that's very going to come in very handy, I suppose, uh, if I get any kind of robotics set up. So let's go ahead and start that back over and check this out again. Maybe I can get some really cool stuff again. It's like it just poof, magically appeared in there. Aha. Uh -huh. Tech junkies. Uh, let's see. Uh, turn your robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun. Craft robotic turret shells. Okay. We also got the basic electronics schematic. That's awesome. And then this thing sucks. Can't even really sell it for much. I'm just going to scrap that. Uh, I don't have any intentions of stunning enemies to death, but all right, let's get in here. I need to clear the area, so let's uh, let's go loud and actually wake everybody up. Everybody, wake up! Okay, I heard a flappy guy. Batter up! Oh, awesome! All right, hello. Please lay down. Don't get up. It's all right. No, stay down. It's all right. Somebody's walking out here. Oh, uh, hello, you! Well, wow, one hit took you out. Anyone in here? No. Let's go down here and actually see anybody alive down here. Oh, there's something up here. Take that, for sure. Ooh, there's another handgun in there. I'll have to check to see if that's better or worse than mine. Pop his head off. That one didn't die in one hit. They did get knocked over pretty good, though. Let's just uh, hurry this up a little bit. Gotta love the AK. Is there anything back here? I need to hurry this up. It's 1900. It's getting very late. I'm gonna go ahead and dig up some cobble real quick, because I'm, I'm still collecting that because I feel it's going to be important for uh, being able to build a horde base. If I don't collect it while I'm out doing this, then I could end up in trouble without having enough supplies to build a base. Oh, okay, there's a hunting rifle schematic. I'll take that, just sitting in this desk. Not going to complain at all about that. It looks like there's some good stuff. I actually don't even have my looting goggles on. What's my loot stage in here, by the way? 23, not too shabby. With these things on, I'm going to put those on, actually. Oh, dang it, I was like, please be working, please be working, but no, it's not. Is anyone in here? Wake up, everybody. Need everybody awake and good to go. Oh, you guys got in. Hey, thanks for dropping that for me. Uh, hey, sweet, I got my ammo back from that. Oh, sweet, I can make a, sh a shotgun duckbill mod now. It's awesome. Very much appreciated. Awesome. Uh, there is an electronic store box in here. I gotta hurry this up, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to visit Jen. Ooh, boy. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, there's another tech check. He, uh, stun batons, uh, slow. I don't really care about that. Uh, it is a book I haven't read, though. Um, let's quick grab all this stuff, because the stun batons, I don't intend on using those things. I think they're kind of garbage, too. Although, at least they do s a little bit, you know? Like, a very little bit. Let's scrap all that, too. I should probably scrap everything, but I gotta get moving, though. I gotta clear out the rest of this place and stay within this area. So, anyone back here? I don't think anyone's back here. Uh, there, I'll save the cement right now, because I actually don't have the, the thing to uh, mix it anyway, so... We're just, we're just nitro clearing here. Excuse me, Lieutenant Dan, I need you to die. Excuse me, Brittany. Coming through. Brittany, stay down. Take that guy out. Oh, right in the head. Right in the balls. Somebody's banging on that door, but they're not somebody that I have to kill. Let's check the desk, though, because as I just found out, you can find some good stuff in there. But obviously not in this one. Uh, cheers, everybody. Just level up on... Alright, they're just opening up that fridge. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Um, oh man, I gotta, I gotta hurry. 20, 100, I only got two hours. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get up here. We're going guns a-blazing on this. We gotta clear this up quickly. Hello? I just got hit by somebody. Lieutenant Dan, I didn't even see you there. Excuse me, one second. Right in the head. Anyone else up here? Lieutenant Dan? Oh, you're still alive, aren't you? 
There we go. All right. Place is cleared. There was the main loot down there. Let's grab that quick. Like the Shamway box. All this stuff here. Let's get all the things and then get out of here. Oh, we got some company. It looks like they made it through the door. All right. Let's clear out the rest of these stragglers here. I'm just trying to get back to Jen. I only got an hour and a half before she closes. I just want to say goodnight to her. Is that so much to ask? Completely missed this working steps crate right in the front of this POI. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just had my eye on the prize. Let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, if someone kid's always handy, I'll take you from the cube. Sure, why not? All right, I really got to pedal and get back because hopefully I can grab another quest from her too. That's always appreciated. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, are you kidding me? For crying out loud. <laughs> All right, let's uh, quickly slap down the bike again. Point it in the right direction this time. Hop on it. Let's get back to Jen here. So it really bothers me that I wasn't able to get the sugar Hello, butts, Trapper. but oh darn, I think I have the right goggles on there. Uh, ooh, a double cell barrel that's actually a little bit better than the one I got. Uh, pickaxe, that's also a little bit better than the one I got. Ooh, there's, okay, so there's some choices, but I don't have a lot of time to think about it. So which one's worth more? <laughs> um, I'll take the double barrel. Well, hmm, I'll take the double barrel. All right, do you have any special jobs? Let's open the trade route. All right, oh, good, good. Do you have any jobs? And let's do a clear zombies. You know? That way we oh, have it. Goodness. And then let's go uh, into your, let's, I gotta sell something. Let's uh, sell those because I don't really use them. All right, now I'm looking for that cigar that you got. I wanna buy Thanks that. For me take care Here, go ahead and equip that. And Scrap my bandana. Hard. Now I should have better prices. So let's go check our inventory again. This uh, chest armor is just as good as the stuff I'm wearing, so I'm just gonna sell it. Sell everything I don't really need. The chassis I can sell too because I have one back at the base. Sell all that stuff. Um, sell that too. Oh, let's sell all this too. Uh huh. And I don't really need. Oh, I'm gonna break that down for the gun parts. So, all right, what is? What else was it that I needed? I got a list. I got a list. Okay, so the cigar I got. Ooh, hunting knife. Want to buy that hunting knife? We got the. Uh, the rest I think is in her uh, thing here. So we got. Oh no, she changed this because I increased. Oh, handlebars. Buy that! Holy cow! She changed this up a little bit. I forgot I actually wanted to buy some stuff from here. Like, she had an urban combat book and stuff, but I up upgraded my... Oh, actually, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Stay safe out there. Take that off. Uh, no, not... Uh, let me see your inventory. I gotta go quick. Does that change at all? No, it did not. Dang it. Okay. So... Oh, she's got a gyrocopter? Oh, that's a chassis. 33 grand, though. That's a lot of money. Steel pickaxe would be nice. Um, oh, she's got so much good stuff here. I I'm, like, flustered because I'm, like, trying to look through it really quick. She's got a better pistol than the one I'm rocking? Yeah, she does, actually. That wouldn't be a bad idea to buy that. Going to. Uh, <laughs> just because of that. And, uh, looks like I gotta get going. Oh, dang it. She kicked me out. Alright, so I didn't get everything I wanted because her her better barter, or my better bartering is higher now, so her stash changed. Can I even get my bike? That was kind of a whoopsie if I can. Otherwise, I'm gonna be running back home. Let's get away from there so it doesn't teleport me off. Alright, we're good. We're good. All right, so let's hop off here one second. Let's actually sort some stuff in my inventory. We're gonna go ahead and modify this. Pull this up. We're gonna squirt that right into this one instead, just like that. And that means we can actually scrap this because we don't need it. We actually, we just eat those. We don't really need them at all. Scrap the pistol right there. Don't need that. Modify this. Take the sight off of it, and we're gonna throw it into this one instead. And that's the one we're gonna be using from now on for as far as pistols go. Let's reload that. Oh, there's a dog over there. There's a dog attacking a zombie. I wonder if I can steal the kill. So I, I stole the kill. I, I killed the, the dog. <laughs> Which is fine. It gives us a chance to test out our new hunting knife. Alright, so I think we should probably stop standing out here in the open and actually get back to uh, to the base. Because we can actually do some stuff now at night. We can do some things, people. We can actually make a workbench. We can make... I just realized this because I was all flustered with everything. We got the handlebars. We can make a mini bike day five. How about that? No more pedaling. We can start burning up some dinosaurs now instead of using our chevro legs here. We can actually get places and maintain our stamina. That is good. Now, I am going to have to start, like, collecting gas, that means, because I don't think... I mean, I, I don't have a chem station, so making it is going to be a little tricky. But I should actually take the time to start breaking down vehicles now just so that I can get the gasoline out of them. I find it slightly entertaining that my quest to open trade routes leads me back to the gen that I already know, original gen, OG gen. So I think that's kind of funny because I'm just going back and forth. But I was hoping to find another trader, possibly trader gen three. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> so looks like I'm going back to this gen instead. I'm waiting. One of them haven't they haven't led me to wrecked yet? Which Rex, ooh, Rex inventory probably changed now that I got better bartering up. 
didn't think about that. I should have gone and bought the things that I wanted. I had there's an urban combat va uh, volume that she had that I wanted to buy. I didn't get, and then she had a, uh, a Pistol Pete book that I wanted to get to that I didn't buy. A little unfortunate. Didn't think about that mistake on my part. Mistakes happen though. It happens all the time. So let's get up here because we can actually make a workbench now. What do I need for a workbench? Let's actually make this top priority workbench because I gotta get this going here. We need mechanical parts, a wrench. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go into tools and put my good stuff that I'm using down here. Uh, that's the only tool that I'm gonna end up using. So all right, let's. We, oh, we did have a claw hammer, but I think I kept one, didn't I? Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one I have because they kind of work the same for what I for the purpose I have. But let's grab this crappy wrench and this other claw hammer. What else do I need? We need a bunch of wood. We need the mechanical parts and forged iron. So let's grab a bunch of wood, mechanical parts, and the forged iron. That's forged steel. Where's the hammer? Right there. Uh, I need something to go in here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this workbench crafting. It's going to take almost five minutes to do. Eat whatever I can back into this, including the stuff I just took out of there. I'm, I'm all excited. Okay, let's actually while we're waiting for that to craft, let's get the mini bike up and running. <laughs> I just why I, I want this in my life. All right, let's take an engine. Let's take a crappy battery, which is all I actually have. The chassis, and then we need two wheels. So let's go ahead and take that. I think that's it, right? That's all I need for a mini bike. Oh, I need to make it add a workbench. Oh, I, um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all, that's all I need. Okay, so. Uh, oh, I did have a good battery in there, so that's all I need, but I do need to make it add a workbench, so I'm not able to make it quite yet. I do have everything. I can do it. Redemption. She had the handlebars. How awesome is that? All right, I'm going to sort this stuff real quick. This is, this is exciting. I'm going to sort this stuff real quick. Give me a second. Just a few more seconds to go on the workbench. Pow! Put that down right... Uh, right here, we'll put it right in the corner. All right, now from here we should be able to mi make the mini bike. Let's craft that a minute twenty, and then that'll be done. Whew! All right, but that's gonna have to wait until the next episode. I'm soaking wet because it's raining, and this roof apparently doesn't guard me at all. But uh, I'm cooking up a little bit of lead here too because I, I noticed something. Uh, we're actually completely out of seven six two. This is all I got, and uh, Horde Night is in basically one more day, so. I really don't have a lot of time, so I think I'm going to wrap this episode up, though, here. I had a very, very productive uh, day today. Made a lot of money, and uh, and we actually got a lot of stuff done here. We also got the mini bike parts. Oh, man, we got some stuff done today. I'm all, like, giddy and excited. I cannot wait. Oh, that doesn't go in there. Uh, I cannot wait until uh, I get that thing made so we can get around and actually start venturing a little bit more around here. Finish this quest for Gen 2 here, which is just open trade routes. Back to the original Gen, not a big deal. And maybe even go down and see what Rekt has with our with our uh, gasoline-powered uh, bike that we're going to have here in 30 seconds. So, alrighty, guys, I'm going to wrap this episode up, though. That's the end of day five for me. So thank you so much for t uh, tuning in and for donating your, donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back with more Seven Days to Die in the next episode. So thanks again for watching, everyone, and bye-bye. Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die. We're playing a little bar life, all right? We're, hit, we're sitting here at the bar, which actually says Grumpy's Pub on it. I wouldn't mind changing this, but I don't know. Can I make those cool letters? Can I, what if I just typed an R? Is that a thing? I think these are like signs, maybe? Signs? Wooden sign? I, I probably can, and they're probably something really simple, but I, I don't remember how to do that. I'm going to leave it Grumpy's for right now. But we have some stuff to do in today's episode. It's almost morning, but first off, let's open this up, because check it out. We have a mini bike. Now, have I made been able to make any of the vehicle mods? Vehicle mod. Uh, Off-road headlights mod I can make. Is that the only thing? I could make a motorcycle if I could get that stuff but i'm not going to be able to for a while i'm just going to settle for the mini bike there's the morning chime we made it to morning sweet i went around at night collecting up a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, gasoline and, and other things from vehicles i got a bunch of actually stuff look at this got a bunch of engines and whatnot let's sort all this so i can see what i'm looking at a bunch of batteries bunch of engines and a whole bunch of dyno fuel here so we're going to definitely want to grab some of that but let's see i can actually improve this if i make this let's see five forged steel polymers some what do i got in here materials Say one, two, three, four, five. Uh, polymers, it said. Which I am blind. There it is. Uh, what was the rest of it? <laughs> uh, polymers, electrical parts, and uh, four headlights. All right, let's grab the headlights we got there. And um, I already electrical parts. <laughs> I was like, I already forgot what the other one was. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going, so we can squirt that into our mini bike. 
today is going to be a little bit of a busy day. All right, so t tomorrow is Horde Night. Let's be real here. Tomorrow is Horde Night. I have very little ammo, and I have some some pistol ammo. I really haven't been doing very good for ammo. I got some Molotovs, a little bit of ammo, and it looks like it's going to be one of those days where we are going to be definitely swinging our club a lot. Let's see, I got two points to spend, and I know I've been pushing on Daring Adventure and better bartering and stuff like that, and this would be a big leap forward, but because tomorrow is Horde Night, I think I might want to go back here and start focusing just a little bit on strength. I do have a little boost here thanks to uh, my cigar that I have right right now. and uh, But I do need to get that to level 5 before I can get the next one of Sexy Rex here. So that would be a good point to spend on, I think, right there. Bam, just like that. So now we're at 5. I can get it into Sex Rex here. I get 20 uh, stamina for Killing Blow. It's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Or do I put it here? What's what's this one at? This was the strength level 5, which is what I'm at. Maybe I'll say, you know, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to try to get one more level up, because I'm almost there. If you look down here, I got my, my level up is almost there. I'm going to do this one. Why? Because then I can make uh, quality 4 clubs, which means I can make a quality 4 baseball bat, okay? That is huge. That is going to be insane. So what I should do, actually, is I should actually get whatever brass I have going, including maybe some of these things, actually. I'm going to save a couple of them, because they're actually using some recipes. But I should get whatever brass I have going melting up in here. Because uh, I need wood. Um, because that's going to come in real handy for. Uh, let's just set this up for like a half hour, maybe. Just click a whole bunch so I got carpal tunnel. Let's go for like a half hour on there. Turn that on. Smelt up all that stuff right there. Because I'm going to need uh, bullet casings and bullet tips. That's why I melted up whatever lead I had. But so I, I can make some bullet casings here, but not much. Because I need to make, I might have to make some ammo if I don't get some from uh, get, get some from Trader Jen, and I don't think she's gonna be giving me any. So <laughs> she looks like she's uh, quite content. So um, let's see, is this done? This is done. All right, let's take that out. Let's go ahead and modify this, squirt that into there, so that'll make it give me a little bit better bike. Now I did break this hole in the wall here because I think this is where I'm gonna build my horde base out the front of this. We can actually hop down here and pick this up because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna go ahead and throw that right into the dump chest. Thank you, bike. You have been absolutely wonderful. All right, so a couple of things I want to do today. I want to first off run across the street here and go check this vending machine. I did find a sugar butts in the vending machine that was down there. I probably should have checked that one too before going over to Gen 2 last episode. Mistakes were made. As you remember, mistakes were made in last episode also. No sugar butts in here. Hackers would be handy because of all the salvage, uh, uh, harvesting of vehicles. In fact, I might buy that. I might use that next time I go out and harvest some vehicles. I got a couple skull crushers already. We're going to buy the health bar for sure because that'll come in handy. Should I break my leg or smash my face in or something like that? Uh, but I think it's about time. It's about time, people. It's about time that we christen the mini bike. Aww. All right, so we have a mini bike now. Remember earlier in the season, the series, when... Uh, when I, I didn't get those handlebars, it was redemption. Let's gas this bad boy up. Uh, what do we got? We still got some gas here, so I'm going to leave all that stuff here. Let's bring this down so that I don't, not, uh, in case I need to use it. Let's throw that right up in there. Food is looking pretty bad. Hold on. I just realized food is ter terrible. Uh, Jen is going to be opening up here in a half hour, but so is Rex. Now, Rex is the one I want to go check because he should have a new secret stash. Actually, so, so should Jen. I forgot about that. Man, I'm, I'm, I for, I'm a forgetful person. Let's go ahead and squirt that up in there. Um food. I need to eat some food. Uh, I do have some cooked meat in here. That's going to come in handy for my uh, my uh, stamina running stuff, boosting my stamina. Let's go ahead and just woof down this blueberry pie. That should fill me up nicely. And I guess we should probably top off with a little bit of water. Yeah, why not? While we're, while we're doing this, let's get a couple of uh, bottles of that in there. Alright, so now I'm well hydrated, well fed, everything. Alright, looks like I got a little bit of time before Jen opens up. Oh, look at this. Actually, let's head down to Wreck. Let's take this time since he's not open anyway. Let's head down to Wreck, and uh, and we'll see what he's got in his stash. I do want to get back and raid that Bob's Forge because, like I said, there's a lot of good building supplies in there, and I do need some building supplies for tomorrow. Maybe. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll hit that up on the way back. I'm not too sure, but I cannot even begin to express how happy I am to be able to ride a motorcycle type thing okay this is I know it's just duct taped together but having a mini bike again look at how easy this is my stamina is not draining I'm not burning through calories like crazy you know so this is this is great I don't even need to stop for the chicken I'm good I'm good I'm just gonna keep pressing on all the way to wreck but man having the bike again what a game changer wrecked you crabby bastard how you been actually what do you got in here 
He's already threatening to murder me. That's nice. He's such a sweetheart. I swear, he's just great. Okay, he doesn't have anything in his vending machine. Rex, you got anything actually in your inventory is what I'm more interested in. Now, this is actually what I'm most interested in. Shaka Messiah. Let's see. Targets within three meters have a high dismemberment chance. That's kind of nice. Uh, I might actually pick that up. A chili dog recipe is interesting. Although, I don't really know if I'm going to be doing much of that. Uh, oh, here's Urban Combat Volume 5, which is not the one that Jen had before. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on by... That's huge. That means I don't have to worry about it accidentally getting blown up. Advanced Bellows, I believe I already have. Baseball Bat, Tier 1. Shan't be needing that because shortly here I'll be doing uh, a little bit better than that. There's a Blade Trap for... I'm going to buy the Blade Trap. That's actually pretty cheap and it's so it's right there. So now I'm out of money, huh? Looks like I'm not going to be buying anything. I wouldn't mind buying that Shotgun Messiah. So what do you say Thanks, we do a job for for him. Let's just do a simple fetch one and see if I can get enough money to buy that Shotgun Messiah book before I head back. All right, here we are at the quest. It should be a relatively easy one, thanks to it being only a tier one. We're gonna go ahead and grab basically every book we can find here because uh, we can sell that. I just need a thousand some bucks to get that one uh, Shaka Messiah book that I want. And I've already got like 200 bucks right there just in those, just that same mailbox I checked. But oh, we actually can go ahead and just dig up some of this too while we're here because we're gonna need that for the horde base uh, tomorrow. There's also a vehicle here. I could get some more gasoline and top off my, uh, my mini bike. Uh, or just take the car battery out of it. That's fine, too. Um, I was thinking, if you look at the map, we're actually pretty close to the desert area. And the desert area has a higher loot stage. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to go down there. Let's see. I, I just need the supplies, right? Okay, they're on this level. They're right back here. Yeah, they're right here. Sweet. I don't actually need to kill everything. But I do want to get the XP. And there's a ton of stuff up here for me to grab for building uh, like all these cobble rocks. So I'm thinking I'm going to loot this uh, attic. Kill all the residents, as one of them just became alerted to my presence. It was you. It was Brittany. <laughs> so, ah, ah, sorry, Brittany. I had my looting goggles, or not my looting goggles on. I had my XP goggles on, which is good. Getting a little bit more XP for killing these things. I guess looting this place wouldn't be a bad idea. Like I said, just for the XP alone. So I'm thinking that probably is what I'm gonna do. All right, so I went ahead and looted the whole place. I did find a tier five uh, pipe machine gun, which is awesome, but cheers, everybody. I did just level up with that. Let's quickly go in here. Oops, wrong one there. I actually had the right one at first. Let's quickly go in here and put this into that for one, and then that should be all I really needed, right? Yeah, that was all I was looking for. All right, sweet. I can craft myself a tier four baseball bat, which should help out tremendously for the Horde Knight tonight. Looks like there is some terrible stuff out here that's trying to bash its way in. I guess everybody... Oh, here's somebody here. It scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> uh, looks like uh, there are some people that bash their way in here. Of course, the front door is wide open. Would you just stay down? Thanks. All right, so let's get back to Trader uh, Rekt and see what he has to say about all the stuff that I did. Are you happy for me, Rekt? Are you proud of me? All right, Rekt, I did the thing. I did the thing you wanted. What? <laughs> what? All right, a weapon flashlight mod is nifty and stuff, and it could I could add it to something like the shotgun to do a little bit more damage. But I think I really do need ammo, so I'm just gonna take the shotgun shells. Uh, how much uh, how much cash do I have? Nowhere near enough. Let's quick sell some stuff. Uh, I don't need this pipe machine gun because my AK does more damage. I don't need these couple bits of uh, fibers either. Let's sell, sell, and uh, and sell all this stuff. How much am I up to? Not still not enough. Okay. Um, let's scrap the pol let's get rid of the polymers and that as well. Getting closer, I'm getting much closer. Don't need another headlight. I have some back at the base. Can always get more from breaking down vehicles. Sell some springs and the short iron pipe too. Mechanic parts got a bunch back home. Uh, I don't think I can sell those things. I can probably just scrap them actually, uh, so I can condense it down into what I got. What? Okay, what am I trying to buy again here? I'm trying to buy this thing if I can. I wouldn't mind just having it, but I'm just a little bit shy. So, Ugh, I know. I do want to get to the desert. I wouldn't even mind going today, but uh, let me see. Do you have another really easy job I can do real quick? Let's do another fetch. All right, let's get going. Couldn't help but notice as I was passing by this place that inside here, if I just break this down, there is because I can't quite reach it. There's a weapons bag right there that I wouldn't mind getting. Who knows what it could have in it. Let's go ahead and throw on the looter goggles. Maybe give myself a little bit of a boost. Yeah, it's got a shotgun mod, which is kind of nice. Uh, I can actually go ahead and install that right away. Where'd it go? Right there. Those things out of inventory. Shan't be needing them. All right, reload this, because I probably will end up needing it later. There's a guy right there, actually. Doesn't seem to notice I'm here, so I'm just going to move on. Ah, it's in a prowling pizza. I got to go. Oh, okay, okay. 
Let's quick knock this out. I just want to get this uh, so I can get it done. So I can get that shotgun book before I head out. Hi, buddy. All right, he's taken care of. <laughs> and let's uh, let's start the quest. And there's another one right here. Kenny showed up. Hi, Kenny. Oh, thank you for dropping that stuff. I was about to switch my goggles, but maybe I won't. Oh, there's some more shotgun ammo. There's an axe. All right, I'll take that. Sweet. I was actually looking for one of those. I'm getting a lot of canned food. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this stuff just to kind of fill myself up a little bit so I can also open up my inventory space just a wee bit too. I do have uh, two cans of that right there in my rations, so I'm just going to hold on to those for right now. But sweet, there's an axe. Now, I could actually just kind of do this because let's actually rearrange my hotbar just a wee bit. Let's keep all the guns there. And uh, let's see, are all my guns reloaded? Oh, this one could use another round in it. Awesome. All right, now let's uh, uh, modify, take this out of the... Uh, I said uh, modify and take this out. I clicked on the wrong spot. Let's go ahead and uh, modify this as well and throw that in there. Sweet. All right, we got ourselves an axe. I don't really need that, so I guess I'll just scrap it. don't need one stone in my inventory either. Let's go in here and uh, see if we can't pop her. Oh, I missed her. Pop her in the face. Switch my uh, glass here so I get better XP and do a little extra damage. Now we need... Actually, we just need this, don't we? Why don't we just grab that? Now there are some... Uh, some uh, vending, not vending machines, but there's actually there is a possible vending machine. Oh, they're up in the ceiling, right there. So I want to check that. Wham! Take her out. Take him out too. These things are water fountains. Are the, the soda fountains I want to check because they could sometimes have crushes in them. These did not. They have golden rod tea, which I'll gladly take. I'm not going to complain at all about that. Uh, and then let's go in here and see what you got. This is a working vending machine. Very nice. All right, let's do. Do I have it marked? I do not. Let's go ahead and save this waypoint. Uh, we're going to call it vend. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's skedaddle because I, I got the quest done. I just need to get this uh, this book. Ooh, there's some food right here. What do we got? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got some sham chowder. Was that what that was? Yeah, sham chowder. Nice. Fortitude plus one. That's that's actually really nice. Can I throw this into something? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Everything's all full. I need to get some better armor. On the road again. I hear something squawking at me. I think I have a vulture chasing me. I do take that one out. I didn't bother to get the main loot in Carl and Pete's because I'm just not... Is there another one, really? Take that one out, too. Wow, vouchers are coming out strong now. I didn't bother to get the, the main loot from... Is there another one? Really? Oh, there's two of them. What's up with all the vultures? Is it because it's day six and it's almost Fortnite? There's another one, too. Holy cow, let's just go for it. Let's get out of here. Oh, run away, run away. He's flapping at me. Look at the little wings coming at him. Dodge, and then... Got him. All right, let's get back on the bike. What's up with all the vultures? Jeez. Correct, I did your thing. I did the thing you wanted. Kind of, a little bit. Armor, okay, I don't actually think I have a spot to put another armor pocket mod. So, oh, batter up volume three. Yeah, power attacks uh, to the legs, slow enemies. Absolutely, we're going to pick that one. All right, let's see your inventory. Actually, let's quickly read that. Open the doors. Yeah, because you have to. You're an NPC. All right, let's go ahead and sell that because I'm wearing one, I believe. And if I'm not, then that was foolish. Sell the mechanical parts too. Sell the crossbow parts. I won't be needing them. I don't think because I'm not going to be doing any of that. Uh, okay. I don't even really want to keep it. Let's sell the oil. Uh, all right. What else can I get rid of? I don't think there's anything else I really want to get rid of. But let's, um, now that I have some cash, I can actually buy that thing. There's also a shotgun auto turret here, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's use that so we have it. Now, do you have any ammo? Do you have any 7.62, for example? You, do you armor piercing? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be picky, but do you have any uh, 7.62? You do have it in here. How much How much to buy all of it? A whole lot of money? What if I bought, like, 25 rounds? Still not quite enough. What if I bought 20 rounds? How much is that? Buy that. All right, so that gives me a little bit extra, extra ammo there for the AK. It's not perfect, but it's something. Now, I've got to make a decision. Do I press forward? Let's repair that. Do I press forward into the into the, the desert, which has better loot stage? Let's actually uh, quick save that over there. Or do I head back home and make the baseball bat? I still got time. I got time. You know what? I got time. Let's head to the desert. Better loot stage means better loot, which means I have a better chance of surviving the Horde Knight. I can always build my Horde base tomorrow. I mean, granted, it's last second, but I could... <laughs> <laughs> I could absolutely build it tomorrow. So let's get out to the desert, see what uh, what kind of goods we can find there. We're going to go find some good POIs, and we're going to loot them. We stop off here at this working stiffs real fast, collect some of this right here, because that's some uh, building supplies right there. Although I primarily will be building with cobble. I'll probably start with wood frames. Let's see if we can't check this thing. It's empty. All right, I, I wouldn't mind looting this place, but... 
Uh, they could have the chem station schematic. Uh, no, you know what? We're gonna head to the better loot stage first. Where's my bike? Let me get on the bike. We're gonna go ahead to the better loot stage, and then we're gonna hopefully find everything we need there. Uh, the desert. Now, there is some incredibly dangerous stuff out here in the desert, like vultures and coyotes and hot weather, apparently. That's all stuff I'm gonna have to think about while I'm out here burning up in the sun. Speaking of vulture, there's one right there. All right, so yeah, there's vultures, there's terrible stuff, and of course there's always zombies and everything too. Do I hear another vulture already? I just got back on the bike. There he is, all right, let's get back on the bike again. <laughs> vultures won't leave me alone. All right, so let's see if I can't find something that would be worth looting while I'm out here. Higher loot stage out here. Let's see, there's a passing gas right over there. I wouldn't mind swinging in there and see if I can't find anything fun in there, including some vehicle mods. It's bound to be something in there. Plus, I think there's a weapons bag in this one, too. So, plus, there could be some dino fuel right here. It is hot weather, too. I gotta, I gotta do something about that. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna try to save my ammo, because the Horde Knight's coming up. And I don't really want to burn through that. All right, let's get some of this wood here. I think behind here is a bag. Also, yeah, there is. Check this out. I don't want to spend too much time down here because oh, let's get some water out of here because this hot weather is going. That's disgusting water. This uh, this hot weather is going to be really kicking my butt. So I gotta kind of move quickly uh, and get whatever I can. I believe there's a weapons bag. Yep, right there. I have. Oh, look at that. A vehicle. Um, um, uh, magazine extender mod. Let's modify this. Let's take the full auto mod out of there and put that in there instead. That way I can hold more ammo in my AK per magazine, which is. Probably gonna come in handy if I get in uh, big, big trouble. Let's see, can I put uh, can I put this? No, I can't in there. Although, uh, no. Hmm. Should I modify? Let me take this out of there and put that in there, and then modify, put that in there. That way, I'll save a little bit more inventory space. Let's reload all the guns. Reload the Dubsy. All right, it's got a got a red light, red dot sight on my Dubsy now. It's kind of fun. Let's go in here. Wake whoever up in here. Looks like there's two of you up there. Big Mama, and then there's a skinny dude here. And Big Mama is down. Let's go ahead and throw on the looting goggles, because we got some stuff to check out in here. Give me something good. A double pocket mod, actually. That's That could be really good. Let's see, what do we got? Triple on that one. Triple on that one. Single on that one. So let's uh, <clears throat> modify this. Take that out and put that in there. All right, what do we got in the car parts box? Anything good? Uh, tier 3 wrench, which is better than the one I'm having. I'll take the oil shale in case I have to start making my own... Uh, my own gasoline, but I think that's all we're gonna get out of this place. Oi! Excuse me. Alright, I think that's all we're gonna get out of this place. Let me break down this car a little bit so you get a little extra juice out of it. And then uh, refill the mini bike and we'll be on our way. Now, the best part about the mini bike, too, is that there is actually inventory space in here. How cool is that? So we can actually store some stuff in there. I think somebody's coming up behind me. I can probably sell that mod right there, too. Um, throw those on, throw that in there. Yep, there is somebody coming up behind me. Excuse me, Kenny, I'm a little busy. All right, sweet, it's filled up. All right, let's get on to some other POI now. Let's see if I can't find anything good. What's my loot stage out here in the desert? 40, okay, it was in the 20s back where I was. And that's that's 40 without my goggles on, so it'd be 43 with my goggles on. Some of these bigger places, I wonder if that has a better loot stage in it because they're like downtown. I don't know. I, I usually don't even come into these areas. This is kind of fun. Uh, stand Tower up ahead and it looks like it's uh, knocked over. That's kind of ironic. That's the Mega Crush company. I wonder if I can find a Mega Crush. I see a vending machine in the window right there. I wonder if that's active. There's a, a Higashi uh, a tower right there, which I know has a big loot stage. There is a cop zombie down there too. So this definitely has better loot in it. So I might as well start looting it and looking for some good stuff in here. Maybe I can even find something good in these things other than the regular books that I've been finding. There is a big snake on the road. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go past that. Bottomless uh, barrel buffet. There's also a medical vehicle in front of that, so maybe I can get lucky and find some good medical supplies there. What do we got? Anything good? Give me all the good stuff. It's kind of tempting to put a point. I don't need that, but the rest of that is actually really good. It mitigates some damage to me and uh, and always cure the infection should I get infected. Look at that. You can actually see the main loot right there. This is bulletproof glass, so that'll take a while to get through. I don't think I really need to go in there. All right, what do we got? We got, it's like two, it's almost three o'clock. So I want, I gotta pick something I can get into, loot, and then get out of here and get back to the base. Cause I need to, oh, there's some electronics places here. 
see, I know that there's drones that you can get in the game. Robotic drones follow you around. They got like good inventory stuff and whatnot. And this is a good place to find them. The problem is, is that I think you need to have a higher loot stage to find them. Tier six shovel. What does this do? Block damage seven or sixty-seven point something. Block damage uh, sixty. Yeah, it's not as good. Not as good. I'll take the wheel though. Uh, I think you need a higher loot stage to get it all for crying aloud. Ow! It hit me. Did it get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, but I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I can survive a hit from a bird. Good to know. There's a cracker book right here. Actually, that might be good. Okay, let's go in the cracker book. Let's see. I got um, I got my glasses on. So let's start looting as we go in. See if I can't find anything of any kind of value even. Now, these cracker books are kind of disappointing sometimes. This looks like a little one. Let's see if we can't wake everyone up. Oh, man. That guy scared me. I didn't know he was there. Take her out. These cracker books are usually little. Oh, look at that. There's an iron crossbow command. I'll just use it, but I could probably have sold that. They're usually a little depressing because all they have is paper. But they could. They could absolutely have. Is there anything above here? It doesn't look like it. They could absolutely have uh, better stuff in it. Like that crossbow thing would have been handy. I already know this one. Give me something I don't know. Hi, buddy. Didn't see you there. Scared the bejesus out of me. Whoo! Alright, took him out. Anything in here? Anything? Anything at all? No. All right, so the bookstore was a bit of a bust. Got some books that I can sell. Shotgun Messiah might be worth going into, actually, because there could be ammo in here. All right, anyone in here? Excuse me, I need to clear you out quickly. I don't have a lot of time to mess around, so excuse Oh, I'm also out of ammo, or out of uh, stamina there. Ammo for the arm is what the stamina is. <laughs> Take him out. All right, I just need to loot your uh, your store here really quick. Is that really so much to ask for? Let's close this so that if something does come flying through there, it doesn't get me. Uh, anything good? Do you have any ammo, for example? Oh, oh, here we go. Here's some good stuff. Hello. Uh, that's uh, that's definitely going to be better than what I got. Let's take off all this, and we'll uh, modify and squirt that right into there. That also gives me an extra spot, so I think I can store some more stuff. Do I have it on me? Not too sure. Let's go ahead and wear that. This thing has been good, but I can scrap it now. And then what was the other thing? This, uh, this armor right here, this arm armor. Um, scrap gloves. Let's see. Let's modify. Let's pull this out of there. And uh, modify. Uh, actually, we can just repair that, too, because it takes to take scrap to repair. And then modify that and throw that in there. All right, so we got a lot more inventory spots uh, now on, on our armor than what we had before. Let's actually wear that instead of, the, instead of forgetting to. Uh, maybe we'll keep that and sell it. Anything in your compartment up here? So that was actually already worth coming here. So we got some much better armor for, for, uh, for my character here. So that that should help me in the horde night if I take a if I take a hit or two. Oh geez, there's somebody here too. Wow, you scared me to death. Okay, do I want to go down there even? Tell me where to go. But I'm not actually trying to clear this place out. I was just trying to get some easy free stuff, which I did get. So, whew. all right, let's. Let's move on and see if we can't find anything else. There's another crack book right here, but it looks like it's closed. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try to get into it though. Oh, there's a coyote here. Don't you run? Oh, my gun's not loaded. Got him. That's what you get for biting me. I don't actually really need you are running, which means you are a feral. Here, another one running. Yeah, you're another feral. We got ferals in the area. Okay. Feral's dealt with. Coyote's dealt with. There's a cement mixer up ahead. I can see it right over there. Uh, ooh, here's a... This is where you find the better loot, I'm telling you. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's modify this. Take that out. Uh, modify that. Put that in there. And then we're going to be using this one for now on. This one I'm, I can sell. But I'm, I'm holding on to too much stuff is what's happening. There's a snake coming at me. There, got him. All right, there is a fair amount of food here that I might want to harvest up too, like from the snake and from the uh, coyote over here. We have a spider zombie that is growling and snarling at me. Come on, jump. Missed him. Would you stop jumping now? I'm out of stamina because I was busy swinging at him and missing. All right, what do you think the odds are that we can get the cement mixer out of this? Am I wearing the right goggles? I'm wearing the right goggles. It's not going to get any better than this. Please, I said please. I'll take the sand, though, because it'll be handy for making concrete. I wonder if that's working, Bendel. Let's run in quick and check. It's going to wake up everybody. I know it. It's not. Okay, let's run out of here. Actually, let's check these real quick. All right, I just had some 
So I'm papering. Excuse me, Kenny. Oh, oh, cheers, everybody. Just level up. If I would have known I was that close, I didn't pay attention before. I would have come in here way earlier. Let's go ahead and put these on for these last couple of kills. Get a little extra XP. Right in the knee. Oh, she did like the splits. That had to have hurt so bad. Okay, she went into crawling mode. I hate it when they do that. I'm gonna go crack her in the head, and she's like, nah, I'm gonna Neo dodge that. I hear footsteps. Oh, well, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, there's a, that's a dog. That's not actually a, uh... That's not actually a, uh, a coyote. That was a straight-up dog. So, yeah, I've got to watch out for those. I think that's because I'm in the city, not so much in the desert. I'm just tickling these POIs, too. I'm not actually, like, looting all of them completely. There should be a trader around here, shouldn't there? Now, I said those are usually on the east, right? So we could always go check the eastern side and see if there's a trader out here. But I do really want to get in here. What's the easiest way? It looks like there's a door behind this. So maybe if I bash this whole door and I can get in here. All right, finally got that door open. Let's get in here and actually see what we can get out of this crack book. Okay, let's put my looter goggles on here. Hopefully we can find something of some kind of value. That's not, though. Let's get your cash register here before you get mad and punch it. Let's take that lady out. Oh, I think she's... Yeah, she's dead. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. There's a beer recipe. Absolutely. If I'm living in a bar, that's kind of a must. Is someone coming in here? Yeah, there is a nurse walk in this way. Um, there's the hunting knife uh, recipe, which we already know. Hunting knife schematic. Excuse me. You are not welcome here. I should actually set up a fob here, but... I that's a lumberjack. Watch this. And... Oops, I was hoping you'd be punching the door. You just wait. Oh, how did you hit me through the door? That's cheeky. Cheeky. I say that as I'm cheesing him by hitting him through the door, or hitting him by closing the door in his face and reopening it. Did you just die? What else we got in here? Anything good? No. Let's see, is anyone in here? No, but there's another bookshelf thing. Oh, look at that. Structural ba brace mod schematic. I'll take it. Any uh, cheeky toilet pistol? Nope. I already checked that. There is a box here, which is nice. Let's go ahead and open that up. Anything in here? Ooh, uh, there we go. Weapon flashlight mod schematic. That's not too shabby. I wouldn't mind getting the helmet light mod schematic, because I actually still don't have a helmet light. It's a little embarrassing. I think that I would have found it by now, but it looks like that's it for this place. Whew. Anything upstairs come to think of it? Oh, Oh, where did she come from? Let's close that door. It looks like there's an apartment in there, and the inhabitants are not very friendly. Uh, let's see. Excuse me, pardon me. Ow! Oh, there are some bookshelves up here, though. So I will gladly search them. Uh, Iron Spear mod I'll use just to save on inventory space, and I don't know it yet. Uh, blade trap mod, uh, blade trap schematic. I'll use. I do have one of those because I purchased it, but I can make another one now. <clears throat> I wonder if I can actually get blade traps going. I don't really think I need them. Oh, there's a hunting knife, but mine's uh, significantly better. So we're gonna scrap, scrap, use the lead, scrap. Um, I wonder if I could set up blade traps on my for my first horde knife, but I don't really need it because honestly, the blade traps are a little bit overkill for the first horde. I think so. Let's uh. Let's just cram down these chairs here, smash up these chairs here, and then we'll uh, get a, a uh, move on here. I'm still trying to find anything. Ooh, where's this go? Oh, hi. There are some books up here. So it, it looks like coming up here is an, an extension of the uh, the bookstore, which is nifty. It looks like this is another apartment that got collapsed on. Nifty. I love the POIs in this, though. They're, like, they're really kind of clever. Oh over here. It's trying to fall off. If I break my leg, it's going to be really depressing. Oh, I heard a flap. I heard the flap. Ah, that's locked, huh? Not for long. Oh, there's a big weapons bag in here. The crickets are chirping also. Let's check the toilet first. Priorities. Let's go ahead and wear these real quick. Uh, I'll leave that there for right now. What do we got in the weapons bag? Ah, uh, just some rifle parts. Not much. All right, with the crickets chirping, I think it would probably be a good idea if I, like, wasn't here. <laughs> if I went home. <coughs> so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, check the toilet real quick while I'm in here for anything fun. No, nothing. Anything in the medicine kit? No, I can't open it. All right, let's 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 uh, let's get out of here. Ooh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't actually get up there. It's locked anyway, so... And that's the apartment I think I was just in. So, all right, let's get out of here. Let's uh, head back to the, the bar all the way back at my, at my house. I, just, I, I can travel at night. You know, I can travel at night. Let's... Let's... 
Let's see if I can't see anything else to loot while I'm here, because while I'm here, actually, can I throw anything in here? Can I stack anything in here? Okay, I can stack a little bit of stuff. But I should, oh, I wanted to check to see if there's a trader, right? I'm along the eastern side is what I always say. So let's head, let's head back to the east, actually, and see if I can't find a trader here to sell some of this stuff. And then, uh, and then, then we'll head back. Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. I, like, I don't want to leave because the looting stage is so much better here. You find better things. There is a shotgun messiah right here, a big one. Ooh, ooh, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time, but there, I believe there is some stuff right in the beginning. I need to wake everyone up. Everyone needs to wake up right now. Everyone wake up, get out of the store. Out of the store, come on. Come on, this way. Oh, there's even Lieutenant Dan crawling over here. There's literally everybody coming at me. All right, I'm just gonna loot this first part of the store right here, which, oh man, my inventory is full of stuff. Oh boy, let's go ahead and drink that. That should probably help with uh, some stuff. Let's open up one. I don't need fat, I don't need the bones. I can spare the leather. All right, let's quickly loot this place here because I need, let me get, I got my goggles on. I need, I need ammo badly. I did find the main loot in here. What do we got actually? Oh, there's another shotgun side book. Shotguns have 20% less segregation. Absolutely use that as well as a bipod mod. Can I actually throw that? No, this one's already full. Dang it, I can't throw it in there. Reload that real quick. Now I did find a lock safe here. I do have one lock pick. Might as well give it a shot. I don't really have high hopes that it's actually going to open because I haven't put any points in the lock picking whatsoever. But should this open, I can actually loot this without having to sit. Nope, never mind. I didn't. I was trying to talk over it, so hopefully it would think that I was distracted. How much do you have? Five thousand. I don't have time to knock you, uh, to uh, to cut you open here with this. So we're just going to save this and do safe and leave it like that. I can come back with a little lock lock picking candy later. All right, I did find a little bit of ammo, not much actually, but I did find some. So it wasn't a total waste. I found some nine uh, millimeter and uh, some uh, extra shotgun shells. So I think what I'm going to do is hop on the bike, and I'm going to get going. Actually, I think there's something in this uh, this this truck right here too. Stripper, goodbye. All right, so let's get the shotgun messiah crate open and hopefully find something good. Aha, magnum enforcer. There you go. Uh, sprinting with a 44 magnum drawn consumes 20% less stamina. I don't actually have one, but I'll take the ammo for sure. Baton parts are pretty terrible. I think what I'll do is I'll dig this stuff up. There is a coyote around. I'll dig this stuff up here because I'm going to need it for my horde base. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hop on my mini bike and spend the rest of the night just driving back <laughs> so I can sort all this stuff. All right. On the bike. Everything's dug up. It's almost nighttime. I got 15 minutes basically until the night hits. I did not find the trader over here, unfortunately. So maybe that east side thing is a bunch of BS. I also haven't checked the entire eastern side of the of the town yet. So this is the passing gas that I, I first went by. There's also a free manure sign in front of it so I can buy some crap there, I guess. Um, but I did not find the trader in this town, which is a little unfortunate. I suppose if I helped trader wrecked out, he probably would point me in the right direction as to where I'm supposed to go. I'm not going to do that. Uh, hopefully trader Jen one day shows me where this trader is down here because I wouldn't mind checking their stock. Today is day six, so they will restock tomorrow. There is a vulture. Excuse me. It is nighttime now. Everything's going to be running. They will restock tomorrow, which means I really should have actually, instead of searching that, uh... Shotgun Messiah, I should have actually been coming down here and checking this out instead. This is an incredibly large desert town, actually. I didn't realize it was going to be this big when I came down here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm not going to be really too upset about that, actually. I don't need this uh, this paper. I do need the gasoline, though. Thank you. Just going to refill the mini bike a little bit here. Uh, stop over and grab these. Actually, is that an ATM? That's an ATM here, too. I should probably mark this, too, so when I do come down here later, uh, ATM, when I come down here later, um, for the lock picking candy, I can absolutely get in there. But that's probably going to be for a later me. <clears throat> I was hoping to just head south here along the eastern border and find the trader, but I'm losing hope in that happening as time goes on. They're usually on the outskirts of town. All right, the eastern side has totally failed me, so I'm just hightailing it back home before uh, before the next stage shows up because I got my inventory is completely full. And, uh, and I, it's going to take me a second to get back there. Where, where actually is home, by the way? I'm way down here. I should actually create, like, a, uh, a safe house down here, actually. Let's do a quick safe on my base. I've got almost three kilometers to go to get home. So, I think I'm going to wrap this episode up, though, here while I'm driving. Actually, ooh, I almost ran off the road and smashed into that guy. While I'm driving here, we're going to come by and just hit this guy's business, man. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he hit me. Dang it. 
I'm going to wrap this episode up here, though. So if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Tomorrow is Horde Night. So next week, you're going to be seeing Horde Night. First Horde Night. Remember, after that, the difficulty gets raised up. So after that, I'm going to be uh, in a little bit of trouble. But I am going to head home, sort my inventory, get that baseball bat crafting. And in next week's episode, I will see you guys then. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one. <laughs> and bye-bye. Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die, playing a little bar life. And we are here at the bar. We're at uh, Crumpy's Pub, just chilling. I've been uh, doing a little work. Actually, you know what? One thing I completely forgot to do uh, was I forgot to make the baseball bat. 50 forged iron, huh? That takes quite a bit, but I got a bit. So what, what else does it take? Wood, leather, and duct tape. So let's grab wood, uh, leather, and duct tape. There it is. Let's get this baseball bat going right now. That way we can go ahead, bam, craft that. Tier four baseball bat, that's awesome. I actually have a skill point from last episode that I forgot to spend. I think a good spot to spend that would be in Sex Rex right here because right there, the Killing Blows grant 20 stamina. So let's go ahead and just spend it right there. Tonight is gonna be a lot of melee, I think, because it is Horde Night. There is a lady out there. Let's go deal with her real quick. Just because uh, I'm gonna be working outside here. I know it's early morning, it's not even daytime yet. Pop her head off. But I need to do some stuff at the start of the at the, the front of this base here to make this into an actual proper horde base. Like for one, I gotta get rid of part of this awning. Because, like maybe from right here. Because I gotta get out here and build in the front, so I gotta remove a section of this. Maybe if I just like remove the supports and this section right here, it'll just come crumbling down. That's still wood? Okay, fine. It looks like metal, but whatever. Um, it'll just come crumbling down, and I won't have to hack up this whole entire thing, because i got to get to building that. So I want to start this episode just a little bit early. Oh, there's little bits. There's little bits of it here. I want to start this episode a little bit early, because I've got some work to do. I've got a lot of work to do. I did make it back to the base here, uh, relatively uneventful from the desert last episode. Uh, some vultures kind of squawked at me, and I hit them, and they died, and that was about it. But... This part here, this this episode here, is going to be all about building up this base here because um, Horde is tonight, and I am not prepared for it at all. Now, I do have the zombies set to 24 instead of the, the default of 8, so it is going to be a little bit harder than a regular Horde, but not by much. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. Mainly, hopefully I've collected enough supplies over the last couple episodes to warrant uh, base building here. I'm hoping that once I sever this off in the back, I'll just crash it down and be done. But um, otherwise, I'm going to have to go collect supplies uh, to even build this. That's going to be a little a little sketchy because I don't really have a lot of time. So i got to come up with a design. And I remember seeing somebody playing this that came up with a design, a good melee design. I'm going to be borrowing that uh, that idea. I'm trying to remember who it was. It might have been Ja Woodle, actually. If you haven't watched him, definitely go check him out. Um, I'm going to be borrowing a design that I remember seeing from another playthrough because it worked really well and it should be relatively easy to build and it should work good for at least this early horde. It's, it's floating. It's magic. <laughs> Alright, so it's floating. I guess I gotta keep hacking at this until it comes crumbling down. The morning chime has just uh, sang its little tune, and I need a repair kit because this thing is in rough shape. Please, game. There we go. I was like, please, please keep going. Alright, so let's go ahead and repair that because uh, it needs it. Uh, how's my baseball bat doing? Oh, there it is. All right, sweet. We got the baseball bat. Let's go ahead and stash the materials back in here. What do we... Uh, well, let's, uh, let's let's take this thing out. Right, so this damage, melee damage, is 16.5. This thing does 20.5. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out of there and uh, modify and throw that in there. Do I have anything else? It only has two spots. I would have more, but I guess I, I'll make another baseball bat when I get there. Let's look under mods and see if there's anything I can throw in there. Not really. Not really. Okay, so it looks like that's just uh, all it's going to be right there. But that should help me out drastically, actually, because um, killing ba uh, zombies, although I haven't been having too much difficulty with it, it's going to be a lot easier now that I have that. But we're still working on tearing this thing down. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe the grumpy sign actually technically takes up a block, and that if I break these, it should come crashing down. Or possibly not. I have no idea. It looks like I just have to harvest up this entire thing. Okay, there it went. It finally collapsed. I don't know why it took so long. <laughs> I got done just like three blocks left, but there we have a clean surface to work with now. Now I do want to go through and remove all these weak patches right here too, especially on the ground floor, because zombies are going to be coming in, and I have to repair this place and get it up up to snuff for actually fighting off an entire horde. So let me go around the building here. They won't be able to reach that one, so the first two layers, this fence is in the way. It should slow them down. 
I think I think that's about it. All right, so I obviously need to upgrade the windows as well because they're still just wood. So let's get our materials out here. Let's grab all the cobblestone that we got, which is about 2,000, some that's actually really good. You can have a little bit of concrete, but I don't have a way to actually mix it yet. Um, if I need to make more cobblestone, I, I can do that. Let's uh, let's grab these uh, wood frames, and I think what I'll do is I'll start. Well, I could save on wood if I just skip that. So let's let's start making some some cobble uh, shapes. How many can I make? 200 some. Oh boy! All right, let's start off with 100. Start crafting those things up because uh, I'm going to use those for building the base, I think. And then I'm actually going to grab these wood frames also because if I want to experiment first, I can at least do that. And then we're also going to get our hammer out. At least uh, I think we only have one left. We're going to get our hammer out here so we can get to doing some building. Uh, I'm also smelting up, or I was smelting up some lead, and I got to get some bullet casings going. Craft a few more of those things. Now bullet tips are also another thing that I'm going to need. I'm going to get those things going too. Cook, cook all of these things. Because uh, I'm going to need them. I'm going to need them badly. <laughs> uh, I'm completely out of ammo uh, going into this Hornet, other than shotgun ammo, so I might heavily rely on Dubsy. The merchants should have restocked, so uh, I can always run and see what they have. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to get to building right away here. And I know the ground floor is going to be um, cobble, so I'm going to go ahead and slap that down. Now, the grumpy sign might have to get taken apart, so I might just say rumpies or umpies pub for a little bit, but that's, that's okay. Um, because, yeah, I do need a little bit of room to actually do this. I want to have at least a three-block gap in the middle. So that would be the gap. These would be the walkways. Something like that, yeah. So so Grumpy's is going to have to get, get taken apart there. But somewhere out here, actually, is where they're going to run up. And that should give me plenty of time to shoot them if I need need to. Let's actually get the, let's get the place where I'm going to be standing down pat right here. All right, and then I think it's gonna go one more. Hopefully that can hold that. Yeah, it looks like it can. Mm-hmm, all right. And then, that's gonna be the wall that's gonna keep him back. That gives me room to back up if I need to. I have to think about how the zombies are gonna be coming at me. So that means this is still gonna be one solid layer, and then that is where the killing pit is gonna drop them. But well, it's not killing pit, it's just, a, just an area to drop them down so I have to run back up. Okay, so that's not bad. And then maybe right here we add the supports. Maybe right here. Yeah, we'll add the supports so that way they actually it actually doesn't come crumbling down on me here. Like that. And I think these are outside of my my land claim, but they're not they shouldn't really be attacking them. I don't think. This is actually another reason why I want to grab these frames instead, is because I can pick these back up. Get up there and place that one. And let's eat over onto this one here. Place that one. Alright, sweet. Whew, all right, base building. Let's uh, let's go ahead and extend these guys down this way. So this is going to be the horde base going forward. Uh, now, I don't know if this is going to work out. I really don't know if this is going to work out. But um, it should. Let's just put it that way. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this right across. And we're going to leave this open so that they can fall in it. But right here, this will be an area where they can actually walk on. Gives me time to shoot them. I might be able to throw a blade trap or two in there. Um... Now I want them to climb up here. Let's let's double this up just so that in the event that um, they go into destroy everything mode, if they, when they fall down here and they start attacking this, that they don't break it completely and the whole thing falls down. But then let's start building this out, and we're gonna build a stairwell for them to get up here, just like that. All right. So we want the zombies to get up here because I want them to get to right about here where I'm gonna murder them. Now this actually I want to build out just a bit. And sure, we'll put one right there, too, so it's attached to the building. And uh, same thing on the other side, right here. Like so. Okay, Jen should have just opened, too. I'm tempted to go make a quick run there, but let's actually give them another walkway from over here as well. That way there's two spots where they can jump up here to get up top. And... You know what? I wouldn't mind making these things slope backwards. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, that's a lot. Dang it. This is why I should have used the wood shape. I want, I want to make these ramps sloping backwards. Because then, when the zombies come here, if I crack them in the head with a melee attack, and they fall, hopefully they'll fall down here. So this is going to take a second. Let me hack these things up. Alright, hopefully that wasn't just a colossal waste of time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to shape. And we're looking for just good old-fashioned wedges. 
Um, I'm thinking they could, it could just be, that's not it. Where's, where's just the regular wedge? Ah, it's actually called a ramp. Okay, so that's why I couldn't find it. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing and put it right there, just like that, because um, uh, because I want the zombies to fall down here. So this is what they'll do is they'll force them down there once I hit them, and then they'll have to run back up here. So now that we got those things, let's actually look at this and just do a uh, copy shape so we can get back to where we were before. Now I have to build an area for me to stand in. So I'm going to go with like this. And up one more like that. I also have to keep in mind that birds are going to be a thing. I didn't really think about them at first. Uh, this should be able to come across just like so now. So that'll be my killing field right there. Um, Grumpies, you are fantastic, but you are absolutely going to have to go now because i got to make room. Ooh, okay, that's uh, that's not really what I was thinking it was. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and fill this in so that I can actually stand in here. I want to keep that light if I could because it, it works very well for an actual light source in here. I'm kind of out of uh, cobble shapes here, so let's make another 20 more, let's say. Uh, I still have plenty of cobblestone, so I did collect enough of that, thankfully. But I kind of want to bring this up here, and then I need to cover this up, this roof up, and I want to be able to at least move my... Oh, oh no, i got to break these things down. Oh, 5,000 in them each. Dang it. That's going to suck. That's no fun. All right, let's go ahead and reinforce this up a little bit. Maybe maybe I don't have to, actually. I got an idea. I got an idea. <laughs> I don't want to break those down. Uh, I have an idea, but let's... Uh, actually, I'm going to need these, and let's go into shape, and we're going to go to plate. Uh, maybe sheet, is it, actually? Yeah, it's sheet. Okay, so I should be able to... If I do advanced, I should be able to put this on the ground like that. And now all I have to do is get up there. How do how do I get up there? Actually, let's use these things to get up there. Anything up here? <laughs> uh, that way, I can actually take these and just set them on top of there. Although it doesn't really connect, does it? Oop, I fell. Oh, I fell down. I didn't mean to fall down. Yeah, this still. Oh. Because I want to set it up on top of them, which I can. But then it doesn't really... There's a gap. That's going to bug me. Ugh. Ugh. All right. I'm going to have to break these things down, too. That's going to suck. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Because that is going to take forever. We're going to just put some sheets down on top of this. And I think we're going to call it a good day. I don't really like this, uh, this solution. But I, I can't be breaking those things down. Otherwise, I'll, I won't be ready for Horde Night. Oh, uh, it was a little bit of an oversight. I didn't realize that they were going to be that strong. Uh, let's uh, copy shape and uh, copy rotation and place that right there. So that covers me a little bit and maybe I'll do some makeshift stuff as far as like, uh, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. Oh, this is so stupid, I don't like it. I'm only gonna, uh, simply because I need some place, I can't let the birds get in here and I don't think they can easily get in that way. Yeah, well, mm, I guess, okay, we're up, we'll, we'll upgrade these. And uh, to wood at least, and that should keep the birds out of here. Hopefully, I don't like it. I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Uh, this uh, was this a truss or something? Or the, the the lip on the edge of the wall? Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. But I'll do that later because I don't I don't want to be. It'll take all episode to knock that down. So you can see the letter uh, for day seven has changed over, which means that it is actually horde night now, um, or it is officially horde night. They're coming. Now, whether I like it or not, they're coming. So I kind of got to... I saw something damaged. Oh, that thing over there. Let's repair that up a little bit. I got to do something here, though. I got to actually put something in the way for the zombies here so that they can't get through. So let's, uh, let's experiment first. Let's do shape, and let's get rid of that. And we're going to do half blocks. What's she doing over there? Did she just, like, fall over and die? I think she's died. Maybe it's old age. Um, all right, I got, I got to come up with some way to block this up so that I can actually get... Uh, at the zombies too. What about poles? Can I just use poles? What about this? Center side pole? That's kind of interesting. A double pole. Basically what I'm trying to do is, and we're going to have to switch this to advanced also, what I'm trying to do is get it on side like that. Now, if I did that and then did it again on the top, would that work? That's not right. Would that work? Cause so they'll, they'll run up here to try to get to me, although I can't really see very well there. What if 
Like this bottom one's fine, but the top one, what if I change that to something else to like this one right here? Oh, it's gotta go uh, advance. Let's get that right there. Would that keep them out is the question. It's a pretty big if, because can they get through here? Can I get through here? I can't get through, although I'm kind of seizing trying to. I wonder if that would keep them out, and that gives me a very clear line of sight on them. Ooh, but if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Although, there are zombies around. You know what I can do? You know what I can do? There's zombies around. What if I go get one of their attention? Let's jump down here, actually, real quick. Oi! Is this one actually dead? That one actually did die. I saw one over here. Let's go get this guy's attention. And we're going to use him as a guinea pig to see if he can get to me. Oi, hello! Follow me this way. You are not a very fast person, but that's okay. That's fine. I'm not going to complain. All right, he's on his way eventually. He's really taking a sweet time. He might lose me, actually, in this amount of time, so I need to get his attention. Does he see me now? He might see me. Let's see if this base works, actually. He's coming. Let's, let's, uh, this one I'm pretty sure is good, so we're gonna secure this one in place with wood. Where did he go? Did you fall down? Did you, you suck at climbing up here, buddy. And he's, I'm building an entire fortress up here by the time you get here. I'm actually gonna upgrade this fully because that way if he hits it, he doesn't break it immediately. And if I need to tear it down, it's not too sturdy, so it's fine. All right, so can you get through here? No, you seem to be struggling. You also would like to jump, which is nifty. I wonder if they'll be able to crawl through it, which that could be an issue. And if that's an issue, I'm gonna have to retreat inside there, so let's just deal with him. All right, so no, they can't get through there, which is good. Uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Did he hit anything else? Looks good. All right, we have some stuff. We're gonna upgrade these fully. All right, so this is gonna be where they have to come at me then. I was thinking about using a different type of block that I remember it's like a point something shape one instead. Yeah, these ones right here. I was thinking about using these things and turning them sideways, but uh, I think they patched that, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do, uh, let's do a, uh, which I mean, boy, it's it's really good too. So like like that basically is what I'm saying. So you see, then you have all this open space. You can also put one down here too. See, look at that, tons of open space. And I don't think they can crawl through that. Although maybe the bottom. It might be worth my while to keep it there anyway, because if they do crawl through that, it's just one more obstacle for them to get through then. And this would actually work for keeping me back far enough that I don't get hit, and I'm pretty sure I can still hit them. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave it in the frames like this. This is an extra barrier type thing, and I can quick upgrade it if I need to, if things really get crazy. But one thing I want to do is I want to tear this block out specifically because I want to put a hatch here so that if things do go bad, like really bad, like they break through on day one. I have a, a means to actually escape this. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that for right now. And we're gonna slap that bad boy uh, advanced. Let's turn it upside down, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade this fully, or at least to wood. And then what we should do, let's go grab some of these guys. Oh, that's steel, no, never mind. And uh, we're gonna make a hatch, iron hatch. What am I missing? Oh, it, it takes scrap iron, look at that. I'm not using the wrong thing. So let's, uh, let's make a hatch uh, door, and we're gonna put that right here on the face. That way, if things go really bad, really, really bad, I can retreat in here and we can always see the hatch thing and hope that holds them back. The last, last ditch effort, you know. Um, boy, I don't know which way this thing actually goes. I think it's that way. Dang it, all right, I gotta make another one. Like that. Aha, all right, that worked better. Sweet, uh, awesome, let's upgrade that thing. We're gonna want it to be as full as possible. I want to upgrade it as far as I can without using uh, forged iron, though. So let's go ahead and put that, that away. All right, there we go. So that way, that'll keep them back. It's very basic base, but if this fails, I'm gonna need to go with that. They managed to get the light in here. I am actually still getting rained on, but probably because of the giant hole in the ceiling. Uh, but we still need, because birds could be a problem, we still need spikes, don't we? So let's make a few of these things. I don't know how exactly many I'm going to need. I'm going to make eight for right now, and we'll see what that does for us. I need uh, easy access to the roof. I guess I kind of have it, actually, in here. All right, so we got these spikes we got laid down up here. I'm going to be primarily fighting right underneath here. So we're going to go ahead and just layer them. I know they're kind of floating, which looks a little weird, but that's because I used the sheets right there instead of uh, whole blocks. The sheets are actually right here in the way, too, but I can put them down like that. Looks really weird, but it should keep the birds off my back. 
All right, misplaced one, but it still should <laughs> should work. Don't really care if those things look too fancy anyway. I know it's floating. I got to repair that entire roof, but to do that, I got to take off that little lip. Okay, so it's almost noon, which means it's almost an airdrop. So I think what I'll do is I'll sort this stuff out here and put it all in there for right now. And what I should do is go and get this airdrop when it, as soon as it comes down. That way I don't have to try to find it later. Whew. All right, and I'm also going to load up all my sellable stuff into my inventory because i got to go sell all this stuff. Um, if I had a sugar butts, which I think I do, actually. I think I have one. I could absolutely take that and get a nice little chunk of change out of selling all this stuff here. Um, let's take this, uh, take that and put it down here. Let's do tools, put that away. I'm going to sell this extra wrench because I don't really need it. Sell all the rest of that stuff. All right, I think we're good there. I think we're good. It should be everything I want to sell. Let's uh, let's get downstairs because the airdrop's going to be coming in here. It's uh, every third day, and I don't really want to spend forever trying to look for it. So I think, oh, I should have actually hightailed it out to the desert, actually. That would have been a smart move because then I would have had a much, much better... Oh, I heard the flag. I thought I heard a flappy bastard coming at me. Um, that would have been a much smarter idea because the higher loot stage and stuff like that. Didn't think about that. Too busy trying to get the horde bait. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> I will fix that up there. Later, once I can actually dig, once I get the time to dig through that that uh, that little lip over there, and I can actually put a proper roof on it. But for now, that's just gonna have to do. <laughs> All right, where is this airdrop coming in? Uh huh. I hear it. It's dropping it, like right on top of me. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Not too shabby. All right, let's go see if we can't snag this. All right, I'm kind of underneath it. It's gonna take a while to get down. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this time to collect up some wood, you know, for more building supplies and whatnot. Because it's going to take a hot minute to get, to get down here. And uh, I don't want to waste this time just standing around. So maybe I'll grab some of this. Maybe grab some clay. Yeah, we got a little bit of time. All right, it finally landed. Took a little bit. And it's turning foggy immediately. Well, let's make sure I got my looting goggles on. What do we got? Anything good? Uh, some cat food and a food bundle. Okay, well, I mean, food is always good. So let's go ahead and open that too. we got. We got 10 blueberry pie. You know, that's actually not terrible. I mean, I've, I've seen worse ones. Having a bundle of food in them is about as good as you can get, really. I mean, that you can hope for. So, not, not too shy. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Do you want to test out my new baseball bat? I just made it. Oh, yeah. That was some good stuff. Whew. Was it good for you guys, too? <laughs> Look at all of them. Dunzo. I'm going to give that actually a little tea bag there. <laughs> all right, let's 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 get on to Trader Gen here. Sell all the stuff that I have. Then we're going to probably head back to the base, make sure everything's good. Maybe do some looting around town. Someplace close, knock out a job or two for her. I don't really want to go too far away from base, though, because Horde Knight's coming. I need to get more ammo, actually, is what I really need. So why don't I actually head over to Jen's, see if she's selling any ammo. And if she, oh, I'm hungry. And if she is, buy it if I can. If not, knock out a couple of quests, no problem. Get some cash, get the ammo. Plus, I can make my own ammo too. I forgot I have the bullet tips crafting back home, so I gotta actually kind of open up my uh, forge, throw those into the workbench, and uh, and use some of that stuff. Oh, I didn't think you had it in you. I did. Good job. Big surprise. All right, let's do a clear zombies really work? close. Old bungalow. I, I think this that's not my place. Work. So, but see, what do you have in your inventory? So you should have a brand spanking new inventory now, so I gotta actually comb through this carefully. Oh, oh, cheers everybody, just leveled up. Absolutely fantastic. Time charges are always a lot of fun. Scrap boots, actually, I think are better than the ones I got. What do you got in here? Anything really good? Automatic weapons handbooks. Ooh, can craft the M60 machine gun. She's got a motorcycle for 20 grand. Okay. All right, that, that chance. Oh, she's got a pump shotgun. Ooh! Okay, so she's got some tremendously good stuff. Look at all this stuff. She's got grenade schematics. She's got sniper. What the? <laughs> she's got all this stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's got insane stuff. Got it. Got it. Okay, so pumpy for sure. I want to get the pump shotgun. Absolutely, because that's better than the dubsy. Um, let's see. Damage uh, propeller is 12 point whatever. It's hard to tell. It's 13 something on that one, but it is also magazine size is seven, whereas uh, dubsy is only two. So that would be tremendously good to get. Motorcycle would be phenomenal. I know I just got the mini bike, but let's see. I can get about I can get over ten grand per day. So if I, oof, okay, um, uh, I can also lower it with that. Which if I use it now to sell all this stuff, I, you know, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use so we can get a little better deal with uh with selling all this stuff. 
And so that will at least make our money back on that. So let's go ahead and use sell all these things here so we can at least get our money back for the sugar butts. Hopefully I can find another one before I have to buy that um, uh, that uh, motorcycle. But that should give us, look, I got us a lot of money right there. Now I do want to get this because I think that would be kind of fun. Or do I save it and go for the motorcycle? Which one's more valuable, the M60 machine guns? Which it is. It kind of is. Oof. I can almost buy the double barrel right now. Uh, oh, this extra wrench I can sell as well. I can almost buy the double barrel. Well, Hold on, let's see. Let's see. Let's see your job real quick. Uh, how much time? Nine minutes. Let's go do your job real quick. Ah, this place. Got it. Okay. Let's uh, let's check the uh, this thing. See if I looted it already. No, I already did. All right. Let's go ahead and reset. This should have a cement mixer here as well. Let's put on my looting goggles real quick and check that thing because it's got ooh big uh, leg spiker. Right it's gonna be really important. Hopefully, I got it. No, I'll take the sand though. Let's grab whatever's in here, unless it's just paper. Okay, we'll take that. All right, so building supplies, always handy. Although I did just build basically my whole place, so maybe not as handy. Let's jump over here, crouch down, see if I can reach it. I can, look at me go. So I gotta get in here and empty this place out quick. My stamina regen is gonna be garbage since um, since I'm thirsty. Hopefully I'll find some water in here. Ooh, look at that, that was very nice. Take this one out too. Oh, I'm loving the baseball bat. Oh, sweet. All right, use that for sure. I got a little bit of ammo in there, too. That was very nice. Very much appreciated. Anything in here? Anybody in here? What do you got in here? Anything? Nothing? Oh, there's a backpack up there. Scrap those. Won't be needing that, so let's get out here. Okay, clear the area. Focus. Focus, Grimer. Clear the area. Oh, I actually just remembered I'm not wearing these. So let's uh, let's get up here, it looks like, is where we're going, where this PY is leading us. Anything in here? There's Lieutenant Dan. You ain't got no legs. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh no, I was wearing the right things. I was wearing the right things. Now I'm just a doof. I'm getting all upset for no reason. Excuse me, sir. But I do need to clear out this place. So let's get to killing some stuff. All right, this place has been officially cleared. I do want to get in here quick and grab the loot if I can. There is a lock thing here, so I'm going to have to mark down the map because I don't have, I don't have the time to uh, to open it right now. So that's kind of a thing. Let's put on my looting goggles real quick so I can get a little boost there. Don't be needing them, or won't be needing them. Uh, ooh, there's a wrench schematic. I guess I'll use it. Not really super important right now because I have plenty of wrenches. Let's go ahead and get this. Uh, we'll use that for sure. Okay, that's just a regular storm. That's not a warning me. I don't have time to lock that open or bust that open. Let's go ahead and mark this as save, save, uh, locked box, we'll call it. That way I know it's down below someplace. What do we got in here? Anything good? Um, I don't think that's going to be as good as what I'm wearing, but we'll go ahead and take it anyway. All right, let's go ahead and dig our way out of here because this is the one where there's actually a, a place where you can dig up and I mentioned it like an episode or two ago where there's some good loot just underneath the ground here and it's right here underneath these uh, piles of stone and these crates and stuff all right I'm free I'm free all right let's get out of here uh, let's stand up and get out of here Ugh, let's get back to this all right we got to get back to Jen who's that way so we're gonna go that way all right Jen I did the thing let's see make let's make sure I got these goggles on let's talk to you there uh, there's a robotic sledge tier five. Ooh, that's ooh, a steel pickaxe. Melee uh, block damage 76 or 78. I can't, I can't see numbers apparently. That's okay. And stamina cost 18 for this one. Stamina cost for this is 27. So it does almost double damage and it takes almost double stamina. Well, not quite double stamina. That robotic sledge would be extremely handy, especially with Horde Knight coming up. But I think I have a sledge. Robotic sledge, I might not, but even if I don't, steel pickaxe. We're gonna, have, I mean, how can you? Armor pocket mod, I don't really need. I already have plenty of pocket mods, so we're gonna go with that. Let's see, do you have any jobs? We're gonna take one more oh, just to have it. Oh, and then right I here, let's uh, look at your inventory. And uh, let's see, I still got the sugar butts going, so let's go to pump shotgun, which I have plenty to get now. I actually have five grants, so that's already like a quarter. Look at it, drops it down to 1950. Okay, so let's buy the pump shotgun for sure. Can I even buy the automatic book? I can. Let's, uh, let's buy that too, sure, why not? What was the other things I wanted to get while I was here? Is like grenade mods, which would be nice, but uh, Magnum and Force, I wouldn't mind doing. Eh, it's not that important, actually. Thanks for the business. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and Since read that one. And then let's start selling some stuff while I still have this. I didn't even check to see if that was better than what I had, but whatever, it's gone now. I'm not going to worry. I have a wood spike trap for some reason. I guess I made one too many extra. I don't need that level six pipe machine gun, and I don't need badon parts at all, I don't think. 
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, modify. I got a minute and 18 on the on the uh, the thing there, so on the sugar bus. So modify. Well, this only has one spot, so let's put the duckbill one in there. It's horizontal spread. That way, it'll take off the heads of of zombies. Let's go ahead and replace that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll sell. Uh, let's see. We'll sell Dubsy. Yeah, we'll sell that one. Okay. Sorry, but I've never heard of a It's a it's a, from a different game, Jen. That's why I haven't heard of it. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jen. You've been a doll. Uh, what if we dumped our inventory, ran over to the other gen? It's getting a little late in the day. Ran over to the other gen and saw what she had. I think I have a quest for her over there, too. Uh, oh, is this in the... Uh, oh, I could actually knock out this quest really fast, really fast. It's right across from my place. It's in the forever video. Yeah, it's in the forever video. I think that's kind of worth going and doing right away since we're here anyway. Let's restart this thing. All right, baseball bat, do your job. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Just level up there. Clear out basically this entire place here, except right here. There is a big boy right there. Hopefully I didn't wake him up. I'm not exactly the most stealthiest person, but if I can get up next to him with this guy. Nope, he woke up. Most of those, so the first two shots hit the computer, so that was a little unfortunate. Anyway, that's taken care of. There is another safe here, too, that I don't really want to bash into, so we're just going to mark it down. Uh, save. Safe. There we go. Done. Don't have to worry about that at all. Grab the keys here, because that unlocks this door right here. And then we can actually bash our way into this with the new steel pickaxe we made. That's the thunder telling us that there's terrible things coming. Let's go ahead and equip the looting goggles here. Lo uh, loot this place here. Ooh, a rad remover. That's pretty nice. All right, we're going to take all of that stuff right there. And, uh, ooh, look at that. Times 8 scope, another reflex sight, another pipe rifle. Kind of nifty. What do we got in here? Uh, some uh, stuff that's not as good as what I'm wearing. We'll just take it anyway. Check the trash real fast. Grab the lead because that's always going to come in handy. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that I super badly need. So I'm not going to waste any more time in it. All right, let's go get the main loot. But of course, there is going to be stuff guarding it. Ooh, let's check this out. There is a water thing right there I'll grab. There's going to be stuff guarding it. Didn't I press the thing? Did I forget to press the thing? Did I just completely forget to do that? I did. There we go. It opens it up. Oh, I forgot this backpack too. Uh, don't need that at all. Scrap it. I'll take the Molotov. All right, so let's go get in here. There's going to be stuff guarding it though, of course. I'm getting... I'm kind of hungry too, so that's unfortunate. But hey, oi! Zombies! Oh, I don't have my, my XP goggles on. Stripper. Kenny. Former spider. Stripper again. Hey, stop beating on the toilet. Oh, I missed her because I stepped up a little block there. Okay, so they're all cleared. She's just chilling here. She's just taking a seat. She's a little exhausted. All right, let's get the looting goggles on again. Let's crack open these crates and see what we got. All right, everything's open. This does have a locked chest in it, too, that I marked on the map already, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's see what we got in these uh, these bo uh, boxes here. Stuff I already know, stuff I could use probably somewhere down the line. Uh, let's see, a wooden bow schematic. I don't really need it, but I'll, I'll learn it just to save some inventory space here. Ammo, always appreciated. That's actually kind of what I need. Let's go ahead and use this corn right away. Actually, I should probably just eat this, too, while I'm at it. Uh, we have one back at the base, but that should take care of my hunger thing. Let's check the weapons bag. What do we got? Uh, some more baton parts. Absolutely useless. Okay, so uh, we got some medical supplies, and then we got the reinforcing anything in the toilet. Uh, nope, but I'll take it. All right, sweet. So let's just loot the stuff on our way out because we got everything done. It is getting a little late, which means it could be a little dangerous to stay out here much longer. All right, that's fine. We'll just leave all the rest of whatever's in there. Old sink, cheeky wrench in here. Oh, no, there's a bottle of acid. I'll take it. Let's grab the rest of that. Do I have some coffee? Coffee. Let's drink that. All right, check the lockers on the way out here. Some pipes, sure, why not? We'll grab them and we'll scrap that. Okay, I gotta get going here because the crickets are chirping. It's getting nighttime. Horde night is only three hours away, so let's go hit up Jen real quick. Maybe grab another job and then uh, and then we'll uh, head back to the base, sort things out, get all of our stuff ready. Better to be prepared early rather than push it to the last second. Jen, I did the thing. Wow, I didn't think you Ooh, had a tier five pistol. Job. Ooh, there's this thing though I don't have yet. After getting hit, uh, after hit, yeah. After getting hit, brawling attacks are 20% more. Fat. I'm not really doing the brawling thing, but this is kind of amazing. So I'm gonna definitely pick that one. 
Do you have any jobs? Let's see. There's a restore power at night, which I'm not interested in doing, but let's do a clear zombie. Thanks, don't mind man. the gun pointing at your face, Jen. It's all good. Uh, let's sell some stuff. I don't need the pipe shotgun. I don't need this extra wrench either, so we're going to sell this. A lot of cards I'm going to keep. Uh, all the mods I'm going to keep. I already know that, so you can have that. There's a siren or a speaker in case I need to do something with that. Let's sell that. I'm not going to be using a pipe rifle or the pipe pistol at all, especially since it's got this much better pistol. Then. In fact, let's modify. Oops, uh, I did not mean to do that. Let's modify. Double click there on accident. Uh, modify. Throw that in there. Throw the rad remover in there, too. And throw the red dot. <laughs> How many sights are going to be on that thing? Actually, I would sell this pistol, but I'm going to break it down for the parts instead. I think it's going to be more valuable for if I get like the SMG schematic or something. I'm going to want that. There's like a billion different sights on this thing, Jed. <laughs> Alright, um, is there anything else I need to sell while I'm here? I don't really think so. Baton parts, you can have those. I don't really want those, Jen. Alright, what do we got? The gyrocopter. Okay, the gyro I, I think the gyrocopter is a death machine for me since I don't know how to fly it anyway. And maybe somewhere down the line I'll get that. But it's also 120, 112,000, so I'm not going to do that. Remember, if we find a sugar butts, I can break that down to just under 20,000 for the motorcycle. Plus, if I have any kind of thing to drink, there's some type of drink that I can drink to lower or increase my bartering, which I believe I do have. So I do have quite a bit of stuff here, actually, as far as, like, cash. Got a fair chunk of change. But we did grab a quest for her. And it's right over there. And I don't think I have enough time to do it and get back to the horde. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base, get my stuff sorted, double check that my horde base is ready to go, actually. Oh, I hope I, I, hope I don't die tonight. <laughs> Because remember, after today, though, uh, the difficulty increases. So I'm, I'm going to turn the difficulty up from its uh, from its default setting up to whatever the next one is. I don't even know what it is. Uh, I think it's like Nomad or something like that. Or I'm not too sure. But whatever one stage above the default is, I'm going to turn that up uh, one, one stage. And then we're going to uh, have to progress to the next. Oh, I need to fix this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make some... Oh, I got upgrade. Oh, thank God, I came back. I, I got upgrade all of my uh, my windows too. I almost made a really big dip to that moment there. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade these to wood, at least. Like I said, it'll buy me a couple extra seconds, basically, if uh, things go bad. And this should keep them far enough away from me, that, uh, or me far enough away from them, that I don't actually get hit, I'm thinking. At least that's the reason for them. We have a nice little light out here already. Although, do I have, like, a like a candle? Do I have a candle? I thought I had a candle. Let's just take this one pop that right off the wall. Put that out here, too, so to make sure that we can, because, actually, what I should do... Let's see, I got an hour. I got an hour. Calm down. Everyone calm down. Okay. What I should do is I should put this outside so that I can see them a little bit better because it's going to get pretty dark out here pretty soon. Uh, so let's... Uh, there. Hopefully they don't hit that. At least provide a little bit of light because I still don't have anything. I think I have... I thought I had a, a light mod on one of these things, but apparently I don't. I don't have a lot of ammo. That's all I have for ammo. It's going to have to do. Let's go ahead and get rid of the shovel also. I'm not going to be needing the shovel. Uh, Shovel away. All right, let's get out to our horde base. Whew, hopefully this works. Hopefully this holds up. I, I mean, in theory, this should work. Now, it's not going to work so well for, like, cops and stuff like that if they show up because they can totally throw up on me here. But this is only the first horde night. I'm not expecting that to happen. Famous last words. It looks like they're coming here, though. Let's start, uh, let's start this thing off right with a little bit of fire. All right, so she's stuck there. That's good. Wanna come this way? Eh? Wanna come this way? Stop beating on my walls. Take her out too. All right, this look, this looks like uh, these these little quarter things are keeping them back away from me pretty good. That guy's just praying, praying to Jesus. <laughs> oh boy, here they come. Oh, let's uh, deal with this guy first, and then uh, maybe cheeky Molotov. Light the guys on fire back there. Get them good and burning. Take that guy. Oh, he's gone. He's down the pit. Baseball bat doing work. I did not bring any repair kits, so that's that could be a problem. All right, here they come. Okay, that guy ran over where he's supposed to. These guys that come on from the other side don't really want to do that. There's a lot of them coming up right there. I'm really tempted. Ooh, there's a boot bag. I'll have to get that in the morning. I'm really tempted to chuck a Molotov that way. Light them all on fire. Zombies, get out of my bar! 
Uh, hit that guy right in the knee. Ow, okay, they can't hit me. Okay, so that guy's crawling now. I wonder if that's gonna do anything. Uh, cheers, everybody. Oh, she got in. Look at that. So when they crawl, they absolutely can get in. Nifty. Good to know. Out of stamina, so we're gonna go live. Didn't name down the sights there because uh, stamina usage happens when you just look down the sights, apparently. Let's get a Molotov out here. Burn all of them coming up that way. Hit that guy back in the pit. You too, Kenny, get out of here. Brittany, we ain't got time for your crap. Whew. All right, so it looks like the base is holding up. If they start crawling, that's an issue, though. So I wonder how well it's going to hold up against dogs, though. Baseball bat's doing some work, but the stamina drains really rapidly when uh, using it, even with the sexy Rex up so far. The pistol never runs out of ammo, and unless it runs out of ammo. Um, is that it? I don't hear anyone else. Did we make it? I think we made it. I'm gonna go down and check, but I think we're good. How's the damage doing? Any Anyone all messed up down here? I think we're good. All right, let's throw on the looting goggles. And see what good stuff we got from uh, from that horde. Some more medical supplies and cash and ammo. Always enjoying seeing that. More ammo. All right. It looks like we might have our ammo thing under control. I don't think those are as good as what I have. No, they're not. All right. Well, we can sell those. All right. So I think that's it. I mean, uh, we survived the horde nights. The next episode will increase the difficulty. Ooh, that's going to be fun when that happens. Let's see. What do we got in here, actually? Let's grab all these things here. What are we really short on? I think 762 is always a good thing to go with. So let's go with uh, seven. Oh, I need gunpowder. Oh, gunpowder. I didn't even think about that. Um, I got 21. <laughs> 762 ammo right there. We could do the high-powered ones. Oh, no. That, those are locked. Never mind. We can't do those. So let's go ahead and craft what we can. Seven whole rounds. Look at us go. I need to, I need to invest in gunpowder more. I haven't been collecting that at all. Like, nitrate powder, I have four. Okay, so that's terrible. Charcoal, I don't, or coal, I don't have much of either. It's pretty bad. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna sort all this stuff out that I just got, and I think we're gonna call it an episode there. So, we, we survived. Look at us go. High five, everyone. We survived the first Horde night. Not too shabby. Uh, next episode, I'll be bumping up the difficulty, so I gotta worry about that. But uh, that's, that's definitely a, a me in the future problem here. So you guys just get this. Actually, it's not your problem at all. It's entirely mine. Uh, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. We did make it through one Horde Night. Eee, okay. I'm nervous now. Because I usually only play on the standard difficulty. So from here on out, this is going to be difficult for me. Uh, but So if you guys are enjoying the series, though, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this series. I'll see you guys next week. It's going to get more difficult. Everybody take it easy, and bye-bye. Hey, everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Bar Life, and uh, I kind of forgot something about Seven Days to Die. Uh, whenever you exit on a Horde Knight and come back, <laughs> and uh, the Horde Knight's not over, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, how'd you get in here? Uh, that This happens. You actually get, uh, ooh, well, you actually get beat up pretty bad. Ooh, okay, let's get in here. Okay, so, yeah, I forgot about this. When you exit on a Horde Knight and come back, uh, it respawns the Horde. So, yeah. Good thing I exited j just before 4 o'clock. But, uh, yeah, welcome back. We're, we're after the Horde Knight. I did bump up the difficulty. Let me discuss that real quick. Uh, because I said at the beginning of this series, as I'm murdering these guys, I said at the beginning of these series that, uh, the series that I was going to bump it up every 14 days instead of 7. Excuse me, pardon me. Get on my bar. Um... Uh, and you know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind because I, I just think it would be a little bit more fun to bump it up every Horde Night rather than every seven or every 14 Horde uh, days. So every two Horde Nights. So that's what we're going to do. So it is on no bad now. So we have increased the difficulty. Uh, did I do any of that with my gog uh, my nerdy glasses on? I think I did. All right. I kind of got my bell rocked a little bit there. Let me get down here, actually, because I thought somebody was banging on my door. Excuse me, good sir. You want to stop hitting my wall? Thanks. Really appreciate it. So yeah, I changed my mind. We're doing it every Horde Night instead, just to kind of move the series along a little bit. But it is daytime now. All those guys are taken care of. That was a little crazy. Um, forgot about that. In case you're playing single player and you want like to kind of cheese it and boost a whole bunch of XP, uh, just finish the Horde, like what we did last episode, and then just log out and log back in. It'll respawn. 
totally for like it, it skipped my mind. I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Let me do the next episode. I logged in, and all I could hear is. <laughs> So, all right, well, we're back here. Um, I should probably use a bandage or eat some food or something. How's my vitals looking and stuff? I could, I'm a, I'm a little hungry, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind eating some food. Let's go ahead and whoop down some bacon and eggs. So, in today's episode, though, let's say, uh, let's take a look at the map. Um, there's this tier three uh, clear that I wouldn't mind doing, but I'm, I'm gonna try to. Uh, was there something I was trying to buy at, at Jen's? I can't remember it. There's been a little bit of a break between the last episode and this one, but I'm gonna hit up, uh, hit up Jen and see what she's got going on. And then I think I have, where's my vehicles right here? Get my mini bike out here, because I'm gonna want that. Uh, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head down uh, to the desert and try to find some better loot down there. Because the loot is better in the desert and in the snow biome. And if you look at the map, um, I know where the desert is. I'm, I'm thinking it extends up here, but I don't know where the snow biome is. Yeah, so I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna probably find a place to set up shop, maybe find a bar. I need to find another bar. Maybe I'll hit up this uh, this town over here and see if I can just keep going west. And we're gonna do a little exploring today, but it all starts with me completing this uh, this quest over here. So let's uh, go ahead and get the mini bike out here. Slap that bad boy down. Let's get the, uh, the first aid bandages back on because I wouldn't need that. But yeah, it all starts with finishing this quest, turning it into gen, and then we're going to get some money, and then we're gonna head on out. We'll probably grab some basic supplies, see if we can't establish a forward operating base in the desert. All right, here we are. Managed to make it here. I think I yeah, I there's supposed to be a workbench there So I've already raided this before but probably saw the workbench so I see it just poof magically appear <clears throat> All right, so I need to get in here and I need to I already have the workbench schematic So it's not a big deal if I find it again. What am I an extra claw hammer though? Because uh, I, I want to uh, leave one over at the uh, at the base that I'm heading to right now uh, Did I not bring my wrench? I think I forgot my wrench. Ooh Okay, that's that's kind of problem. Whatever so I can't break down things. Excuse me. I'm coming on in Let's get in here and start clearing out some zombies. Oh, oh yeah, let's just teabag these guys. <laughs> Look at that. You saw I blew up the mine there so that they wouldn't all get blown up on their own so I could get all the XP from them. But let's go ahead and throw on the looter goggles now because we're going to want those. Uh, because we got to uh, raid this place for everything that it's worth here. I don't actually need that. We're going to just eat that out here. Now, there is a weapon safe here. I think I have lockpicks back at the base, but I didn't grab them. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there's a whole bunch of lockboxes and stuff like that that I have marked on here. There's a safe lockbox and I think another safe actually right here. Yeah, there is. I hear someone walking around outside too, but let's go ahead and uh, save this. And there's going to be... I think there's two safes? Safe uh, times two in this PY. Because I believe there's one up above here also. But there's a lot of medical supplies and stuff for us to grab, so let's go ahead and grab whatever we can and then get on out of here. Yeah, here's the locked box up here. Okay, so there was a, there is actually another uh, safe up in this one here. So there's two of them here. Wouldn't mind getting a, uh, doing like a, a lock run actually and getting uh, a jailbreaker's candy and just kind of going through all this. Ooh, there's three safes. All right, well, let's fix that. <laughs> Where did you come from? You just, I was about to fix that. And you just like flew in. Oh, you came through here and tripped over the bed. I just saw him like dive like a fat Superman. Just. <laughs> all right, so there's three safes in here. I gotta, I gotta get through all of them, all of them. Oh, there's also ammo on the desk. I just but completely missed. All right, that's everything from that POI. So let's go hit up the bar real quick. Get my wrench back in my uh, in my hot bar because I kind of want that. Maybe grab some supplies. Ah, I'm, should I grab some supplies to set up like a workbench and whatnot? Maybe even make one so I can bring it out there right away. Because I do want to find a bar instead of a place where maybe I should scavenge for this stuff. That might be a little bit more fun. I won't have the things readily available. I am gonna bring some nails with me though, so I can build some uh, storage when I get out there. But that's about it. All right, so let's uh, let's hit up the bar real fast and then go looking for a new place to call home uh, out in the desert. Ooh, there is some jailbreaker candy here in the in this uh, vending machine. I just swung into real quick. You know what? I just said I should probably go through and loot all that stuff. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, I'm getting distracted. I need to get out to the desert. I need to get out there. Oh, Jen, darling, what do you? Oh, hold on, real, real quick. What do you got in your vending machine? Um, a couple of eye candies, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I do actually have one of those on me right now. I'll buy those. Sure, why not? All right, do I have all my money on me? I have some money on me. Uh, I think this is all the money that the I do have. Jen, hi, hello. Okay, uh, 
I don't need the coffee seeds. The grenades would be kind of fun. The eight times scope would also be kind of fun. I don't know if I need any of this. Do I have a helmet light mod? Hold on one second. Do I not have one of these things? I thought I did. No, I don't. Okay, I can't actually put it on that now anyway, but not with the pocket mod, but I could always move the pocket mod somewhere else. I think I'll take the mining helmet day. then, just so that I can actually get that helmet light mod out of that. Alright, I will grab another quest here too, why not, just just so that I have it. Um, would love to get to hurry. Just so that I have it for later, but I'm not going to actually do that right now. Uh, let me just check her secret stash real fast. Oh, she's got a gyrocopter. Wouldn't that be fun? She's got a motorcycle. Ooh! Did I not see that before? Or am I just, am I just losing my mind? The motorcycle would be phenomenal, actually. What's this do right here? Do 10% more damage to uh, 44 magnums? Uh, the motorcycle would be phenomenal if I could get that. Ooh, okay. Does this change my mind? Okay, day 10. I do want to get out to the desert, but I do want to get that motorcycle. Oh, it would make my life so much easier if I could get the motorcycle. 22,000? Okay, we're changing plans, people. Sorry, but I've never heard <laughs> um, those, We're doing quests. We gotta do quests, because if I can get that motorcycle, this mini bike will seem like a slow pokey Joe then, okay? So, I'm definitely gonna want to get that. Is that, uh, there's some zombies just kind of coming at me. Hello. Excuse me, pardon me. All right, so let's, uh, okay, some of these stuff in, in these lock boxes and safes and stuff will probably be very valuable. That's the police station, actually. That one has a couple of fun stuff in it, too, that we can open up. ATM safe. Okay, wh why don't we actually go and open up these safes first? And then uh, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start off with this ATM right here. Let's do a quick save. Um, why don't we open up these safes first? Get everything out of there because we might be able to sell it and then knock out some quests for Jen. I guess we're sticking around town a little bit longer. I really did plan on going out to the desert today, but that'll have to be a uh, next day event here because we got some things that we can do here in town still. The, 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 the responsibilities here are not over, so. Ugh, I'm still so, I'm, I'm never gonna leave this small town. No, I'm getting out of here for sure, but I do want to make sure I clean up before I go. All right, here's Big Buns. Now, Big Buns has a uh, ATM in it, and that's the reason why I marked it, because I know that. Is anyone here? Yo, there's somebody here. Let's see if we can't quietly sneaky stealth. We already woke somebody up. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Take these guys all out. Excuse me, pardon me, stripper. Excuse me, pardon. Oh, I got two for there. Boom, take him out too. Reload this while we can. Ooh, big fat guy, shooting the balls. Oh, oh, he stayed standing. He's still going. Look at him go. He's just desperately trying to get to me now. Oh, there's, oh, go, go. AK for the win right there. Uh, we have a spider outside too. He just threw his body at me there. Okay, of course, guns are very loud though, so that was kind of a thing. But here's the, here's the ATM. I have to deal with the zombies in the area, though, because if I start picking the lock, I can't move. So, excuse me, uh, miss. You uh, are not welcome here. All right, let's get in here. Let's close the door so that nothing bothers us. And let's pop the uh, the lock-picking candy. I'll, uh, I don't really need the eye candy right now, but uh, let's go ahead and unlock this thing. A few moments later. And there we go. All right, how much money do we got in here? Uh, 890 bucks, I will take it. Now, we did. I did hear a wolf outside someplace. Wouldn't mind killing him for the meat. I don't really know where he is. He might be around back. There he is, right there. Got him. All right, I do have this O'Reilly uh, Autos here marked as having a safe in it too, but I cannot for the life of me rem remember where it is. So we are just gonna kinda, kinda go rushing in there. Hopefully none of the zombies have respawned. Otherwise, that could be a little bit of a trick to get uh, Get all of them clear. There's got to be a safe some. Oh, right here. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock. And we are in. Now, before I open that, let's make sure I have my lucky looter goggles on. And let's go ahead and use one of these eye candies to get a little extra loot bonus out of this. And let's see what we got. Anything good? A couple hundred bucks and an ergonomic grip mod, which, uh, can I put that in here? Modify. Yes, I can. There we go. Make my baseball bat a little bit stronger. All right. Sweet. And then the next location we're going to is the police station. Let's, uh, let's do a quick save right there. Let's uh, get on our mini bike and head over there. All right, this is right across from Grumpy's Pub, so it should be pretty easy to get across here. I, I found out that I can actually rank letters, and I really should get in there and change that to Grimer's Pub. Uh, but I'm just wildly distracted by shiny things that I want to go get right now. So uh, let's see if we can't. I know there's two lock boxes in here. There's one right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And what do we got? We got. Uh, a volume I already know. We got a metal chain mod. That's ooh, some time charges. Those will be fun. First aid kit. We got a robotic sledge, which I don't know. If, I don't. I can't remember if I got one of those yet. But I mean, I'll take it. That was uh, that was definitely uh, free stuff. Is always fun. 
Now, while this looting candy is still in effect, let's get back here and also open up this safe back here. There's the zeros, and let's open it up. We got a bunch more cash. Another lucky looter, uh, which finds more junk and loot. Okay, we'll use it. Sure, why not? Why not? And some pipe bombs, always good, always good fun. All right, we still got three minutes left on the looting candy and six minutes left on the lock picking candy. Where are we heading to next? I believe this one where we just actually were is the next place to head to. Uh, I gotta get out of here though and to my bike out front. Ooh, ooh, I might have taken the long way around. I've only got two minutes left on this lock on this looting candy, so I gotta kind of move, move a little bit quicker here. So there is a safe right here. Let's unlock it. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Some more money. Uh, so those I don't need in an insula in, in insulation mod. I think that's what it's called. Let's get the gun safe here while we're here. We've got a minute thirty to go. We're making good time. Okay, what do we got in the gun safe? Let's open this bad boy up. Also. Uh, we got some ammo, we got a times 2 mod, that's kind of nice, and some rifle parts, and then there's one more thing we can unlock while we're here, and it's up top here, it's the locked chest, we got a minute left on our looting candy, we got plenty of time on our lock picking candy. There we go, we are in the reinforced chest with 47 seconds to spare, some more time charges, we already know the coffee recipe, some little, uh, what are these, these things called, advanced muffler connector mod, sure. Another first aid kit, some military armor parts and stuff, and some ammo, which is always greatly appreciated. All right. I think we are done here, and our candy's about to run out there. So we did, we did pretty good, pretty good. What did we get for our haul? We got, uh, we got a thousand four, uh, fourteen hundred bucks, over fourteen hundred bucks, which is nice. We got some of these other things, like uh, I don't think I have any mod spots except for maybe on this one. Modify? No, I don't. I don't have anything on that either. So I don't really know what I can squeeze any of that into. Um, modify? Here we go. We can put that one in there. And do I have any heavy armor that has an open spot? That one does not. I think it is that one. Uh, nope. Yeah, all right, so let's get moving on to the quest, which is right over there, and we're gonna knock that out. It's all about earning $22,000 now to try to get that um, uh, motorcycle from Jen. Now, I could bump my better bartering, but to do, if I do that, I could change her uh, rewards that she has, and I could lose the uh, the motorcycle. I also should probably, where's my wrench? I know I grabbed it, where's my wrench? Did I throw it in here? I did, yes. Uh, I'm gonna put the hammer in there because I really don't need that. I'm gonna start breaking down a couple extra cars too because I am like 30% something on gas there. I'm just starting to run out of gas on my mini bike. I really need to get a little extra dino juice. Excuse me, buddy. There we go. Fill you up nicely. Let's uh, let's get on. How far are you? Oh, you're at 100%. Yeah, you're good. You're good. All right, let's do this quest and see what kind of rewards we get from Jen. All right, anyone home? Uh, let's make sure we got the right goggles on. I'll do all the looting later. Let's clear the zombies first. It's all about being responsible. That scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Big Tubbo. Ooh, there's somebody coming over here. Tubbo's bleeding right now. You can hear him freaking out over there. Let's just let him think about what he's done. Okay, that's enough thinking. Excuse me, buddy. I'm trying to get through here. Have you seen the main loot? Actually, I'm here for the White River supplies. Oh, there's a lock. Oh, um, I don't have any lock. Oh, my lock picks are in the bike. Dang it, my lock picking candy just wore out, too. Ugh. Well, I got time charges. I could actually do that to get into it. So there is a way around that if I need to. I got them out on the, the bike. Though. <laughs> Kenny just fell out of the out of the closet there. Excuse me. I don't actually need to clear this place out. I don't. <laughs> Didn't know she was there. Uh, I just need to find the supplies and I can get out of here. So I think let's check for some coffee. Which there is. Let's go ahead and drink one of those things. Take the other one. Oh, nope. I said take the other one. And uh, I don't really... Oh, there's... Is this a basement? No, it's a garage. Okay, anything valuable in the garage. There's a button. Opens the garage door. It's an easy way out. Nifty. Also an easy way in. While I'm out here, though, let me go in here and grab a couple of these guys. I'll grab three just in case it takes three. All right, there's someone making a ruckus. Do you mind? No soliciting. Thank you. Actually, let me check the mail while I'm out here. Because there could be a book in there for me to sell. It's all about getting money for that motorcycle. What do we got? Books? Anything fun? Uh, something I can sell for 200 bucks. Thank you. That was amazing. All right. Upstairs here was the weapon safe, wasn't it? Oh, here's the satchel. I probably should grab that while I'm here. That's kind of the whole reason why I'm here. Any cheeky toilet pistol? Nope. Not this time. This looks like a place. Any money? Money. That's what I talk about. Any expensive shoes? Kind of. 50 bucks. I'll take it. Like I said, it's all about the money. I need to find where where was it weapon safe? I just saw it. Aha! All right, let's uh, let's blow some stuff up. What do you think, huh? Let's do uh, throw one on there and then activate this one and then throw that on there too and then run away. Fire in the hole. So are you open now? Untouched. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So looter goggles on. What do we got? 
Ooh, another lucky looter. Find more brass and loot. Okay, we'll use that. Try to complete the set. The tier 4 pipe machine gun can be sold for 90 bucks. It's not going to complain. And I'm not using any arrows, so we're just going to scrap those things. Alright, I found the, what I needed to here, but I didn't find the main loot, which is probably in the basement. I'm going to try to quick make a mad dash for it, because there could be something I could sell there. I am a greedy grimer today. There is a locked reinforced chest down here. Of course there is. I think I should pro probably just be planning on that every one of these places that I go to. Now, I can get into it again. Like I got I got some more uh, things out in the bike, but I have to run out and get them. That guy, that guy, oh, he sees me back there. That guy's like stuck in the ground staring at me like, don't steal my stuff. Uh, newsflash, buddy. I'm going to steal it anyway. What do we got? Uh, I already read that one, but I can sell it. We're going to take everything in there. Uh, we'll take all that for sure. Let's see. Can I put, uh, can I put another mod in here? Modify... No, I already have something in there. Can I? Well, that already has something in it. That already has something in it. What about a wrench? My wrench, you can put something in, right? I, I'm trying to figure out where to put this uh, modifier so that I have more room. Uh, somebody's making a ruckus out there. I don't need that. I'm just going to scrap that. It's not really worth much. All right, let me go get some time charges so that I can open that uh, that thing up. All right. Now, I wanted to actually throw one on there. I clicked wrong, so we're going to blow this up twice. Boom. Blow that up again. Is that going to be enough? Or does it take three? It's untouched. All right. Do I got my looter goggles on? I do. Let's go see what we got. Uh, we got treasure map. Ooh. Some lockpicks. Ooh. Some leather armor. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad stuff. Lockpicks and another ergonomic grip mod. Sweet. Awesome. I'll take it. I am totally encumbered right now, but that's okay. All right. Let's go talk to Jen. We got a bunch of stuff we can sell. This is going to take a little bit to actually sort all this stuff out. Uh, where is she? She's back that way. All right. Let's make sure I got my nerdy glasses on here. Uh, so that I can get that sweet extra little bump in my uh, intellect. Uh, speaking of my intellect, what, what's, uh, I have five skill points that I haven't used. <laughs> All right, intellect, uh, daring adventure. What do I need to be? Level eight? I might be able to just do that right now. There we go. There we go. I still have one skill point. Daring adventure. Let's max that out. All right, so that should allow me to get two rewards now instead of just one. Let's so talk to her. So place. two of these are mine, okay? Steel helmet is probably better than what I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely better than what I'm wearing. So I'm going to select that one. Uh, it's tier 3, so I can put the pocket mod and the headlight mod on it. Headlight mod. And then uh, let's see, either ammo or extended magazine mod, because I think I have an extended magazine mod on this one, and I don't really need it on anything else, I don't think. Let's just do ammo. Uh, do you have any jobs? Again, I'm going to be doing some jobs here for you quickly, oh, as quickly as I can. The, but um, What? You know, Did she just say something about kissing me? Hygiene and all. How close am I? I'm at... Uh, 11,000, so I'm about halfway there only to buy that. But of course, I can uh, take some sugar butts or something to lower the price, so I'll definitely be doing that. I want to save this treasure map, and I'm going to go after that when I'm in the desert because it's a better loot quality out there. But let's uh, let's head back to the bar, dump our stuff, and see if we can't finish off this other quest for Jen real fast before uh, it gets nighttime. Let's uh, modify, throw that in as well. Awesome. So now we have our helmet light, which you can't really see in broad daylight, can you? Uh, <laughs> oh, also, if I'm not wearing it. Uh, there we go. So we got our helmet light now so we can see in dark spaces. Uh, I could always see in dark spaces anyway, but you know now I can legitimately see in dark spaces. I bumped up the brightness for you guys so that you can see. <laughs> Making a quick stop off here just so that we can look up here at the uh, dump chest right here. And we're just going to start yeeting stuff in there. Although I am going to keep the helmet out here because I plan on selling that. Um, that way... Oh, I, I missed the book that I was going to sell. Like, that way... Um, eh... Yeah, let's just put that che uh, treasure chest in there as well. That way uh, I can sell it to her when I go back and talk to her. Let's grab everything out of there and dump chest, and we're gonna dump. Uh, I just put the things in there. I was gonna keep. Let's dump all the stuff in here except for. Uh, where are they? The time charges. Am I, did I see them? Oh, they're in my inventory. Okay, they're on my hot bar. I think that's everything. That's everything. All right, let's get going again. We got to get down here, knock out this quest quick, and go see Jen again. Maybe even squeeze in one more. Aha! It is the camping store. Gotcha. This, uh, this vending machine is, isn't working, right? I've checked this before. Let's turn on the headlight mine because it's raining right now, and it's a little dark and can't really see what I'm doing. Grab the wood while it's here. Always good for building supplies, you know? Not gonna complain, although I don't really desperately need wood right now, so I'm not really too in dire need for it. Now, let's uh, let's go ahead and start this thing up. I just need to retrieve the supplies, which look like they're on my level and they're in the store someplace. Now, to get into the store legitimately, you have to go into these trailers, I believe. Excuse me, buddy. Who else is in here? 
Kenny. Anyone in here? Nope. Cheeky toilet pistol? Nope. Ooh, there's a nurse. Excuse me. All right, let's get up the ladder and get into the store. Aha! A little uh, flappy batter up. You are down and... Oh, missed. Dang it. I was going to say home run, but no, that was totally a whiff. Uh, there's a lamp or lantern right here, so did I take it? I drop down in here. Uh-huh. I have a feeling I am trapped in here now. Uh, cheers, everybody. Just leveled up. Let's keep progressing through. Anyone in here? Oh, yeah, there is. A couple people. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, people in the bathroom. Sorry, I didn't even bother to look. I just came in and used the bathroom while you're in here. I'm so sorry. Right, it says it's right above me. Now, how do, how do I... Can I do I just break it open? Apparently, there it is. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right, got it. Now, I can actually get out of here. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to go up there. That's how I'm supposed to do it. All right. Whoops. Oh, well. Now, I, I suppose I can just get out of here, but I kind of dropped in here, so I kind of have to push forward now. There's a big fat guy back there. I just saw him. Yeah, he's down. Anything behind here? Oh, there is. Look at that. Now, this thing has uh, not that much durability, right? wonder if I... Yeah, I could probably bash into this instead of wasting time charges on it. Yeah, give me a second. All right, we are in. That actually took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Let's put the looter goggles on real fast. Uh, hunting knife, some ammo, and 13 bucks. Not really worth it, so... <laughs> Uh, somebody's making a ruckus out, out front there, but there should be zombies in here because that's the main loot right there. So I'm expecting. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh yeah, here they come. Oh, lockbox! Thank God I have these uh, these uh, explosives though to get into this. All right, let's open up all these good goods here, and then we're gonna throw on the looting goggles, and we are gonna go ham on this stuff. That is the light. All right, looting goggles on. Let's see what we got. Anything in here? Ah, tier 6 hammer. That's kind of nice. Although it's not super necessary. We don't need the bone ship at all. I'll take that. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll scrap that right now to get the lead. Um, bullet tips I need. I'll take them. And in the shamway box, what do we got up here? Some food. I'll eat the ear of corn. Eat that on the ground. A beer. Bring that back to the bar, of course. Some medical supplies up here, too, it looks like. Uh, scrap and take. And then this thing right here. Let's go ahead and eat that on there. Activate that one. Get a little double explosive on this thing. And kaboom! Alright, that open it up? It did open it up. Blue goggles are on. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, another treasure map. Ooh, ooh, and some more time charges. So I made a surplus on that one. Very nice. We don't need the, those at all. So we're just actually, I don't really need the one leather either. So we're just going to keep that. Um, yeah, we made a surplus. Not a bad deal whatsoever. Anything in here? Anything up here? What's that? Oh, that's a dead bird sticking through the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's see. How do you get out of here? Uh, oh, I forgot. There's also ammo things here, too. Man, I, I almost left and I didn't even loot everything. How sheepish. There's the chlamydia mod. Nice. Alright, so... Do I, I don't have that yet, do I? Modify. Mm, decrease melee stamina usage. That, that one I want to keep. Cause bleeding. Let's, uh, let's do this instead. Let's get the chlamydia mod. Get the burning shaft going here. Uh, how do I get out of here? Was there... Oh, there's buttons. I like buttons. Buttons are fun. Oh, here we go. Okay, the crickets are chirping. Time is a waste, and I might be able to squeeze one more quest in if I'm really lucky, but I have to get moving quickly to Jen. Turn this one in, and then head out immediately to the next one. Jen, I got so focused on earning money that I forgot to eat. Do you have anything in your vending machine? <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Anything, anything, anything. Can of chili, can of chicken, lamb rations. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and uh, eat that right away. Get my uh, that hunger debuff out of the way. All right, Jen, I did the thing. Put these glasses on so I got the perk. All right, so I get to choose two of these. There's a hunter's journal I don't know yet, so we're going to do 10% uh, more damage to you. We're going to select that for sure. Now, the rest of them, Molotovs would be nice, actually. That sells for 600 bucks though, so I might choose that. I'm not using spears at all. So let's do that. We're going to sell the spear right away. you have any jobs? Uh, ooh, that one's kind of a distance away. Buried supply sort of sucks, though. Let's see. Let's 800. Okay. We'll do it. We'll just, we'll just haul it out there, though. Um, let's sell these things. Sure, we'll sell that, too. Sell, sell, sell all of that. I don't actually need a tier 6 hammer, but, I mean, why not? Might as well use it. Oh, I actually found a can of food. Uh, I don't really plan on making steel knuckles, so we're going to sell that. Same with a bow. All right, that should be about good. How am I up to? 13,000? That's not a lot. That's not enough. All right, we got to get moving. we got to get moving quite a distance, too. Ooh, I should have picked, picked something easier. All right, it took me quite a while to get out here, so I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to get back in time. But we're going to try to do this 
express run, okay? We're not actually going to be trying to do any real looting. It's just get the supplies, get out of here as fast as we possibly can. I do need to get this open, though, so I can get up in here. Express run, excuse me. Fear, fear the chlamydia mod. Let's go ahead and, and eat and drink quick, because I know that I'm going to be... Uh, hungry here in a little bit because that, that rations I eat is not enough. Is there any uh, coffee in here? There is. Thank God because I need that. Let's go ahead and take the other one and I think it's downstairs here. I need I need the package. That's all I'm looking for is the package. Excuse me. Oh, open the thing. Open the thing quickly. Get it. Get it. Got it. There's also a safe down here but I don't have time to open it because I really do have to haul back haul it back to Jen. Ooh, I need to get out of here too. Oh, dang it. Let's go out the front here. There's my mini bike. This is going to be very close. Alright, I did actually make it back, and I think I have time to actually go turn this in and maybe even grab that buried supply one that we can do at night then. Uh, Jen, let me make sure I got my glasses on correctly. Uh, what, what do we got? A tier 3 wrench is pretty bad. All of this... Oh, a tactical assault rifle. That's uh, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, serrated blade. What's, what's worth the most? 300? Uh, 300 it is. Okay, wrench. We'll sell that right away. Oh, a chem station! Uh, yes, please. We're going to select that one for sure. I get to pick two of these as well. As well as the Duke Casino Farm range bundle mods. Instead of the Duke Casino coins. Do you have any special jobs? Let's go ahead and accept that one to accept to find a new trader. Do you have any jobs here? Let's do the buried supply and accept okay. that as well. And let's quickly try to sell anything I don't need. Like that wrench you just gave me. Uh, a couple of jars I don't really need. And uh, that's about it. Alright, let's get out of here before this, this place closes. Because it's about to close. Yeah, Let's get out of here. Let's hit up the bar real fast, and then we're going to go dig up that buried supply. Now, one and a half kilometers that way is a trader, apparently, which is somewhere I haven't been yet. So that's a new trader. I didn't even see what kind of trader it was. I just grabbed it quick. I don't know if it's another gen or if it's another, or if it's a wrecked or who. I don't know who it is. So I just probably should have looked at that, but I was, I was just clicking really fast. So it is about to be nighttime, but I don't mind doing a quest at night. Sure, why not? We'll go dig up a buried supply at night. Make sure I have plenty of ammo, and I should be all right then. I do want to make sure that my vitals are topped off, though. I want to make sure my hunger is full and everything, too, because I, I've been kind of eating canned food as I go out because I haven't been prepared. So let's use the last of my bacon and eggs. Let's read this book that has got to do more damage against deer. So I, at least I know that. Let's store whatever, whatever I can in there. We also got... Oh, we have enough for it. I could have bought it. I didn't even realize that. We have enough to buy the, the motorcycle. Well, I know what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, but we also have this chemistry station, which we can now put down in, inside the base here, which is awesome. Let's take, move the, these off from here. Um, these floors are not floors, are they? Yeah, they're not floors. I gotta, I gotta switch that up a little bit. Maybe I'll do that sometime throughout the night. Let's go ahead and just put that into. Um, we'll just throw that in materials right now. I'll, I'll place the chemistry station overnight, sometime in between episodes. Uh, ammo, guns and ammo. Let's uh, throw that all in there. And then uh, this uh, tactical assault rifle is, I'm guessing, better. Uh, 52, 55, oh, that's with all the mods. Okay, so this is 52, and this is 50, oh, this is negative minus 4. So, okay, okay with the mods, it's, it's better, but let's uh, let's modify this real quick. Let's pop these things out and actually look at this. This is a 48, and this does 52. This has a magazine size of 31. This has a magazine size of 27. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to put this all into that right there. And then uh, I think the AK is going to take a break for a second because this uh, is all we actually really need. Now, this is semi-auto, I believe, so it's, uh... Let's go ahead and put the AK in here. The AK served me well, actually. Um, alright, so let's go do this quest while it's nighttime right now. And, uh, and then we'll dig up some stuff. I have a shovel that has a lot on it. I got some ammo that has a lot in it. My baseball bat looks good. Alright, and, uh, my food is okay. So, alright, let's go do this quest. But to do that, I'm going to need to actually select it, because it's selecting the trade routes right now. Um, so let's, uh... Let's toggle active. Which way is it? That way? 340 some meters? Let's go. Oh, there's a bear right there. I just hit this guy here. I do want to kill that bear. Take that guy out. I do want to kill that bear. Um, how do I kill the bear without dying, though? That's kind of the question. Let me go over here, grab a little bit of wood, and let's make some frames. Because I think I can just gun it down, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't really want to chance it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on top of a building. Because I don't really want the series to end up like this. That would be bad. Alright, here we go. Got a little advantage point. Get 
Okay, bear is down, but I did uh, draw the attention of some of the locals. Uh, they already went inside. Oh no, this one didn't. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay, that was exciting. I'm infected. That's not that good. I also have a sprained leg, it would seem. Hmm, that kind of puts a damper on things. We have a, we have another friend coming over. Excuse me, buddy. All right, let's clean up this bear that I almost died trying to get here. It's a lot of meat, plus you get a testosterone extract, which will be handy for making a cigar, which I don't need because I believe I already have it. Technically, I didn't really even need to do this. Now, what does actually hurt with me? A sprained leg, that's not good. Mild infection. You know I gotta, I gotta change plans. I am going out to go get that thing for sure, but first I'm gonna run home to get something to cure this infection because I don't want to deal with that. And I'm gonna uh, to get some uh, something for my leg. I can't use a splint because it's not broken, but I can use uh, some, uh, what are they called? Uh, steroids to prevent it from actually getting hurt even if I run, which I believe I found some of those too right here. Here's some steroids right there. Now, um, where's the honey? Right there, let's go ahead and use that. Get rid of that infection right there. Now, I do want to get up here because he jump up on that. It's probably not good with the sprained leg. If I remember correctly, is it under food? Yeah, health bar. Let's go ahead and use that. It'll reduce this timer down a little bit. Uh, and then if I use steroids, I should be able to run on it just fine and it should heal up in no time. So I should be doing pretty good. The steroids, I think when you're running, it doesn't, the timer doesn't go down, but it doesn't go up when you're when you're running um, when you're on steroids. Normally, if you are running on a sprained leg uh, without the steroids, your uh, your countdown timer will increase so that you actually have more time before it heals, or you can actually end up breaking it. So, so I should be able to let this heal up now, especially as I'm riding my way out here. I got a lot of digging to do once I get there. All right, here is the spot. There are some some guys around, but let's go ahead and start this up. And I have to get to uh, get to digging. Let's start off right here. Was it the southeast corner, south something like that, south corner? There used to be a trick, like the southwest corner, I think it was. I heard something. There's a guy over there. That was like the southwest corner or something, but um, they've changed that. It doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. Hi, buddy. You want to come over here and get out of my way? Thanks. That was exciting. Aha, found it. All right, well, when I open this up, things are gonna kinda come busting out of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for about 40 some seconds so that my leg heals up completely, and then I'm gonna open this thing up. I also did get kinda messed up and I don't have any way of healing, so, because I left all my bandages back home, that's not a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this bike up here so I can get out of here quick if I need to. Yeah. I, I kind of forgot my bandages. That's That could actually kill me. <laughs> Alright, so we got 10 seconds and then I can open this up. Alright, what do we got? We got some uh, scrap armor, which might be better than mine. We got a shotgun. Eh, nothing great, but let's go, 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 go. Excuse me, guys. I got to get moving. Uh, I don't really have a healing a way to heal, so I'm just going to kind of beat feet out of here. So it's been nice, it's been real, it's been fun. Hasn't really been real fun. Digging up buried treasures never is. Let's get back to the base and call it a night. Home sweet home. We made it back here. Now I think the rest of my night is going to be spent just organizing my inventory. Uh, because I desperately need to do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's First off, let's go into the dump chest here because I must have accidentally stashed... Uh, no, I must have stashed my I quick stack things in the first day. Yeah, there they are. Let's go ahead and actually use one of those things because I'm a little roughed. A little roughed up. Could use a little extra healing there. Uh, and drop those two down in my hotbar so I have them at all times. Alright, I gotta organize my inventory. Get the get the, um, get the chem station put down someplace up here. Probably like right here, actually. I think that'll be fine. It's a nice little compact little workstation I got here. The only thing I'm missing then is what? The cement mixer, right? It's all missing. So sweet. I don't actually have the chem station schematic, but I did get that chem station as a reward, so I am not going to complain at all. 
But I, after uh, after today, I think what we're going to have to do is head out to the desert, or at least head out to that other trader to the west, and see if that's in the desert. Uh, what uh, what trade? Real quick before I wrap up the episode, which trader was that? Open trade routes. Trader Bob. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and actually uh, select that one so we can get on it right away in the morning. I don't even remember where this one is, but it's like a kilometer away, so... Um, it must be the other gen. It must be Gen 2. But alright, I got some work to do here on the base overnight. We're going to be doing uh, doing a little bit of uh, remodeling here to get the chem station down. And I also uh, need to do some organize organization of my inventory. So there's some stuff I got to do. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please go on and smash that like button. It helps me out a ton. And I will be back next week with more uh, bar life for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully you are enjoying the series. Let me know. Let me know it on the comment section. So, um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. That's wrong. Hey, everybody. Grimer here coming at you once again from bar life. How are you guys doing? I'm doing all right. I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, I went ahead and tried to organize as much as I could. I'm kind of still in the middle of it. The, the, the morning stuck up on me. I also switched to my leather duster instead of my puffer coat because if I'm going to the desert, it has way better heat resistance. So we're going to go with that. Uh, parts, armor, uh, clothing, this one right here. We're going to just eat that right into that. Still working on sorting some of this stuff out. It got a little crazy. Little, little. There's a whole lot of stuff. Is there anything I need to repair before I head out of here? I'm going to go ahead and repair my axe. And uh, it doesn't really need it, but I'm going to repair my, my baseball bat and my wrench. Uh, just so that I have some decently repaired stuff before I head out. Um, we can absolutely go buy the, um, the motorcycle today. But the place is not open yet, unfortunately. So we can't really do much with that right now. <clears throat> I got this uh, White River supplies to turn in. So it's still a matter of just organizing some stuff. Um... Let's put the let's put the turret in there. I don't actually have another turret, so that is actually my first robotic sledge that I have. I got these two treasure maps I'm going to be taking with me. I got a little bit of extra gas. I got a whole bunch of money, which I'm about to blow a ton of it on. Take a couple repair kits. Uh, I'm probably going to want to grab like some basics, like food, although I'll find some along, along the way. I want to make sure that I'm topped off before I go also. Let's eat a little bit more here. Um, I don't really know. I think uh, medical supplies, I, I'm going to want to grab at least something, like maybe uh, a splint or two. And uh, I got some first aid bandages. I'll, I can craft actually more. I believe I know that recipe. Is that true? Am I lying? First aid bandage. No, I do know that recipe. Okay, so I'm, I'll find I'll find elevator cream everywhere. So I'm not really to worry about that. All right, so I'm getting ready to move out to the desert in today's episode because being able to buy the uh, the the motorcycle is huge. It's absolutely huge. Um, I'll also take a health bar out there. I gotta find a vending machine and stuff out there while I'm while I'm doing that. In fact, well. Actually, let's put the health bar back while I'm while I'm waiting, because I gotta wait till six o'clock. I got my uh, I got my chem station put down. Made four bits of gunpowder in it because I'm running seriously low on nitrate. I might have to go mining actually, because I gotta get my ammo situation under control as well as getting better guns. Right now, I'm cooking up a bunch of meat. Uh, it's almost done. That'll just burn out. <clears throat> um, oh, let me get down here. This is my easy drop down. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go check out this vending machine across the way here. This will be the last hurrah for the mini bike. So, remember, after uh, the Horde Night, the previous Horde Night, what do we got? We got another Jailbreaker to buy that, and that's about it. Um, after the previous Horde Night, remember, on Day 7, after that, we bumped it up to a harder difficulty. I know in the description and stuff, it's going to say 14 days. I lied. I lied. I decided to change it up because I thought it would be a little bit more fun to make it a little bit more rushed, you know? Like, I have to actually really be pushing myself. I don't have a lot of time to lollygag, you know? Uh, so I thought that would be kind of fun. Tools, uh, I do have these time chargers where we'll get, in, we'll get into a lot of safes. And I also have a whole bunch of lockpicks. So I'm going to take, I'm going to leave some here, but I'll take some with me. As well as this jailbreaker candy in case I want to uh, get into something while I'm out there. Also grab a hammer. Oh, I should grab stuff to make a workbench. So I'll grab those two. I'll grab the extra hammer. Because that way I can actually build quicker out there. Um, repair kits, I got a couple of them. I'll grab one or a few more. Uh, time charges, that's all good, that's all good. Huh, I guess I just gotta wait for Jen to open at this point. Maybe I'll just grab some wood, grab some supplies while I wait. Actually, better idea. There is another vending machine right over here that I totally haven't checked in a while in this cafe, so I might as well go grab that and see if there's anything good in there. Any sugar butts? Sugar butts? Sugar butts. I should find some sugar butts. Do I have any? I don't even think I have any. I need some sugar butts. What do we got in here? Uh, no sugar butts. Wow, okay, when you need them, they're gone, aren't they? Eye candy, which is always nice. Go ahead and grab that, because when I do these treasure maps, maybe I'll actually pop that. 
and then I will get better loot. That's the idea, right? Are there any other vending machines in this town other than in her place? I Yes, there is. There's one right up here. Let's go ahead and do a quick save on that. Head up there. Hit up that vending machine quickly. See if there's any sugar butts, because that'll reduce the price of the $22,000 motorcycle. And I'll be able to <laughs> save, what, $2,000 on it. Uh-huh. All right. It's in the basement of this place. I actually kind of remember this place. So let's head down here. Anyone respawn in here? No? All right. What do you got? Sugar butts. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, got lucky in that. Let's take another eye candy. Skull crushers are always nice, but I don't think I super badly need them. I'll take the red tea, though, and uh, and drink that just to get the uh, the efficient digestion here so my hunger uh, doesn't mess me up too bad. Eat that out of my inventory. All right, Jen should be opening up here in a couple of seconds, so let's go talk to her. Oh, Jen, darling. I got a motorcycle I want to buy from you. Let's check your vending machine real quick. Uh, sugar butts in here too. Let's go ahead and buy those for sure. Another health bar since I already used one. That's a good call. Um, what I should do is I should go grab my sellables. Hold on one second, real quick. Yeah, I should have stuffed whatever mods I could have into that armor, but nah, whatever. Good job. All right, I am wearing the right things. Okay, I was like, oh, please tell me I'm wearing my my nerdy glasses. All right, so what do we got? Ratchet tier four. That's probably better than my three, level three wrench. And the iron leggings are also better than what I'm wearing. So let's go ahead and select the ratchet for sure and the iron leggings for sure. Uh, do you have any jobs? I'll take one real quick since uh, these are tier four. Ooh, okay, we're getting we're getting to harder ones. We'll, uh, we'll take this one. Hopefully that's not the bar. Where is that anyway? Fetch and clear down here. Okay, no, that's fine. All right, um, let's go ahead and check out this stuff real fast. Let's swap that out. Yeah, this is gonna be better. Okay, let's let's pull those things up and equip them into this thing here. And equip that right away. So uh, throw that right on. All right, sweet. And then, uh, so we can sell these then, which are worth a pretty penny. And then this guy, uh, you do block damage 50. Actually, let's let's take this thing out of here so I can actually see what your real stats are. You do block damage uh, 46 something for 18 stamina, and you do 50. Oh yeah, you're definitely better. All right, <laughs> modify. Throw that into there, and then we're gonna toss that down on the hot bar. And uh, we might as well sell that too. So. All right, uh, let me see your inventory. Actually, hold on one second. Let me uh, use this. All right, so sugar butt's active. Uh, let me see your inventory. And let's sell, 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 sell. Oh, she doesn't want that. All right, fine, we don't, we don't have to sell. Let's sell that. Sell those. I want to keep that, so that's all fine. I don't need to sell anything else. All right, so I'm here mainly for this bad boy. Drop that down to 1950. Nice, okay, I like that a lot. Bye. Yes, that's right. We have a motorcycle. Ooh, there's a steel club. You know, I think I'll, I'll hold off. I'll hold off because I, I can make a tier four one if I get the supplies, I think. Especially if I keep increasing pummel beat. All right, let's get out of here and let the wind flow in my face here because I want <laughs> because I want to I want to get out there on the open road. Mini bike, you have done tremendously well. Okay, let me uh, let me look. Uh, I don't want to repair. I want to take this thing out of you though. And uh, let's uh, nothing in here. All right, let's go ahead and just pick you right up. Because we got a better ride now. Check this bad boy out. Bam. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and gas that up a little bit. Uh, probably need to stop and get a lot more gas than that one. Let's go ahead and throw the treasure maps in there. Let's throw the eye candies in there and the sugar butts for when we're doing some trading. Uh, we also are going to need to pop the hood so we can throw the headlight mod in there. Um, and what else can we throw in here? We're going to throw everything that we need to take up to the, the base, the new base that we're going to be building. Uh, not those. I'm gonna want those in case I get an emergency. I gotta stop throwing those. In there. Uh, the mini bike. I don't think I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna drop that off at the base. And the health bar can go in there as well. Lock picks and that. Yeah, that, that can go all in there. All right, let's get on this bad boy. Look at this. This goes way faster than the mini bike. Let the wind blow in my face. Okay, I still have some time on the uh, on the sugar butts. You know what I should do? I should stop gawking over the mini bike. Or over the. Oh man, I do not have a lot of gas for this thing. <laughs> just stop gawking over the uh, motorcycle and start uh, uh, opening that up. Actually, I need to get up there because I need to get more gasoline for the motorcycle. And I believe I have some up here. And I should start getting over to the other trader. Vehicles, 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 vehicles. Let's grab like half of that right there. Uh, and start getting over to the other trader because I still have the sugar butts active. And if she has something, if the other gen has something, I kind of want to uh, get that. Ooh, that filled that up real nicely. All right, so let's quickly go to quick save that and uh, not run into everything and uh, let's go over to the new the other gen while I still have this on and then we're gonna head out to the new trader that I have for my quest 
Got over here in no time. This thing goes a lot faster than the mini bike. A lot faster. All right, what do we got inside? Oh, there's a uh, evil jumpy thing out there. Another jailbreaker. We're gonna buy that. Another eye candy. We're gonna buy that too. Um, how much money do I have? Uh, Seventy-five hundred bucks. What do you got? If you're uh, feeling under the weather. AK-47, uh, level three. We already have one of those actually. Uh, some steroids. I couldn't. I have one of them with me already. There is a grandpa's learning elixir, which would be awesome. Uh, and I could buy it. Why don't I? <laughs> so, uh, let's see. There's a chem station schematic. Now, I do have a chem station, but we're going to buy that anyway just so that I can actually... Oh, the Learning Alexa recipe. Buy it. I think it takes super corn, which we'll have to hit up Bob Bo Bob's boars to do, but that's fine. What do we got? Tactical assault rifle. Another mini bike. Don't need that. Plaster cast schematic, which would be kind of helpful. I'm blowing all my money here. Ooh, there's an impact driver to get three pistols. I mean, that's all kind of handy. Um... Learn how to craft time charges. That would actually be kind of fun. Uh, I think this might be a little bit more useful, so we're going to buy that one. And how much money do I have? Um, what do you got for mods? Do you have any... Uh, let's, uh, let's do... Uh, what do you got for mods? Nothing? Okay. Um, do I want to buy that book right there? Because I still have enough money. Yeah, let's buy it. Sure, why not? All right. Let's use... Let's read all these things. Got the chem station schematic. That means awesome. All right, so sweet. Oh, I forgot to dump my mini bike. Oh well, it's coming with us. We still got four minutes. I wonder if I can get down to uh, the quest uh, down there. It's a kilometer uh, and uh, some change away. So maybe if I move really fast, I can get down there. I don't have a lot of cash, so I don't really know what I'm hoping to find. But I kind of want to do it. So let's just move and see if we can get down there and see what kind of deals he has too, because they restock tomorrow actually. So if he, if this is what Bob, Rob, one of the other trades, it's not Jen. Uh, if they have something, I'm going to want to uh, start doing some quests to get it, which means I'll probably have to run back to Jen here to do the higher tier quest just so that I can afford it. There is some coal right here, actually, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, save waypoint uh, coal because if I start making gunpowder, I'm going to need to know where that is. Uh, there's also some lead right over there. I can see it within eyesight, though. So, all right, here we go. Here, here's the trader. Managed to find him quickly. Got plenty of time with that. This, this motorcycle is fast. Still sounds like a clown car, though. All right, anything I can sell you in here? Yes, there is. Sweet, that's what I like to see. All right, so Rob, was it? I can't remember what you, who, which trader you are, you are. Are you friendly? Let's see what you got in your vending machines. Or jailbreakers, which I got plenty of. I got enough health bars. I think I got one with me. Uh, that's that's fine. All right, what uh, what do you got in here? I'll steal everything from you? I could. Oh, I can reach that. Mm, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, all right, do I got the right goggles on? I do. Sweet. Uh, let me see your inventory. Engines, bicycle chassis, stuff like that. I don't really know if any of this is worth my time. What do you got in here? Rocket launcher schematic. Holy cow, that'd be fun. Um, I mean, I might buy that, because who knows? A rocket launcher could come in handy one of these days. Uh, anything else in here that I really want to get? Oh, he's got a farm fireman. Let's see. Reduce uh, chance to be lit on fire by 25%. That's always good. Um, the fireman's almanac I can actually buy even with my... Uh, what I got here. It's a, it's, a, it's a book I don't know yet, so why not read it? All right, so he doesn't have anything super valuable, so I'm not too worried about it, but let's raid this place so maybe I can find something valuable here. All right, well, he had nothing of really any value here, so uh, I don't even really need to go talk to him again. So where are we anyway? There's a bunch of zombies outside making a rock. So it looks like there is another town here, so this isn't actually the desert when he goes farther north. I wonder if I go farther west if it is. I kind of want to... Excuse me. I kind of want to go exploring. Uh, cheers, everybody. Just leveled up. Just beating the crap out of these guys. Yeah, I kind of want to go exploring, because to the west... I don't really see the desert over there. Uh, maybe. Maybe I do. All right, so uh, this guy... Wh what was his name again? Trader who? <laughs> Trader Bob. Okay, let's go ahead and actually mark this guy down. Awesome. All right, so we got him saved, at least. Let's... Um, This isn't the desert, so I don't want to set up a town here, or set up a base here. Uh, I suppose I should probably be polite and close the door so he doesn't get eaten alive. Oh, I didn't. I didn't sell him the book that I found in his own own uh, mailbox. How how foolish of me! All right, I'll probably break into his lock safe uh, or his uh, gun safe a little bit later when I have a jailbreaker going. Uh, but let's go down here and see what kind of PYs there are here. There is a Motel Eight which has a vending machine right there. I wonder if that's an active one because I wouldn't mind getting as many sugar butts as possible because those things are super valuable. It is an active vending machine. It does not have a sugar butts though. But that's okay. Let me uh. Zoom way in here, and let's just do a little uh, save waypoint and uh, vend. There we go. 
I think uh, uh, O'Malley's uh, oats over there also has an vending machine in it. I don't know if it's going to be active or not. Yeah, right there. Let's see. Does this one work also? No, it does not. Okay, so that one's a broken down one. Let's. Uh, this, this should have some water in it, maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and drink that. Let's quench my thirst a little bit. I think there's actually a servo box right there, too, on this POI. There's the desert. Hey, buddy. There's the desert. Did I blow your mind? Ooh, I gave you chlamydia. Probably for the best that he got taken out. There's the desert right there. So it is south of here a little bit. Hmm. Now, I do. if I do set up a base, I need to do that in a bar. Like, I, <laughs> I can't not do that in a bar. So I should also probably grab a little bit of extra gas while I'm out here, too. Because, I mean, the motorcycle is a bit of a gas hog. I would love to find the fuel saver mod. There's that servo in the wall right there. All right, what do we got? Uh, scrap don't need. Rifle right parts and stuff. I'll take the rest of that. Let's go ahead and throw those back on in case we run into anybody I can kill for XP. Like that guy over there. And let's gas this up a little bit. So we're still at 93%, which is pretty good. Hello, residents. Do you have anything fun over to the west? I do need gas, so let me just swing here. There's also a vending machine, maybe? Is there working vending machines all over the place here? No, there's not. Okay, that one's dead, too. Those all have things on the handles, so those aren't going to give me anything. I need a place to, to, to get a bunch of gas. Ooh, there's a, there's a thing in there, a, a repair kit. Sorry about the chlamydia. What do we say, how about we just go exploring? Let's go exploring this episode. Who needs to be killing zombies all the time? I got this motorcycle, I got the urge to drive it. Why not go drive it across country and into the desert? Maybe deal with some flappy guys up in the sky because I know they're gonna be out here in the desert. Probably kill a coyote or two. Do a little hunting, light hunting, you know? Ooh, break down some cars for some extra gas. There is a, the, 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 do I know that place? There's a town right over there. That's, no, I don't. Here's some nitrate powder. Okay, I actually am gonna take the time to dig this up just because nitrate powder is what I'm really missing back at the base. So I wanna get that. There's also some oil shell right there. So it looks like there's more below. So I'm going to actually dig up a little bit of this to get, you know, a couple hundred or so so I can actually make some gunpowder back home. Because I had four, I had four pieces. I really need to get this final point in uh, in sexy T-Rex here because my stamina sucks. So oh, I just saw I just saw the wings, wings of the little flappy guy up there. Uh, my stamina sucks. And uh, what can I, let's let's start working on. It. Let's start pumping this up into strength here. Okay, so we're gonna get the strength up and going here, and we're gonna try to get max level sex Rex. I hear you. Terrible shot. Terrible shot. Bad. God, uh, not good. Got him. See, yeah, I only took like 20 shots, but I got him. All right, I got like 350 uh, uh, nitrate there, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna be be satisfied with that. I also found a silver nugget. How about that? All right, let's get out here to this town and see if we can't find ourselves a bar. Oh, flap away. Gas station here. I'm gonna swing in and see if I can't get some gas. I think I have some flappy guys coming after me though, so I might wanna watch my back. Yeah, they're over there. Anything? No gas? Dang it. Yeah, he's coming after me. Batter up. It's a home run! Is there another one? There's another one. Ooh, a good car battery there in the engine. Sweet, I'll take it, no problem. Let's go ahead and break this down for the gas. There's also working stiffs right there. Better loot here in the desert, that's for sure. All right, let's get, uh, I was gonna say let's get a move on. I didn't even check this car. Excuse me. Uh, I, was gonna, I didn't even check this car. I should probably do that real fast. Let's go ahead and throw those on. I also should probably hit up this convenience store here because I'm gonna need food and stuff while I'm out here. I'll grab those, sure, why not? So it'd probably be a good idea. Can I just bust this? Ooh, that's pretty pretty heavy duty. How do I get in here? Giant hole in the wall? That's probably it. Lumberjack in here, you are way outside the winter biome, buddy. Oh, you have chlamydia now too, I'm so sorry. Pretty dismal, didn't really find much of anything. I found a little bit of beverages, something to drink, so I'm not gonna be too upset, but yeah, it could probably have been a little bit better. I need to find the trader out here, though, because if I'm going to be living out here, if I can find a bar, uh, I'm going to want to uh, know where the trader is, though, for sure. What is this, post office or something? That's, that's definitely not a bar. There's a cab, uh, cabinet, cabinet? All those, I think it's a flooring thing. I could live in the strip club, technically. It's kind of a bar. Um... I don't really want to. Uh, I'd rather live in a proper bar, though. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be living in a bar, I want to be living like in style in uh, in a proper bar. There's another forever video which should have a working vending machine in it. Stop off real quick. Excuse me, pardon me. I just want to rent a video. Is that, is that too much to ask for? All right. Let's see what do we got. 
Uh, the jailbreakers, I don't really need anything in there, but let's go ahead and mark this. You up there? Here it comes! Oh, he faked me. He faked me out. Didn't fake me that time. Oh, I should probably put my actual proper glasses on so I get more XP. Okay, it's starting to get stormy, which sucks for visibility. There's another flappy guy up ahead of me. He's going to love the fact that I'm going right past him. There's a Grumpy's Pub. So I could absolutely set up shop here. I guess it sort of depends. Um, it sort of depends on which uh, which merchant is here. Oh, there's a dead rooster too. Oh, here's the here's the merchant right here, the trader. It sort of depends. Oh, this does not look like Jen. I'd rather it be Jen because I can get really high tier quests and I'm in the desert. Okay, Mister, you need to. I missed, missed, got him. Third time's the charm. Uh, let's go see what this guy wants and if he's friendly or not. Let's lose the place. What do you got in the vending machine? Uh, sugar butts. I'll take that for sure. Thank you very much. There's some food in here. Let me grab all the stuff here, all of your valuables. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on one second. Is that better than what I got? That's uh, it's it is light armor, which is kind of nice. Modify. Uh, uh you, hold on. How many spots do you got? Modify. You only have two. Yeah, I'm not probably gonna sell you. What do you got in your your bookcase here? Anything good? I don't really need the cotton seed recipe, so I'm just gonna sell that. And uh, your your thing's broken. So all right, uh, let me put on my better glasses. I ask you if you're friendly while I'm pointing a gun in your face. Uh, let's see, who are you anyway? You are a Trader Joel. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark you on the map. Alright, at least I have you saved now. Now, what do you have in your inventory? Because I kind of want to know these things. Uh, this is day 9, so yeah, I just got here in time. Let's see, what do you got in your inventory? Do you have anything good? Because I have no money. I could sell you some stuff, though. Actually, I'm going to do that. Just open up my inventory here. Alright, well, what do you got? You got some steel armor, which is cool, but it's not very high level, so I'm just going to say no thanks. Um... Nothing there. Got some honey in case you get infected, although your inventory's switching up here pretty soon. The robotic drone armor plating mod. Do you have a robotic drone? Do you have a gyrocopter? Everyone's got gyrocopters. An AK-47. They got tons of good stuff in here. Uh, pipe bomb schematic. Don't really need that. Uh, lucky looter volume I already have. Ooh, fuel saver mod schematic. I want this. There, you can sell that engine too. I want this. What is it? Uh, I can save 180 bucks if I pop a... I need this. I also want that too, so... Alright, we're doing a job. Uh, uh, fetch really close. That's why I like to see. All right, we're doing a job because I want that fuel saver mod. That's gonna be huge. That is huge. All right, everyone, everyone, we're focusing on that. Let's open this up. Let's just uh, drop a bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna keep the sugar butts on me. Let's just squirt a bunch in there just to get some room. All right, good enough. Whatever. All right, so let's go over here and we're just doing a fetch, right? Retrieve supplies. It's a gas station. That's why I like to see gas. Oh, gas. That's what I'm talking about. This is nice. In fact, let's let raid the pumps. I'll do a little double dipping here because gas is going to be kind of valuable. Let's open that up now. Raid the pumps again. Get a bunch of gasoline. All right, I just need, I just need to do this quickly. So there is a there is a dog getting attacked someplace. Let's go up here because it looks like it is up here. Pop him in the head. Take him out. Take him out. Main loot's up here too. That's kind of nice. Um, where is where is it? Where is it? Is it underneath me? No, it says it's above me. Okay, so it is up there. I, maybe it's just excuse me, pardon me. Let's get up here real fast again. Main loot's there too, so I wouldn't mind popping that open while I'm here. Uh, sure, we'll take that. What do you got here? Uh, the hunting rifle. I can sell that at least. That'll be pretty good. What do I have in here? I have the same mod in there. I need to find the. Um, ooh, there's some medical supplies right here. Steroids, I like it. All right, let's go ahead and use that. Where it says it's like right here. So is it underneath this? This is this. Really, that's really tough. Okay, we're we're going inside. Anyone home? Kenny, what's up, buddy? Right in the place. Oh, there are some boxes in here. I wouldn't mind popping open too. I'm getting distracted. I need to get that fuel saver mod before it disappears. Is it not even in that POI? Is it in this one? Yeah, I wasn't even in the gas station. I was wasting my time completely. It's over here. It's right here. All right, let's grab this and get out of here real fast. So that was, I was, I didn't need to go that way. Okay, whatever. At least I got a whole bunch of gasoline for this thing. So let's go ahead and fill that up completely. Maxed out on gas, so that's pretty good. Let's get back to the trader. Turn this in. I need that fuel saver mod, and if I can, I'm gonna do a couple quests to do the uh, get that automatic handbook or automatic weapons uh, book also. But the fuel saver mod is buku important. Okay, I did the thing. I did the thing, Joel. Uh, what do you got? You got a batter up book. I already know. Some ammo, which is good. Yeah, I don't need any of that other stuff, so um, let's just take the ammo I take. That would probably be fine. 
All right, do you have any jobs? Let's do another fetch real quick, and then let's see this, and how much money do I have? 1,600, I think that's enough, right? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Ooh. It might be if I sell some, actually, I can sell this, and I'll sell that mod also. Um, probably could have squirted that into there, but whatever. Um, sell these things too, sell those as well. All right, now we definitely have enough. Let's go ahead and buy this and use it. All right, so I can make that now. Might have to take another trip back to the original pub uh, just so that we can craft it because I think I have to make that at a workbench. But let's go knock out another quest for him and see if this gives me enough money to buy the other one or at least find enough stuff to buy the other one. Take out that bird that's following me. All right, let's loot this thing quick. Uh, I just need the supplies, which are actually on the ground floor. Can I just bust my way? I know it's cheeky and cheaty, but... I just bust my way into Actually, you know what? This isn't too hard to get into. I'm just going to hop across and get get in there quick. I don't really need to loot too much, though, because I, my time is very limited. But I do need to get money, so I need to be able to loot something. And batter up. Get over into this. All right, we are in. We're in like the Flynn. Anyone up here? Yeah, there's one person up here. And not anymore. Take that guy out. Somebody making a fuss here. I'm stuck. Yeah, there we go. Take that guy out. Boom. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, missed. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hit him. Missed. That guy I just can't seem to hit. Right, let's open this up here. Now, I need to grab the package, which is right here. Got it. Let's go hit up the main loot real fast since I already cleared it. Oh, let's make sure I have these things on. Uh, cooling mesh mod. Ooh, there's some nice food in there. And there's also some servos back here. I do need a cooking pot for my base out here, so that's kind of a good find. Let's check the oven also for maybe... Nope. Uh, I was hoping for a um, cooking grill. But I did not get so lucky. You can actually find them in cabinets too, so maybe I should actually be checking these things. Alright, that should be it. Alright, let's get out of here. We got the thing. Where's my bike? I need to get to my bike. Uh, that's it. We got the thing that we needed too. Let's go ahead and just uh, stack whatever we can in there. And then let's back on out of here. And then get going and turn this in. I want that automatic book, and then we can start heading back home. I don't know if we're going to have enough. I could set up base here at Grumpy's, but I already live in a Grumpy's. I wouldn't mind finding a different pub to live in. Like, maybe I could li I could move into the Dead Rooster. It's right next to him. But he has such low-tier quests. I want to find another gen. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. It's so difficult, buddy. Yo, Joel. I did the thing. Uh, let's see, a book I already have, a bunch of ammo is probably what I'll select just because I can always use more ammo. Do you have any jobs? Actually, hold on, let me sell some stuff real fast, just make some room. I have 1,100, well, how much is it? Um, oh, I'm too, I'm too shy. What can I sell? Some military armor parts? There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and buy that book then. So what does that actually do? Automatic weapons have 20% less degradation, which is awesome. I think that this tactical assault rifle counts as that. So let's go ahead and use that. I don't think there's anything else I need from you. So, um, do you have any jobs, though? Because maybe I can knock... Oh, it's all buried supplies. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's. I did do a quick save on this just as I was passing by, but let's do a proper a proper save on this thing here. This is actually a uh, uh, Grumpy's. Okay? That way I'll, I'll know that in case I want to build a base here. I mean, I, I do want to live out in the desert. I have some of the supplies with me right now to get going, but I do want to make that fuel saver mod... And I need a workbench for that, and I don't think... Hold on, what, what do I need for a workbench? Yeah, forged iron. Okay, never mind. Alright, we're going home. We're going home. Tomorrow, we're going to try to come out here and find a place to live. So let's go ahead and... Uh, and uh, quick save. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Ah! No! The bird is attacking me! Oh, I'm infected now, too. Figures. God. Man, he really rocked my world. I suffered a concussion, too. Stupid bird. You. Oh, okay, that was that was not good. All right, so let's see. Let's I gotta bandage myself up here. Let's use that. Get rid of the the scrape, the abrasion. Let's. Uh, I have another one circling me. Let's uh, use that to get rid of the concussion. And I guess while we're at it, my one honey that I brought. Let's use that too. That bird messed me up. All right, let's get out of here and let's get home. You know, I got a little bit of time before night falls, so why don't I head on over to where this coal deposit was, since I'm on my way back home anyway, dig up some of this stuff, and get some uh, gunpowder going back at the base. 
because now that I have the, the chem station there, I can absolutely do that. So let's go ahead and just dig this thing up while I'm uh, head back and get a little bit of coal. All right, got a bunch of coal. I think we got about an hour until daytime or nighttime, so let's get on out of here. Take that guy out. <laughs> we'll, we'll be on our merry way. Dug up a whole bunch of that node. Didn't get the whole thing, but I got a whole lot. I got, what, what, oh, there's a wolf right there. Right there. Hold on, we, I want some meat. And this vehicle is great for hunting. And... Gave the wolf chlamydia. Whoops. All right. No more animal chlamydia jokes anymore. Let's let's get, let's get back home uh, and get this fuel saver mod going. So in the morning, I got to think about what I'm going to do. I either want to go set up a shop at that other grumpies in the desert, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But I'd have to start over on all my questing uh, with, uh, with uh, Trader Joel because... Uh, all my leveling up is with Jen, and so I want to make sure. Uh, I was hoping for some honey. I was hope. Uh, I want to actually like take advantage of that and uh, and maybe find a Jen out in the desert. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know if there's one, but I do have towns turned way way up on this, so I should be able to find another town nearby. Whether it's in the desert, whether it's in the snow biome, I could actually be in the snow biome. I don't know where that is yet, but if I find that, that also has that has an even higher loot stage. But the forest is like the worst loot stage. So ooh, there's Brittany. Oh, she got me too, dang it! I was hoping I'd run into her. I think she might have made my abrasion worse, too. Way to go. <laughs> uh, the forest has the worst loot stage, so I'm going to have to start going to a higher tier uh, biomes to try to find better loot. Like, maybe some honey. Wouldn't that be fun? So I really do have to kind of move shop and set up a new base. But I also have to keep an eye on the time, because it is going into day 10, which means that I only have a few days left, four days or so, until uh, the next horde night. So I might want to bring it back here or set up a horde base. Oh, my gosh. She has crashed and all that. Uh, or set up a horde base uh, in a, one of the higher tiered biomes, which would also be a very good idea, because then the, all the loot bags they drop would give me some really good stuff. There's stuff to do, people. There's a lot of stuff to do. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day. I could also stay around town here and knock out some higher tiered quests for Jen, and then get some sweet bucks so that if I... Uh, some dukes, you know, so that if I do find... Uh, something of uh, value I could uh, buy it at the other places that would actually be a really good idea what do I need for this uh, uh, vehicle saver my election let's go into here uh, vehicle I can type vehicle uh, uh, fuel saver mod right there I need forged steel five steel polymers acid mechanic uh, mechanical parts all right let's see do I have any of that uh, I need some acid which I think with the bottle acid I just brought back I have enough I have just enough I just found one while I was out there. Uh, polymers and mechanical parts, was it? Yes, it was. Okay, let's craft that and get that thing going for sure. I'll be able to add that to it. That'll save me a lot. I wouldn't mind finding the turbocharger mod. Uh, the, uh, actually, everything. I wouldn't mind finding everything. But uh, right here, the vehicle supercharger mod. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting that, but I have to, of course, find it. <laughs> but... I'll, I'll keep my eyes peeled. But how long is this going to take? This is going to take a minute. Shouldn't be too long. I'm going to sort my inventory, and then we can get to it. All right, the view, vehicle's uh, fuel saver mod is completed. I have most of my inventory sorted, I think. I managed to keep some of the stuff in here that I wanted to keep, of course. Anyone around here? Left the light on. That was kind of a whoopsie. Uh, oh, not the right thing. Let's go ahead and actually put this in there. That way it'll save on fuel. Now, before I wrap up this episode, though, didn't I actually have a quest for Jen in this area? Fetch and clear, tier 4. Ooh, at nighttime. That could be very difficult. You know what? I think we're going to do that first thing in the morning, though, so that I can actually get uh, some money. But in the meantime, because that's right down there, you know what I should do? I should go do the other fetch and clear for uh, the other gen. It's a tier 3. That might be a little bit easier. And I have this sweet motorcycle, so I can go a lot faster. So the fuel saver mod will... Ooh, there's a fence right there. Will, uh, will burn the fuel significantly slower, which is awesome. Uh, kind of conserve it a little bit. So what, how about we head out over here to this other town? Ooh, don't hit the... Hi. Don't mind me. Let's head out here and knock out this tier 3 quest in the middle of the night. Hopefully not die. And then uh, and then we'll get back. Quick check for maybe some possibly even some uh, honey, you know? Maybe. 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 Dang it. All right. Let's do knock out this tier 3 quest real quick and then head out. Or head back home then. There's a bear right there. I don't actually need that bear. I've got plenty of testosterone for whatever I might need it for, which I don't need it for anything. And I have plenty of meat or ways to get other meat that isn't going to murder me. Now, tier three quests are not exactly what I would call pushovers. Like that guy just got pushed over right there. 
finish him off so that he doesn't come after me. That other one over there might, but they're not exactly pushovers, and it is nighttime, which is really dangerous and stupid to do. I'm gonna do it anyway, but it's, it's just not smart. Hey, buddy, you wanna get over here so I don't... I'll draw you in later. It's totally with right there. Oh, there's someone over there. All right, let's 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 just get to it. Anyone home? Is this working? That's not working. Missed the dog. Oh, oh it locked me in here. This is bad. This is bad. That was close. I'm infected again, but... Oh, it didn't lock me in here. I just missed the door. Loot bag, that's what I'm talking about. That got really sketchy real fast, didn't it? Whew. Reload that. Get this thing out. Take that guy out. All right, so I'm infected, so I have to kind of do this quickly. There, it's, It alerted everyone in the area. I thought for sure it had locked me in there when I went in the room like it was a trap. Oh, for crying out loud, everyone's coming. All right, are we good? I think we're good. Whew. All right, well, I'm hurt again. Um, scrap that, drink that, and then uh, let's go ahead and use one of these things. That I, got. I kind of got wrecked back there, and my abrasion just got worse again. I'm infected. Ugh, that's not good. That was not a good good start. I missed the dog right off the bat, too, and then there's too many of them that I panicked. And Okay, big deep breath. All right, we are pressing on, though. Let's see, is there a way to get up top in here, though, that I completely missed right here? Yes, there is. Dogs. Dogs. Pain my existence. Got the chlamydia stick out here. That looks like something could be bad in there. Yeah, there is. Mmm, this is a big place. I bet you there's a ton of stuff in these things. Yeah, I see you. Pop him in the face. Pop his head completely off. Duck back underneath here again. Pistol's doing some pretty good work. I should actually put some points into the pistols, but uh, I haven't. That guy's just chilling, just taking a rest. He kind of fell over when he busted the glass there. Let's see if we can't wake some people up here. Someone in there? Ow! Oh, Lieutenant Dan, he scared me. Holy cow. Clear the area. This is a sketchy place to clear the area. Nope. Take them out. This is a uh, tactical assault rifle. Is do Ooh, doing some work. So is the shotgun. Whew. We good? Talk to the traitor. It's cleared. Oh, there's a locked chest. I have some time charges? Yeah, I do. I have some time charges with me. I can absolutely get this thing open. All right, let me pop open all these boxes and figure out what we got. All right, let's check the weapons bag. Here we go. Get some uh, machete parts. I was going to say money, but no. Nope. Some robotic parts. Maybe I'll be able to make myself a robotic drone if I find the schematic. Definitely going to want this stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I really got beat up in here. Doing these quests at night is sort of stupid, but, you know, yeah, you got to have some fun sometimes. There we go, grab some more ammo. We definitely want that. All right, so we got to get into this thing here, and I have a way to do that. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, we got, ooh, we got steel tool schematic. That's actually really nice. I can, I actually can only make tier two stuff anyway, so actually it doesn't do me any good. <laughs> but, I mean, if I put some points into minor 69er, that could be really good. There is apparently a dog biting somebody, but there's a lot of these boxes in here too that I can probably open up and get some good stuff out of. There's a button right here, and I think that opens up the bay doors so I can get out of here, but I'll save that for last so that I don't invite everyone in the entire area, the entire block to come eat me. Oh, there we go. I found a college jacket. Okay, so that's that increases my run speed by 10%, which is awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's wear for a second, and then we're gonna modify this. Take the pocket mod out, equip that, and uh, uh, modify, and throw the pocket mod in there, and then we're gonna wear that. Nice, awesome. I'm gonna definitely be using that so I can move a little bit faster now, which is gonna come in real handy as these zombies uh, come come after me. So, all right, we're grabbing the last little scraps of stuff here. There's nothing really left here. I think it's about time we go. I th I'm not sure if that dog's attacking the zombie or if he's actually trying to just bust his way in here and try to kill me. I think it's actually the latter, so let's go ahead and open the doors. Take that guy out. Loot this. Nothing really of any value there. Harvest this guy up. 
All right, get the chlamydia stick out and let's go running towards the bike. And let's head back home because I am infected and I need to, t I need to get my antibiotics or some honey or something like that uh, kind of badly. So which way do I need to go to get home? That way? All right, let's get going. Let's get home and let's call it an episode. Alrighty guys, I am pulling into Grumpy's Pub here, and I think I'm going to wrap this episode up because it has been a heck of a night. Man, we got our bell rung last night. Bad. I got to go in here and heal up and all sorts of stuff. But if you did enjoy this episode, please go down and smash that like button. It helps me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Let's use that real fast. To this episode. Uh, let's use this also maybe. Help out to heal up a little bit. Um, I will be back next week with more uh, Bar Life. So thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye. Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Bar Life, and I am here at Grumpy's Pub, of course, uh, just chilling here, waiting for the morning uh, sun to rise, which, there it is. Uh, still recovering from last night. Last night, I kind of got my bell rung pretty bad uh, doing that nighttime quest. Uh, my infection is going down. The abrasion still has a minute to go on, uh, on my leg there, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm actually just trying to get some stuff sorted right now. Because uh, I've got to uh, basically wait around here until 6 a.m. So I can go turn in that quest that we just did. Which I believe, yeah, it's for it's for the gen to the west of here. I'm looking at this. Trying to figure out exactly what it is I'm going to do with my life. Because I want to get down to the desert. There's better loot down in the desert. I want to live there. Or at least I want to get down there for right now. And now uh, we found this town here last episode. And there is a Grumpy's Pub. And there's also a dead rooster, which is right here, I think. Actually, I'm going to save that, actually, as a... Uh, dead rooster. There we go. I think that's uh, I think that's uh, the other place. Which that would be all right. But the problem is that that's Joel. Okay, I want a Jen. I want to find Jen out in the desert if she's even there. And uh, and I don't really know where where one is because I haven't explored mo much of the desert. So I'm thinking about heading down there and actually doing that. Now there's also this large uh, town here in the desert that we explored earlier in the series, and that has a trader somewhere. That I didn't find on the eastern side. I, I said that eastern side is where the traders usually are. Here's wrecked over here. There's Jen right here. I thought for sure that I was 100% right. And even this Jen over here is on the eastern side of this town. Totally was wrong. Bob's on the eastern side over here. Apparently the desert it's different. So maybe it's on the, the west. Maybe it's like the wild west. Maybe it's on the western side or northern or southern side or something. But I gotta try to find the trader for that town because that's a large city and that'd be great. If, well, it'd be great if I could find a, a bar there. Because I haven't found one yet. And then it'd be great if uh, I could find a trader. And if that happened to be Jen, that would be amazing. All right, I have loaded up my inventory with a bunch of stuff that I think might come in handy for uh, for building a new base. In fact, I'm going to grab those. In fact, I should probably grab the Molotov too. But we have a guest outside, and I hear it being a pain right now. Where are you? Are you? Did you go up top? Are you up top? Oh yeah, look at that. We have we have a we have a wolf up here. And that's how you do hunting, people. It's that simple. Alright, but I did load up my inventory because it is turning 6 o'clock now. I spent a little time sorting some stuff. I'm crafting myself a workbench and a forge. I'm going to take that with me as well. Uh, let's just cancel these things because those are something simple that I don't really need. Squirt all that stuff in there. Don't really need that either. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit of wood, or a little bit of food that I'm bringing up there that'll cook on the fly as well as my blueberry pies and whatnot. A couple bit, uh, a couple beverages as well. I'll make sure that my vitals are all topped off because I'm heading out to the desert today. And I don't intend on coming back for quite a while, so we're going to go spend some time out there. Now, giving it some thought, I have already lived in a, uh, actually, let's, uh, let's check the vending machine before we go, the vending machines. Uh, but I have already lived in a Grumpy's pub, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into that uh, little rooster, or the dead rooster. Uh, what do we got in here? Uh, I can't I already have a couple of them on me. Nothing super important. I do have not enough money to buy anything anyway, so I guess I should stop checking. <laughs> I'm two coins shy. Did I leave any money in my sellables real quick? I want to check that before I leave because I want to take everything with me. The, the trader out there, whether it be Joel or if I can find a Jen or a Hugh or whoever, um, it's going to be kind of important. So anything in here? Nothing in there. Okay. Let's get going. In fact, while I'm on the fly here, let's uh, let's start making my storage crates so I don't have to worry about those when I uh, when I get there. So, all right, let's get on the bike here. Let's get on the hog, and uh, and I don't have money to go check the other vending machine anyway. Let's go turn this quest into Jen, and then let's start hauling it out to the desert again to try to set up a little establishment, a little base, because I want to get to exploring later today. It is super foggy out, but I did manage to get here with only crashing into about nine or ten things. Hey, look at that! Right as I say it, the fog clears. I guess it's just the power of Jen. Making everything better. All right, let's make sure I got the right goggles on. I do. All right, Jen, I did your thing. Here's your pay. Ooh, bar brawling book I don't have. I don't really care because I'm not going to be rocking a bar brawling thing. Or I'm not going to be doing unarmed, but I'll take it just for it to be the completionist. You know, it's going to be... And painkillers, medication's always helpful. Do you have any jobs in the area? Something really quick. Uh, clear zombies, tier four. 
tempting. Let's just knock out like a really simple one if there's one really close by. Uh, let's do a clear do this, tier zombie. Uh, clear zombies tier one real fast, just because I want a little couple extra bucks, and uh, this, this should be no problem. Just rolling in there and knocking these guys out real fast. All right, looks like this is the place. I'm on the wrong side of this fence though, so I'm gonna bash my way in. Although it might be faster just to go around. Uh, this gives me a little bit of scrap iron at least, and that's gonna come in handy later on. All right, let's get in here. Hello, stripper. And let's go start this thing up so that we start, it counts these uh, ones, ones I'm killing. Oh, there's a lumberjack in our place. Poof, like magic. Sorry about that little dose of chlamydia I got there. It kind of happens sometimes whenever you rub up against my uh, chlamydia stick. All right, so I am gonna wanna collect resources too because if I'm gonna be establishing a new base in the desert, I am going to want all of this. Absolutely all of this is gonna be important. Sounds like I've got a little friend. Hello, hi, how are you? All right, let's get to clearing this place out quick and so we can get back to turning this into gen and then get on over to the desert. All right, that place is completely cleared out. Quick game like that is always fun. You can just knock out a couple of really quick and easy quests and then away you go. I gotta get around the back side of this place because that's where I left it. Hey, excuse me, buddy. I'm just trying to find my motorcycle. All right, nothing quite like a really fast and easy quest like that just to warm yourself up. Yeah, you know, get things going. I did find a tier six scrap helmet, which is kind of tempting to switch to, because it has more uh, modifier slots to it, less defense. In fact, it's really tempting rough. to switch to. Plus, I can easily repair it. I might actually do that. Let's quickly uh, turn in some of this. A muzzle brake mod is actually pretty good. I should probably keep that. I can't sell one thing. I guess. Uh, oh, I'm not, I can't sell anything actually. I got to select some stuff. Actually, hold on, wait one second. Can I just sell some stuff real fast, Jen? I just need to sell, make some inventory space. You know, real quick before I even turn this quest, I think what I'm going to do is actually swap this over. Oh, it's a steel helmet. Yeah. Uh, never mind. You know what? I'll keep my steel helmet. Decisions, decisions. Molotovs, absolutely. I'll take those. Those are always fun. Weighted head mods, kind of fun. What can I sell you to make more money? <laughs> Let's just pick one of these ones for right now. Okay, now, I already have a motorcycle, so buying the chassis, the gyrocopter chassis schematic. I'm probably going to buy. I actually am very bad with the gyrocopter, but because I'm just not good at flying, but we're gonna buy that anyway. There was also a sniper volume there uh, that I saw she had uh, right here that I don't have. So let's go ahead and buy that too there. I'm broke again, look at me go. All right, let's get to the desert. Let's get to the desert. I don't really care what this guy has to say about it. I'm going. Oh, his friend had something to say about it. Oh, 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 sorry about the chlamydia. Oh, look at that. They really don't want me in this town, do they? Yeah, okay. Well, there's only one thing a guy's gotta do in this situation. Ah, oh, it's so good. It is so good. Little dip, dip, potato chip there. All right, let's get going. So I'm just beelining it for it. I'm not gonna stop off at any traders because I really don't have any money to buy anything anyway, and I don't want to get distracted. So we gotta get down there, establish a place to call home in the desert. I am in a fenced scenario. And uh there I go, another hole in the wall. Establish a place to call home in the desert. And then uh, and then probably start leveling up Hugh. I think that's who's out there. Who who I actually have out there? Uh Joel? Trader Joel, yeah, Trader Joel's out there. I gotta start leveling him up. So before <laughs> before uh before the sun sets, I need to get out there, get my base established, create a dump chest. I'll organize all the stuff in between episodes. Excuse me, Brittany. Oops, I, I did it again. I ran her over. I, I ran into her leg. But, um, but we gotta get out there, establish a base. I'll just create a dump chest and just throw everything in there for right now. I'll worry about upgrading it and stuff later, because I want to get out do some questing, do some leveling. More importantly, I want to do some exploring. There's a lot of the desert that I don't know where things are. And I think it'd be a good idea if I actually took the time to kind of venture out. Plus, like I said, that big town to the south or to the east, east of where I'm going. Um, I don't know. I don't know where the trader is there, and I really want to find that. So I know where one town, one other town is in the desert, but I don't know where the trader is there. Oh, there's a boar here, hunting, hunting with Grimer. That's how you hunt. It's that simple. I just got an abrasion by trying to hit hit a lady back there. I guess I kind of deserved it, but. Oh, come on, that's insane. So let's treat that. Alright, that's, that's gonna take nine minutes to heal. Didn't learn my lesson, though. Alright, so there's some crabby pelicans around, floating around, trying to get me. There's a chicken, which I just missed, dang it. Um, ooh, that's a cactus. Um, 
But I am uh, fast approaching. There's a rabbit. There's animals all over the place. Weather out here sucks. Uh, but, you know, I guess I'll just find my happy place and ignore it. Uh, we do want to get all the way over here, though, because this is where my new home is going to be. Ugh. The desert, people. The desert. Oh, I see a uh, cement mixer here. Let's check this, because I still need the schematic for that. Ah, didn't get it. Didn't get it. All right, let's grab these supplies as well, because I need more building supplies. I'm going to have to be collecting these things. Are there any birds coming after me? I don't think so. I need to be collecting these things as I go. Uh, so I'll gladly take this freebie stuff while it's here. There is a bird coming in. Time for me to leave. Uh, all right, I'm already kind of messed up still from uh, the trauma from last night. And plus, uh, that one lady that just slapped me as I was trying to run her over. I know I was in the wrong, but whatever. I, I still blame her. There it is. Home sweet home. Now, we do have a little problem with that. Uh, oh, I almost took him out with a shovel. That would have been amazing. With one of those guys. And we also got a skater boy here coming in. Sorry about the chlamydia. Let's just knock him out quickly so he doesn't remember who did it. And, uh, and yeah, we made it. We made it here. Here's our new home. We're living here in the dead rooster here in the, uh, in the desert. But we do have to do one thing. We got to clear out the existing uh, tenants at the moment. So I think what I'll do is, because I'll probably find some stuff in there. I'll just kind of squirt some stuff in here right now just to make some wiggle room. All right, and let's go in here and clear out everybody. Hello, you're getting evicted. Did I already clear out everyone? Is there anyone in here? Where's all the zombies? Oh, there they are. Kenny! I really gotta work on my sexy T-Rex. I think that's one I'm gonna be putting points into. Actually, I do have a couple of points. Can I just put one in? No, what do I need? I need uh, level seven, right? All right, so these two skill points can bump this up to level seven, thanks to my cigar that I have. So next uh, time I level up, which will be like the next zombie kill I get looking at the bar, uh, then we will, actually, hold on one second. There we go. Cheers, everybody, leveled up. Just had to kill the dog out back. All right, so the next point we get, like I said, we're gonna put that right into Sex Rex. Killing blows grant 30 stamina. You also have stamina usage reduced by 25%. Uh, and uh, and uh, power tax by 50%. So that is incredible. Oh, did somebody hear me shoot? Somebody heard me shoot. All right, so I think... Actually, no, there's still somebody upstairs. Hold on. There should still be somebody on the ceiling up here. Oh, it's a spider boy. Come on down, spider boy. Oh, missed him. Sorry about the chlamydia. And there is a rooster out here. That escaped through the doorway here, or through that open window. So there we go. Got some more food. All right, I think the house is clear now, which means this place is mine. So I'm definitely going to be living on the top floor, though. So as far as just so I can get off the ground, it causes zombies to have to come up to me. So as far as uh, fixing this place up, I think that uh, creating a second floor here would be a good idea. So I need to remove these tables. But first, where's my storage system going to go? Um, maybe over here? Maybe, yeah, I'll just put it over here. Let's get these things out of the way. And uh, that way I, I don't waste these storage boxes. I can put them down and actually have them mean something. All right, so let's slap down some of the storage here. I'll have to fix up the windows. Well, maybe we'll just create a, a, a square. There we go. Bam. Storage square. Just like that. It's already midday. Okay, I've got to get moving. Holy cow. Oh, there is an airdrop, too. It's right over there. All right, so let's just do uh, save waypoint one. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go get it. In my haste to get out here, I actually did forget to bring a cooking grill, but that shouldn't be a problem. I do have a forge. I can always go make one. That's a car. got to get rid of that for sure. All right, now, it was just over here, so i got to just zip over there and quickly get eyes on it. We'll get all these trees in the way. Why are there so many trees in the desert? All right, I see it over there. While I'm going out there... Oh, there's a, there's a dog. Hey. Okay, took out the dog. I'll be cleaning him up on the way back I'm, if I can find him. Uh, let's quickly get out to this airdrop and see what it gave me. Okay, so there's the wasteland right over there on my left. It's just, it's just getting foggy, so it just kind of went out of view. That looks like a really large city in the wasteland, though. That's incredible. Uh, that should be a lot of fun for a little bit later. All right, let's see what we got. Didn't put my looter goggles on. That was kind of stupid. Ooh, some bread. I will take it. Let's actually just use that. Cause I'm, well, I could use a little bite. Baked potatoes. Sure, I'll use that too. Why not? And 50 lockpicks. That's awesome. And a car that I can break down for more gas because I'm kind of getting a little low on that. Let me see what's inside it first. But yeah, just beyond the horizon there is the wasteland. So that's pretty awesome. And it's going to be... Oh, uh, there's a lady that doesn't appreciate the fact that I'm breaking... She's like, that's my car! I just called AAA! Get away from it! Stop breaking it down! Uh, the answer is no. Alright, so yeah, that's the wasteland over there. Big city there. 
Ooh, that's crazy. I'm just gonna take a ride over there just to get it marked on my map, uh, so that I know what's over there. And then I'm gonna zip right back to the dead rooster though, because I'm not I'm not really ready for the wasteland yet. I think I need a little bit more powerful weapons for that. There's bears, there's landmines. Although I did read the book, didn't I, about the the um well, well, not stepping on landmines. Let me just check there real quick. I did, didn't I? Uh, it's uh, Urban Combat, I believe, Volume 5. It's the only one I've read on that book. Landmines don't uh, detonate when stepped on. That's like the best one to read. But yeah, that is definitely the Wastelands. I see some cars right there. Are they in the Wasteland? Like, let's just check real quick. What's my loot stage out here? 52? If I hop onto this on top of this rubble right here, does it change? Loose stage 100. It absolutely changes. What do we got in here? Actually, let's uh, throw these things on. What do we got in here? Anything good? Sometimes you can find some good stuff out here. And sometimes you find some crap like that. But sometimes you find pistols. That's pretty cool. I don't really need it, but I'll, I'll break it down for the pistol parts. Uh, let's go over here and check this one, too. I don't want to spend too much time here in the wasteland, because this is super dangerous. But, ooh, we have a cop zombie over there. All right, let's just get out of here. Actually, hold on. Did I check this one? I didn't check this one yet. All right, absolute garbage in there. All right, let's get back to the bu uh, the bar, drop off whatever supplies that is collected there, which isn't much, and then let's go exploring and try to see. If, let's go find the other trader. Let's go find the other trader back at the uh, at the other larger uh, city that we have here in the desert. I think that'd be uh, a wise decision because otherwise I'm gonna have to tr uh, level up trader. Who's next to me again? I keep forgetting his name. Is it Joel? It's Joel. There's a bird coming at me. Yeah, trader Joel. Um, I'm gonna have to level him up, and that's gonna take a while, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna get to that good loot. I spent all that time this first, like, 10 days leveling up Jen. I wanna find Jen, dang it. All right, back in my new hometown. I am gonna check the trader real quick. I don't really have any money, but maybe I can sell something or whatever. Uh, to see if he has any kind of books or anything that I might need to know. Did I, I looted this place, right? I think so, yeah. Oh, eh. oh, no, that's just paper. Don't need that. All right. Uh, do you have anything of any value whatsoever useful in any way, shape, or form? Restocks on day 13. Vehicle reserve fuel mod. That actually would be pretty nice. When a lucky looter. Okay, you actually do have some stuff. Ugh. Uh, do you have any jobs? It's tier one stuff. Oh, here's a fetch. That's, you're not going to be able to really get me money very fast, are you? Restocks on day 13. I have time. Let's sell that. Let's sell some of this stuff. And, uh, and see if we can't uh, get a couple parts here. Or actually, can we can we buy a book now? Can we buy a book? The, the, no, we're so short on that. And we can buy this one. All right, let's buy the Lucky Looter. What does this even do anyway? Find more loot. I guess that makes sense, yeah. The Lucky Looter series is something that I wouldn't mind actually maxing out. Because right here, enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. That's if you complete the series. So I'm buying those books also just because I want to complete the series for that extra perk. All right, we are back at the at the bar here, but I realize I'm gonna put down a bedroll here, not for if I die, but because I believe that prevents things from respawning. So I think that'd be a good idea to uh, to drop that in here. Uh, because remember, it's hardcore series, so if I die, that's it. The series is over, right then and there. Let's just uh, take that bedroll and just slap that down right in the middle. All right, I'm gonna drop my inventory, and then we're heading out to that town to the east of here to try to finally find that trader. I also have these two treasure maps that I brought out here from uh, the original pub. And I think that would probably be a good idea if, uh, if we actually use those out here. Let's, uh, I can't read while I'm on a motorcycle. Apparently it's irresponsible. Let's go ahead and read these and accept both of them. All right, where does that, where does that actually want me to go? Okay, there's one down here, which is kind of close. And there's one kind of, they're, they're not really in the right direction. You know what, I'll, I'll get them in a little bit. I really do want to get over there and see if I can not find that trader and see who it is. Uh, it's kind of important. Ah, Grumpy's. Such a good place. Alright, so here's the town. Um, which, which direction should I check first? Should I check the top or... Ah, ah, Pelican! Hit it with a ratchet. Okay, probably should have those on too. Filthy birds. Alright, uh, should I check the northern side? Or the southern side? Or is that it? That's it right there. <laughs> That's, that's Jen! That's Jen's place, isn't it? Yeah! Oh, is there a, oh, is there a bar around here? Ah, I want to live here. Jen! Jen, my darling, what do you got? No sugar butts. What's up with that, huh? Uh, let's, uh, sure, I'll, I'll grab whatever, whatever you're offering, Jen, I'll take. Batter up volume six in the trash, that's kind of a good find. I already know it, but... Jen, it's so good to see you. Let me steal everything out of your register. All right, uh, first off, let's uh, sell that book I just found because I don't need one pipe. That's fine. I'll get over it. 
Uh, and I don't really need any animal fat. I think I'll be fine. I think I actually have a little bit back at the base anyway. What do you have, Jen? What? Do, what? I only have 200 bucks. Jen, let's uh, let's go about this a little different. Actually, let's actually look for a second what she has because I have a goal to work for then. Uh, okay, so that, that barbell. Ooh, Urban Combat 6. Armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. That'd be a good one to have. Uh, grenade schematic, which would be kind of fun, but not super necessary. Okay, so that Urban Combat book I wouldn't mind buying. Jen, do you have any jobs? Because it's going to give me a chance to explore the town, too. Uh, clear zombies, clear and fetch a little bit closer. Let's go with that one. All right, we're going to try and knock out a couple of real quick quests for Jen. These are tier 4, so these are going to take a little bit more. I also need to get more gas for my, for my vehicle. This is pretty bad. Um... Let's go ahead and make sure we have this selected so I know where I'm going. It's right over there. Alright, so let's knock out as many quests as we can for Jen here in this town to get a nice little stockpile of money. And then tonight I'm going to be building up the dead rooster, unless I can find a place here. Ooh, it's a construction site. This is going to take a while. I would like to double loot this because there's a lot of building equipment here. Okay, so maybe we're only going to get one done today. Alright, let's do this. Let's hit this quick. Now, I know that there's some terrible stuff around here. Like, like that, for example. That's a pretty terrible thing. And there's a couple of terrible things coming at me right here. Miss, miss, got it. Third time's charm. Oh, come on. That 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 shot should hit. I swear it hit. It went right between its legs. All right, let's make quick work of these guys because I got to clear this whole place out. There's the power doors bridge schematic. And oh, look at this. A robotic, robotic drone morale booster mod. That's kind of nice. Uh, what's not nice is these guys. But what is nice is that max level sex rex. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to be able to actually take these guys out. I'm actually going to take that just because I'm kind of running low on fluids. Uh, it is nice to have this much uh, this much stamina because it keeps kind of getting back at the more I kill. So, speaking of which, sorry about the chlamydia. You'll get over it. Come on, cement mixer schematic. Dang it. No luck this time. All right, there's still another cement mixer around here in this uh, POI, though, so I'm not... Uh, not Tightly disheartened, but it would be nice to find that so I could finally build the cement mixer. Because uh, building concrete is going to be super important. Hello, buddy. Hello, mister. Hello, good sir. Excuse me, miss. Oh, you're not dead. Well, now you are. I do have to try to put a little pep in my step because the day is actually going by pretty quick. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'll actually mark this down as a save waypoint as a uh, construction site. And that way I'll come back here for supplies if I need it. That way I won't have to take forever digging up everything that I find. I already dug up a little bit of stuff, not much. Let's see, anybody in here? Hello, anyone taking a crap? Some beverages and uh, and, uh, and snacks here I'll gladly eat just because I'm getting a little hungry. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Somebody's making a ruckus behind me. You are not actually part of the POI. You are just somebody nearby. All right, like I said, skipping all the building supplies, skipping most of the looting too. I'm really just trying to get down to just clearing this place out. There's somebody. Up here with a stripper, of course. She's got chlamydia. I wouldn't recommend fooling around with that. There is a bird out here. Terrible shot. Bad shot. Better shot. Now this guy is not marked with a red dot, which means he wandered in from outside. You have no place here, mister. Please leave. This guy too. What's up with all these zombies wandering in from outside? All right, there is the other cement mixer. Come on, actually, let me uh, let me put these things on. Come on, give me the schematic. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Use that immediately. All right, we can make cement now. Oh, that was so good, so good. All right, that was the last uh, workstation I needed to make, so I didn't have to put any points into. Uh, I thought that was a window. Oh, the glass is right here. Just walk right through that. Excuse me. I need to kill everybody in here. Oh, there's two people in there. Let's just knock that guy down. Give him some a nasty case of a burning feeling in a certain place. Anyone else up here? Or is, it, is everyone else downstairs? I think everyone else might be... Nope, there's somebody up here. Oh, geez. What were you guys doing in the ceiling? Oh, what were you doing in the ceiling with Chlamydia? All right, checking downstairs. Then there's somebody right there. Yeah! Oh, he's still alive. Stop. Just, just stop. Just lay down. Is there anyone in the garage? Oh, there certainly is. Right in the balls. These guys just don't care at all. I'm just destroying their nuts. Yeah, they didn't care at all that I was just shooting them in the balls. Or the people next to them. Excuse me, mister. You are not part of this POI, so I need you to sit down and stop bothering me. Alright, this might this is locked, so this probably isn't the way it's supposed to go, but I'm kind of in a rush. Like I said, time is ticking away, so we're busting our way in here. I hear zombies in here. 
Yep, there's one. Oh, there's a working sifts box right here, so that's kind of tempting. I'll take a second just to crack that thing open. Ah, probably shouldn't have. Really wasn't worth it. I know I said I wasn't gonna grab the supplies, but these are right in my face, and I can't resist because I'm just like, I'm just impulsive. Oh, hey, miss, you mind? I'm a, I'm a little busy. Pretty good shot. All right, took that guy out. Stamina is garbage at the moment because I've been running and jumping over all these obstacles, but I still need to clear out this place. Now, after this place is clear, that finished house over there is part of this POI as well. It's kind of a big place. Anyone up there? Where's everyone? I hear you. Oh, yeah, there you are. Missed you. Got you, though. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I feel like stuck there. All right, anyone else up here that I need to get? Crickets are chirping. That's the reason why I'm not really looting anything. Because I'm just trying to clear this out ASAP. All right, I think that, that building's clear. On to the finished house. Hopefully this is all that's left. Oh, I also have to remember to grab the supplies. Let me go do that quick before I forget, because I know for sure I'm going to. Okay, got him. Now I just have to clear out the rest of the area, which should just be that one remaining building. Garage door is open there, which must have been one of the switches I've hit while I've been exploring this. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a big, terrible ball of death. Yep, right there. Big, terrible ball of death. How much ammo do I got? I should. Let me make sure these things are already full, uh, filled up. I should be able to take them. Okay, right in the butt cheeks. Right in the butt. There we go. Turn your head this way. I want to get some good headshots in on you. There we go. He's dead. Woo! Harvest him up because he drops tes testosterone extract, which I wouldn't mind. Now let's clear out the rest of these guys. I hear dogs. There's a dog someplace. Kenny's up there just burning with chlamydia. Ooh, we ain't got no leg. Oh, we got one leg. Okay, I got some dogs in the area, so I might want to watch myself. Going in with guns out because this could be sketchy. Are they in the back? Okay, we're in back. Is that all of them? Okay, I think that was all of them. Whew! Yeah, dogs make me nervous. Hey, any, uh, any cooking grill by any chance? No. Coffee? No, of course not. So rude. Alright, anyone upstairs? Um, yep, there's one right there. Oh, there's a stripper hiding in the closet. Oh, how did she knock it? How are you invincible? What is that? All right, I guess I'll heal myself up. That stripper kicked the crap out of me. All right, there really shouldn't be too many people left. See, he died in one shot like a normal zombie should. All right, oh, talk to traitor. Okay, I got to get out of here. Because uh, cause it's, it's done. The quest is done. I did it. High five. I do see a... Uh, movie theater right here, which should have a vending machine in it. So I wouldn't mind popping in there and seeing if there's any sugar butts available. There's also a guy right here. Probably is going to be a pain for me, but not more of a pain than I am for him. That one actually is not active. Ooh, these things are alive now. Look at this. I should not aim down the sights more often. All right, so what about this vending machine? Usually this has an active one. No, it does not. It does have an ATM. Do I have my charges with me? I do. I do have a lock pick, though. Let's just try picking this lock and hurry up and get back to Jen, get a sweet reward, and then head off to uh, back to our, our pub, back to our dead rooster, and, uh, and then I can start setting up shop throughout the night. Please stop breaking my lock picks. I need to get into you because I only have like an hour or so to get back to Jen, and I really don't want to break all 50 lock picks off in this thing. There we go, finally. All right, let's throw on the looting goggles, see if we can't get a little extra something, something. The main loot of this place is like right here. It's really tempting to bust in there. How, how, how strong is this? It's really tempting to bust in there. I know this is super cheaty, but I like I like nice things. Actually, that's gonna be locked. Let's just see if I can't grab the crack book box instead. All right, what do we got? Anything good? Ah, uh, motorcycle handlebar schematic, which is something I, I didn't know, so I guess that's kind of fun. Not like I really needed. I've already got my motorcycle. All right, let's hurry up and get back to Jen because it is quickly approaching nighttime, and I still have to get back to the other town just to even set up shop. I didn't find a bar here. Make sure we have the right glasses on. Jen, I did the thing for you. In case you're wondering, I did the thing. I found a cement mix along the way, too. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, a machete. Absolutely. That's like the best type of bladed weapon. Way better than my tier 3. It's a tier 5 also. Way better. Bar, uh, bar brawling book, I don't know. Just because I'm a completionist, I'm going to take that. Do you have any jobs? Let's do a clear... We don't have a lot of time here, so I'm just going to pick a clear zombie here. It's a restaurant. Oh okay, I'll take care of that at another time. But for right now, we're just going to sell a bunch of stuff to you, Jen. Stuff I don't really need. Let me quickly uh, modify. Take that thing out of there. And uh, modify. Squirt that thing in there. 
Uh, swap those two on my hotbar, and then I can sell that knife. Uh, cheers, everybody. I just leveled up also. Uh, so sell that, sell that. Uh, I don't want to sell the bar brawling book. I don't really need glass, but I'm not, I guess I can't sell it. Yeah, I'm going to keep uh, a lot of this stuff. All right. What is it that she... Okay, there's the other bar brawling book that she has, which I wouldn't mind. What was the thing I was here, actually? Oh, Urban Combat. That's it for sure. I really want that. Grenade schematic? I guess I'll buy that just in case it comes in handy. Maybe I'll make grenades later. I don't, I'm not using a bow, so I don't really care about that. And then, uh, just because the completionist in me wants to get it. Oh, that's the book she gave me for the quest. I didn't need to spend the money. Dang it. Can I just give it back to you? Good to know. All right, so Trader Joel's is closing pretty soon. Time for me to get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get back to the dead rooster. I've got some stuff to do in between episodes here. So, uh, click stack, or, uh, click mark that one there. And, uh, I've got some stuff to do in between episodes here. Gotta get this base set up over here so that I can actually, like, function out of it. You know, right now I just have a wall of storage that's not labeled. I have no idea where anything is, and it's all dumped into one chest. That's not any good. So, I'm gonna break down some cars on the way there, because I need the gas. There should be plenty of oil shale nodes out here in the desert, so... I think I know the gas can schematic, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. I don't, uh, actually... I can't actually make gas. See? I might mean, mean I need to put some points in Grease Monkey, which sort of sucks. I don't really want to waste points in that when I can find it. Uh, let's fill that up just a little bit. There you go, 55% getting there. I need to find the better mods for this, I think. What do I, what do I actually have in this thing? I can't even remember. I have the Fuel Saver mod, which is tremendously helpful. And, yeah, so if I can get, like, the, uh, the... That thing that, uh, the trader is... Oh, the trader is actually selling it. The, the vehicle, uh, fuel extender mod, right? The reserve tank. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting that. I think the trader here this town is selling that. But he's obviously closed now because it just turned nighttime. Creepy stuff. All right, let's get back to the dead rooster and maybe wrap this up because I've got some work to do in between episodes here getting this place set up. I do have an unwanted guest right here. The feral, too. Excuse me, buddy. Sorry about the chlamydia. There you go. Enjoy that. Uh, Lieutenant Dan, you got no legs. Oh, that's just the ambient noise. I was like, uh, what's that creepy gothic choir sound? All right, so this place is gonna take some work to get set up for sure. Somebody's hitting something. Why? Why are you guys bugging me? Can I just try to jump at him? All right, fine. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do this the loud way. Shoot you in the balls a couple times to make sure that you stay down. There is a vending machine right across the way that I don't have marked, so I'm guessing this is probably not active. Oops, somebody heard me. Hi, Kenny. Excuse me. Ow. Enjoy your chlamydia. Oh, it is active. Oh. All right, uh, save waypoint. There's a vending machine here. Sweet. Good thing I came and checked. Uh, nothing that I need out of it, though, but still nice to know that it's here. All right, these random zombies that are near my, by my place need to really go away. I need to set up a shop. I can't be dealing with you guys. I mean, let's be real here. I, I absolutely can deal with these guys. It's just that I got more important things to do. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here though because I've got some uh, some housework to do, clean this place up, you know, get it transformed and ready to go for tomorrow. Because uh, tomorrow I think I might head back out to Jen, knock out some more quests, earn some more cash, see what other POIs are in that place because uh, I might regret actually moving all my stuff into this. But it's it's necessary evil. I gotta sort my inventory. I gotta do all sorts of stuff. There's some stuff that's kind of boring to do. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week with some more bar life. We got a new bar, people. We're living in a new bar. So, alrighty, guys. Take care. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Grimer here. Coming at you once again. There's the morning chime. Uh, from Bar Life, <clears throat> and we are back here in, uh, in the Dead Rooster. Been doing a little bit of work in between episodes here. Obviously, I got my storage system all labeled and actually, for the most part, sorted. Uh, technically, this is food, although I wouldn't eat it. Um, for the most part, sorted. I'm just doing the final finishing touches on it right here, actually. Go ahead and just drop those back in there. I got some gas for the bike. Also, brought some gas out here. I kind of forgot about that. That was actually stored in the bike. Uh, I did manage to get a cooking grill put in here. Uh, we do... That does mean that I can actually make grilled meat, which is kind of the whole reason why I did that. Let's go ahead and just turn that thing on. Uh, can we take that out? And... Oh, let me, let me just get some regular... I don't want to waste an entire log like that. Just because I think that it's... Uh, there, I'll turn that on. That should be plenty of time to cook just that. All right. 
So sweet, we'll get some uh, we'll get some food going here too, so no problem there. All right, so in today's episode though, we do have to go knock out a quest right away that we got for Jin in the last one. I do need to take that railing off of there too, because that's not serving me any good. Um, I did also add a much easier access up here, right here. So I can just get up here and then bump them up here where all my stuff is, you know? So that way um, I don't have to run around and do a couple laps around the building. Speaking of doing a couple laps, let's, let me uh, spin your whole entire world completely around. All right. Oh, I also wanted... Oh, look at this. We have another visitor here. Jeez, so many people bothering me this early in the morning. Excuse me. Pardon me, miss. You're not welcome here. Bar's closed. All right. Now, the... Um, I do want to break this down because I constantly keep running into it accidentally while I'm uh, in this area. All right, I do want to check that vending machine across the street. I didn't realize that was there until the very end of last episode. That was a kind of a nice and pleasant surprise. Let's go ahead and just squirt all that stuff into there because I don't need it. And um, close my door. It's only the proper thing to do. Uh, I probably am going to have to turn this into a kind of a horde base too unless I want to run back to the pine forest because I only got about three days and then it's going to be horde night. Excuse me. Uh, there is uh, some supplies right there, actually. For ooh, I totally whipped that. Um, it's for building a base right there on that on that uh, flatbed right there. So that's kind of nice. Glue, sure, I'll take it. Do you have anything in here of any kind of value? Not so much. Okay. All right. So let's get on to this quest that I got to do. Uh, there's a clear, 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 clear. I grabbed one, right? Oh, I think it's this one, actually. Let's get going on to that quest, and uh, and we'll try to knock that out right away, because it's in the town to the east here, yeah. All right, let's get over there. Just clear that out right away this morning. Hopefully don't die. And then uh, and then turn that into Jen, make some Buku bucks, and then maybe we'll come back here. We should probably start working on Trader Joel, leveling him up a little bit, too. Kind of getting comfortable with the surroundings in the, in the area that I'm in, you know, moving in to the neighborhood. That's a fence in front of me. I can see through the, through the trees. Moving into the neighborhood and whatnot, you know, knowing the neighbors. Today's going to be all about getting acclimated to the desert, uh, knocking out quests here in the desert, and uh, and then trying to find hopefully some better loot, because we are, after all, in a better loot stage right now, so that's the whole reason why we moved out here. You know, I never I never did loot this place, did I? This was the quest from uh, last week's episode. Yeah, I never, I never, I cleared this out and I ran out of here, I never once looted it. <laughs> Whoops, alright, so let's do that now instead. All right, let's scrap those because I can turn it into lead. Let's get the looter goggles on, actually, so I know what I'm doing. Um, crazy. I never, never looted this place. How, how can I be so foolish? All right, well, free loot. Free loot starting off this episode. Good, good. Ah, oh, you fuel saver mod schematic. I already know that one, you jerk. Uh, there's some more building supplies in there. That's always appreciated. Oh, there's a fireman's almanac I don't know. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. All right, sweet. I'll use that immediately, and if I go... Uh, pick this lock if I go out to like uh, mine up coal again at least now I'll be doing more damage to it so I can mine it up faster so that's always appreciated all right what do we got in here anything good oh okay there's a switch schematic that's awesome uh, bandolier mod I don't remember if I have that or not if I don't then that's a tremendously good find I do have that already okay so I don't really need another one that's okay I got some gold nuggets let's actually sort some stuff that I'm gonna be selling and put it all down here bandolier mod I can sell if I don't need it and the rest of that stuff I'll keep. All right, sweet, awesome, fine. Anything in the mailbox? Yes, a vegetable stew recipe. Awesome. All right, not going to complain whatsoever on that. Let's get some gas in here too. Look at that, 100%. We are good to go now. All right, so Jen over here should be opening up here pretty soon, but we have to knock out this quest before we even go say hi to her. So let's squeeze through here. I can't see where I'm going. Uh, let's squeeze through here. Say hi to this fella. And then uh, zip on over here and get to this quest. Is it right here? That's oh, on the other side of this farmhouse. Ah, it's the restaurant. Actually, I do know from doing this quest before, especially playing on the Outbreak server, that helps out with knowledge of this stuff. There's a dog right there. Could use a little extra meat. It's, uh... Oh, that was brutal and not the weapon I wanted to use. Yeah, I'd be running away with three legs too. Holy cow. Excuse me, you guys didn't see that. No witnesses. I do know from doing this quest before that uh, there is the exit to this place on the back side. I just need you to die quick. Uh, the back side of it here is where the exit actually is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park the bike over here so we can just skedaddle real fast. And I'm also going to load it up with whatever I've got. Uh, let me get my shovel back on my hot bar. Yeah, I'll have to sell those things when I get a chance. Uh, I don't really need bones or leather right now. But all right, I'll leave that there. And let's go into this place and get this started. Zelect. 
Delict. That's the name of the, the restaurant here, okay? So this is kind of fun. It's like a wine bar restaurant kind of thing. I suppose it technically has a bar. I could have moved into a nice establishment such as this. That thunder is, like, super loud. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and start this up. And let's get on in there. There is a Lieutenant Dan crawling after me back here. You're not welcome here. Get out of here. Just realized I didn't have my nerdy glasses on that entire time, so that's kind of a whoopsie. All right, let's make quick work of these guys. Excuse me. Oh, gave the lady next to you chlamydia just by brushing up against her. Big guy here. Oh, gave the lumberjack. Why is it that I'm giving uh, giving chlamydia to the guys next to the person I'm hitting? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, glancing blow. Totally missed there. This guy will not go down. Holy cow. Even with chlamydia, he was taking a beating. I've got to quickly clear this place out. out. I don't want to be looting too much stuff other than like the main loot stuff. So let's get to it. All right, I've cleared it out all the way to the basement where they keep the wine. Now this is where things get a little rough, where there's a lot more zombies down here. Uh, not one of them at least has chlamydia. All right, there we go. Things can get a little sketchy here. Ooh, military guy in here. Oh, one shot him. Wow, okay, that's pretty awesome. Wow, big guy is taking a, taking a beating too. And this is where the bulk of the bad guys are down here. Let's quickly uh, steal everything out of the register. Here comes some of the bad guys out of the side. A lot of zombies down here. There's some more out the other side too. They're getting caught on the railing of the of the steps here, which is kind of nice. Give, keeps them sort of funneled. Big guy needs to go down though. Do I? I forgot to put my glasses on. Dang it! There it is. All of them taken care of. A fat stack of loot here though. So now let's switch the goggles over and let's get to picking through this stuff. It's a tech junkie book. I don't know yet. That's kind of appreciated. Much appreciated. Or would have gotten there some more building blocks and some more stuff in there. All right, now this thing is, uh, I can pick th through it because I got tons of lock picks now, but I got to use up these time charges anyway. So let's do that. And let's throw another one on there real quick. And let's run away. I think it takes two. Still locked, well, how much, uh, what are you at? Ooh, you're actually still, I think it was hitting the box next to it actually. Yeah, the box takes some damage, let's get rid of this. And uh, let's just do one right now and see how much damage that does. Open sesame. Still a good amount of durability on there. Wow, okay, one more maybe? Maybe four of them on there. Maybe lockpicking was easier. Almost open. Here, let me just bash the rest of it open now. There we go, the thing's open, no problem. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, Ranger's Guide to Archery. Oh, oh a robotic uh, turret schematic. We'll go ahead and use that. Not much stuff. There's a double pocket mod right there, which... I do have two spots. Uh, I keep switching back and forth here. Do I have any single pocket mods? Right there I do. And right there I do. Okay, so let's modify. Let's take one of them out here and let's squirt that in there. That should give me all but one spot completely open now. So I actually have an extra pocket mod, right? Like, I don't need that anywhere. There's a tripler in there. That's nice. Doubler in there. Doubler in there. And single there. Yeah, I don't need that extra pocket mod. All right, that's everything. Let's get back to Jen. And there's my bike just waiting for me. Like, I parked it there on purpose. All right, let's get going. We got to turn this quest in. Uh, now we finished it. A tier 4 quest, good for making lots of money. Uh, go past the vet here. That's kind of a dangerous place to go. There's a lot of dogs and dangerous things in there. Definitely a guns a blazing situation. You know what? It's early in the day. And I got these. Remember last episode I, I read some buried treasures? Uh, buried treasure quest things? I could absolutely go get those now because usually buried treasure has. Ooh, sugar butts. That is what I'm talking about. Uh, Berry treasures have some good stuff, and let's see. I got some food on me, right? I'm gonna go ahead and eat a lot of this stuff because my hunger is looking a little, a little worse for wear. Um, and I could definitely use a little bit of uh, refreshment and nourishment. Let me just drink the coffee, so I can open up the spot in my inventory. I don't really need one jar. Jen, let me make sure I'm wearing the right glasses. What do you got? Impact bracer mod. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Do I have that yet? No, I don't. That's actually a really good thing to have. All right, uh, so yeah, yeah we're gonna do that. That'll help me with fall damage, good reduces job. fall damage. We're gonna select that for sure. And everything, oh, a tier six ratchet. Uh, I'm guessing that does way more, yeah, it does more than what I got there, so we're gonna take that one too. Do you have any jobs? Uh, clear and fetch only whatever way, it's a school. Okay, well, let's do that one. 
All right, let me check your inventory. We're gonna sell some stuff that I don't need, including that armor pocket mod now. Uh, all of this cash, you can sell that. A couple bits of paper I don't really need. I'm just gonna eat those in her face. Same thing with a piece of cloth. All right, let me uh, modify this, take this thing out, and modify, squirt it into there. And let's swap this one out, because then I can sell that one. It's not really useful for anything now that I've done that. Modify, take the cooling mesh out, and put that in. Now, I am in the desert, so that cooling mesh might be very helpful. So modify, and we'll squirt it into that right there, so I don't get over overheated while I'm out here. All right, Jen, I got some stuff in the car to sell to you, too. I got to go grab that real fast. Not the car, the motorcycle. This stuff, Jen. I don't need any of this anymore, so please take all that. All right, sweet. I got almost seven grand. Was there anything else here that I needed from you, Jen? I know that there's something at the other trader where I live that I want to get, so I got to make sure I get back and actually purchase that beforehand. But I don't think you were offering me anything. A chainsaw would be nice, but it's only tier one, which kind of sucks. No, yeah, that. I think that's it. All right. How about... Decisions, decisions. Do we... Go for the fetch and clear. Actually, you know what? We might be able to get all this. Where's the other one? Okay. How about we do the fetch and clear? Actually, no. We're gonna we're gonna go out here to this treasure map right here, and then we're gonna go down to this one, and then we're gonna do the fetch and clear, and then we're gonna hit up Jen again, and probably be pushing the end of the. Hey, there's a deer. This is how you deer hunt. Oh, dang it! I was gonna say this is how you deer hunt, but then I missed it. All right. Okay. Never mind. We're just gonna use guns are blazing. Easier way to go. I want the meat. I do have a Lieutenant Dan crawling at me? Oh, so slowly. Missed him. Got him. All right, let's get out to that treasure map right away and start doing some digging. All right, we are approaching it, but this is getting kind of close. Oh, there's a deer right there. I'm going to let that one live, though. But we are approaching it. This is getting kind of close to the wasteland, it looks like. I don't think it's quite in the wasteland, but it's getting close. Ooh, yeah, that was actually really close. All right, so this is where it's at. Um, I guess I better uh, get to digging right away, then. You know, I did level up in there. Now, I think putting a point in a minor 69 here will help me out with the digging part right here. I could put another one right away, but I do want to start focusing on a specialty. Like, can do I have the SMG thing? SM, uh, SMG, it's still locked, okay. So that is definitely locked behind that. I wouldn't mind getting an SMG, because they take nine millimeter rounds, and nine millimeter is way, it might, oh, I, th I thought it was only one hit point. Oh wait, I thought I heard something. Uh, from breaking these things, but uh, SMGs would be nice. I really like using them. I'm using one on the Outbreak server also, um, but I don't have the skill point to do that. However, I do have a pistol, and it's a pretty good one. I wouldn't mind putting points into... Look at that, there's metal right there. I wouldn't mind putting points into uh, the uh, 9mm weapons, because I think that'd be better. They cost less to make the, uh, the ammo for. That kind of closed in that way a little bit, so I guess I'm kind of digging in the right direction. Um... The ammo costs less. It's, it takes one bit of gunpowder, one bit of uh, uh, bullet casing, and one bullet tip to make uh, one of the rounds there. Whereas, like, the 7.62, which I believe I did put a machine gunner. No, I didn't put a point in that yet. I thought I had put one in there. But apparently I hadn't. Oh, it, uh, no, I didn't even, I didn't put anything into any weapons yet, so that's kind of nice. I can choose which one to do now. Machine gunner would be nice, but then I'd have to build fortitude. I could focus on boomstick, which would be shotguns, and I have one of those. And that would be a good idea, because I already have this leveled up. But the problem is, is that... Shotguns don't put a lot of web, uh, ammo down range, so it's not as good as what I'd hoped. So I'm thinking Gunslinger here, which is how you uh, uh, master the use of handguns and uh, SMGs unlock pistol crafting. So yeah, I can do... Uh, it unlocks pistol crafting, but it doesn't unlock SMGs. I have to find the schematic for that. But like run and gun would be a good one to do also. Uh, hip fire accuracy is improved by 10% and movement penalty is reduced by 30%. You can actually re reduce your uh, movement penalty and you have no penalty while reloading. Movement penalty while reloading. That's a really good one to have too. I think I, I'm going to put in the gunslinger. All right, I'm going to I'm going to start working on my nine millimeter weapons and, and get those things going because after the next horde, the difficulty is going to be bumped up to warrior, and when that happens, uh, they're going to be tougher to kill. And so when that happens, I'm going to be in big trouble. So uh, I better actually like start focusing on you know getting my weapons ready. Now this does serve a double purpose actually. I will actually be collecting quite a bit of sand doing this, so it'll come in handy for making concrete. Uh, I do wish I had a better shovel though, but I haven't seen one yet. Hopefully I'll see one soon. 
There it is. Finally found it. It was not a quick little process either. Let's go ahead and start picking this thing ASAP. Because I'm not going to be using time charges on it. It's going to take too long, honestly. I think this might be faster. Maybe. There's a snake hissing around here somewhere. Hopefully that thing doesn't come down here and bite me. The snakes in the desert are to be expected. Actually, it is coming down here to bite me. What the heck? Holy cow. Oh, it's still alive! What? <laughs> it's a big snake! Ugh. Hopefully you guys aren't afraid of snakes. Sorry to my friend Chris if you're watching. Alright, we got it open. Let's throw on the looter goggles. I actually meant to grab some eye candy too before I came out here, but I forgot. Uh, I can sell that for a decent price. You're gonna scrap those because I have plenty of shotgun rounds. Alright, there we go. Found this thing. Let's get out of here and let's go to the other one, which is right here. There is what looks like a little military camp right there, which that can sometimes have some good stuff. Let me just swing over there real fast so I can get a glimpse of it so I can save it on the map. And then, uh, I might have to loot that here coming up maybe next episode or so. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a military outpost. Might be, uh, some mines there. There we go. I'll have to get that in a later, at a later uh, time, though. Oh, is that the missile silo right there? Do I have that saved? No, I don't. Oh, there's a bird chasing after me. Let's deal with that guy real fast, because I want to save this marker. Excuse me. Uh, I want to save this place. Okay, so this is the missile silo, I believe. There's another another bird flying after me, a little flappy guy. Oh, yeah, okay, so there's landmines around it. Some zombie or something just found out that the hard way. Take that guy out. Learning, aiming down the sights is a bad thing. Uh, sweet. Okay, so this is a mi missile silo, so this is, uh, that's another really good one here. Um, missile... Man, that's not right. Millis... Oh, jeez. Missile <laughs> silo. Alright. Uh, that should have some good loot in it. It's in that building right there, but there's usually a lot of stuff guarding it. You have to go all the way down underneath to, do to actually find it. But alright, let's get to digging. I'll, I'll get those things up you know, at a later time, though. That's a, that's a later me problem. Oh my gosh. Here's a current me problem. Missed him. Missed him. Missed him. Got him. Maybe aiming down the sights is worth it. Alright, that did not close in much at all, so it looks like it is on this side. So I'm kind of in the right spot already. <laughs> Just keep hearing these random explosions of uh, zombies hitting those landmines. Let's see, where it is starting to close in now a little bit, and it's closing in that way. Oh, it's right here. Look at that. Go me. Found it right away. There we go. Finally got into it. Make sure I'm wearing the right goggles. Yes, I am. And what do we got in here? We got a knife that's kind of worthless. I'll actually scrap it because it's not that great. And some gold nuggies and stuff and a bunch of ammo. Not that bad. I would have rather had just a whole fat stack of uh, casino tokens. But beggars can't be choosers. All right, so that's the buried treasures. Got those done. Now I think we just got to head back to... Uh... Oh, I never marked Jen. Okay, uh, save waypoint. <clears throat> we got to head back to... Or head back there to do the tier 4 quest. And then we should be heading back to Jen. And then... It's just uh, heading back home after that, I believe. Because it might be getting a little late in the day then, after this quest is done. Alright, here we have the high school. The Navisgain High School. This thing is not all that easy to clear. Uh, but, let me throw whatever I can in there. I'm going to want to actually keep a lot of this stuff. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. I didn't mean to upset you. Alright, so... <laughs> Let's get in here and actually see, is there anything I can do? Let's see, my food is looking pretty bad, so I'm gonna eat that, actually, and make some room. All right, we're keeping the ammo on, we don't need a few stones. That should be good. Is there an animal nearby me? I hear animals. I don't know where he is, but he's somewhere around here. Let's check the bus, and then we're gonna get this thing going. Nothing in the bus. All right, let's just go, let's just get to it. Hello, zombies, working? Nope, not working. All right, here's the school nurse. The school nurse has been taken care of without the right goggles on, and my foolishness. Forgot to switch them after, I don't need that oil shell right now, after switch, uh, digging up those buried treasures. I will take the splint in case bad things happen. Now, there's a lot that I can loot here as far as looking through each, each uh, locker and backpack and everything like that. I'm going to try to limit myself a little bit. 50 bucks, I can sell it. Let's drink that. Get a little fluids in us because that's getting a little low, not not too low. Anything behind you? Oh, there is something behind you. Okay, never mind. Now i got to pick this. Jeepers. In on the first one, how about that? Let's switch the goggles again real fast. What do we got? Cooling mesh mod, pretty crap. Uh, but, you know, I'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers. Nothing in there. Anything in here? This leads back out in the hallway. All right, I have to clear this place out. And I don't have time to be searching through every locker like I'm doing. Oh, running shoes. Let's 
sell them. All right, I don't have time to be searching through every single locker, so the temptation to do this is gonna be strong. That's actually handy. All right, I'm, but I'm gonna have to resist. All right, there, Lieutenant Dan just fell out of the ceiling. All right, let's go on a murder spree. We gotta clear out everyone in this school. All right, there is the main loot. It's right in there. Uh, this place is, for the most part, completely cleared out. There's still some zombies trying to break in on the outside. I am actually unable to resist my temptation to check every locker. Uh, somebody's right on the other side of that door. <clears throat> uh, but I'm doing my best to try to keep myself contained to just... Oh, there's so many lockers in here. They're just the ones that are in my immediate path. <laughs> but I do want to get into there and get the main loot, of course because that is just tempting me. There was actually another uh, 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 college jacket I found, as well as some uh, uh, iron chest armor right here, which is much better than the stuff I'm wearing, but uh, that's because I'm wearing uh, light armor right now. All right, let's go in here. Now, this should lead into, yep. Okay, so now if we check, oh yeah. Okay, so that's a white up there. Great, I'm getting whites, okay. So whites are really dangerous because they, uh, they're fast, they run. Make sure my guns are loaded here. Is it just those three? I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo on me. Well, let's uh, let's just cap this guy right in the butt. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> Accidentally shot her. I do have the right go goggles on, right? Oh, no, there's more than just that white. Okay, we're going to back up here. Bing, close that door. Reload this. Well, one in at a time. Oops, that door is open. We're gonna back this up a little bit. Shoot the white right in the balls. Ooh, he just ducked down. Ow, that's not good. Get away. Back. Shoo. Ooh, loot bag. That's what I like to see. That white is still alive. Ooh, that's uh, empty. Ow. Ow, what? Are you the guy that came in through that door back there? Still one left. Looks like it's walking, though. I have time to reload. That was a little sketchy. And boop, take him out. Oh, he gave him chlamydia instead. Sorry, let him burn. There it is. That's the end of it right there. Let's go ahead and craft whatever I can out of that just to save an inventory space. What do we got in here? First aid bandage schematic. I already know. Um, there's some stuff in my inventory, isn't there? Let's get rid of the wood because I don't really need them. I can sell the schematic. All right, I'm probably. I oh, the crickets are chirping already. Uh, let me open this up here. Go get my bike and pull it around. Oh, I gotta find the supplies. Whew, almost left without grabbing the supplies. That would have been bad. There they are. I see them on the other side of this wall, or the other side of this barrier. Just gotta get around to it. Okay. All right, what can I live without? 10 bucks? It's probably not worth it. All right, let's grab the supplies here so at least I finish the quest. That way if I go out and get my bike, I'm not gonna fail the quest. Almost botched it right there. I am encumbered. Not very many times I'm gonna have that happen to me anymore since I only have one spot of encumbrance left. So let's run around and go get my bike. Swing this thing around to the exit. And then, uh, and then I'll loot it, fill it. Actually, my bike's full, isn't it, too? There's a bunny rabbit. My bike's full, too, isn't it? Dang it. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I can store some stuff. There's a oh, bunny. Don't go that way. There's a, there's a snake. There's also a dog. Okay, dog's dealt with. All right, let me quick stash whatever I can in here. Um, yeah, I'll leave the ammo. I'm not really interested in harvesting the animals right now. My inventory's already a disaster, so... Let's get over here, loot this place quick, get back to Jen. I think that might be all we're gonna be able to do today. Excuse me, miss, uh, there's no strippers at the school. And I apologize if you were just the cheerleader and I made that mistake. That's a lot of ammo and stuff right there. Let's go ahead and I gotta open up inventory spots anyway, so let's go one, two, and let's set this one here. Three, hopefully that doesn't blow the entire thing up. Oh, it's still there, so that's a plus. It's still locked, too. Ooh, that only did... Okay, never mind. I suppose I probably have to actually activate it. I did not actually do anywhere near as much damage as I thought it was going to. I might end up taking this lock anyway. 
Oh no, I can break into this thing. There we go. It is broke into. What do we got in here? Anything good? Another treasure map. I'm going to read that right now. Except, and wherever that takes me, then I can go find. Let me just swap these out real quick because I know I have gold nuggets on the bike, so I can at least stash those in there. I didn't even see what I got out of it. <laughs> I just grabbed it. Uh, that, that poncho I took because if I do get overheated, that should keep me cool in the desert. Uh, but with the cooling mesh mods on, I don't really need it too bad. So I guess I'm just saving it for a rainy day. All right, what do we got in the bookstore box? Uh, there's the <laughs> compound bow schematic that I didn't need, but hey, you know what? There it is. Oh, Urban Combat 1. What does this do? Uh, craft military stealth boots, which have no stamina penalty moving and reduce noise for movement. That's a good one. Blueberry pie recipe as well. And what do we got in here? Ooh, the Iron Breaker mod schematic. Does more damage to metal when you're harvesting stuff, so gladly take that. All right, let's get back to Jen now. There's a chicken just bounced up and down there. Let's get back to Jen now and uh, turn this quest in. My inventory sucks, so this is going to be a little rough. Oh, Jen, darling. Actually, let me get <laughs> let me get some stuff organized here. Uh, I don't really need this college jacket, so I'll sell it. I want to keep that armor right there because I'm thinking that's probably going to be pretty good. Let me grab the gold nuggets because I'm going to be selling those. And I got all these shades that I, I collected too from the, the school. There's a bunch of them in there. So let's get in here and start selling some stuff. Jen? You are quite the daring adventurer. Jen, I don't have the right glasses on. Hold on. Let me put my, let me put my Sunday wow, finest on. And uh, let's hide that for a second. Let me even really look at what it is. Let's sell some stuff. Make some inventory space. Because I am full of stuff. All right, that should be good. Now, Jen, what was it you were saying? Ooh, there's a tier four tactical assault rifle, which I actually already have, and mine does more damage as well anyway, so I'll keep mine instead. There's this leg armor, which is better than what I'm wearing. It steals stuff too, so that'll definitely be one of them. And then whatever sells for the most, I guess will be the next thing, which will be the assault rifle. So let's just take that, see your inventory, sell that right back to you, don't need that. What's my leg armor look like? Okay, uh, modify, uh, I said, uh, modify that let's take these things out of there and modify this let's squirt these things back in there as well as one of these cooling mesh mods because i can what if that's going to affect me if i go to the snow area and then we'll sell that because i don't need it anymore we will wear that and jen what do you have for jobs any jobs what time is it 20 hundred oh i don't have enough time to do another job so let's just take one here uh, clear zombie okay and let's hurry up and see if we can't get back to the other trader before he closes because um, I think it's west of here, right? Uh, quick, here we go. Let's go, go, go. Because I think he had a book I wanted to buy, right? His stock resets at day 13. I can't remember what book. Oh, it's the vehicle uh, fuel, uh, not fuel saver, the reserve tank, the extended tank mod is what he was selling. Wouldn't mind getting that for the hog here so I can hold more gas in it so I don't run out as fast. And then I have an entire bike to sort through all the inventory of and, uh, and get organized at my new base here in the desert. Not to mention the fact that tomorrow is day 12. I only have two days until the horde hits. And I have to get myself sorted. I don't have any horde base out here. So either I make a horde base or I go running back with my tail between my legs to my base uh, in the... Oh, God, I hit that log. That's out. Get away, Pelican. Go running back with my tail between my legs to my base in the pine forest. All right, made it back to the trader in time. Anything in here? Sugar butts. So I like to see... Those things restock daily, so it's always good to check vending machines every day when you get there. Let's talk to this guy real quick, and let's, uh... Oh, I want to buy something. I wasn't selling anything from you. This, right here. Buy that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to buy this, too, while we're at it, because that might come in handy, maybe. I'm a, I'm a completionist. All right, closing soon, huh? Do you have any jobs nearby that I can do real quick? Clear zombies. Uh, this one's only 200. It's a fetch quest. Ah, let's do the fetch quest, sure. All right, we're going to go do that tonight. That way we'll have something to do a little bit more before uh, before the episode wraps up. Let me quick turn this bad boy around and uh, park it over here at the dead rooster. Hey, a welcoming party. Don't need one, though. So, all right, let's get up here quick. Actually, while we're hanging on the ladder, let's read that and that. Let's get up here quick. I should have a dump chest put inside the door someplace. Actually, you know what? I don't have wood on me, but let me make that real fast. Trader Joel's is now closed, and what we'll do is we'll just set these things right here, and that way, when I come up here, I can just go up here and just dump everything into it. I do need my shovel, though. Give me that back. Perfect. Let me go empty the bike, and then we'll head over and do this uh, do this quest here for him. Oh, look at this. We got another lady here. Pardon me. Bar is closed. Can't be here tonight. Oh, wait. It actually just turned nighttime. 
Let's grab all that stuff, and we're gonna uh, dump this in the dump chest and get onto this quest before the, we wrap up this episode. All right, so this fetch quest should be right over here. Is it the crack book? Actually, no, real quick, before I even get to the quest, let me just dip in here real quick, because I like knowledge. And this place supposedly has some, right? There's a workbench schematic. Would have saved me a lot of grief earlier, but didn't get it then, so I'm not going to complain now. Uh, is there any more books in here other than the one I already know? Apparently not. Okay, so uh, check the whole place. There was a bicycle chassis schematic in there as well, but that was that was it. Books I already know, but oh, that's a shame. It's, it, it is kind of a remnant anyway. It's not really actually like a proper crack book. But all right, let's get in here. And let's do this quest and knock this out really quick. There is the bag. Got the loot. There really wasn't much in here, actually. It was pretty pretty simple. It is a tier one quest, so I mean, I can't really expect much. And I didn't actually need to clear the area either. It was simply just, you know, get the satchel. But I did have to actually kill everybody just to get up to the top floor where it actually was located. So that knocks that quest out quickly. I can turn that into Trader Joel in the morning. Excuse me, mister. You are making a ruckus down here. Ow! He just did like a little spin pirouette, whatever pirouette thing, and backhanded me. Did you put baby powder on your hand at least before you did that? Dang, man. All right, so that quest is finished, so we can turn that in in the morning for a couple extra bucks. Not too much, though. I mean, that was actually, like I said, a really low-tier quest, so it's not going to be worth a whole lot of money. Excuse me, miss. Uh, so I'm not going to be expecting great rewards from that. But if we do level this guy up, he should actually give us some pretty good quests to do, so I guess I shouldn't neglect him too much. Um, I should actually pay a little bit more attention to him. Let's pull this up a little bit farther here because I actually live right here. Alrighty, guys, I, I got some uh, sorting to do here because I got this chest completely full and this chest has got some stuff in it, too. I have some sorting to do, so I think I'm going to wrap. Plus, I need to start removing this. I'm still working on this place, kind of get it, getting it up to snuff to do actually like a hoard here maybe for the next one. So I got some work to do. Uh, I'm going to take care of all that in between episodes, though. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please go down and smash that like button before you go. And I will see you guys next week, so thank you all for watching, and bye bye Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Bar Life, playing some Seven Days to Die today. Uh, having some more fun out here at the Dead Rooster. It's still nighttime. I did go ahead and sort out all of that junk that I collected uh, in last week's episode. Uh, so we're good to go. I also have been doing some work removing this, uh, this railing here, as well as breaking this right here. I broke this area here because I don't want zombies getting up, up here, you know? And I was thinking about, like, destroying the stairs or something like that. But I have to start focusing just a little bit, just vaguely giving some attention to uh, uh, to what I'm going to do if it turns Horde Night. You know, like, when Day 14 shows up, am I going to be sitting here going, oh, crap, and then running back to the Pine Forest? Or do I want to actually take the time to build this place up? And I think I'm going to do the latter. And so today, in today's episode, I might focus a little bit of attention on making sure this place is at least started for, like, a Horde base, actually. And for that, I'm going to need to repair or rip down all... Like, basically almost all of these things. Because I'm trying to think about what I'm going to do. I've seen people build a lot of different horde bases before. And I, at first I was going to try to slow them down. You know, like by having them hop up the stairs here. And I still might do that. Or I could give them an easy way up by just leaving that there. And letting them be able to run right up here. And then have it so that they have to try to get over to where I am there. And I could either put up a barrier to prevent them from running just free... Fall, uh, all out right towards me or I could do something that I've never actually done before but I saw it recently when I was watching another video and it's it's like a, a, a funnel basically that causes them to go into their crawl mode and then they just basically just crawl right at you what the heck is this thing that's okay that's that's a thing isn't it that's not uh not metal is it oh wow okay is this the whole stair oh this is the whole stair isn't it all right well i at least want to knock this top one out there's the morning chime i want to at least knock this top one out we also did find a buried treasure in last episode so i do want to go get that as well plus turn in this quest i'm completely out of stamina plus turn in this quest and i also have this skill point right here which i'm thinking about putting in a pummel peat because that's always going to come in handy plus the lower stamina usage with my clubs plus i can make a stronger baseball bat yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it in a pummel peep. All right, so because the baseball bat is still my go-to weapon for whenever I am just out killing zombies. I think, is this thing just the railing or is this the whole step? 
I guess we're about to find out. It is the whole step. Okay, that's fine. That's not, not a problem. Let's do a frame sh Oh, I need wood. Uh, yeet. I mean, I can jump over that, but hopefully they can't. Uh, I can repair that, actually, with... Uh, actually, I'm going to need it to be... Probably get that out, too, as well as some of this. Uh, I'm going to need that to be, actually, a pretty strong block. Because I want to make it so that they can easily get up there. Uh, let's craft one of these things. And then we are going to change the shape of it to this. Nope. This. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Now let's turn this the right way. That way we repair it, but they can actually go this way and they won't get stuck on the uh, on the railing. Then that's the whole point of it. I did not grab my hammer because I'm a big old duh duh. All right, so this should allow the. Oh, I just fell down. That's all right. That's the idea. They're not supposed to be able to go that way. So that that bottom one there might be a choke point where they get stuck on too. I might have to go and break that down too. Let's go ahead and repair that all the way up to concrete. This this broken wooden floor is not actually wood. It's actually concrete, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to basically create a bridge going straight across, or at least that's the plan, that they will crouch down to try to cross, and then at the end of it will be me waiting to just murder their face. But I'm thinking that's going to have to happen later. One thing I do want to get over here, though, and I probably should do that right now, is a uh, cement mixer. Uh, because, see, what do we need? We need forged iron. How much forged iron do I have over here? I got plenty. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we need forged iron, and we need uh, four springs and engine, and ten mechanical parts. Let's see mechanical parts. I do have enough. Okay, there we go. Ten uh, springs. Need four of those, which I do have. And what was the last thing I needed? Totally forgot already. Uh, an engine. That's it. I did actually find one when I was raiding the school. Actually, of all places, there was a uh, there was like a mechanics class from that. Actually, I got one out of. So let's go in here and uh, cement mixer. Let's get this thing crafting because we're going to want to reinforce this place. At least the, the horde base part of it. Now that's not going to be done for quite a while. So we're not going to worry about it quite yet. Let's squirt all that stuff back in there. Now I still got an hour until the, the, um, the morning or until the trader opens. So let's hop on over here. Say hi to Brittany. Hello, Brittany. And then we're going to check this vending machine real fast. Uh, eye candy? Sure, we'll take that, because I'm about to go dig up a buried treasure. Take the health bar, too, just in case bad things happen. Brittany's probably a little crabby that I smashed into her. Yeah, let's put her out of her misery. Her boyfriend here wasn't really too thrilled about it, either. Alright, and then let's go and dig up this buried treasure. Where is this thing? It's right down here. Now, I wouldn't mind... You know, we're going to make this a, a little bit of a trip. We're going to go down here, dig up the buried treasure. We're also going to go and check out these military camps. I need to open this up, because I keep coming back here with my bike on accident, and not being able to get through. So I'm going to open up a, at least a hole in the fence here so I can get through. Plus, when the zombie horde does hit, I want them to have easy access to get up to where my horde base is. I don't want them bashing on my building. It's my bar, dang it. All right, all clear, able to get through. We're going to take a little quick ride across the desert. And then uh, we're going to do some digging again and get this buried treasure. And then there's these military bases that I found in the last episode that I wouldn't mind going and checking out. But I'm up for a challenge. It's early in the day. I might as well do it. I've, I'm, I've just been doing a lot of episodes lately where I've been just doing questing and questing over and over. Now, Jen is almost at tier 5 quests. All right? So she's doing tier 4s right now. I knock out a few more of these things. I could knock out, I could get tier 5 open. And that is a kind of a big step for me. I really want to do that. Preferably even before I bump up the difficulty because I really want to get some better loot before I get to the harder zombies. But I can't say that for certain that that's... Uh, that that's necessarily what I want to keep doing in every episode. Ow! He bit me. I mean, I guess I deserved it, but I don't want to do that in every episode, though. Let's actually make some. I'll just take the meat. Um, I don't want to do that every episode because that gets a little repetitive, and I do want to just kind of check these military bases, actually, because they could have some good stuff also. That really did not push in at all, so I guess I'm on the right side of the circle here. Oh, hold on. I think I might have found it. I think I might have found it. Yep, I did. All right, let's get this thing open. That took a little bit of time. Uh, hopefully, picking the lock doesn't take as much time, though. But let's get this thing open. Dang it, I was hoping it would go if I just kept talking. <laughs> let's get this thing open and uh, and see what kind of goods are inside. There's the zeros. All right, let's make sure we have the right goggles on here. What do we got? Bunch of money. That's what I like to see. Something I can sell. Uh, and then the rest of the stuff's all good, too. A bunch of ammo. All right. Sweet, awesome. Well, we found it relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and just load up the bike with... Oh, I forgot he's the eye candy. I was going to do that. You know what? I'll take that with me and I'll use it on the, the loot that I'm going to hopefully get here in just a second. All right, now let's go over to... Where am I? 
Let's uh, military camp or missile silo. You know, what? let's go big. Let's go missile silo. That's usually where the good stuff is. Uh, there's also a boar right there, which right there, that guy, which would be nice for a bunch of food, which I don't really need right now. But let's get in here and uh, and see if we can't clear out this missile silo. I do have to worry about being next to a zombie that steps on a landmine, though. So uh, red mesa restricted area. Ooh, here we go. Whoa, that's a hell of a greeting. Okay. So, hi. Now, this is not for a quest, actually. This is just for the loot. So, I think I'm going to wake a bunch of people up in here if I just walk right in. Let's uh, let's get to some, doing some killing. Here's our first military guy. Probably the first of many. This guy is going to take a beating, I know. But there we go. Got rid of him. Wasn't even kind enough to drop a loot bag. Let's check the truck while we're up here. Ooh, alright, missile silo, no problem. Just can't drink that right now anyway, I don't have that filter on my helmet, which I did find, but, you know, I kind of want to, can I break this easily? Is there something I can easily break? I kind of want to pull my motorcycle in here so that as I get loot, I can easily just kind of wheel it on out here. That thing is just straight up floating now, look at that. Physics be damned, we don't need physics around here. Yeah, just look at all those landmines. Holy cow, that is insane. Definitely don't want to be walking around in there. All right, I am thirsty, which is not good. I think there is a vending machine in here, but I am going to have to scavenge for something to drink because uh, I don't I don't have anything. I should have I should have really checked that first. Grab the eye candy. I'm taking that with me. All right, we'll have to do this fast then. Let's let's clear this place out quickly. Who do we got in here? Vending machine that's not active. Oh, everyone's awake. All right, try to sneak in, but I got I got heavy armor. Ooh, there's Brittany next to me. She was begging me to hit me, baby, one more time. Take that guy down. Brittany, stay down. We don't. You don't want none of this. Let's actually get in here. I was hoping that vending machine would be working, but it is not. I have plenty of cash. I could have bought myself a drink. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way and sort them out. I did not have my glasses on or any of that. Dang it. Chem station schematic. I already know that though, so I'll grab the wheel though in case I actually get a chance to use that. Um, oops, somebody just hit a landmine out there. I'm gonna probably be hearing that periodically. Yes, there we go. Use the water. There we go. Grab the ammo as well. I like to see. I don't care how old that bottle of water is. I'm drinking it. All right, let's press on here. Coffee in here. Cheeky coffee. Coffee would be nice. Dang it. Now the base I have in mind to build uh, probably isn't gonna take too many resources. Actually, that's kind of the reason why I'm selecting it. It's just kind of a choke point for the zombies to kind of get crunched down into. Give me some really easy headshots. Should specialize. Somebody else just got blown up. Should specialize in melee big time. Let's get in here and pop that guy in the face. Anyone behind here? Nope, there's ammo though. That guy's not dead yet though, I don't think. He's probably a little crabby though. Okay, let's take him out. Now, I've only cleared this POI like once. That's locked. Through the giant hole in the window, I guess. Clear this. Oh! I've only cleared this POI once. I didn't want to fall down here. I want, there's actually a box up there I want to get. So, uh, I'm not super familiar with it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is the right place. I'm in, a, I'm in the wrong spot. I, I thought that box is right around the corner there, but it wasn't. Excuse me, have you seen that, uh, that, oh, someone blew up outside, that working stiffs box that I just passed up back here? I must have gone the wrong way because I accidentally fell down here. So is there a place to go back up over here? No, there's a place to go down. How did I get down here? How? Do, how? Where am I? <laughs> you slip and fall off of one catwalk, and then you have to go all the way around here just to get this thing. Was it worth it? Not really. I guess I could slip and fall again, right? There we go. <laughs> Shortcut. <laughs> Alright, now I have to get down. I have to go down from here. Stamina is shot just from running around here. I gotta take a breather. Catch my breath. I'm so out of shape. Figured that was gonna break. Is there anyone in here? Yeah, there is. Businessman. Keep, oh, I was going to say, keep your head right on that pole right there. I'm not looting the little things right now, because I'm just trying to get through these things quickly. Because this is not even my quest, actually. I want to get to the main loot at the end. That's where it's really at. Okay, I guess I was going to have to come down here anyway. All right, Lieutenant Dan is just laying down here. Oh, there's a dog. Okay, Lieutenant Dan was laying down here, but it turns out that he had a, he had a pooch with him, so made me jump a little bit. What else we got? There's got to be more stuff in here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to fill up on this. Actually, I can probably eat this now because my hunger is about half full, too. So that's going to cause me to 
Um, get a little hung uh, thirsty, but that's all right. I got the water here. I'm, I should be just fine with that. Hole in the wall here. Can I squeeze through here? Is this a thing? It is a thing. Let's wake everyone up. No, there's not, apparently. Is this like a little secret place? I don't remember this at all. The first time I cleared this, it's been a long time, though, so maybe, if, maybe I'm forgetting. Uh, there's some steel tool parts right there, which I don't desperately need. I wonder if there's anything up there. There's no there's no enemies in here, which I find kind of funny. I'm not using arrows, so I can just scrap those. Tom parts, more of them. I should have actually grabbed those other ones, because I could probably sell them. Oh, there is something up there. It's a weapons bag. Uh, let's uh, grab these frame shapes here. Make my life a little bit easier. Grab the weapons bag. What's in here? Some bullet tips and some machete parts. I guess I don't really need the machete parts when you think about it. But oh, there's also this in there. Um, it, oh, that's 10... Never mind. That's 10,000 HP. I'm not going to sit around and do that. Is that something that... I didn't... There's a way that way. This is new. This is new to me. I'm curious. I'm a curious little Grimer. Oh, I know where this is. Okay, yeah, it looks like it connects to a part farther on. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's get out of here because I'm about to be in that place anyway. So let's get the baseball bat out and see if we can't do some damage to some people in here. Anyone in here? Yes, there is. Sorry about the chlamydia. I'm sure you'll just walk it off or die trying. Oh, bookcases. Please give me something good while I'm out here. I mean, I don't know it, but whatever, I'll read it. I don't need that at all. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that just to take the red dye out of it because that might come in handy a little bit later. I'll put the hat back. Uh, let's uh, let's just turn my gun red for right now, and uh, that might come in handy later because if I do get some better weapons later on down the line, and uh, and I get like armor piercing rounds, I'm gonna want to have like dual weapons, one with regular rounds, and one with armor piercing. That's locked. Let me help you out with that, buddy. There you go. Is that better? Does that feel better? Oh, there's another bookcase in here. There's that football helmet which I don't really particularly need. Armor pocket mod, which I already know how to do. Another one right here. Give me something I don't know. Like like pumpkin bread recipe, sure. I mean, I'm never going to make it, but but thanks. I appreciate it. Anyone in here? Oh, that's a glass window. There is a couple people in here, though. That guy's on fire now. Got a nasty case of the burning areas, aren't, aren't you? Ooh, there's a servo box right there. Let's pop that thing open. Since I'm heading this way anyway. Ah, uh, there's the workbench schematic again. It seems to be everywhere. What is my loot stage in here, anyway? Uh, 74. I could put the looter goggles on and bump that up to 77. Or, what are these? 70, yeah, 77. I need to find some better looter goggles. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Um, through here, I guess. Follow the lights, right? Oh, that door is unlocked. Oh, it's uh, Lieutenant Dan. Ooh, Lieutenant Dan. Where were we even hiding that? Do I want to know? Chug that. Feeling a little rowdy. Nothing like having a beer while we're fighting zombies. This guy's making a ruckus. I didn't even see where this guy was. Ooh, now he's got the nasty case of the burns. All right, I'm still making good time. It's almost midday. I don't think uh, airdrop drops today. Oh, there's some stuff in there. I don't think an airdrop drops today, but I'm not too sure. I am grabbing the cement mix though, just because, or the cement because uh, it's going to come in handy here for once I get back. My concrete or my cement mixer will actually be done. I should actually be grabbing the stones too because. I need that to make concrete. Um, there's a bunch of Shamway boxes in here, which could be good for food, as well as a food stash right there. What do we got? Uh, some cat food. I'll take it. Dog food. That's actually handy for, like, the learning elixir. So I'm going to hold on to that. Sham, go ahead and eat that, too. Pound another beer. Why not? It's getting absolutely hammered while I'm here. Let's drink that, too. We're going to get my fluids maxed out here just to save on inventory space. Ooh, let's see. I got a Mega Crush. Nope, but we do have some water. That's always good to have. I am actually doing all right on hydration. So I don't desperately need that too bad. Glass in the way here. Ow. Dropped a loot bag, though. At least uh, if he's going to beat me up, at least he was kind enough to drop... Oh, that's not the loot bag. Drop something. I was like, that is a terrible loot bag. Another beer. These guys are trying to get me drunk. Excuse me, stripper. Pardon me, hazmat guy. Not the working vending machine. That's where that came out. Okay, that's where that vent came out earlier. So that, I kind of knew that was coming up because I recognized this room. I'm just going to use that. Not like I desperately needed it. I just needed it out of my inventory. Waste not, you know. It's back, people. All right, let's press on. What do we got in here? 
Oh, I see somebody right there. Somebody just blew up out there. Somebody just blew up again. Is there a wandering horde coming through? I hear more explosions if there is. All right, let's clear this place out real fast. Another explosion. That's three of them, so it probably is a wandering horde just getting wrecked by the minefield out there. Almost one o'clock in the afternoon, though, so I do have to kind of move a little bit more. This is actually, I think, a tier five clear, so I might end up getting this again later on once I unlock it with Jen. But for right now, the loot at the end is what I'm more interested in. Hopefully, it's worth me doing all this, and it's not like just like some padded armor or something. All right, I should be nearing it. Yep, here's the main fight. Let's turn off my light. Let's get a little quiet here. This is where this is where the big guys are. Let's make sure all the guns are reloaded. Nope, they all woke up. Hop him. Miss him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Stay down. Nope. Please switch to the other gun. I told you to, and it just didn't. Now, I specced into pistols, remember, so pistols are where it's at, actually, or at least uh, 9mm. Alright. That's everyone. So the main loot should be just in here, and it is. Let's grab that, that should open that up up top. Look at me go. All right, let's loot some of this stuff, this easy stuff. Let's actually put the right goggles on and actually try for just a little bit. All right, first things first, before I get to looting that, let's get outside here into my bike and let's store some of this stuff so I can actually grab uh, some of the other things that are actually in there, all the good stuff. Okay, gonna have to do a little cheesy, uh, a little cheesy tactic to get it back up there, though, because I don't have a easy way to get back in this other than just pulling up here. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, I, I already cleared out the POI anyway, so I don't feel bad about doing that. Now, the eye candy. You know, I'm just going to use that right now. The eye candy. <laughs> so I don't forget about that. Uh, let me drink the rest of the water there. Make sure my hydration is topped off. Eat those things on the ground. All right, let's get up here. And let's check to see what loot we actually got. All right, munitions box. Not bad. More ammo. I'll take it. It's gun safe. I'm going to have to break into here in just a second. That's not really all that helpful. Although there were there was a robotic part in there, so that is actually helpful in case I do figure out how to make the drone if I don't get one actually via the trader. Uh, all that's good stuff. All right, let's, let's pick these locks. Got it on the first try. That's kind of nice. Let's actually see what's in here. I do have the right goggles on, right? Yep. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, there's a dark trap schematic, which I don't know. A beaker, which I don't know, have up here. This thing will allow me to drink dirty toilet water, which is kind of nice. Uh, I do have to pick this lock still. So that was some pretty good treasure in there. I'm not going to complain at all. Let's see if we can't get this thing open and have equally good stuff in it. The seven day gods are shining upon me because that also only took one lock pick. Not using bow and arrow, so I can actually probably just sell that. Ah, there's some extra ammo in there. Not going to complain. Good stuff. All right, we cleared out the missile silo, people. We did it. Where's my bike? It's over here someplace. All right, we cleared it out. It's done. Unless I get a quest here, I don't have to come back. Let's uh, turn this bike around, actually. Uh, there probably was a wandering horde that came by. That's why so many things were hitting the explosives outside. But they're not my problem. All right, let's go back and, uh, and turn in this quest that I've been carrying this entire time for uh, for Joel here. And I think, let's see, what day, what time is it? It's, it's 14.30. You know what? I kind of want to get out to Jen and do her quest, which we have here, right? This, this, uh, this clear right here, I think it is. Uh, do her quest, too. Uh, maybe I can squeeze that in because I, I, I'm trying to unlock tier 5 quests from Jen. That's where the good rewards are. Hey, I am currently hot, which means shuffling around my, uh, my cooling meshes actually did kind of screw that up a little bit. So I gotta get in here. Excuse me, Brittany, I have to store some stuff. I just need to use a dump chest real fast. Let's put the right goggles on. Maybe I'll actually get some XP out of doing that. Uh, I just gotta use a dump chest real fast, and I will sort all of this stuff out. Actually, I want that. I'll sort all this stuff out later. That's gonna be a later me issue. One thing I'm gonna do though is quickly pillar th or pillage through this and grab the stuff that I am going to sell because I don't need to hold on to it uh, in here. Let's get on over to this uh, trade right next to us here. Finish his quest. Get that uh, get that uh, item out of my inventory that I'm holding on to for the quest. Check his vending machine, then head on off to Jen's and see if we can't knock out that tier four quest real quick. Sugar butts, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Joel, I did a thing for you, and I have the right goggles on, too. 
Here you go, friend. Uh, that's a book I don't know, so I'll take it. Sure, why not? And uh, more ammo is always a good time. So, do you have any jobs? I'm going to take one just to have it in my inventory. Yeah, Clear yeah, zombies. Really, got it. All right. Uh, let me sell some stuff to you now. Tomorrow they're restocking. So, that should be entertaining. Who's making a ruckus out here? Dude, get off the barbed wire, stop getting chlamydia, and you won't have a problem. Heading out to Jen now. We don't have a lot of time left in the day today. It is a little toasty warm out here for me. Um, but hopefully I should be fine. What is my hunger, thirst, all that stuff's fine. Okay, let's get going. Let's get out there. See, uh, see Jen and her uh, voluptuous, beautiful, gorgeous uh, wares that she sells. I don't know what you guys thought I was going to say. And then, uh, and then we'll <laughs> we'll do the quest for her, and then uh, get that turned in, get that fat stack of cash for it, and hopefully get around to unlocking uh, the tier five quests. All right, so which one is it, Jen? Which one do you want me to do? It's the it's this place right here, huh? It's the parking garage. Is that what this is? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? All right, well let's start it off and let's get to it. Working? Not working. All right, there's somebody in the stairwell. Let's take care of this guy. All right, I'm going to try to speed run this as much as I can to try to clear this out as quickly as possible. Cheers, everybody. Just level up there. Brittany, stay down. Um, just level up there. That's kind of nice. I don't actually remember what I was going to even put that into. One skill point. I could do Pummel Pete. Oh, no, I can't do Pummel Pete. i got to max out my strength for that. Um, probably the pistol gunslinger, I think, would be a good idea. Although, I gotta start increasing my agility to do that. You know, it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Talk about, we're gonna call it an investment. It's gonna be an investment. I haven't quite cleared it, but I did find this ATM that has a thousand bucks in it. I will gladly take it. I am running into some feral zombies here. There's a feral big boy and there's also a feral soldier that I ran into while being in here. So that's a little nerve-wracking. That means that things are starting to run. So that means that uh, things are starting to get a little bit more difficult than what they are normally. Uh, and now where do I go? Probably back here? Lockers? Anything? Place isn't completely cleared out yet. Been doing some work. Here, big guy. Excuse me, buddy. Lumberjack here. Lumberjack, I need you to die. That's a that's puke. That's a cop. We have a cop in here. Whew. Okay. Those guys can explode if you do some damage to them, but don't actually finish them off. Uh, so that was a little scary, but all right. No problem. We got that all under control. We got guns. We can take care of that. I just heard something break, so something's breaking in. Are they in already? Something's running. Oh, yeah. They're in already. Oh, Lieutenant Dan. Okay, they're dealt with. Now, what was I doing? Something about something over here? Uh, oh, there's a safe. Yes, I was going to... Uh, I can probably bash my way into this a little bit faster without wasting lockpicks. There we go. Looter goggles on. What do we got? Uh, some more money and some robotic parts. That's actually not too bad. So, let's press this button and see what that does. Nothing? Okay. Anything in there? Trash? I don't care what trash. Here's the main loot, so there's got to be zombies guarding it. Alright, let's make sure we re reloaded. Let's trigger it. Oh yeah, there's zombies in here. Oop, there's zombies in here. Let's keep a move on here. Alright, let's get all tactical. Sorry, right, well, let's take care of the fast guys first. Jump over here. Stop hitting that wall. Aim for the head. Aim for the head. Whoo! Okay, we got infected there. Kind of got a little beat up. There's a loot bag. Any chance there's honey in there? Nope. No honey. That's alright. We'll take that. Whoo! Okay. Let's quickly get this. I gotta go talk to Jen. That should be everything. Oh, there, was that honey? That's honey right there. Sweet. See? The, the gods are ever in my favor on this one, aren't they? 
They're keeping me alive, even in these dangerous times. All right, let's open up all these boxes, pick these locks, get this loot, and then get out of here. Oh, robotic drone schematic. Right there. I can make a drone now. That is awesome. I was thinking I was going to have to buy one from the trader. Okay, that is that is amazing. That is a really good find. Made this entire trip worth it. <laughs> All right, drones can do stuff for you. They can give you morale boosts and stuff like that. They can increase your stamina regen. They have storage on them. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with drones. And I was hoping that would open if I wouldn't stop talking. A bunch of lockpicks later, and that finally opened. All right, what do we got in here? Anything good? Already know there's an impact driver rest, uh, schematic. That's actually really good. The rest of that stuff is nice as well. Good for selling. Uh, ooh, inventory is full. Can I eat something? I can eat something. I can also eat something. I can eat and eat. Go ahead and grab that. Now, how do I how do I get out of here? Button? Probably button. Button. Hello. Uh, there's my bike right there too. Sweet, awesome. Let's put the right goggles back on. All right, well, let's get back to Jen then, because she's the one who wanted this quest done. Where, Where's Jen? Jen's this way. All right, let's get going. Oh, Jen, darling. I did that thing you wanted. I do have the right goggles on, right? Yes, I do. And let's uh, check this real quick for those right there. That's what I'm talking about, in case you offer something really expensive, especially when I get into solar. It's going to come in real handy later. All right, first things first. Let's skip all that, uh, because i got to sell some stuff to make room in my inventory. Uh, that can go to... Uh, that can go... All this money can go as well. Uh, the gold nuggets, they're yours. I gave you something nice fun that's stun baton. I don't really like stun baton, so I'm just going to sell that one piece of wood. I'm just going to eat that on my inventory. Alright, so day. now let's talk to her. Don't need the bandolier mod. A steel axe. That is a big improvement to what I'm actually currently using, so we're going to definitely take that. And this can sell for a lot of money, so I'll do that. Do you have any jobs? Uh, let's uh, do a clear zombie because I haven't unlocked the, the tier 5 uh, quest yet. Do hurry. It's a drive-in. Ooh, I know which one that one is. Up soon. Sell that because I don't intend on using a bow and arrow. Uh, let's Thanks quickly We're open um, to dawn to modify. Death. I have not found... Oh, I only had one inventory spot no. for that anyway. Let's modify this and squirt that into there. We're going to be using that for now. I got some steel tools now. Sell that. Um... I think I need to keep everything else. Thank Do you so have much. anything here, Jen, that I might want before your stock restocks tomorrow? Some uh, chili dog. You know, I'm going to buy this just because food's always good. I'm going to probably purchase all your gunpowder, too, because I don't really have means of making it out here. Molotovs. I'm going to take all those because those will come in handy for a horde night, I'm thinking. That's probably about it there. Anything in here? No. Okay. The chainsaw is crap quality, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Thanks, Jen. We'll see you tomorrow. Sometimes. Hey, back off. Jen's mine. All right, let's head back to the base, get our inventory started. We're a little early on the day today, too, so, I mean, uh, normally I, I am, uh, I'm rushing to get things done at the last second, but we actually got things done in a proper amount of time today, for once. Uh, go back, dump my inventory, see if there's... I, I could possibly do one tier one quest quickly. In fact, didn't I grab one? I did. Let's go knock this out super fast. Let's rush it at the end. Let's be irresponsible with our time. All right, the shade tree. Awesome. All right, let's turn this bike around because I'm going to need to be facing that way when I get done with this. Let's do this quickly, super quick. Maybe I can actually get this turned in and, uh, and get it done. So this is just simply a clear area. I need you to die. Thank you. It's just super, super quick. Someone in here. Oh, I just walked right over him. Kind of made me jump. Not going to lie. Kind of crapped my pants a little bit there. Grab whatever's in there because it'll be good for hydration. Somebody should be in here. You're a big boy. I'm just going to pop your head off. Anyone up here? Don't. Don't. Take her out too. That's everybody. So let's just grab all the main loot. Didn't even look to see what it was. And let's get at. Let's get at all. Can I get an engine out of this on my way out? Nope. All right. Let's get out of here. It's gonna be cutting it very close. Hopefully, I mean it's right there. So maybe I can get this turned in. No problem. Talk to him. Uh, grab something. Ammo. Great. More ammo. Even better. Have any jobs? Tier 1 uh, clear. Let's do that. Bam. Just like that. Whew. Barely got that one done. So, I mean, we could knock out this Tier 1. It is just a clear anyway. Yeah, let's go do it. Uh, let's dump my inventory here and go do that. It is turning nighttime, so I got to clear out some of the locals, some of the local drunks in this area. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, Chlamydia will kill you, I'm sure. Ooh, you didn't need that hand, did you? Dump that all in there, and we're going to do one more quest before I wrap up this episode, though. Ooh, Lieutenant Dan, thump. He don't. He ain't got no legs. 
My bike has churned through quite a bit of gas, actually. I'm about half a tank now, which is kind of crazy to think about because I had a full tank, excuse me, bird, when I, uh, when, I, when I got out here. I filled it all the way up. All right, so is it around back? It's around back. I had to deal with the bird anyway, so. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Somebody's bashing around. Let's start this up. Knock this out quick, and this should is just a tier one, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let me actually take this stuff out of here before I break it down. There's an engine. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if I want to get something like a generator bank going and add electricity to this uh, this uh, horde base I'm going to be building, I can certainly do that now. Is there somebody bashing around out here? Excuse me. Quick chlamydia. You, you came here, you rubbed up against the wood here, and you got yourself chlamydia. Oh, cheers, everybody. Just leveled up there. Where am I going to put that? Uh, I was working on Gunslinger, right? That's what I was working on leveling up, so we're going to put that right into agility. All right, let's get in here. Hello. Oh, we got some Ashleys here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's one right there. Came running out of the corner at me. I didn't even realize it. Ow! Oh, the gas can schematic right there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Grab the food. Ooh, there's some meats too. That's kind of nice. I'll take that with me right now. I'm not super hungry at the moment. There's another Ashley chilling right here. Let's run on over to this place. Run the gauntlet here on this POI. Now, there should be someone that drops out of that ceiling right there. It's Brittany! She's back! And now she's dead. <laughs> Alright. Let's loot this place. Get the main loot and then get on home. Because I've got some inventory i got to sort. Oh my god, I just fell down and sprained my leg. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I was going to dig up the rest of this cobble, but maybe I'll just get out of here now because I don't want to take the time. That's, I have to jump up here. Okay, ten minutes now. Great. need to get back to my motorcycle slowly. All right, on the motorcycle. Let's get home. Sort some inventory. Maybe even... Uh, see, sprains, you can't, you can't splint. So I got to just wait the nine minutes for that to get taken care of. But I could probably take a health bar to make that easier on me. I don't know how many health bars I have out here, though, but I should probably take one, because nine minutes is quite a bit of time, and I got some work to do over the night. Sorting inventory as well as... Didn't I open this up? I don't think I opened this end up. I opened up the other end. Let's get another open spot here going, because I need to be able to ride my bike right in here. All right, there we go. Yeah, and like I was saying, I got to sort my inventory here. And uh, let me grab these out of there, and... Not the shotgun. Pop Brittany there. And <laughs> let's... uh. Stop jumping and hitting my head on stuff. If I'm going to have to jump, I'm, I'm going to want to make sure I get it on the first go. All right, do I have a health bar here? I have three, so let's go ahead and use that so that I can get dropped down a little bit. I have to sort through, the, through this. If you can see, now it's only going to take four and a half minutes. It's a lot better. I have to sort through all this stuff here and get it organized and then probably get to work on planning out the horde base because it's turning into day 13, which means tomorrow, technically, is the, uh, is the horde. Next week's episode will be day 13, and then it'll be Horde Night again. So I have to get this place in fighting shape before then. But right now, I'm going to wrap up this episode. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to smash that like button before you go. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. Uh, and thank you guys for uh, for spending their time with me here in bar life. Living in the bar again, this is obviously the rooster, a little different than Grumpy's Pub. And I think I could get this place up and running uh, for a Horde Night in time so i'm gonna i'm gonna give that a whirl so alrighty guys i'm getting out of here i don't need this bandolier mod i'm gonna get out of here so thanks again for watching and bye bye hey everybody grimer here coming at you once again from bar life all right we're here in roosters uh and the dead rooster here trying to get this thing set up for an actual horde though because today is day 13 tomorrow is when everything goes wrong um and we have some <clears throat> we have some work to do well, now last episode, I did actually manage to find a robotic drone schematic. I wonder if I have enough stuff here to... Oh, I don't have the motion sensors, that's for sure. Um, motion sensor. I can make them, apparently. That takes some stuff. I wonder if I have enough that I can actually make this. You know, I'm not actually going to worry too much, though, about the drone. I want to I want to get to it, but the sun's coming up, and I really need to... This, is, this isn't this is going to withstand the horde. This absolutely will not. I've been cooking up some concrete here, though, uh, overnight. I did put down the cement mixer, uh, mixer so that's good. Uh, but we need to grab some supplies, okay? We need to grab some stuff out of here and actually kind of get going on building this horde base. I think I'm going to spend some time doing that today before the trader opens up. Now, what I'm thinking is... Uh, 
building myself a little way to uh, kind of sit down just a little bit. So let's, uh, let's make a bunch of these things. Let's make like 50 of them right now. And with these shapes, what I want to do is I want to create like a little trench for me to sit down in. Uh, and that way I can actually like fight these guys as they come across. Um, maybe even connecting it all the way to the wall right there. Like, like so. Alright, so now some of these things I really do need the supports to be standing constantly. So I might have to upgrade. That's not like Lieutenant Dan. It is a Lieutenant Dan. It was a Lieutenant Dan. Uh oh, we alerted somebody. Ooh, with the steel axe in the face. Now, I oh, there's the morning chime. Oh, is there another one cheap race? Out of here, the bar's closed. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to upgrade down below there. I came up here actually mainly to grab this bad boy. Uh, so I can up actually upgrade these things. So right here, I wanna sit in this trench. Maybe I don't need to connect to that wall right there. I wanna sit in this trench and be able to just cap these guys as they come across. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the shape of this Actually, hold up one second. We're going to put down a row right here for the zombies to get a little bit of a running start in. Uh, maybe actually we'll do like this. Maybe just like that so they ha they have this to get going. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to change the shape of that to a, uh, I think it's like a pole. That's what I'm looking for. Like a centered pole. This one right here. Uh, centered on the side. Because if we take this bad boy and we do a... On face, that's not it right there. That one, that's what I'm talking about. Um, if we do this all the way across, which I don't know how, how far I can reach before that breaks, um, let's go ahead and uh, copy shape right here for a second. Because uh, we're going to extend this thing this way right here. That is lined up right, like I'm not like losing my mind. It's actually a little off to one side, which is fine. Let's go ahead and build that up like so. What we can do is block that off, and then if we copy shape again and uh, copy rotation, one of these, right there, copy rotation, we can then extend that this way, like so. All right, so that's the idea, is I wanna give the zombies a way up here, like what this is, and then I wanna give them a way to me, which is right here, okay? Now, this is gonna hopefully, I'm gonna, oh, I gotta actually take down this thing up on the top here. This is going to hopefully, uh, ooh, that's kind of durable, provide them a clean line of sight to me, but I'm going to cause them to kind of crouch down, so it'll have me have a clean line of sight on their head. And that's the idea, is that I can sit there and just pop them in the head. I'm going to be focusing heavily on guns on this one. However, I am going to put up a barrier to prevent them from actually reaching me, so I can actually switch to melee also. So right here is where I'm going to be sitting, popping them as they're crawling towards me. That's the plan anyway. This actually looks pretty correct, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to at least wood. And I wouldn't mind uh, testing this on somebody uh, to see if they'll actually track me this way. But I want to put the uh, everything up above it, actually. Uh, get that all finished as first, too. So that I can test it and see if they'll crouch and everything and get all of that done. That way on day 14, I'm not frantically running around like a like a panicked person trying to figure out whether or not I'm going to be prepared for this or not. I also am going to upgrade the supports right here because that's kind of an important one. Uh, I don't really want them knocking that out. I also have got to go and clear out everything that's kind of in the way here so that, uh, that the zombies don't get stuck on it. Uh, everything, anything... Uh, that's a wooden apparently. Anything that could get in the way I want to clear out here. All right, but the day is starting to uh, move along here now, so I might want to be moving along as well. I got a little bit of that stuff done, and that's good because then I can work on it tonight and and uh, get that thing up and ready to go. I guess I'll test it tomorrow. Probably be a good idea. Let's drop that in there. I think we are almost good to go. I am getting a little hungry. We did get these chili dogs recently, so let's go ahead and eat one of those things. That fills you up. That's like halfway. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's drink another one of our red teas to help with that digestion. In today's episode, though, I want to get going. I want to get out there. I want to turn in this quest to uh, the trader right here. Got a bunch of money on me, actually. But I do want to get... Uh, I want to get more. I want to get more money. And also, the traders should have restocked today. So let's go check this real fast, see if they got anything good here. Not really. I'll buy the teas just because I'm running out of those things. Um, but I do want to... Uh, the, the traders should have restocked today, so they might have some really good stuff. Now, my better bartering... Uh, let's uh, press the right button here. My better bartering is at three. I could actually pump this up to four, which wouldn't be a bad idea. 
but I think it, was I I can't remember was I at the point where uh, I could actually take my glasses off and get a different set of things I might have been at that I'm not too sure this guy needs to go away though you're kind of uh, interfering with my fun <laughs> sorry about the chlamydia all right so Trader Joel's just open right now so let's go ahead and get in here check his vending machine real quick for nope no sugar butts and see what kind of stock he has now uh, oh yeah, I did do a quest, so let's go ahead and grab ammo, because I'm going to need that. And there's nothing else of any kind of value, so I'll just sell the book. Do you have any jobs? Uh, let's do another clear zombie in the area. Let's take it. I'm not going to actually go do it right now. Sell that thing. Uh, we do have some ammo, which is always nice. Now, your, your stock should have restocked today. In fact, it might be worth doing a little uh, trader run to go see what everyone has. I will take your Molotovs, because those will come in handy. Uh, you have honey in case I get infected. Good to know. Pistol's not as good as mine. Oh, here we go. Some books I don't know. Wasteland treasures. Uh, we've, uh, fibers into cloth. I can make, uh, I can make plant fibers into cloth now with that, which is very nice. And there's a sniper volume I don't know. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. That's a good one to have, too. And it looks like that's about all he's got. He's got a better pump shotgun. Yeah, let's do it. A better pump shotgun, and it's also going to have a, another spot in it, too. So, uh, modify. Let's drop that. Yep, so it has an extra modifier slot in it as well. That other shotgun has served me very well, um, but it's time for me to move on and upgrade. Awesome. All right, so that took a little... Ooh, hold on one second. Uh, you have any open your inventory? I saw them right here. Two motion sensors. I'll take those, because that's how I'm going to build my, uh, my drone. All right, so that isn't really the guy that I want to talk to, though. I want to go talk to... I want to go do a quest for Jen. Let me go drop off these motion sensors real quick. I'll work on all that later. Actually, hold on. What does it take to make a drone again? It's only going to be a tier 1, which isn't very good, but hey, it's something. Uh, it's 10 steel. Do I have 10 steel? Uh, I do have 10 steel. Look at that. Alright, so 10 steel. What does it make? I actually can probably get this thing crafting here. Uh, 15 duct tape. Ooh, I only have 8. And, yeah, like I'm going to need some glue. Get those cooking up there. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it right here, though, so that's kind of obvious. So I'll just squirt all that stuff back into there. And then let's get uh, let's get the show on the road. All right, so Jen's got to be close, right? I mean, she's got to be close. I've been doing these quests now pretty constantly. I'm hoping that today is the day that she finally spreads open wide her inventory. Uh, because I need, <laughs> I, need to, uh, I need to get the access to the Tier 5 quests. All right, so I need her to trust me enough. That she will allow me to get all up in there and get her... Oh, that's lead. And get all up in there and get those higher tiered quests. Because that's what I'm really after, you know? So, higher tiered quests get some tremendously good rewards. And if I can get that unlocked today, then I might be able to knock one out. There's a snake right there. I might be able to knock one out quickly. I'm, I'm going to have to travel into another trade. Oh, no, she's not going to have the tier 5 quest today anyway. It's going to be a tomorrow thing anyway. Dang it. Actually, that's fine. Tomorrow's still going to be on Nomad difficulty. Maybe I can knock out some Tier 5s tomorrow if I can get it unlocked today. So today, big bulk of the uh, episode will be knocking out quests for Jen here in the desert and getting Tier 5 unlocked. But this is the drive-in that I uh, kind of looted, half-looted already earlier, uh, a couple episodes ago. Well, I'm back for more punishment. Let's go ahead and restart this thing. Bring this up forward here. Turn around. Blast that guy in the face. Uh, all right, let's let's do this quickly because I'm going to need to do a lot of this, uh, a lot of looting, a lot of quests today. So, Kenny, get down. Excuse me, miss. Nurse, you're in the wrong bathroom. There's urinals. Didn't you see? At least Brittany's in the right bathroom. Take that guy out. Take that one out, too. We're doing a fast game here. Some of the, some of these guys spawn in always the same place. That's how I know where they are. But some oh, there's a cop. There's a cop. Take him out. Running into cop zombies now. That's a little nerve-wracking. Okay, push the button. There is, speaking of nerve-wracking, there's a, a buzzard up there that is being a real pain. Not anymore. Although there's another one coming at me. So I gotta deal with these guys quick. No, that's a dog. Buzzard, be gone. Animals are being a real problem for me. Whew. All right, they're taken care of. So that button should have opened up these places over here. Oh, well, those guys just appeared out of thin air. Look at that. All well, made it really easy to kill them, that's for sure. Oh, hi, buddy. All right, but with these open now, I can get in here and do some more killing. 
There are no red dots on there, so that hissing is actually a zombie on the outside. There's a cop. That's, a, that's actually a zombie on the outside, so I don't really have to worry about that one. I should probably be trying to save ammo-ish a little bit. Hello? Hi. Ooh, there's a large margin here. Let's take her out real quick. Bash her a couple times in the head. She is so tough. All right. Uh, let's grab some gasoline for the car. Sure, why not? And push the switch. Going upstairs. I hear somebody rattling around up here. Sounds like somebody's causing a ruckus over there. Oh, there, wait, there's a dog. Great shooting, hit him eventually. Another dog. Oh, shot that guy and the dog ran between his legs. All right, there we go, take those guys out. I think those are the ones from the back room, so that's actually kind of nice, because now I don't have to deal with them when I go around the corner. There is also this uh, this uh, ATM right here I wouldn't mind picking again, since now that I've reset the P- Oh, I, I don't have my lock picks. Oh! Oh, and the main loot's gonna be. Oh! Okay. Okay, that, that could be a problem. Maybe I'll just mark this and I'll, I'll get the main loot a actually later when I come back in here. Are they gone? Yeah, they are gone. They're usually right here. That's where the dogs were. Hi! Bye! Ooh, large margin in the, in the bathroom. I still kick myself over the lock picks. There's two locks here, actually, that I, or three locks that I would need it for if you count the, uh, the ATM. Okay, there's some guys upstairs. There's a safe right there. That was one of the places, but I can probably bash that open. Get it? Bash that open? You're just hanging onto the wall for dear life, aren't you, buddy? Oh, God, there's a guy right here. Where'd you come from? Okay, I don't know where he came from, but I know where he went. All right, let's get this thing open. This one should be easy to just bash into. All right, looting goggles on. What do we got in here? Uh, ooh, a lucky looter book. I don't know. Find more dukes and loot. That's volume one. Yes, uh, I absolutely use that. That was a good find. Glad I took the time to bash that open. Maybe I'll take the time to bash the other things open. I'm really kicking myself over that lock picking thing. Uh, maybe I can find some lock picks. All right, let's open that up. I guess I dropped down here, right? Okay, pistol's coming in, coming in on its own here. Ooh, we got some guests outside. We got some guests outside. Sorry. Ooh, that stripper just ducked under that. She's like Neo from the Matrix. Can I not hit her? What's up with the strippers? It's always them that are the hardest ones to hit. Take that one out too. Looks like these gates or these uh, trucks have opened up and there's all sorts of goodies inside. Ow! Uh, let's just uh, use that. That should stop the or help with the abrasion. How are they hitting me first? How much, uh, how much uh, durability is on this? 5,000? That's going to take a second. Uh, I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Finally got into it. Awesome. Let's put the looter goggles on. Anything good in here? 1,000 bucks. Worth it. Actually, I'll be able to sell that for some decent change. All right. Let's go get the, the main loot here. Maybe I'll take the time to bash into the thing, actually, just because it is kind of valuable stuff. Uh, but let's see. Looter goggles are on. Let's go ahead and pick through this. Let's see what we can find. Now that everything's dead. Now everything actually with tier six stun baton, piece of crap. I don't really like those things, but I'll definitely sell it for some money. Um, now I don't uh, actually have everything cleared out yet. I do have to go clear out another area still where that yellow dot is over there, but I got most of it cleared. Some glue, that's actually kind of handy. I was hoping to find some lock, pick <laughs> lock picks in there. That would be nice, but take all of that. Uh, take all of that. Any books I don't know? Oh, another lucky looter. Find more ammunition and loot. That's awesome. All right, so this, I don't have any lockpicks. All right, so let's see. How much? Oh, 10,000. 10,000. No, I'm just going to mark it. That's going to take way too long to get in. All right, so let's let's get out of here then. Actually, not let's get out of here. Let's go take out these, uh, these remaining guys over here. And then let's get out of here. I don't see anyone in there. Do they have, do they just not load in yet? They didn't load in yet. All right, talk to Trader. All right, let's get back then and uh, and turn this one into Jen. Grab another one from her right away. My lockpicks are all the way back in my other base. Ugh, see if she has some time charges or something like that because I don't really want to run all the way back there. Oh, Jen, darling, what do you got in your vending machine? Nothing I want. Actually, no, the health bar I don't really need. I got a couple of them back at the base still. Hi. Here's your Hold on, wait one second, Jen. Wait, I, there we go. 
Hi. Steel Axe with a uh, tier 4. Mine is a little bit better still. Uh, shotgun Tube Extender. That would be fantastic for my pump shotgun. Increase the magazine capacity by three shells. Uh, we're going to select that one for sure. Tactical Assault Rifle Tier 5. Ooh. It is not as good as my... Uh, it's not as good as my my one I currently have. Yeah. This one does 52.1. This one does 52.6. Oh, no, it is. This one... Oh, it is. It's a little bit better. Okay, I'm seeing things. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and collect that then. Do you have any jobs? We're looking at more tier fours apparently because we haven't quite you know, earned your trust to do tier fives. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, modify. Take all of this stuff out of there and modify. Squirt that. It's a tier five so it has another uh, spot where I can actually throw something to uh, make it do more damage too. So I guess that's easily the way I should go. Let's also go ahead and modify this and throw the tube extender mod in there because that increases the magazine size by three. So I don't have to reload as often. Reload all these things. And then, Jen, could you please take that back? Then I don't need it. Stay safe out there. Jen, I'm going to go take care of this other quest. This should be the last one, hopefully. I'm not really keeping count. As I'm riding on out here, I suddenly realized I'd never even looked to see if she had any time charges or lockpicks. So the loot is important, but I don't want to waste the time running all the way back home just to get the lockpicks. Mainly, I'm here to try to get the Tier 5 quests unlocked. If I can get those unlocked on this one and I still have time, then I, I, I can always run home and go grab them. Actually, if I can get the Tier 5s unlocked on this one... Oh, is this, the, is this the CIA house? I don't think I've ever cleared this one, but I do know that there is a landmine in the front of the house. Right there. I see it. I'm going to go ahead and blow that up just for safety's sake. I'm standing on top of my motorcycle and it's causing my aim to go to hell. Nope, that guy turned away. He's like, yeah, I don't want any of this. No, he's back. There he's dive bombing down. Like, ah! There, take that guy out. All right, so this is... I've never actually cleared this one out before, so this should be fun. Ooh, do I have an airdrop coming today? I can't remember. It's noon, though. I don't think so. I think the next airdrop... Nope, never mind. We do. Just don't know how to math. I didn't start the quest yet, so I could... Oh, you didn't drop that very far, did you? I didn't start the quest yet, so I could absolutely go and grab that. In fact, I probably will. Let's go grab this airdrop real fast. All right, it looks like it's coming down right here. It might even land on the building. It might even land on the building. Let me grab some uh, some wood here. I can nerd pole up there if it lands on the building, which it absolutely did. What do we got in here? Uh, hop seed recipe, which I don't need, and there is a melee mods bundle, which is kind of nice. Wouldn't have been great to get another uh, lock picking chest like that, or a thing that had a whole bunch of lock picks in it. That would have really saved my bacon. Excuse me, nothing's gonna save your bacon though. Big fat guy guarding my bike. There is a strip club right there. Technically, that's a bar. I mean, I could have moved into that. Cheers, everybody. Just leveled up there. That's pretty awesome. What am I doing? I'm working on bumping. Uh, my agility, right? And that's what I did. And Gunslinger, I can I can put another point into. Sweet. Awesome. So I do 20% more damage and fire 10% faster, reload 15% faster with handguns. That's a good thing to do. I wouldn't mind getting the SMG schematic, actually, because if I'm going to be pumping it into there, I want the SMG to be the thing that I use then instead of the assault rifle. But beggars can't be choosers, so I'm going to have to go with what I got. All right. So here we are at the CIA house. Never actually cleared this one out before, so this is going to be kind of new to me. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but make sure all the guns are loaded. Uh, there are mines everywhere, it would seem. However, I do have the book, uh, Urban Combat, right here. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. So, good. But they can still detonate if zombies step on them and then blow up next to me. So I got to be careful on that. All right, let's get in here. I don't actually know my way through this POI, so this is going to be kind of challenging. Okay, we got some guys in here. Businessmen in the weight room. That makes sense. Working vending machine here, though. That's kind of interesting. There's eye candy. I'm going to buy that. Maybe I'll use it before I hit the main... Well, I don't have anything to unlock the main loot, but... Uh, we're going to save this waypoint, though. Uh, vend. Is this door open? Nope. Can I, go? I can go in here, though. Okay, yeah. I do not I do not know this POI at all. That just woke up a whole bunch of submodies. I'm coming up the steps. Oh, there's a runner. Feral, there's a dog. A couple of dogs. Okay, dog's dealt with. 
scrolled one too many there. I managed. I wanted to just take them all with my pistol, but that works. I take it I gotta go inside through... Which way? The way they came from down here? Alright, inside now. There's... Somebody just got blown up again. More strippers, more businessmen. Oh, there's a runner back there. Put him on his backside. Whew. All right, like I said, not knowing this POI makes this way more difficult. I'm not even looking to loot much of anything. I just want to get this place clear. Oh, there's people in there. Mm-hmm. Not going that way, that's for sure. Oh, I guess we're going upstairs. It's really quiet in here, and it's freaking me out. There are some bookcases in there when mine's searching. Yeah, it's so quiet in here. This is crazy. There we go. That's the noises I like to hear. Oh, more zombies. I see ammo in there. I want it. Oh, there's an assault rifle in there, too. That's pretty nice. An AK is in there. Just a small ammo pile on the ground with an AK apparently lodged inside it. Anyone in the garage? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. One lockpick. I found one lockpick. There is a chance that I, <laughs> that I could open up the loot at the end. A really slim one, but it's still there. Excuse me, buddy. Anyone up here? Oh, there's a dog kennel. Where do I go? There's a light right here, so... Oh, these open up. I see you hiding in there. Trash, I found you. Alright, so this is these are the bookshelves that I saw before. Let's drop down. There probably is something in here going to kill me. Let's check the bookshelves. Ooh, there's a muzzle break mod schematic. That's good. Good to know. That was actually a pretty good find. Looks like nothing else, though, of any kind of value. There is something here under the, under the floor. More trash. There looks like It looks like there's an underground complex here. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the stairs down. There's some more nerdy glasses. I can sell those things. Ooh. Just to be an adventurer like you, and then I take a baseball bat to the knee. Okay, so that opens up, like, all the doors. All right, if that does open up all the doors, does the front doors open? Because, uh... No, they're not, because that's where I'd have to go to get to my motorcycle. Bulletproof glass, of course it is. I wanted to dump my inventory, but that's not going to happen. All right, let's keep pressing on then. All right, going down into the bunker below. That looks like a death hallway. Oh, that was the door I opened up earlier. Mm -hmm. Not going that way, that's for sure. Okay, so death hallway seems to be our only option here. Well, let's set the let's activate the trap. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. What's this? There's a large marge in here. Marge. Man, you're tough. Oh, look at that. Sniper volume. Uh, headshots have a high chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Awesome. Read that for sure. We got a mega cr Nope, no. I was going to say mega crush, but that's not in there. All right, there's a button to push. Did something, apparently. Was there no way into that room other than the barred place? Okay, yeah. The interesting. The CIA house. This is crazy. Oh, someone's waking up in here. Boop. Get on your backside. Press this button, too. That opened that door over there. Hmm. Zombies dead down here. Somebody's awake. Get down! Bad boy. Oh, look at that duck underneath it. Did you stop jumping all over the place, Jeepers? Alright, I'm just trying to follow the POI the best I can. That's locked. Where am I supposed to go, then? Do I have to bash it open? I'll bash it open if I have to. I just usually don't have to. Okay, I'm bashing it open, then. Woke somebody up. Whoa! We got some distance on that one. <laughs> I came up behind that guy, which means I think I am actually going the wrong way through this, which is a little unfortunate. Here, big guy. Would you just die? Holy cow, that guy's tough. 
All right, there's a safe here, too, I'm gonna bash into. The night is uh, quickly approaching, though, so I gotta kind of move a little bit. I don't know, I gotta clear the area, so I gotta find everybody. I wish this was just a fetch, but I don't really know if there are any fetches at this point anymore. I think it's all fetch and clear or just clear. All right, that is open, looter goggles on. For one handgun part, I mean, if I do get the SMG schematic, that might actually be worth it, but for right now, that was kind of kind of crap. This looks like an interrogation room in there. Like, probably not legal one either, but let's, uh... Hi! These chains? Ah, I don't want to know what goes on in this torture chamber. Okay, I mean, that, that should have been it, right? Like, there's nowhere else to go? Oh, no, there's stuff up there. There's a lot of zombies. Jump on down here, let them come to me. Out. Oh, there's a cop zombie someplace. Ferals need to die, though. And Dan. Whew. That was exciting. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that, that was the last of them, too. So, sweet. Whew. That was very exciting. Oh, this is where the main loot is. That's why there are so many of them. That is all of them here in the in the in uh, this uh, murder house, though. So, let's let's uh, bust open these things, see what, uh, what I can do about my inventory, because it's pretty bad, and then try to figure out how to get out of here. All right, so what do I have? I have one lockpick, right? Uh, yeah, one. What do you think the odds are... That I can get this on one, because this is a 10,000 HP chest. There's no way I'm going to sit here and bash into this thing. But if I can get it on this one, then that'd be amazing. That'd be like Christmas, actually. But do you think the 7-8 gods will bless me with that kind of luck? No. They'll get down to one second and then stiff me with it. <laughs> see. I'm guessing there's a way that I can get out of here quickly. Somebody just got blown up. That leads back. Okay. I, get, I take it I have to drop down. Oh, there's another lock thing right there. Oh, there's a bunch of guns and stuff. Ugh, I need to... I, I'm, I'll grab what I can, but I uh, I need to come back here. All right, but no joke, how do you get out of here? Like, there's no door in here. Do I have to bash my way out of here? I just need to escape this place. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, the walls are weaker. Actually, hold on one second. Let's turn everything into frame shapes that I can. And then maybe we can do a little bit of this. Well, of course you can't go in there. Why wouldn't you? Why would you be able to? I'm so close to out too. No joke, I'm legitimately trapped in here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta dig my way out. This might actually prevent me from getting back and turning in the quest. Just out of curiosity, I dug into into uh, that little thing right here, and it looks like this is dirt, but it's easier dirt than, uh, or is easier to break than the other stuff. Maybe I can just dig my way up. Note to self, don't drop back down here. I'm free! Holy cow, that was rough getting out of there. Where's my motorcycle? Over here? I suppose that's still locked too, huh? All right, we'll do this. Awesome. Get me out of this murder house. That was crazy. All right, let's go turn this into Jen. I hopefully have enough time to. Where is she? She's at back that way. Hopefully that's enough to unlock tier fives because I'm not going to be able to finish another one now thanks to me being trapped down there. Uh, so let's go turn this thing in. Tier fives, pray for it. And then tomorrow I should be able to knock out a tier five quest and get some sweet rewards, at least one before the horde hits. But tomorrow I'm going to have to focus a lot of my attention on getting the base ready. Because if not yet, and I'm still out here, and the horde will kill me for sure if I'm not ready. Jen, I have seen some stuff, okay? No joke, I've really seen some stuff. Time. Let's see, I got the right goggles well, on. Uh, let's That's ignore smart. that for a second, because I've got to make some run my inventory. I already have some nerdy glasses, so you can take those. Uh, these are supposed to go right down there. Um, actually, all this stuff is good. I should have left it. Hold on one second, Jen. I'll be right back. All right, Jen, sorry about that. I, my inventory was just messed up. 
Full of Good stuff. Job. All right, so what do you got? Steel helmet tier five. That's better than the one I'm wearing. That's for sure. Uh, we're gonna take that, and I don't think that anything else is of value. I got a bit of ratchet already, so yeah, mine's mine's better. All right, we'll take the steel club just to sell. There it is. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Um, hmm. Okay, so we are gonna be able to get the next quests here. So a battery bank bundle, a sniper rifle bundle would be really cool too. Yeah, I'll take the battery bank bundle because that might come in handy for setting up the horde base. Ranged mod bundle, steel armor bundle. Sniper rifle bundle, let's see that. Do you have any special jobs? Please Open trade routes? I will gladly okay. accept. Trader Joel, are you just sending me back to the other one? Try not to get you are. Back. Okay, let's just take a quick uh, job you here, let's hear for it, and let's quickly zip here. over there, actually, because if I can at least get it... Yeah, let's go, 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 go. If I can at least get it... Um, unlocked, I mean, then it's done, right? It's done, done. And I have, it's just Joel, it's over here. All right, we made it here. Go quick, go quick. Go talk to him. Well, Done. Bam. Now, let me check one last look at your inventory real quick. Just to make sure you don't have anything in here that I might want. You have an auger, tier two. That's actually something, you know, I'm, I'll buy it from you. Sure, why not? Forgot to sell that to Jen back there, so there you can have it. Oh, and they're closed. Just... Barely got that stuff done. Excuse me, buddy. I need you. It just teleported me out of there. That's how I ended up here. So I need to go grab my motorcycle, which I don't think I parked too close. Nope. Okay. Sweet. All right. So that's a successful day. Uh, we did get Jen to open up tier five quests, which is tremendously helpful because uh, tomorrow is day 14 and it's the last day that I'm going to have where I don't pump the difficulty up to warrior. So if I want to get some good quests or good uh, rewards, that's the time to do it. Now, I have some stuff. Let me just quick stack whatever I can in there. Let's uh, switch this out real quick. Modify. Take these things off. Put that back on. Modify. Put those in there. Now, I do have an extra spot, though. Do we have... I could throw the cooling mesh in there. Actually, that's probably a good idea because I'm in the desert. All right. That was actually very well, very worth it. But let's... I also got myself an auger today. How about that? All right. Let's open this thing up and let's see what is inside it. Bam. A bunch of electronic stuff. We've got a generator bank, tier four battery, some lights. I guess the lights I don't really care about, but the tier four battery is kind of nice. All right, not bad. I wonder if I can whip up. Can I? Can I make electric fences now? Electric uh, fence post is locked. Never mind. I can't make that. I was gonna try to get some electric posts uh, going in this horde base if I could. Looks like that's not gonna happen. All right, and then for the sniper bundle, let's open that up. We got a tier four sniper rifle. That's not too shabby, actually. Not really rolling with a sniper, but I will throw it in the guns chest. I'm not gonna sell that one uh, because that could come in real handy later on. Oh, there's also a tier three battery, it looks like, and the battery bank. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's open up the mods bundle. We got some more chlamydia, which is awesome. Got some more chlamydia, which is awesome. You know, I'm gonna put that right, uh, not on that, apparently. Not on anything, it would seem. Uh, can I can I put it on my ratchet? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, can, I could probably put it on this though. Yeah, get a flaming uh, machete. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode though. Had uh, quite a bit of fun time. We unlocked the uh, Trader Gen's uh, tier five now, so that should be a tomorrow thing that we get to do. But tomorrow we also have to really focus on the horde base because uh, the horde is coming. We actually do have an auger now. That's awesome. The horde is coming tomorrow, whether I wanted to or not. So I have to be prepared for it. So we're going to spend tonight organizing. Oi. Get out of here. Crazy drunk. Anyway, uh, I'm going to spend tonight organizing my stuff here, organizing my inventory. And then, uh, and then we'll be all ready to go for tomorrow for the horde. So tomorrow it's all about base building and maybe knocking out a tier 5 quest and then that's about it. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I'll be back next week where we take on the day 14 horde still alive in bar life. Hopefully I don't die. Thanks again for watching everybody. If you did like it, remember hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Still salty about the lockpicks. <laughs> Alrighty guys. I will see you guys uh, next week. Goodbye. Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die Bar Life. And we are here in our bar in the Dead Rooster in the desert at our base that we got set up here. And uh, today is Horde Day, okay? It's Horde Night tonight. I'm going to die. 
if I don't get this thing, <laughs> if I don't get this thing ready. We are starting very early today because I need to get this thing in uh, in fighting shape uh, for the zombie horde when they get here. But I need to, I need to get this uh, this crawling area mechanism worked out first, uh, because if I don't get that worked out, then it doesn't really matter uh, what what I get get done from then on out. So let's see. I need to actually have this connect to the ceiling so that it holds it like that. Okay. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade these things now. And I'm gonna get the whole thing made out of wood first, test it, and then see what happens. Uh, to it. I'm gonna actually put a couple of spots along the way to kind of keep securing this so that hopefully it doesn't just all come crashing down All right, let's see that I mean, maybe one more one more set here Like that. Yep. Okay. I think that sh Should be good for what I have in mind. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade these things Now I should have the spots right in the middle. Yeah that I didn't quite get Okay, there we go uh, the birds up top are just gonna have to deal with probably with spikes or I actually went ahead and Yeet I went over I went ahead and knocked out the there's already a hole here I kind of cleaned up the rubble and I put these things in so I can shoot through there So if the birds are flapping around up top there, I should be able to shoot and kill them All right, so right here. This is where the killing pit is going to be and I want to make sure That I have enough room so I can shoot to the sides or throw a Molotov down there or whatever if I have to um but this is where they are going to come and meet their demise. Actually, I can put one there. I think if, if things get really sketchy, I'll hop up here and I'll eat the Molotov down that way. Because um, otherwise I'm going to set myself on fire. <laughs> uh, I do have to get them in the crawling position. So I guess uh, maybe I should work on that first. Let's go ahead and make some more frames here. 20 more. Just make sure that we have enough. How's my wood situation going? Not too great. All right. Uh, so this is where I'm gonna have to start the crawling animation. So we're gonna need to uh, Change the shape of this thing to I think just a ramp right here at the end Like that right there uh, Let's see how about we switch it to advanced Do a little base building already right away this morning Let's uh, uh Copy shape fill that in solid Okay, and then what, I, what we want to do is we want to change this shape now to something else uh, Something not as extreme. I think it's a wedge actually is what they're called Is it this one 60 degree wedge and let's uh, let's go ahead and put that on face Oh, I had it right actually on face. I had it right there. You go. No, that's not quite right. Is it? Actually hold on that might be correct. Hold on. Let's uh, switch this to advance and Let's see if we can't turn this the correct way like that. That's actually correct. Okay. So that should... Unless it's this thing that I want to have down here, actually. I bet you... Mm -hmm. I bet you it is. I bet you it is. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me pop these things out. I think it is. Alright, I'm thinking it's like this, actually. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. And then I want to pop this thing into uh, another type of wedge. Is it this one? Wedge tip? I think so. Let's go ahead and do an advanced rotation on this, like that. I think what that's going to cause the zombies to do is to crouch and get down. <clears throat> and I might need to do another something like that. At least that's the goal. Uh, I kind of intend on testing this first, though. Uh, that's why I'm only doing it out of wood, because if this doesn't work, well, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> then I'm in a lot of trouble. Upgrade this one right here. I think that will cause them to crouch and get down in the crawling position, but now I need a test subject. There's one. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Okay, she took a swing there, but it does work. I think we have another one coming too. Yep, Brittany. Yeah, here she comes. It works. Okay, that works. Now, do I have like a robotic sledge or something I can put on there to bunce those guys off the edge? Can I make those? Ro Robotic sledge. I don't have the ability to make. Ow! Ooh, ooh, Brittany's back. Oh, jeez, she's beating the crap on me. My leg is sprained. What? All right. Well, test was successful, but then my own incompetence got me injured. So let's go ahead and use that. And I'll knock that down in five minutes, so I should be able to just barely heal up as long as I don't injure it any further. Wow. Okay. So a successful test. 
That does seem to work. It does get him into the crawling animation. Now, I should be able to just blast him with that. Now, however, one thing that will save me, though, is figuring out what I'm supposed to do there. These blocks right here... I mean, I'll just have to step, step down there, I guess. I won't be able to back up unless I remove these, but these are concrete and they're kind of a pain. Uh, but I do need to figure out a way to block them off right here so that they don't get to me. Is there, like, something I can put right in the center that is thin? Like that? Actually, off-centered. Uh, let's see. Let's do an advanced rotation. Let's see if I can't turn this in a direction that I want. Actually, that, that might be that might be exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, that might be exactly what I'm looking for. I can always duck and hit their heads that way, or I can hit them this way. I wonder if I can actually swing my baseball bat. Apparently, I can. Oop, I hit something there, but that's all right. Oop, I hit the one right in front of me. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's let's upgrade these things. That that might actually work. Plus, it's flush against the outside edge, so it doesn't give them an area to stand on. That, I'm thinking, might actually work. All right, well, I need to grab some cobble, then, because I need to upgrade these things. And I need to also grab my concrete, which I do have some of it mixed up. Not a lot here, but I, I can also, also make yeah, a few bits more like that. Okay, so what do I need to do to upgrade? What do I need to upgrade mostly? Mainly, I just need my leg to be healed. That was really unfortunate that that broke or got injured right off the bat. This area in front needs to be concreted up as well, which means I need to make sure that this area is concreted as well where I'm standing, because otherwise it won't be able to support it. Ah, I just need my leg to heal now. All right, well this needs to be upgraded as well. So I mean, all of this, all of this needs to. That's where she took a, a swing. Yeah, all of this needs to be upgraded. I think it might be best if I do fill this in, which of course I can't do while my leg's broken or sprained. I'm really try not to injure that even more. So I guess I'll upgrade what I can. Which, this all needs to be at, le at least cobble, I'm thinking, for the, at least the ground here. Like, if this walkway collapses, then they will get free access to me, so that's kind of a problem. There's the morning chime, so we got a lot of stuff built already today. I wanted to get a, a head start on this, just in case uh, things go horribly wrong. Because uh, today's going to be a little rough. Alright, so this concrete pillar probably needs to really be standing. Or this, this uh, cobble pillar, but I don't think they'll actually be hitting it because they'll be trying to get to me instead. So let's upgrade all this to cobble at least. Alright, my leg is healed up completely. I can now move freely. I went ahead and concreted up everything I could reach without uh, injuring my further injuring my leg. Let's get this all done right here. Make this nice and strong because this is where it's going to come down. Uh, I suppose I should probably... Should I think of an exit strategy in case this all goes to hell? Nah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, cheers, everybody. Just level up building. I forgot how much XP you actually get from doing construction and stuff. Uh, Alright, so they run up here. Now, I do want to make sure that the zombies have as easy a path to get up to me, okay? Like, I don't want them to get stuck on anything. I want them to make sure... I want them to have access on all sides of the building to get in here and so they can actually get in here and actually get to me. So this is where I'll be standing and making my, my stand. That way I can throw uh, Molotovs on the stairs there as they're coming up. This will be bl blocked off completely. In fact, just to make sure that that doesn't cause an issue later, I will actually upgrade this to at least wood. Because this they shouldn't go this way anyway. Because there's no way for them to go. Like, after it, there's just a... This will be removed here. Um, but for right now, I'm going to leave that open just so I can get through here. Uh, and they can't jump up on there. So yeah, it's good. Good stuff. All right. Let's block this front entrance off, too, although that does kind of block the light. Ah, I got a helmet light. It's fine. Making sure that I survive tonight. That's the goal. All right, so I'm going to upgrade this main track to concrete because I need this to stay standing. So there, that, that main track is concrete. I got to be careful with what I upgrade on this because I don't have unlimited concrete. But I do want to make sure that this is all well and secure, so I'm going to upgrade this channel right here, or this uh, row to concrete as well. To make sure that that's anchored good to this uh, anchored good to this uh, area right here. And I'll probably do that up the front of that as well. Still got enough here. I'm going to want to make sure that this area on top is also concrete. Let's go ahead and get that one right there. So that the zombies who... Because you saw the first test right there. One accidentally hit it. Now, they won't be able to jump up there because it's two blocks high. The zombies don't re register that. They might have MIT brains, but they don't register that at all. So, all right. And then, uh, going to make sure this is good and solid so that they don't bust through. 
Actually, I'm going to make sure this ramp here is good to go as well. That way they don't break that as they're getting in here. All right, I've got a little bit more concrete, so I'm just going to upgrade some of the spots around the base here. Just make sure that it stays standing. Let me grab all this stuff up here. That should be enough. I think I should be set for, uh, for the Horde Knight. Now. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade all this stuff here to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. All right, and one last thing I got to do to this place, just to make sure it's ready for the Horde, is I got to get up top here. I'm going to be hiding right underneath this block right here. So I got to remove some of this stuff uh, because I'm going to be putting spikes. Ooh, this stuff's strong. I'm going to be putting spikes up here to deal with the birds that might show up. And hopefully then that will be all I have to do with this. Now, I will have these uh, these grates right here, which I probably will just leave wood. I don't see the birds busting through that. Um, I guess I could upgrade them to cobble. I have the resources. But I'm going to be putting the spikes down here so I can take out the birds. And then if I need to, I can always back up and then shoot them through that, uh, that grill right there, that grate. Dang it. <laughs> it automatically turned it back to its default. Whatever. It'll kill the birds. All right, I think the horde base is good to go. Except for, like I said, I do want to make sure that they have plenty of access to this place. So I actually need to open up my base a little bit. I'm going to actually create a stairwell on this side of the wall as well. So that there's a couple places where they can run up inside here. They can either run inside the building and then go up the stairs. Or they can run up the stairs that are going to be on the outside of the building right here. What is behind here? Nothing. All right, let me... What is this thing? Oh, it's strong. Whatever it is. You know what? This might be the perfect time... Um, to actually go in here, grab my tools, grab the auger that I got, and actually grab some gasoline, and go figure out what this uh, 5,000 uh, HP block is. It's tough. That's what it is. Holy cow. All right, let's get this one out of here, too. Dang. That took a little bit of work. In fact, I still need to remove the one right below it here, too, because I want stairs here. There we go. Finally got that out of the way. All right, so let's move these things back. And what I want is stair. You know what? I'll, I'll leave that one there because although this looks like it's floating, it's actually not. It's connected to that plate, and I don't really want to break that 5,000 block one again. So what we're doing is we're creating a staircase leading up to this. I'm actually not trying to slow them down. Um, I'm trying to allow them to get in here easily. That way, zombies can easily just run up this, and then poof, right down the right down the, the the tunnel that that causes them to point their heads right at me. Since this is not the only stairwell up there, it's not super important for me to actually upgrade, upgrade this fully. Because if they destroy this, so what? You know, <laughs> they're still gonna make it up there. You know. Now I do want to put uh, some of those fancy um, these things on the sides. That way, the zombies don't get hung up on anything. Like so. Alright, go ahead and upgrade those. Because that way they don't get like stuck on the side of the steps. They have an easy way to get right up there. Oh, Lieutenant Dan! You're coming my way. Nice to see you, man. Uh, you're a little early. We still aren't open yet for business. We're still doing the remodeling. But you're welcome to come back in a little bit, you know. And crawl your little legless butt up here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I hear you, man. Alright, where are you? Lieutenant Dan, oh, one little brush of the chlamydia stick, and bam, you got it immediately. All right, so that should allow them free access all the way up there. Now, I don't actually want there to be access for zombies up here normally, so we're going to do a little of this. All right, the number up at the top has changed to red, which means this is definitely a horde night happening. I'm going to open up uh, both of these ways here, so I'm going to knock this fence out. That way, zombies can absolutely easily run in here as well. Hopefully, they don't get caught up on anything. So, if they come from the south, they have a clean access to get in here as well. And then go right up the stairs and come after me. Uh, same thing from the north. They have plenty of space here. Uh, from the west would be kind of tricky because they uh, they have to run around the building. That could be a, that could be a little bit of a trick. Might have some issues to the west. If so, I'll hop out back here and blast them through the fence. I think that should be about it. Let's just make sure to the east they have uh, this fence removed as well. I want them to have easy access to get up in here. Jesus, there's a working stiffs right there. I'm sitting here worrying about having enough resources to build this. There's we got pallets of stone, pallets of concrete over there. Should probably hit that up, but actually, I think I'm good. 
Yeah, this should work out just fine. Hopefully this space stands up. Now, the fallback plan, the escape plan. Out this door, onto the motorcycle, drive and pray. That's that's about it. I think we're all done with what we need to do. I can, uh, I guess I can make some more concrete just in case I need it. It's always good to have this. Uh, but yeah, I think we're good. So we have to go do a quest for Jen now, don't we? We have a tier 5 quest. I wouldn't mind at least knocking out one of them uh, before uh, all hell breaks loose tonight. Now before I go, let me actually grab my lockpicks. Because I forgot those last episode. Still kicking myself for that. Uh, where are they? Right here. There's 40 of them left. Still kind of a big old to the move there. I still can't believe I did that. And I believe I should have... Uh, a looting candy too, why not? All right, now let's get going over to Jen's. It's probably gonna take most of the day to do a tier five quest, so I don't really want to dilly-dally. Um, I think it would be good if we just got moving right away. Let's uh, actually, I think I have a quest for Jen already. Uh, tier four, I think it was. Um, I can push the right button. I'm pushing all the buttons except, except for the right ones. Let's go ahead and cancel that one. And then we'll get over to where Jen is and we'll actually take uh, We'll take a tier five once we get over there. I'm starting to get nervous though, just thinking about this because I mean, this is a brand new horde base. I've only quickly tested it. Oh, this could go bad so fast. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna put my faith in it. Hopefully it doesn't end terribly. What do we got in the vending machine? Anything good? Sugar butts is what I'm talking about. Actually, you know what? I've had to use a couple of health bars lately, so we're gonna grab one of them too. Uh, Jen, today might be the last You're, day I see you. Uh, feeling under the weather. I've got just what the doctor ordered. All right, sweet. You got a beer? All right, do you have any jobs? Tier 5. Here they are. This is the only one that's in town. Skyscraper number 3. We're going to accept that. And I'll have a nice reward Let me you. see your inventory real quick, because I actually don't know how well I'm doing on medicine, actually, back at the base. In fact, I think I'm doing pretty poorly at it. Um, she's got a crucible. Uh, I should probably buy... Oh, she's got a Night Stalker volume here. Did I... Did you stock reset? No, it didn't. Or did I just not notice this? Um, tell you what, I just bought the sugar butt, so let's let's use that real quick. And then we'll take care of it for you. That's good to hear. All right, let's use that real quick, and let's uh, go ahead and buy the crucible, and then we'll buy uh, this book as well. And was there any other books? The yuck. Uh, just because I'm a perfectionist or not perfectionist, a completionist, I'm gonna try to buy these things too. The crucible will come in handy for making forged steel. I don't actually remember if we have one back even at our other base, so that could be handy, very handy. All right, let's get to this skyscraper. If this is what I'm thinking of, it might be skyscraper 03. It might be the crack book one, but I don't remember seeing a crack book in this town, so let's get over here and see what it is. Oh, I can see it in the distance right there. It's Higashi. Oof. How much ammo do I have? <laughs> Not a lot. Okay. This could be tricky, but it is on Nomad, so it's not on like the hardest to go. There's an ATM right there. Normally I'd stop and, and crack into that, but it's almost midday already. I've really got to get moving. Yeah, it's it's Higashi. Okay, so this is going to be a very difficult quest to do. I might even die before the horde tonight. <laughs> Let's go ahead and park this right here. I've only got three... I got to deal with these guys first so they don't bug me while I'm inside there. I've only got three first aid bandages, so that's not great. Uh, but, you know, hopefully I'll find some more on the way. Alright, good, good. Make sure I got my right glasses on. Alright, good. Got my lockpicks this time. Let's take on Higashi. Quest is started. I'm not leaving, that means. Alright, let's go. I've woken up somebody. Oh, there's another one over there. Alright, no problem. This one's just walking. Ow! See, how do they hit me first like that? Ooh, there's a dog. Feral titties. Feral, feral zombie. Okay, I can't be using too much ammo though because I'm gonna probably need it for the end of this. Whew! All right, first floor is our already a workout. Let's see what we got here. Some ammo. I appreciate that a lot. I'm gonna need it. Somebody outside bashing away at the wall. Ooh, a meat stew recipe. Don't mind if I do. All right, now I could bash through the wall over there or through the door over there and use the stairs, but I'm just gonna use the escalator here. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh god, it scared me. Oh, I just jumped so hard there. Whew. Alright, I'm already kind of messed up. Not a good start to what I was hoping to do here. We need this tier 5 though. We need the good loot. It's only going to get harder after this. 
All right, got some more red dye. I'm going to go ahead and squirt that all over my baseball bat. That way, uh, it looks like I've been beating people down like crazy all day. Oh, I'm calling BS on that. I hate that when they, you go to hit them and they just duck. I didn't think about how I was going to a tier 5 quest and how I should probably bring more supplies. Okay. Good news is that these guys are dropping loot bags like crazy. Go ahead and drink that. Some more ammo. Greatly appreciate that. Actually, I'm going to need to be collecting that as I go for sure. Working vending machine. What do we got in here? Now, I'm actually going to buy the food just so that I can eat it right away. Just so I can get a little bit of health back. I'm trying to conserve my uh, first aid bandages as they're the only ones that I have. I definitely woke up everybody in here. Take her out. Brittany, she's back. Hit me, baby, one more time. Got the dog. You're running. Uh, yeah, mister, I need you to sit down. Thank you. Whew, all right, so there was some runners in there, but they didn't wake up until a little bit later. All right, let's press the head. There's another feral. Lots of ferals coming out now. He's got chlamydia, though, so I don't think he's going to be recovering from that one. Ooh, there's some people running there. It is getting kind of late in the day already. It's 1400. I cannot be dilly dallying at all. I gotta actually push really hard on this. Which means no more pointless looting. We're just gonna keep on pushing ahead. There's an ammo crate down there, which I'd like to get, but I'm not really in a good spot to do so. Scaling the elevator shaft right now. I do have to clear this area, so I can't just like grab a supplies and get out of here. Fast game here. We gotta play a fast game. Oh, that's a white. I heard the growl, like the bark. I don't suppose you guys have any like first aid kits in here. That, that I'll take though. Oh, here's some medical supplies. Anything that'll help heal me actually would be good. There we go, some aloe right there. That's what I'm talking about. For once, I'm actually looking for it. All right, now I saw through the window back there that there's some terrible stuff up ahead here. I'm thinking because I got to play a fast game that I'm just going to go wake it up. Alright, so that was a much quicker way of taking care of that. Uh, excuse me, sir, I need you to die. A baseball bat's also getting a little weak in the knees, too, so I really didn't prepare too well for this. But, ooh, there's popping pills that could have medical supplies in it. Ooh, time. I gotta make sure I get this done, get it turned in, get back to the base, make sure I'm prepared. I didn't even prepare a thing before I left, which is kind of a dumb move. Um, ah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Alright, just gotta keep pressing forward. Shoot him in the balls, it's his weakness. Nothing in that one. Open this up. There's some more first aid, that's what I like to see. Uh, let's make another first aid bandage. And we'll actually use one of these things right away. That way we'll heal up a little bit. Alright, I did find some supplies along the way, that's good to know. Um, I could try to get in there and get that ammo, but honestly, I think pressing forward instead of trying to loot everything is the better option. I don't want to knock any of these guys off the building, so I'm just going to shoot them up here. Because if they fall down, they won't die. And if they don't die, then... Oh, that's sketchy. <laughs> that is super sketchy. I'm going to make some frames. I don't trust my parkour or the computer to lag uh, enough to try that. So, yeah, we'll do that instead. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> it's another white... He messed me up pretty bad there. I should have gotten guns blazing right off the bat. That was a feral white. He's another one. All right, we gotta wake all these people up. There was somebody in there. Cheers, everybody! Just level up there. Actually, I have two skill points to spend. Uh, let's uh, let's look at that real quick. 
Uh, Pummel Pete would be a good one if I could get it maxed out, which I can't, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think that it might be a good idea, considering what I'm doing. I think I'm going to put one into Run and Gun, which would be a good one, and uh, Pain Tolerance might be a good one as well, so that uh, HP it reduces HP loss by 5% and 20% uh, uh, less chance to get stunned. I think that would be a good idea. It's a working vending machine all the way up here. I'm not even going to mark this one, though, because I, I don't need it that bad. Let's push our way through this. I just had a leg spike right there, which usually means there's a bunch of zombies that are going to spawn in. Mm-hmm. All right, take those guys out. Leg is kind of, or not leg, but frame rates are kind of dipping here. This is uh, usually what happens when I come up here. Can I wake up somebody on the other side of that wall? I think so. There he is. It's going to be kind of a close call, though, because, like I said, time is ticking by. And I got to move kind of quickly. There's some books over there. Maybe I can possibly get lucky and learn a schematic. Ah, machete schematic. Yeah, it is one that I didn't know. Nice. All right, need everyone to wake up. Oh, there's a dog right there. No, oh, that's not loaded. It's kind of a rookie mistake. You should always load your guns before you press forward. All right, going up to the next floor. Take that guy out. All right, I should probably stop using ammo because, like I said, I'm going to need it for a horde night tonight for sure. And I don't know where... Actually, a lot of my, my ammo might be back at my other base. Hmm, this could be a really sketchy horde night. Oh, hi. That guy didn't care at all that I was there. All right, now I believe there's a bunch of whites that come out of this, so... Let's make sure everything's loaded. Yep, they're all awake now. Didn't mean to switch there. Whew, okay, I could have done better shooting there. And also, I switched my shovel spontaneously in the middle of that. That was kind of an accident. Did not mean to do that at all. Okay, pushing on. 1,700, really got to get moving. Wake up, everybody. I got some business. I got a bone to pick with you guys. Oh, that's a corner. That's not where I want to be. Exciting. Might need some first aid after that. That's actually a really nice little combo I like to see there. Let's go ahead and use one of these things. And how many can we craft? We can craft two more there. That's what I like to see. More aloe. I'm actually happy to actually see this. This is incredible. Craft two more of those things. I'm still healing up from that little beating I just took. There's the thunders letting me know that it is Horde Knight, so I really got to get a move on it. There is that ammunition chest way down there, which I'm not going to worry about because i got bigger fish to fry right now. I've got to get moving. I've got to get moving a lot faster than this. I should have started this right away at the beginning of the day. Broken window right here, I believe, is where I'm supposed to go. Dang bird. I hear another one. Dang bird. All right. I got this. I got this. Can't be dilly-dallying. Not at all. Not even for a second. No more looting. We're going straight through. Just pushing through. Big fat guy. That's not loaded. Rookie mistake again. Oh, not a lot of time. I'm really pushing my limit on this. Alright, we're just pushing forward. Pushing forward all the way. Alright, I think I'm at the roof. This is going to be sketchy because normally I try to sneak in here and take these guys out. I'm going to have to rush in here and just let the gunfight ensue. Should have woke up quite a few people. Look at all the red dots on the compass up top. 
Gosh, stripper titties came jumping on down. That's nice of her. Oop, sound right here. I just saw him in the last second. Okay, the thing just decided no, I didn't want to fly at me anymore. Oh, for the love of gosh. Oh, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. I need that bird off me there. Falling back into the stairwell. Whew, kind of got my bell rung there. I'm definitely infected, that's for sure. Falling back down to the next floor. I think I woke all of them up. Uh, let's go ahead and not use that because I got to get moving. All right, we're going to make sure this is just guns, guns going live here. Oh, okay, I'm not out of this yet. Let me uh, quickly use that just to cure that honey. Do I have any painkillers on me? I do. Take that too to cure that concussion. Got my bell rung there pretty bad. Eat that. Use that. Drink that. Pain mitigation there. All right, so these guys are just gonna be coming on down here if they're not already. Ooh, they fell off the side of the building? Oh no, they... It looks like they're stuck on the side of the building, which is actually kind of a good thing for me. Good loot bag there. I'm running out of 762, so I gotta switch to something else. Where's those birds that almost killed me? Oh, this guy's still alive. Okay, this is why I needed more ammo coming here. That's where the main loot is. Oh, it's 20 hundred. Okay, I've got to push, push hard on this thing. In fact, I might not even turn this into gen if I get it complete. I might just bail and head back to the base because we got less than two hours before the horde hits. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, they're underneath somehow. Yeah, I'm not even worrying about looting at this point. I'm literally worried about just completing this mission. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to. I might. This might be a big. This might be an L. Did these guys fall off the building or something? No, they're down there. All right, it's saying that the last ones are up above, which means there might still be people up top. An hour and a half left. This is going to be so close. Where did you come from? Talk to trader. All right, let's get out of here. I'll come back and loot this. Uh, save waypoint, uh, loot this. We'll do that later. All right, let's get out of here. I gotta get out of here and get back to base quickly before the horde hits. I gotta work my way down. The stairwell should lead me all the way down there. I might have to do a little parkour jumping down it though. Got an hour to get back. Ooh, it's super sketch. Super sketch. All right, where am I going anyway? Quick save. All right, we gotta gun it. We gotta get home. We gotta get quick. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Which which way is it? That way, we gotta get going. Less than an hour to go before the horde hits, and I am now approaching the town where I live. Oh, this is so bad. Hopefully, everything works. If not, like I said, I gotta hop on my bike and just pray that I can outrun the horde just to survive. I'm gonna try to fight. I I'm low on ammo. It's gonna have to be a lot of melee. Ugh, I didn't prepare very well for this one. I'll leave the bike parked right here so I can just hop down and get that quick. All right, now I gotta open up the door on the far side. So excuse me, sir, I need you to go away. Thank you for hitting me first. I really appreciate that. 
We got actually some uh, locals in the area that I really need to deal with. All right, now I gotta go over here and open this up so that they can get in. And there we go, that's open. This door is open, that door is open. Okay, everything should be open now. I can't actually get in this way. Whew. All right, 20 minutes until the horde hits and I'm just now getting my stuff sorted. Excuse me, sir, I need you to not, not be here right now. Stamina's drained, I'm drained. Oh, I'm exhausted. All right, let's close that door. Let's go in here and grab whatever ammo I can. Actually, let's go to the dump chest and just dump everything in there for right now. All right, here we go, last second grabbing whatever I can. Ah, hopefully this works. Okay, grab ammo. Actually got quite a bit of 7.62, or quite a bit of nine millimeters, so. Uh, and repair kits. And uh, food is always a good thing. They're already here, that's kind of nice. Loot bag right in my way. I can always loot it as I go, get it out of the way at least. So it looks like the crawling mechanic is working well. The problem is the bodies are going to be piling up here. Oh yeah, I don't know how it's going to work with dogs. I'm going to try to use the uh, assault rifle as much as possible. Dogs don't look like they can get in here, which is fine, actually. I don't really want them to get close to me. Alrighty, guys. Let's kill, cue that zombie-killing montage. Patching myself up here. I think a bulk of it is actually done. Still a couple stragglers coming in here. There's still some people hitting on stuff somewhere down here, too. It looks like he's hitting on that pillar. Taken care of. Alright, it looks like I might actually survive this horde night. 
that was sketchy. <laughs> that was super sketchy. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's, uh, let's throw on some looter goggles here. Uh, let's see. We took a little bit of damage, but I was repairing it throughout the, throughout the night. I think I did more damage to it than anything. Look at all those loot bags. Some sweet loot. It looks like this base held up pretty well, actually. I did get my bell rung a little bit. I wish I would have knocked these out, actually, so I could have stepped back because they were hitting me when I was uh, up close to them. But all, to, all together, it worked out pretty good. I'm not going to complain at all about it. Now, we didn't get to turn in the quest for Jen, but we will do that tomorrow morning for sure. This held up very well, actually. I'm actually kind of surprised. All right, looter goggles are on. What do we get? We came out here for the loot. Please give me some good loot. There's a pipe bomb schematic. I guess that's something. I mean, so far, the loot's been pretty standard. I mean, we got a couple. We got a mining book, but I already knew it. And we also got pumpkin bread recipe. So it hasn't been, like, super great stuff. Um, but, I mean, this is still relatively early. That's not as good as what I'm wearing. There's one more down the steps here. And there it is. That's all we got. So this was the loot that we got from it right here. I got to break down some of the brass stuff. Nighttime in the Horde Night. I guess I could run across the street and check that, uh, that gas, or the, I have coins, right? Yeah, check that, uh, vending machine. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Flustered, because I, I was so excited about it last night. So sugar butts, is what I like to see. And a health bar, probably a good idea too. So, all right, the dead rooster held up against the horde. Pretty awesome stuff. All right, I think the only thing left for me to do is just sort my inventory, kind of recover from the trauma that was last night and uh, the mission that I just about failed. But we did, you know, actually, we were successful. We pulled it all off. Wasn't even worried. <laughs> Yeah, alrighty guys, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here though. I gotta I gotta put all this inventory away, sort some stuff, and get ready for bumping up the difficulty, which is gonna be happening tomorrow. So, well, the next week for you guys. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this though, please go down and smash that like button. It would really help me out a lot. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. We survived another horde. Go us, high five. I will be back next week where we bump the difficulty up to warrior difficulty. And I will probably be a lot closer to death than what I have been already even so far. And I've been pretty close so far. That Higashi Tower was sketchy. So, uh, yeah, that'll be all happening next week. So thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die. And we are back in the Dead Rooster here in our Bar Life series. We have just survived the day 14 horde. Okay, so we're on day 15 now. And I really got to get moving because uh, I've, got, uh, I've got things I need to do. I gotta actually wrote them, I wrote them down this time. I gotta make a baseball bat because I, I learned or I put a skill into if I can pull it up here uh, into Pummel Pete here a while back, and I can make tier five things now. And I just I just kind of didn't. And I wouldn't mind actually seeing how much is it uh, how much does it take to make a steel club? Just out of curiosity, uh, is this something that I can do? Ooh, thirty steel par uh, parts, fifteen steel club parts. Do I have those things? Let's see, it'd be under parts. What do I have in here for steel club parts? Do I have anything? I don't actually see any. I don't think I have any of them here. I guess that answers that. All right, I'm making the baseball bat. <laughs> making the baseball bat because we don't have enough, uh, let's see, it's 60 of those, I believe. We don't have enough uh, materials to make a steel club anyway. So let's see, the baseball bat. Uh, I had it in here, baseball. It takes uh, 60 forged iron, because it, it gets more expensive the higher tier you make. Uh, 30 wood, three leather, three duct tape. Now the duct tape, I believe I also wanted to make my drone, uh, wood, I need that, and uh, leather, was that the other thing? Three leather, I think it was. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's get this thing crafting, because that will add an extra modifier, actually, to my existing baseball bat. So right now, this one, if you look at it, only has two, I'll get three. So I gotta start thinking, like, what do I wanna put on there? At least something to do a little bit more damage. It might just be something like a, an ergonomic grip or, or a, a, a fortified uh, grip here, or something like that. Just something to add a little extra damage to it. Because we are now on, I'm going to need the extra damage, because we are now on warrior difficulty, okay? Difficulty has been bumped up. I have a decent pistol, I have an alright assault rifle, but I don't have any skill points put into it. And we also have an alright shotgun, and I don't think I put any points in that either. I do have two points available, so i got to really think about how I'm going to spend those this time. Hmm. See, the better barter is interesting, because I also get a better secret stash. And I think I kind of want to put one of the points into this thing here because I need to I need to find better stuff. If the difficulty is getting harder, I need to find better stuff. So we're going to put a point into that. Now this right here is going to take level 10 of intellect, which 
To get the next point is going to take two, which will put me at eight. So I, and then it's going to take five levels to get to this. With the nerdy glasses that I have on, I can get that tenth level for basically free, um, as long as I'm wearing them. So I could, I could do that, but I don't know how much, how much longer is this thing going to take on here? A minute and some change. <clears throat> I might wait actually until this is done, but I've got a lot of things to do. One, let's make sure I have some freaking lock picks. Okay, I got some, <laughs> got some lock picks because. Last couple episodes, actually, I did some stuff, including uh, there's lock loot here, there's loot this right there, and then where was the? Hold on, I'll find it. Uh, there was a uh, there was the the CIA house. Where was that? I believe it was right here. Okay, uh, let's uh, do uh, let's do a save waypoint, and we're gonna do uh, loot here. Also, I kind of forgot to mark that one, but. We're going to want to hit up these sites here because I left things locked there and there is loot that I want to get. However, I think one of the first and biggest important things that we should do is actually go turn in this tier 5 quest. Because by the time we get over there, let's see, how's my, uh, how's everything looking? The hunger, food, stuff like that, it's all looking alright. Uh, is this thing done actually? I was kind of hoping to wait for that. Oh, it's 20 seconds. Okay, I'll wait for that real quick. Get the, the baseball bat that we want. I might actually hang out here in the desert for this week while I work on getting my gear up and running for the survivalist difficulty, which is going to be coming up uh, next week, or next week in-game. And that could be that could be rough. So uh, I want to get uh, better gear before I head off into like the winter biome or even go into the, um, the wastelands, because that could be really dangerous. One thing that I really want to get, because I've put so many points into Gunslinger here, or at least this is what I'm working on, is I want to get myself an SMG. It says right there, the master use of handguns and SMGs. I need to get an SMG. So that's going to be one thing I'm going to be looking for a lot in this. So uh, I also wouldn't mind making the drone. And I think I was just waiting on duct tape was the only thing I was missing on that thing. In fact, I think I was making some of that in here. Yes, I was. I'm pretty sure I need more of that. So what we're going to do is actually get more of that crafting. Oh, I need murky water. That was my thing I was holding me, holding me back. Let's grab that and let's turn this all into... Uh, duct tape as much as I can make it's glue people it's glue not duct tape I don't know what I'm smoking right there that was crazy all right let's <laughs> that was not the right thing all right so let's go ahead and turn that into into glue so I can make the duct tape then I don't, I don't know my brain was everywhere all right we actually do have a lot of this so we actually could I can I make the drone what does it take to make the drone real quick I know I'm wasting time here and this could probably bite me in the butt later but we need uh, five robotic parts which we have plenty of and forge steel Oh, the uh, they're open now. I gotta get going. 15 duct tape, 15 scrap polymers, and two motion sensors. So there's the two motion sensors. I remember picking them up. Uh, 15 scrap polymers. We can actually get easily there. Am I gonna actually be able to make a drone? This is crazy. And then we're gonna need, uh, what was it, 15 duct tape, was it? Yeah, 15 duct tape. So we're gonna need as much duct tape as I can possibly muster. I need cloth for that. As much duct tape as I can possibly muster. Uh, I, think, uh, I think that's all I'm gonna need right there, right? Bam, just like that. Now, drone. I can make it. Look at that. Now, it's only going to be a level 1, but it's better than nothing. So, we're going to get that crafting. I'll come back for that probably in the next episode. I'll come grab that. We got to get moving, though. We got ourselves a new baseball bat, too. We got some bones that I don't need in my inventory. We got ourselves a new baseball bat, too. So, let's go ahead and modify. Actually, let's take that out here. Modify. Take this stuff out. And modify and throw that stuff in. Now, we got that one extra spot. So, mods. What can I throw in there? And 20% chance goes bleeding. 40% with power attacks. We're going to go with that one right there. Uh, modify and throw that on there. Bam. We got ourselves a baseball bat that does 20, almost 27 damage. This one does 20 without any of the mods in it. So I think it's time to retire, and we'll throw that right into Selbles, the old baseball bat. And it's also really time for us to get going. Okay, so first things first, alright? One, we're also we're running out of gas. Ooh, there's actually some locals here. How tough are you now with the warrior difficulty? Regular baseball bat hit does not kill you. Okay. Two does, though. That's good to know. This is all about testing here. Hi. Take out your knee, and take out your face. Okay, so you take a couple of hits. Good to know. What we need to do, though, is we need to get going to Jen. I think the first thing I'm going to do is, because uh, it's already past the time when she's open, is I'm going to go turn in this quest, and then I am going to... I need to cut down this tree. I can never see coming through here. Uh, I need to turn in this quest, and then I need to hope to God that she gives me, a, uh, gives me an SMG. If I can get an SMG from Jen... That'd be amazing. Okay, that's that's going to be one of my big goals today is to try to find an SMG, and that vulture is really going to want me to not do that. All right, made it to Jen's. There are some people squawking after me here. They need to go away. Anyone else? Nope. Okay, Jen, I did the thing. Do I have the right glasses on? I do. Okay, Jen, I did the thing. Please, oh please, give me an SMG. Amazing. No, but there's a desert vulture. That's pretty good. 
All right, we're gonna take the truck accessories and the desert vulture though, because that's awesome. That's a really good magnum. Uh, all right, what do you got? What do you got that's kind of close by? Okay, let's see. What's hold on? Let me look at the map real quick. Um, so east of here is not good loot area, and west of here too far is going to be terrible stuff as well. Okay, so what do you got that's around here? Do you have any jobs? Let's see. East of here is not good to go. West of here could be dangerous too. So no. <laughs> You don't. You don't. You don't really have any good spot. I think this might be in the snow biome right here. This stuff right here. So I'm, I'm gonna pick that one, and we'll go try to do that today. The skyscraper too. Week, okay. So desert vultures are nice. I don't have any magnum around, uh, ammo on me right now. But what do you got? What uh, what's uh, what's your inventory look like? Day 16 is when it reloads. But I did just put a point into better barter. So you should have stuff in here that should be uh, intriguing to me. You got some solar panels, some C uh, tier six ones. I don't have anywhere near enough money for that. So I'm not gonna get that. There's the robotic. Uh, drone medic mod schematic, which would be handy, but I have to keep first aid bandages in there. Ooh, there's a Lucky Looter Volume 7. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy that because I'm trying to complete that series because then it'll cause zombies to drop more loot. All right, and then she's also got a Great Heist one that I'll buy here, too. Go ahead and read those. Did not finish any of the sets there, unfortunately, but uh, let's get moving, though, because, like I said, I want to go grab this loot. Hi. Missed. A little rusty, people. A little rusty. Oh, it didn't die to a headshot. E Okay, so headshots don't kill zombies. Not, not, not anymore. That's going to be rough. All right, let's go grab some of this loot that I left behind over the last couple of days because I desperately need to get it. Uh, let's uh, let's do a quick waypoint and head on over here and get this loot. All right, we're behind the movie theater right now, and I believe there is one of those guys chasing me. Uh, but we're behind the movie theater right now, or the, the drive-in here, and this is because uh, it was in here that I left a locked box right here. Let's get this thing open. There's the zeros. All right, let's uh, put the looter goggles on. I need an SMG. Could you be so kind? Uh, no, but there's the mini bike handlebars. I guess we'll just use that to save inventory space. Some cash. Uh, I'm going to just scrap those because they're not really worth much. Let's take all that stuff. All right, so that wasn't great, but, I mean, it could be worse. Now, we can actually go ahead and remove this locked loot marker, and then we're going to head on over to the CIA house because there's a locked crate in there, which, by the way, I have since figured out how to get out of the CIA house. I know I was trapped in there. But I figured it out now after playing on the Outbreak server for a while. Uh, yeah, there was a vent, apparently, in that room that I was supposed to break, and I could get out that way, and I'm a big old duh 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 for not doing it. Okay, so the quickest way to get in there might actually be to just hop this fence here, um, because I have that hole dug down right over here to get, get there. Now, there's a mine right there, which I don't have to worry about, because I don't explode on mines, but I have this hole dug right here from where I escaped last time. Now, can I get down there, please? I'm just trying to go down the ladder. There we go. Here we are back in this this terrible room, right? Okay, now there's the steel sledgehammer parts. I don't really need any of that stuff. Is there anything else I left in here that I want to get? Some military armor could be good. This thing could sell for a little bit, so maybe I'll grab that. Some of the baton parts I don't need. There's nothing really in here that I want, although there is this gun safe here. I should probably unlock this. Maybe it has an SMG. Okay, gun safe is unlocked. What do we got? I saw the red glass on, right? Oh, drum mag. That's nice. I'm actually going to really enjoy that. There's also an extended magazine mag there. There's some rounds for the Desert Vulture, which is, like I said, it's always fun. Let's go ahead and load those in there. Uh, it doesn't quite fill up or take up all the ammo, but that's all right. I was hoping it wouldn't free, open, free up a slot here, but that's fine. The drum mag, though, drum mags are really nice. Really, really nice. And I'm, uh, I could put it on here. I Actually, you know what? Uh, modify? Let's do that, actually. Let's take this one off and let's put that one on because I only had the, v the magazine extender mod on that one. And uh, let's modify this and we'll take the laser sight off and we'll put the ma uh, magazine extender on that one. So let's see. What do we got? We got 20 rounds in that. And then the attack boy here, we got uh, 59 rounds. That's actually pretty good. Now, here's that vent. Okay? <laughs> That's how you get out of here. <laughs> All right, but the final loot that I left is up here, actually, because this is where we had the big fight, and it's right here. Let's get this thing unlocked. And click, unlocked, what do we got? SMG, no SMG, chainsaw schematic, that's pretty awesome. I'll take that gladly. Uh, let's see, baton parts can go away, I don't really want them. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's about it. Now, to get out of here, the quickest way to get out of here now that I have this is actually probably right up that ladder that I, <laughs> I installed. So let's just do that instead. Break down this car here, get a little bit of gas before I head out, because I have to head back to Kagashi now. Oh boy. Okay, uh, actually, let's, uh, let's actually refill this a little bit. 
But uh, I have to head back to Higashi, uh, and that's going to be a little bit traumatizing because uh, last time I was there, things got a little sketchy, a little rough. But, I mean, overall, we did make it out of there fine, so I guess I shouldn't panic too much. But I do have to head back there because, actually, where is it? Where am I going? What's my name? Because, uh, quick stack, there we go. Or, uh, not quick stack, quick marker. Because um, there is the main loot of Higashi Tower there, and that would be incredible to go get because I had to rush out of there last time where uh, because the Horde Knight was hitting. So, but now that the Horde Knight has passed us and we got a whole week ahead of us, I think uh, I think I can just safely go up there now and uh, and get the loot. Okay, Higashi Tower, we are back. Boy, you almost killed us last time. But there shouldn't be any zombies in here anymore because it just happened the other day. So. We should be good to just kind of wander through here. Look at look at the damage they're doing trying to get in here. Uh, speaking of trying to get in here, let's bust this thing open. There's some medical supplies right there. That woke up somebody. What? I thought everyone was gone. Apparently somebody's nearby. Let's just get up here and get the loot though, because they're they're down here on the ground floor anyway. Okay, we made it to the roof. There's the main loot. Okay, this is where the big fight happened just before the horde hit. Uh, in the last episode, but now everyone should be dead up here, so I don't really have to worry about it. It's all just about looting. Oh, I have to hit the button. There's actually a button to open that, though. And it's back here. Right here, this one. Pink. Alright, what was in this tower that I wanted to come back here and get? There's actually a uh, robotic sledge in that bag, which that's actually kind of nice. You know, I'll actually take that because I can probably set that up somewhere on the horde base and actually get that doing some serious damage to keep me safe. Well, not serious damage, but serious deterrent to keep me safe. What do we got in these boxes right here? Okay, grilled meat, machete, we already know all those things. That doesn't actually... I scrapped it. I accidentally scrapped it. Let's read that for the XP, at least. Uh, this one sells for a decent amount, and we also got a bipod mod. That's kind of nice. What might an SMG mod actually? Let's just eat this and now uh, we'll take the potatoes, sure. Alright, I gotta unlock this chest because this should have the goods in it. A dozen or so lockpicks later, we finally got it. Got the right glasses on. Yep, let's open this up. SMG! No, nope, don't really need that, but I'll read it because I don't know it. Uh, that doesn't sell for so much. We'll just scrap it. Blade Trap Bundle. That's kind of nice because that could actually help out big time with, uh, with uh, setting up for the Horde base as well. Hmm. Alright, we'll just take everything that's in there. I'm gonna need the ammo though, because I'm, I just realized I just took a tier 5 quest. I'm just gonna go do that actually. And, uh, oh, it's noon already? <clears throat> I was gonna go do that. And, uh, I don't actually have any, uh, enough ammo to do that. So, I mean, ah, I'm sure it's not gonna be a problem. It's a harder difficulty. There's somebody making a ruckus out here. It's a harder difficulty. I have not enough ammo to do this quest, and it's also midday, which means I might end up having to take, uh, spend the night actually out here. There's a dog right there. Spend the night actually out at this quest. Now, where is it saying? It was northwest, wasn't it? Fetching clear. Oh, it's in the wastelands. Ooh, it's a skyscraper in the wastelands. I am going to swing back to the base. That dog is totally chasing me. I'm going to swing back to my base, okay? And then uh, I'm going to restock on ammo before I go there. So let's do a quick save there, and let's head back home. See if that drone is done, by the way. Oh, I, I forgot to actually make like a schematic, or not a schematic, but a, a, a modification for it also, because I, I think I have some drone mods, actually. I don't remember if I have the cargo mod. If I do, that would be handy, but even the, like the morale booster mod, which would be fantastic. It is already getting late in the day, and I have just cleared out all those places that I needed to loot. So yeah, this tier 5 quest I'm going on is in the wastelands, it looks like, which means that's uh, that's probably a really poor choice for me to actually try to go do this. I'm going to. I mean, I'm, I'm going to. But uh, but I probably shouldn't. Um, probably gonna stick this in the electronics because I'll open that later. Uh, some of this stuff I can actually sell while I'm going around here, but I got to organize... Actually, you know what? I got a dump chest, but I don't have to organize nothing. Uh, I should probably take some additional medical supplies, though, if I am going to go do this. So let's grab an extra stack of these things. <clears throat> all right, so yeah, dump chest. Yeah, all my ammo that I have, and I'm going to bring that with, at least not, well, not everything, but most of the ammo that I have, bring that with <clears throat> so that we can actually have a fighting chance. I'm going to take my drone out here, too. Now, do I know how to do uh, this one, the morale booster? I do. Was it steel, clothing, clothing fragments, electrical parts, and mechanical parts? Let's make that, let's get that going at least. I think that was it, right? Yes, I can do the morale booster mod. I can put a little teddy bear hat on it. I also can do the cargo that's pretty good too because I can hold more stuff. Actually, 
what do I need for that one? I need uh, steel polymers. Let's do that. Instead of the morale boost, the morale booster helps me with, uh, I think, stamina, which it would be really good. Uh, what is it? The stamina regeneration is increased 10% when near your drone, which would be really good. But I only have one mod slot, and I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to create this thing. It's going to take a minute and something to cook up. And I don't really want to be waiting around for that. So I guess I, I don't really need the drone right now. I'll come back for that in a little bit. Although I should probably wait. <sighs> ammo. Let's grab some ammo. All right, I've got like three stacks of 9mm, three stacks of uh, 7.62, and I've got about two stacks of shotguns. So uh, let's get over, actually, let's check this guy's uh, secret stash real fast, because uh, he's got, um, he, he should have a better secret stash now that I put some uh, extra points into it. Urban combat books, he's got a couple of them that I don't know, which would be awesome. And let me just make sure that there's nothing else, like an SMG or something that I'm going to be passing up on if I buy that. There's another motorcycle, which I don't really need. Um, yeah, let's get the Urban Combat books. What's this one do? Uh, sneaking over trash makes no sound. And uh, let's see, 5% less damage and deal 10% more damage when indoors. I'm going to definitely want that here in a little bit. Okay, I guess now is the time. We have to head out to the Wastelands. Now, like I said, I'm probably going to end up having to spend the night out here. I probably should have brought some food. Hopefully I'll find a vending machine or something, because I could get really hungry. What's my hunger at right now? Eh, it's doing alright. Uh, but I should probably find a, hopefully find a vending machine or some kind of sustenance or whatever. Could also kill that uh, coyote right there and, and cook him up too if I want to, but... Uh, let's get moving. There's a deer right there too. Look, it's, the game is telling me, get some food. But nope, no, nope, I'm gonna ignore it. Press on. I see the tower ahead. Oh, no. That one looks like, um... Uh, the other pharmaceutical building. That one's, that's like the hardest POI in the game. I think. Oof. Yeah, this is going to take a while to clear out. I'm definitely going to need some food. So, the Wastelands. Let's talk, people. The Wastelands is an extraordinarily dangerous place. It's going to be guns a-blazing, basically, at all times here. I don't know if I have the silencer mod or not, but if I did, I should have probably equipped it to try to help myself out here a little bit. I don't want to be stuck out here at night. There's a zombie bear right there. Uh, but I don't want to be stuck out here at night. But I think I will be, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak in here. Now, I shouldn't have to worry about mines because of my uh, my abilities that I have. But I don't know if that applies to vehicles that I'm on or not. But um, Let's get in here and uh, see if we can't get to this POI and get in here and at least start this quest up and start clearing it out quickly. If I can do this quickly, like speedy speedy, that would be better. Okay, took care of the buzzards chasing after me. We are here in the wastelands. This is Deshong Tower, people. This is a dangerous thing to do. But danger is my middle name. All right, let's do this. Fetch and clear. Ooh, okay. So I do have to remember to grab my satchel before I go. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. The leg is probably going to be pretty bad here, too. Take that out. I don't think he's dead. But I got other things. I don't want to be trapped in a bathroom. So anything... This does not work. Dang it. I was hoping that would work because it would give me some food. Uh, do I have the pro appropriate goggles on? I do, alright. So there is a zombie in here too. Alright, I'm gonna clear out this ground floor real fast. And then, uh, and then we'll hopefully set up a base camp here. Whew, this is gonna be rough. Oh boy. There's our first feral of the Shang Tower and I'm out of stamina. I already went guns a-blazing when I didn't want to. Now, this is gonna- ooh, there's a cop right there. there this is gonna draw attention from outside. So that's gonna that's why I want to get up to another floor quickly so that hopefully I don't have to deal with that. At least uh, the business guy is still good on one hit. There's a nurse behind me I gotta keep in mind. Oh, there's a runner. Just gave her chlamydia. This is already getting sketchy. Alright, got some food off of that zombie. I'll, I will take it. Alright, so most of them are dead. Some of them are still trickling in from outside. Like I said, guns will alert things in the area. This is the wastelands after all. So I gotta be kinda careful about just going guns a-blazing. But there is a crack book down here, which is nice. Is there anything like the SMG schematic? It looks like the stairwell. Is there the SMG schematic in here or any terrible things in here also that maybe I can learn? There's a sham chowder recipe. I mean, technically it's something, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. But that appears to be it. Okay, so that's all that was in that one. There's a savage country over there, which I don't really care about. I'm just going to go check to make sure there's no zombies lurking in there. Snake outside. Okay, yeah, there's no zombies in here. Alright, so let's work our way up to the next floor. I think I just heard a cop zombie. Yeah, I did. 
somewhere out there. Oh. Okay, locals from outside. Like I said, I gotta get up to the top floor so I can avoid this. Okay, let's start working our way up to Shang and the Wastelands. This is such a dangerous idea. This could very well be the end of the series right here. Now, I'm actually looting for mainly, like, food and water, because I think I am going to have to spend the night out here. And, uh, so, like, food and water are kind of important. So that's actually what I'm looking for while I'm out here. Can I squeeze in? Oh, there's a guy in here. Look at that. I didn't think there was anyone in there. I'm going to go ahead and drink one of these things now just for the uh, digestion efficiency, as well as the beer, just because uh might be my last chance to drink a beer. There is a dog right there. Dog taking care of. There's a feral coming up the stairs, though. Look, I'm still not far enough away from the ground floor. These are not part of the uh, part of the quest here. This is just the stuff on the outside. Let's press on. Anyone in here? Yep, there's a nurse in here or a, a pharmacy technician in here. I guess it's good to know that there's a pharmacy here. Is there any medical supplies? Some. I will take it. I'll take it gladly. If I get some cloth, I can make some. Uh, I can make some uh, more first aid bandages. I don't really need that. Splint in case I break my leg. That's always handy. There is a cop down there. Don't want him sneaking up behind me. Oh, we got another runner. That one's going fast. Holy cow. Okay, I think I might anger more people. I gotta stop shooting. Okay, that's where the other side was. I take it I gotta go in through here. Here's a ladder. Okay. Yep, looks like I'm going up. Alright, what kind of horrors await for me up here? Well, it's a stripper. It's not the horror I was trying to make a pun about, but uh, <laughs> it is nonetheless. I woke some people up. Are any of you runners? You are not, and I don't know about you yet. You're still breaking the door. Oh, we got a spider. Okay, he died in one hit very easily, actually. That was kind of crazy. It's Brittany! Now, I actually haven't ever cleared out Deshong since they've updated the game. So this is going to be kind of a new experience for me as we progress. And uh, I'll probably fall victim to traps and everything else that might be hidden up here. And uh, hopefully I can clear this out before the end of tomorrow even. You know, this is going to be like... Ne uh, next week's episode, I can tell, is going to be a episode where we're going to be in Deshong here for a while. Plus, my frame rates are struggling a little bit being in here. I'm trying to figure out which way I'm supposed to go. Anyone in here? Oh, giant hole inside the building. Got it. That's where I'm supposed to go. All right, so I haven't made it very far, actually, as you can see. There's an ammo crate here. That's what I like to see. Holy cow. There you go. Definitely take that. It's actually the ammo I'm using, too. That was an excellent crate to find. Anyone in here? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a cop. Okay, there sounds like a world of death around here, too, and that's probably the guys downstairs. They sound really close. I'm also a bit confused as to where I'm supposed to go. Aha! The ceiling in one of the bathrooms. Okay. Took a little bit to try to figure that out, but I got it. I'm good. Frame rates are struggling right now for me as I get farther up this tower and as more and more zombies appear. So this is uh, getting a little difficult to... Uh, Oh, there's a guy right there. Let's see if I can't take him out quick. Missed him completely. Woke up, everybody. Are there any runners? Uh, cheers, everybody. I just leveled up, though. That guy just fell over. So you can just rest there for a second. I can't hit that guy. <laughs> Got him that time. Okay, so everyone, everyone out of these offices. So we're going to press on. I'm trying to get away from the ground floor as fast as possible. Oh, it is a working vending machine. That's good to see. Ooh, frame rates. Frame rates are struggling. I don't know if you guys... Oh, there's a run right there. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video or not, but my frame rates are not doing that great. FPS is struggling up here. All right, what do we got in here? I do have some cash on me, actually. So uh, let's buy the chili and the tuna. And uh, I guess the boiled water. We'll, start with, we'll settle with that for right now. I should actually eat something because I'm getting a little hungry. So let's go ahead and eat some of this food. Okay, pressing on. Oh, that's a dog. Don't want to be messing with dogs. Those things will really mess you up. See, all of those noises I'm hearing from zombies, none of them are red dots on my radar, which means none of them are part of the POI. And they are entirely 
uh, extra enemies that are around. Oh, there's a runner. Come here, buddy. Enjoy the chlamydia. Oh, hey, thanks for the bag. Really, thanks for the bag. That's some good food in there. Hmm, there's a safe in here, which I'll get open in a second as soon as I make sure nobody's, like, chasing me. Let's try to get that thing open real quick. I'll just bash this one open. And it's open. See? No problem. Uh, looter goggles on. What do we got? Uh, some ammo I'll gladly take. Don't need those at all. Let's put these things back. Uh, it is getting to be nighttime, I just realized, as I see the sun setting out there, out the window. So I gotta hurry up and at least clear this floor. And uh, with it being nighttime, and then everything runs and it becomes super dangerous, uh, I might actually just hunker down up here on this floor and then pick things up in the morning. Somebody just walked over there. Pick things up in the morning. Because I don't want to be up here when everything's going at that speed right there. Because that, be that could be a real problem. There's tons of terrible sounding things out there, though. All right, let's see. I got another hour. Let's see if I can't clear one more floor. I can also come ba back down to this one if I need to. This looks like an unfinished area. There is a construction workers up here. Ooh, okay, a lot of construction workers have been cleared out. I'm just reading any recipes, even if I know them, because inventory is going to be a thing that I'm going to have to try to manage. And I don't. Ooh, there's a there's a there's a big guy up here. Uh, and would you just die? Oh my God, these guys have tons of health. Okay, and I want to I want to uh, clear up my inventory because when I get to the top, I wouldn't mind being able to grab stuff. I really should have waited for the for the uh, the drone. Would have made a lot of sense. I would have stamina, but I really don't want to be using guns right yet. My uh, my baseball bat is about a third of its health down already. Holy cow. And I also am getting close to my, my satchel that I need to collect while I'm here. I got to remember that. It's somewhere above me, though. Not going to lie. Those guys just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, we only got 10 minutes, and then uh, everything starts running. So I got to hurt. Ooh, that guy's running already anyway. He's like, I don't care about it being nighttime or daytime. So I gotta clear out these guys quickly on this floor, and then I'll probably call this place home for the time being. Oh, nighttime! All right, guns blazing. The frame rate's real though. Whew. Okay, turn nighttime. They all start turning into runners. That was a little freaky. Uh, I still hear all that terrible, terrible stuff downstairs. Let me just press on and try to finish this floor at least. Which I might... Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got like a little checkpoint here. Now, video game logic, whenever you get like supplies like this, means there's going to be a boss fight up ahead. Uh, let's just grab all the stuff anyway. And let's just press forward. I haven't gone up a level. Ow, yeah, they're running now. Video game boss fight. Okay. All right. Anyone else on this floor? Okay. This is how I get up to the next floor, it looks like. Yes. Okay. Is there anyone I missed on here? There's a ton of building supplies here, by the way. I might have to just keep this in mind if I ever need to go grab a bunch of stuff. Come back to Dishon. All right. It looks like this place is the next part right here, the next floor. I guess I could try to press on and see how bad the, uh, the zombies are, but, I mean, it's going to be really dangerous. Okay. Um, this is the next floor, right? Yeah, this looks like a nice place though. This looks way better than the construction area. This is the gym All right, I mean it is a little laggy, but let's press on and see if I can't clear out this floor as well I gotta be a little careful a little sneaky sneaky. Well, I mean I really wish I had a silencer. Is there nobody in here? Is there nobody at all? Doesn't look oh, there's some people over there. I see in the in the pool. All right you guys I think this is a good place to hold up though unless there's someone right around the corner hold on Hmm, okay. That doesn't look like uh, there's anyone in the hallway. So I'm going to hold up here on this side here where there aren't any zombies. And I think this is where I'm going to call it quits for today. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please go down and smash that like button. Help me out a ton. I'm going to camp out here. Maybe uh, make sure that I'm well fed. I do have some food um, in my inventory. Let's see, what do I got for food? Yeah, I got some food and some beverages and stuff. So I should be able to keep myself fed while I'm up here. 
and it's still alive. If I have to, I can drink the murky water, but I, I don't really want to because that could be a problem. Uh, I guess I can also collect uh, some other stuff and make like a campfire and boil it or something like that. Let's uh, let's check anything I don't need in here. We're gonna do a little inventory management throughout the night, but then in the morning I'm gonna tackle more of Dishong. So stay tuned because that's coming. But thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week with more Seven Days to Die where we take on the rest of Dishong Tower. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Grimer here coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die. And we are back here in Dishong Tower where we last left off last week when you guys are watching. It's actually just been a few minutes for me. I hunkered down there for the rest of the night like I, like I said I was going to. And look at this. We got my inventory sort of organized. I'm kind of fed. There's sort of some stuff going on. But I think we're going to get an early start here. It's 340-something right now. We're going to slowly progress through this and see if we can't make our way through this floor. And then as soon as it turns 4 o'clock, that means that it won't be... Uh, it won't be, they won't be runners anymore, and we can actually just kind of move along at a fast, fast, or, or faster pace. I was going to say fast pace, but faster pace. Okay, this looks like this is going to be a problem in here. Look at this. This, this, this does not spell good news for me. Let me just wait for, like, a few seconds here until it turns 4 o'clock. You know, I actually see a spider zombie right there. So I think when we kick this off at 4 o'clock, we're going to really kick this thing off. <laughs> All right, 4 o'clock. Oh, there's a, there's a military guy. Yeah, that's good. Good thing I waited so they wouldn't be running, huh? Whew. So they're all feral, so it didn't matter that it was daytime or nighttime at all right there. But uh, at least uh, at least I triggered the trap and had him come to me instead. So can I? Can I? Is there like way you just get up here? I don't think so. I think that's like if you fall down, you come down there. All right, pressing on through to Shang Tower. If you do go on to enjoy this mayhem that I'm getting myself into, be sure to hit that like button on the video. It helps me out a ton. This is not a working vending machine, unfortunately. Anyone taking a dump? Looks like there's a way through to the pool over that way, as well as on this way. Is anyone taking a dump in here? Here, being here in Shang, the frame rates are struggling. Uh, to actually uh, keep going, but we'll, we'll, we'll make do. We'll make. We'll, we'll be fine, maybe. Okay, there's people outside. There's a hole in the window too, so they're absolutely able to get in here. Now that doesn't actually keep them out when you think about it, because there's a way in in the back. But that's a lot of them. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. I had my back. Oh, I thought it was back up to the door, and it just wasn't going. Ooh, got messed up a little bit already right there. Get, get myself healing at least. I went to go to the assault rifle, but it selected the shotgun. Hey, big guy. Now this guy packs a punch, so I don't really want to mess with him. Look how many shots these guys are taking. Warrior difficulty is no joke. I got to get better weapons. This is a tier 3 pump shotgun. If I can get a higher level auto shotgun, which would be yeah, that would be way better. Uh, but... Beggars can't be choosers, so we're going to use what we got. Now, I take it I have to go the way that they came in, which is out here. So let's go out here on the outside of the building. Sketchy, sketchy. And we'll walk this way. And we'll go in this window. So it's a yoga room. Okay. Wake everyone up. Doesn't look like they're running in here, which is good, so I can take them out with a good old baseball bat. Oh, there's someone behind me. Okay, I heard the noise. I was like, oh, man, I just jumped in real life right there. <laughs> I'll go ahead and slap on another one of these things just to kind of get my health back up to maximum. We can also make those on the fly. I still have one more aloe, so eh, let's actually just do that. I also have a first aid kit. I got some basic medical supplies, so getting through here hopefully won't kill me. I just got to clear, and I also got to get my satchel. There's also a crate here that I wouldn't mind opening and taking a peek inside. Lock picks, I'll take it. All right, steel tool parts, don't really need, and electrical parts, I'll get more of those later. I'm not going to take up an inventory spot for one electrical part. All right, let's work our way up the stairs to the next floor. Yeah, there's, someone, there's someone taking a crap. Sorry, I didn't realize. I should have knocked first. Oh, he's stuck under the under there. Enjoy the chlamydia, man. Here, I'll just let you burn in there. Someone behind the door here. This is definitely the women's room. My bad. Oh, you're not dead yet. I forgot. Warrior difficulty. Remember, we've bumped up the difficulty since... What are you doing down there, sir? You're breaking the you're breaking the sink. We bumped up the difficulty since the day 14 horde, so this is on warrior difficulty, which is gonna make this tremendously difficult. Normally, when I play just for fun, I usually keep it on like nomad. Ooh, this place has seen better days. 
So it looks like if I have, a, if I want an escape route, I can always just eat myself out there. That'll be instant death, but I mean, I can do it. Oh, hello. Uh, looks like uh, she was bad at singing. Um, that's a heck of a way to boo her off the stage there. I, I guess uh, her performance really killed her. Food. All right, it's blueberries. I'll actually eat all these just because food is kind of a thing right now. All right. Got all that gobbled down. There's actually a cooking pot here, which I'm trying to think if that actually serves me any good. Like, is there anything that I can use that for? Well, there's some more food here I'll gladly eat. Because uh, I don't have any meat actually on me, and I don't think I need it to boil water anymore. So I don't know what that actually does for me. QZO. I don't know what that even stands for. Quizzo. Looks like we've got to do a little jump here. This is that part that I was wondering if I could get up onto, and it looks like I just have to jump across there instead. So this looks like a wine bar. Hmm. Anyone in said wine bar? Uh-huh. Yep. There they are. There she is. Working our way up this tower. Like I said in the last episode, if you caught it, um, I have not ever cleared out Deshong since they've updated it. Uh, so as far as knowing what to do, I don't actually. I'm uh, very new to this, so I'm kind of taking it all in. As you guys are seeing it, I'm seeing it for the first time as well. Alright, that actually modify has some red dye in it. Don't mind if I do. I don't really need these, so I'll just scrap those. But what can I throw a red dye on? A machete? Yeah, throw it on the machete. Okay, so the lights tell me to go that way, so that's the way I gotta go. But we gotta deal with the stripper first. Uh oh, somebody doesn't like the fact that I dealt with the stripper. I'm sorry, dude, I don't know how much you paid for her. Oh, there's some crates in here. I wonder what's inside them. Some steel, that's always appreciated. Uh, I did just realize as I was opening these things up, I'm just gonna scrap those, I can make this. I just realized as I was opening those up that my satchel is actually below me and I just cleared out that wine bar floor. I bet you it's on that floor. So let's just backtrack real fast and go grab that because I don't want to screw that up. I don't want to like finish the whole thing and then not have my satchel. It's on the other side of this wall, dang it. I gotta, I gotta work my way over there. Aha! There's a paint. Oh, there's a there's a feral white right there. Close that. <laughs> okay. So good thing I came back because there's actually an enemy back here too. I wonder if I missed any other ones. Got him. It's right up. Let me climb the ladder here. It's right up here. That's what I came here to get. And there's also some boxes in here too. All right. So I got my goods. So now the only thing left to do is just to clear the tower. Grandpa's moonshine in there. There's also some meat stew. I'm actually full right now, so I'm just gonna take the meat stew though. But that's that's awesome. That's gonna really keep me keep me uh, well fed. All right, so now we can get our way back over to where we were upstairs there and keep on clearing this area out. I'm actually really happy I came back because I did not know that that feral uh, white was gonna be in there. Okay, we're back here where we we're opening up the boxes. Back to where we were before. That I was gonna say that looks suspicious, but no, there's nothing in there. Medical supplies on the wall over there. Is there nobody up here? There's a whole lot of nothing. Painkillers, I will take them because you never know when I might need them. When I cleared out uh, Higashi, I needed them, so it's a good thing I had them then. It's a lot of the boxes and stuff for things to hide in, but so far there hasn't been, oh hi. But there's this cloth wall that they can hide in. But dude, I want the cloth before you, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Yeah, never mind. totally missed it. So yeah, cloth comes in handy, first aid bandages, if I can find some more uh, aloe vera. Speaking of aloe vera cream, there's some right here. Bam, just found some more. Look at me go. So I got a couple of dusters here that are taking up inventory space. And although they sell for quite a bit, I'm actually going to scrap them just because I need I need the space. I should have I should have got the drone last episode. I should have waited for it. Especially since I figured I was going to get stuck in a tier 5 quest anyway. Who's making noise? Okay, staying alive here, people. That guy is not, but we are. Oh, look at this. A Pistol Pete book here in this desk that I don't know. Nine mil ma eh, not speak English here. Nine millimeter weapons have 20% more range when used when using a scope or iron sights. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Any runners? Yeah, one right here. Two right here. Maxing out the Pistol Pete series would be nice since I am actually using a pistol. Whew. Okay, where where am I at Pistol Pete anyway? Uh, pistol Pete is at 107. That's the first book, <laughs> first book I found. But powder burn, shots fired at point blank range, ignore armor, uh, bulk craft, nine millimeter ammunition is if I finish all of them right there. So 
but that's obviously a ways away. I also have two skill points. I should probably take a second and actually apply them here since I am kind of going through this area. Um, agility is something I'm working on because I wouldn't mind getting this up to at least tier four. So, and that's, that's quite a ways away. So I need to get to tier seven of agility. So maybe I could put both points into agility right now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Maybe it's a mistake, but that'll unlock the next tier of Gunslinger. So the next level up I do, I can do that, which increases damage from my 9mm weapons. I'm really, really banking that I'm going to find an SMG or get one as a reward sometime from uh, from Jen, if she's so kind. There is a ladder inside the elevator shaft, so I take it that's where I have to go. Okay, sketchy, sketchy, sketch, tease it, tease it, tease it. There we go, on the ladder, up here. Nope, falling, falling. Ooh. Okay, I didn't break anything somehow. I missed the ledge. All right, so I'm gonna cheese it to get up here just because I don't really want to. I can't believe I survived that. Holy cow. All right, back up we go. Now, I'm not gonna do that the whole way. I'm just going back up to where I was so that we can get back up to this area right here just because I didn't mean to fall down there. Holy cow, that scared the crap out of me. Anyone home? Doesn't seem to be anyone up here. Oh yeah, there's somebody back, somebody back there. Wow, oh, that chlamydia is really hurting you there. Whew. Okay. So there was actually a door back here that was unlocked. Anyone taking a crap? No one taking a crap. This looks like a cubicle section. A lot of bookcases. Look at that. There's a fortifying grip mod schematic. I will use that gladly. Don't suppose. Ooh, here's a wasteland treasure. Let's see. Uh, you need to uh, figure out uh, how to hack. Figure out a way to how to hack. How to purify water. Okay, that's good. All right. This looks like this is gonna have some people in it. Let's wake up everybody. See what we're dealing with. You guys look all super slow. All right. There is a hole right here, and I take it I gotta go up this way and hop in this side. What kind of monstrosities are waiting for me in this office? Okay, took that guy out. Here comes a runner. He's got chlamydia now. He died with that burning sensation. Ow! Oh, there's a runner guy that was behind me. Ouch. Didn't see him there. Made me jump a little bit. Alright, there is a wall safe here. I'm going to bash my way into it. I'm saving my lockpicks because I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to need them at the end with the main loot. Although I have plenty. Like, I got 31 of them. But sometimes you get really unlucky with locked, locked things. And bashing this open doesn't take very long. Whereas bashing up the final loot, bashing open the final loot, that'll take forever. And open. I just ran out of stamina too. Let's go ahead and throw on the lucky looter goggles there. And let's grab the ammo. Yeet those things on the ground because I don't need them at all. Put my other goggles back on. I really don't see myself needing the cooking pot, so I'm going to do that. i got to start conserving some uh, inventory space here. All right, so this looks like this place got hit with, like, a missile or something. It blew off the top chunk of this area. Like, when the zombies were in full swing, I, I take it there was a lot of, uh... There was a lot of uh, warfare going on and stuff. So, ooh, there's more bookcases. So I, I take it uh, the humans were fighting back. Another Wasteland Treasures one. And it adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. Sweet, we'll use that in case I need to get a bunch of acid. I found one jar of it here, which I'm not too sure. Oh, there's another Wasteland Treasures. Okay, uh, I learned a little trick on how to do something uh, to, to sometimes get some when harvesting trees. What is it? Oh, antibiotics. Or uh, honey. Okay, yeah. When harvesting trees. Okay, so that's good. We can also learn how to make the water purifier mod, which I think I have one of those stashed away someplace. It looks like we gotta go up. There's a building office right there that you can't really get to. Okay, I wish I would've bought some, uh, some oh shits drops, actually, because <laughs> because they probably would've come in real handy. Ooh, there's, there's enemies here. There, here they come. No time to be uh, digging in stuff. When the zombies are coming after you, you gotta take them out. I uh, wish I would've bought some uh, oh shits drops because they would've come in handy for getting out of this place. Just eat that and then jump off the edge of the tower. It looks like this is the way I'm supposed to go, I think. Right? Yeah, that's locked, so technically no, but I guess I could just bash this open. Because it looks like only medical supplies are in here, so there's not really anything else. Ooh, all that stuff's good. Yeah, there's nothing else. Ooh. Red munitions crate. That's awesome. I should've brought some eye candy. There's a scope right there and a bunch of ammo, which I'll take. So the scope, wow, my inventory is full. Okay, time to start drinking some of these fluids and whatnot. So let's uh, let's use this. 
That gives me that digestion efficiency. We're just gonna use it again right away just to get that up in inventory spot open. I am a little hungry. Oh, there's an airdrop. I don't suppose it's gonna fall this way and I can see it because there's no way I'm gonna see that. 0% chance. It also looks like it's gonna be falling to the southeast. So that actually is kind of where I want it to fall to. There's no way I, I, I'm not gonna be able to spot that thing. There's none. 0% chance. It's foggy too. I guess we'll just have to let that one go. Mm, I don't want to go all the way down and dump stuff in my bike because that's gonna take forever to get down there. So let's eat that. That's one can of something I don't really need. I guess maybe triage stuff. What do I need? Here's a garbage can. Let's dump stuff in here that I don't absolutely need. All right, it's really not much better, but I think I'm gonna keep this stuff. I left all this stuff behind because it's three rounds of nine millimeter. I don't really need. Any of that other stuff I don't desperately need either. So we're gonna use just this. I wanna kinda get on over here. Can I just hoppity skippity over to this thing here? Yeah, there's books in here. What, what's in here? Aha! Potato seed recipe and a lucky looter volume I already know. I don't suppose there's anything behind this. There is something behind that. Let's bash it open. And that is open. Let's put the lucky looter goggles on. Just out of curiosity, what is my game my loot stage here? My game stage no, my loot stage is 155. That's pretty good. What do we got in here? A night stalker volume, I don't know. No, do 10% more sneak damage at night. I'm not really sneaking much, and I already know how to do the speaker, but we'll just read that just so it can serve the inventory. Alright, can we hop and skip back over to this side now? Ha! Ah, Alright, let's press on now. Anyone in here? Nope. Cheeky toilet pistol? Nope. All right, so I do have quite a bit of ammo on me, actually. So maybe I'll just uh, stop ooh, vending machine. Stop trying to conserve it. Any oh shits? There are oh shits drops. I'm gonna buy those. And maybe we'll get down here with fashion because if you, if you look, it says fall damage minus 100%. 100% of fall damage is gone for five minutes. So how do you think I'm gonna get off this building? <laughs> There's also eye candy. I'm gonna buy that too just for the final loot. Hopefully, I actually remember it. And the rest of the stuff I don't desperately need. Uh, yeah, because I got other food on me. There's also sugar butts, which normally I get, but inventory sake, I have to keep that uh, under control. We're gonna use a little bit of guns ablaze here. Just because, one, they're running, and two, I got a lot of ammo that I gotta try to use up a little bit here. Boy, they don't wanna die, do they? That nurse really took a lot of shots. All right, so yeah, I had a little bit of ammo I was trying to use up there just so I can clear up a little bit more inventory space. There's a lot of bookcases in here. I'm gonna have to remember this, playing this like on my own later, is that Deshong has a buttload of bookcases in it, so hopefully we can actually get something good out of any of these. I did not have my good goggles on during any of that fighting, though. Nothing, there's nothing in those bookcases. Nothing at all. Anything behind uh, Kathleen Kennedy here? Nothing, all right. So at least they dropped a loot bag. More bookcases, holy cow. Okay, yeah, let's, please, SMG schematic, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I have to, there's an urban combat book I already know. But, um, I don't know if I have to be a certain, hey, first aid, uh, kit schematic, that's pretty good. I don't know if I need to be a certain, uh, like, a uh, loot level to be able to even get it, but gumbo stew recipe is nice. I'm probably just gonna eat grilled meat, basically, my entire time here, though, so. I heard some deep thud, which usually means, like, a big fat guy or a stripper. Uh, cheers, everybody. Just level up. You know what? We're going to spend that in. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Okay. I, oh, I just threw my gun on the ground. Professional. That was like a boss move, actually, where, where I was like, I was done killing her, and I just, done, just dropped it like I was dropping a mic. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, oh, there's more ammo of, like, the stuff I was just getting rid of. Gunpowder would be nice to have, but inventory would be nice to have, actually. Uh, what, what am I going to spend that skill point on, though? Because we just did get it. I, I was talking about how I was trying to get the gunslinger up again here, so... Let's do that one right there. I gotta get my guns up and running first because with the difficulty being increased, this is gonna be super important for me to be able to shoot things and actually kill them. Mm -hmm. Oh, runners. Now, I only have half the durability left on this assault rifle, actually, on this, uh, on this tactical assault, or attack rifle here, but... Um, I'm gonna use it anyway here, just to anyone behind Colonel Sanders? Nope, nobody. Um, um, because I wanna, I'm gonna have my pistol still, that I can do some damage, a lot more damage with actually, or I say more damage, but I don't know if that's true. 58 and 60, so just, it's, my nine millimeter rounds do just like two points less damage than the, the 7.62, which is pretty awesome. And I also have the shotgun here, which I could probably use to do some clearing out too. Because uh, I'm trying to kick, dial back some of this ammo that I got. Oh, there's eight rounds there. I'm going to keep using this for a little bit. 
just so that I have more inventory space. There's more bookshelves. More inventory space for, for getting things. So a pretty awesome view up here, though, of the wastelands. But we aren't interested in views. We are interested in zombie killing. Uh -huh. Figured that would wake somebody up. All right, this house is clear. Let's move on <laughs> forward. Uh, there was, oh, there's one right in here. Never mind. It's not quite clear. No, it's still not quite clear. Now it's clear. We just gotta clear this place. Remember, we got our, we got our goods. We got our supplies. Now it's all just about clearing out the zambes. Found my way back into the stairwell here. Whew. Deshong is such a grueling task to clear out. This looks like there's gonna be some terrible stuff in here. Or at least that guy with chlamydia. Ow. Looks like uh, there's a runner else on the left there. This guy actually is a barrel. Ow. That guy's still alive. Alright, there's a safe in there too. So it looks like I'm gonna have to bash my way into that. Anything good? Nope, just paper. I'm gonna bash my way into that real quick. Open sesame. Let's put on the looter goggles. What do we got? We got, ooh, a Night Stalker book. I don't know. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Not really using blade weapons other than my machete. A bunch of cash. This sells for a lot, too. There's also a small motor tank mod, which I could only really use on my auger, and I think I already have one. Or the chainsaw, but I think I already have one. Um, inventory. Ooh, it's going to get rough. I'm going to leave that there, actually, because maybe I'll kick myself later for that, but I'm going to do it for now. Inventory is kind of a thing, and I don't have unlimited supplies. I, I'm actually kicking myself because I should have actually waited for the drone to be finished. I could have had the extra storage. Really, really should have. Okay, so there's some barricaded stuff in here. Anyone in here? Captain Kennedy, you hiding anything? No? Hmm. Whole lot of nothing going on in this area. Wait a second, hold on. Did I just circle back? Oh, hold on. I see what I gotta get to. Alright, businessmen. You and me and the baseball bat. Taken care of. Now. Looks like I gotta do a little bit of parkour action to get over to this one. That's a little nerve-wracking because my parkour skills are terrible. But alright, we're, we're here at least. At least we got to this part. Okay. Shoot that guy directly into the butt cheeks. Hopefully I'll finish him off. Super sketchy. The leg spikes are not helping either. <laughs> Ooh. I have a pretty beefy computer. It's not like the best of the best, but I have a pretty beefy computer and it's struggling up here. That's a locked door. I think I'm nearing the top. That woke up some people. Oh, it's a large marge. Ooh, one shot the large marge. That was awesome. Holy cow. Honey, I'll take that in case I get infected. Any cheeky toilet pistol in here? No. Why would there be? Pound a beer while we're up here. After beating down marge in the bathroom there, I feel like I could really go for a beer. Ooh, I hear somebody. I bet you're behind this. That is a Lieutenant Dan! Impressive that he pulled himself up on the counter, actually, without any legs. That's, that's really impressive. Talk about some serious upper body strength. So it looks like these are, like, apartment complexes up here. And there's also ammo right there. Anyone in here? This is an empty apartment? Empty apartment. Alright, that's what I like to see. Lucky looter goggles. Which, which ones am I wearing? Hold on, wait one second. Let me, um... These are plus four. These are plus three. Are these better than the ones? Uh, is this better than the ones I was wearing? Hey, I think they are. Yeah, I think I just found some better lucky looter goggles. Sweet. All right, well, we can just scrap these ones because we don't, I don't actually need the one piece of leather either. But awesome. Found a better pair of lucky looter goggles. I am not complaining or upset about that at all. Oh, boy. Okay, so there's a bunch of ammo here. Ooh, and a tier six machete. What? Okay, uh... Oh boy, hold on. I gotta swap over stuff because that's definitely gonna be better. Plus, it has an extra inventory spot. I need some kind of inventory. Let's do this right here. Throw all that stuff back in on that one. There we go. We got ourselves a tier six machete. Now, this should sell for quite a bit, so I'm not gonna actually want to get rid of that. Let's grab all this stuff back. 
All right, I'm actually getting a little hungry, so let's eat the rations here, because that'll open up an inventory spot. What do we got in this ammo crate? Never mind, there's more 9mm. Just more stuff. We'll leave the machine gun parts in there for right now. Um, they gave me a bunch of ammo, which usually means, video game logic, that there is some... that the, the metaphorical crap is about to hit the fan. So, I'm thinking that this is probably going to be the end fight here. If this is the rooftop, it definitely will be. Oh, boy. It is the rooftop. All right, everybody. Buckle in. Let me go ahead and just use this to get my extra 20 points of health back there. Buckle in. This could be a little sketchy. I put the oh shits drops on my hop bar, hop bar in case I really, really badly need to use them. And I don't have time to go open my inventory to actually use them. I wish I had a stealth option. Or I wish I had a stealth weapon that I could use. But I don't. All right. Well, let's just let's get this going then. birds out of the way for sure. There's a cop up here someplace. Excuse me, fat guy. I gotta go this way. Try to stay on the high ground here so that they have to come up to me. There's also a rad right there, which is a little sketchy. Oh, she's so tough. Large Marge, look at her. She's just tanking those bullets like it's nothing. Oh, I got thrown up by the cop again. Let's do a little reload. Oh, it looks like they're uh, kind of screwed up there and fell back. There. Ow, stop hitting me. I don't know if I killed the cop or not. I think so. He was about to explode, though, so... Ooh, I just took out that, uh, that, uh, rad... Oh, no, I didn't kill him, but I did hit him right in the head. So I do have a rad remover on my pistol. Getting up here was a really good idea. So rad removers, in case you don't know, they'll actually, uh, prevent the rads from healing for a little bit, because that's what they do. Okay, she's dead. I do have the right goggles on, right? No, I don't. Of course, I'm doing this entire thing with the wrong goggles on. Go me. Uh, looks like they're kind of stuck down there. That's a lot of zombies. I wish I had, like, an explosive of some kind. Oh my god, the military guys take so many bullets. I need to start investing in armor piercing, I think would be a good idea. Whew. I think it's funny that one of the last people left alive actually was the stripper out of all of them. I don't want him falling off. It might be the last guy up here, actually. Alright, clear the area is not finished. The roof is done, but I do have some spots down below me that it looks like there might have been a couple I missed, which is fine because I do have to. I'm, that means I can't eat myself off the edge like what I was planning. That means that I, I am going to have to actually like walk my way down and get the spots I missed. But the main loot should be up here somewhere, and I don't know where. There is a lantern right there, and there's a lot of. There it is. It's right in there. Anyone? Okay, main loot time. Let's get the goggles on. If the game will let me. <laughs> Alright, my inventory sucks right now, too. So this is going to be brutal trying to get all this stuff out of here. Or at least picking what I want. A rad remover is really good. These things I don't need. I have some gunpowder. Rad remover I can probably squeeze into something. Like this actually has an open spot on it, which is incredible. Could have used that just a second ago. Alright, so with the inventory completely full. Completely full. Now we're going to pick the main loot of the <laughs> of Dishong Tower here. And <laughs> see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay, got it in one lockpick. That was pretty incredible. No room in the inventory. I got the right goggles on. Let's actually use this because I forgot on all the rest of the stuff I just opened. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, a treasure map, which is good. A whole bunch of lockpicks, which is also good. Let's grab those right away. Uh, already on the workbench schematic, there is a barrel extended mod. It says uh, increases the range, but makes it uh, w uh, unwieldy when fired from the hip. I don't really need to 
have that, I don't think. All the ammo we'll take for sure. Uh, boy, okay, so here, let's let's just chow down. Let's have a feast and get all my food because I'm, I'm good. Now I just have to get out of the tower, so I don't need to worry about food anymore. I also don't need steel knuckle parts at all. Take the treasure map. I'll probably open that up back in the in the desert, although if I could get a treasure out here in the wastelands, that'd be great. I just don't... Mm -mm. We'll read it. We'll read it and see where it takes us. All right, so where is that treasure you're taking us to? It is down here in the in the desert anyway. I was thinking if it was up here in the uh, wasteland, that wouldn't be necessarily a bad thing. A dart trap bundle, which is kind of cool. I don't really need it, though. There's one uh, Diamonds I wouldn't mind having. Um, oh, I can scrap this. There we go. Grab the diamonds. The rest of the stuff I think I can live without, though, so I think we'll be all right. I wouldn't mind grabbing the robotic parts, but... Uh, uh, well, look, at this, more food. All right, let's uh, let's just drink this and... Oh, man. I, I wouldn't mind saving this if I could, but I can't, so we're just going to eat it. Okay, so we're just going to have a feast up here. The Thanksgiving, basically, in seven days. All right, since I'm not actually using the ocean's drops, what I could do is I could take the robotic parts instead. But, yeah, they're up here. I know they're up here if I need them. Oh, there's more stuff. Wow, okay, the, the loot just never ends. All right, grab the keys. That should unlock basically everything and allow me to get on out of here. Now, I do have to work my way down the tower, though, because it's, uh, we got about an hour and some minutes. Let's just eat myself off the edge here. Hour and some minutes before it turns nighttime. I wouldn't mind clearing this place out before then, because then I can ride home at night, which is kind of nice to say that I can do. All right, so it's one more floor down. I got to get one more floor down. It says it's directly below here, and I know a way I can go directly below here. Ooh, it's going to take a while, though. That's brutal. Knock, knock! Coming in. Okay, that leads to a raised uh, or an elevated ceiling. Okay, that dropped me into a pile of death. Okay. So that was scary. The floor here is not stable whatsoever. It did just turn nighttime. I was hoping to just drop in here and just get him. There is a munitions crate here. Um, I don't need rifle parts, so we're gonna eat those out of there. Is she down here? This is the yoga room right here. Where did that zombie go? There's one on my radar. Ah, there she is, right up the skirt. Didn't mean to look that way. <laughs> All right, so found that. It is nighttime, so I did not get out of here before the night ended, but that is okay. As we're getting closer to the bottom, though, there's going to be the locals from outside. E, that could be a problem. Oh, that's a screamer. I want to take care of her because she can call in hordes, and that's not what I really want to want to have happen. Screamers. Return to Trader. All right. We did it, people. I, apparently, I just walked right by that cool, uh, that, uh, that that closet right there. Now, I just need to get out of here, but with that screamer there, and there's dogs and terrible stuff, my uh, assault rifle is actually looking a little weak in the knees. I just need to get out of this tower now. So, directly east is going to be my goal once I get down onto my bike. This is one way I could get out of here. Let's take the oh shit's drops. Not like I don't think I'm going to be fine from here. But let's see, where's my bike up front? Let's just eat myself off the edge. Bam, land it like a champ. Let's go get my bike and get on out of here. Large Marge right there, excuse me. We want to head east. That's north. We want to head, I got to take a right here somewhere. Excuse me, everybody. I am out of here. Deuces, screw this place. The wasteland sucks. I'm out of here. All right, there we go. There's desert. Ah, beautiful desert. And a, immediately a vulture is there to greet me. But we made it out of the wastelands, people. We made it out of the Shang. We completed that quest, which means in the next episode, I'll be able to go talk to Jen. Maybe she'll give me an SMG? Hopefully she'll give me an SMG. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna hurry up and get back home because this this these last two episodes have been traumatic. The Shang Tower is not easy to clear out, and I'm happy I did. And thankfully I remembered my uh, my quest actually. You know what? Before we wrap this episode up, since over here is actually the buried treasure, and I'm no longer in the wastelands and don't have to freak out as much, why don't we go dig up this buried treasure real fast? Because I can store stuff on my bike. I can get inventory space. We'll, uh, we'll see what this buried treasure has to offer. The, the treasure map we got into Shang Tower, after all. Maybe it's got some good stuff. All right, here it is. Let the digging commence. All right, there it is. Finally, that took a lot of digging to find. <clears throat> but I got it. 
All right, let's go ahead and unlock this, and hopefully it opens up in one lockpick, and we'll see what kind of good stuff we got inside. That took way more than one lockpick. Okay, so we got the right goggles on. Let's open this up and see what goodies we got. No SMG, unfortunately. Some more diamonds, which is nice. All the ammo is good. A whole bunch of cash, which I'll gladly take. Scrap that. Extra bullet casings. I can actually make quite a bit. There's some bullet tips here, too, which I can turn into rounds as well. Got the gunpowder. Everything I need to make uh, make what I uh, make that uh, make more rounds of ammo. Steel club parts. I'll take those, actually, because that's going to be really handy. Now, I guess I should grab everything out of here. Uh, I guess we'll leave the stones. Grab everything out of here, because that's going to break and disappear. All right, let's go and get back to our bar because I have got to get home. I've got a bunch of stuff to sort and it should be just over there. Excuse me, buddy. All right, home sweet home. Now, we do have a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'll take what I can. Uh, I've got to do some serious sorting and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. So, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, though. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to smash that like button before you go. And hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. I had a wonderful day in Deshong Tower. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on this thing and for donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. I will be back next week with more 7 Days to Die where we continue our Bar Life series. We're going into day 17 here, so who knows how much longer we're going to last. Uh, it's getting uh, a little bit harder to survive, obviously. Eh, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to sort this inventory, and then I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Seven Days to Die. We're back in our Bar Life series here, <clears throat> chilling at the Dead Rooster uh, Pub, or the bar that we're living in currently. I think I'm going to stick around here for another week, or until at least day 21 before I try to venture out somewhere else. Which, I don't know, maybe, I don't I kind of like this place actually. I didn't, I wasn't really looking forward to living in the Dead Rooster. And then now that we got the setup here, I'm kind of like really digging it. So maybe I'll stick around for a little bit. And plus the loot stages in the desert is a little bit higher than the, the pine forest, and yeah. I'm kind of feeling a bit more attached to this place than I was uh, Grumpy's. Uh, but speaking of Grumpy's, we might want to head back there and actually grab some of the materials there because I've got quite a bit of stuff here. But if I'm going to try to make like steel club parts, I don't know if I have any left back there or not. I kind of want to go raid it and figure out if I if I do have any. But first things first, we got our robotic drone. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and actually uh, uh, pressing all sorts of wrong buttons. Let's modify and throw this in here. The robotic cargo mod. It says increase your drone storage capacity with this modification. Uh, add more. Uh, for uh, additional storage. So you can actually, this is something you can make another one and put another one on for even more storage on the thing. But we only have a tier one, the one that I whipped up because I didn't put any points into robotics. I did find the schematic over, so let's go ahead and slap this down. Powering up. All systems go. Ah, it's a friend. I'm thinking of calling him Wilson, actually. Like, uh, like, uh, like Castaway Wilson. So, like, you can uh, you can access the storage on this thing and check it out. It's got a bunch of storage. It's gonna be a little extra extra fun for me. Now, this thing will tell me when enemies are nearby, also, which is also very nice. And if I can get a better quality one, like a tier two, I think would even oh, a tier three would have an extra inventory spot. I can go ahead and make the morale booster mod on here as well. I looked into making a steel club. It's not not gonna be possible. So, like the morale booster mod right here is something I could absolutely make. So I should actually get this thing made because I hope to one day find a better drone and then I'll have it at least. But I hear somebody outside. Drone, are we okay? I've got a bad feeling about this. Me too. Never mind, I have a much better feeling now. Oh no, there's more. There's more people. Crazy drunks? Or it's past closing time. You're not supposed to be here. Oh boy. And there's the morning chime. Alright, so. With it being day 17, day 16 is when the traders restocked, okay? So I kind of want to go on a little bit of a trader run in today's episode. I'm going to get a head start on that right away. I'm going to get going ASAP. Of course, it would be a very smart idea of me to actually grab something to lower the cost if I find something really expensive I want to buy. So let's grab some sugar butts. There we go. And uh, let's get going. And what I'm going to do, now this place, it's going to be a little bit before they open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head back home home. And we're going to go to Jen back here. And we're going to uh, see what she has to, uh, on sale. Let's see. I got. Oh, actually, you know what I should do? I should grab all the stuff I want to sell, and so I can actually make some money out of this. Because my sellable chest is getting kind of full. But then we're going to head home, home, and I'm going to actually grab. I'm going to. I'm basically going to do a, a trader run here, where I see what they have for sale. Because now that I have, remember uh, a couple episodes ago, I did uh, one of these things. It is intellect right here. It's uh, bar better bartering. I got this up to here, so they should have some really nice things. Uh, but we need uh, sellables. Look at all the stuff I have to sell. Let's just grab all of it, and then we'll sell. Oh, that actually filled the inventory completely. Then we'll sell all of it. 
Hold on, I got a, I got a, I got a drunken guy back here. Bar is closed. Go away. All right, now let's get the show on the road and get going because it's gonna take a little bit of travel time to get there. But I also want to grab stuff at my old base, too, and bring it up to here to this one. Not everything. I want to leave some supplies there uh, because I do want to make sure that I have things readily available. Should I ever be up in that area again? You know, first aid supplies and whatnot. Uh, but I do want to get back there and grab um, some of the building supplies. I was trying to cut through here. It doesn't look like I can. Uh, grab some of the building supplies, like, um, you know, the cobble and whatever else. Some, some basic stuff we're doing some advancements on the on the base here and also grab like the steel knuckle parts if I have any there I don't actually remember oh the memories here we are back at our original house and it just turned six o'clock so Jen should be open I think I'm gonna go hit up Jen first before I work on grabbing stuff here because my inventory sucks right now and I, I can store it on the drone but Ultimately, I don't really want to. I want to sell a lot of this stuff. So let's get over here and actually go talk to Jen. Exactly. This is like perfect timing. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Jen, darling. I've got, <laughs> I've got a little something for you. I got some sugar butts. I don't really need. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna use one of these right away. Just because I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff anyway, so I wouldn't mind the better deal. All right. She doesn't want this flashlight, but there's so much more room now that I have in my inventory that I didn't have before. What do you got in here? Grandpa's learning elixir, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just buy that. Uh, because, did I see another one, actually? I saw, no, the recipe. Okay, I don't need a steel sledge recipe at all. But, um, yeah, a lot more inventory room. Learning elixirs are always handy, especially on Horde Nights. Uh, and let's go with oh, this Grandpa's awesome sauce, also. That teaches me how to make it. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's buy that, too. Uh, after all, I got the, uh, the better barter thing going on right now. Anyway, so, there, ooh, there's an auto shotgun. And an SMG! What? How did I not see that? Okay, yeah, we're definitely buying the SMG and we'll buy the auto shotgun too. Sweet. Okay, they're only two, three, so they're not like super great. And watch me get one now as a reward because that's what Seven Days likes to do. But um, that was a huge step up. All right, and there's also uh, some books that we don't know here that we're going to go ahead and buy as well. And I think that's it. Jen, you have been an Remember absolute me, doll. You need medical supplies. I am not going to forget you ever. All right, let's go ahead and learn that, learn that, learn that. All right, so we have an SMG. Awesome. All right, so this thing can probably take the place of our assault rifle, actually, because although the, the TAC boy I'll probably end up using a little bit later. All right, let's go ahead and just take all this stuff out here. And I can't put all of that into here because it only has two spots. So we're going to put the drum mag and should I do the scope? I'm running into rads, though, so I should probably do that. And we'll stick with that for right now. I wouldn't mind putting the scope on it on there though. Let me let me look at this thing. SMG, we got one, people. Holy cow! I don't like the sights on this thing at all, but we got an SMG. That's all that matters. All right, let's go ahead and we'll uh, yeah, we'll leave the dye in there. Sure, I'll, I'll, I got to find some more. Actually, we'll take the red dye out of this. Let's see, modify. We'll take the red dye out of that. We'll put that in the SMG. Bam, just like that. Got it. All right, reload this thing. Get it all good to go. Fully automatic 9mm weapon, that's what I'm talking about because, in fact, we could probably replace this with that. What does that do? 58? This does a little bit less damage, but more bullets down range, obviously. Because uh, I'm I'm specced into 9mm weapons, so this is huge right there. Uh, Alright, we'll keep the assault rifle in an in uh, oh crap moment, but ultimately I don't really need it too bad. Now, we also have this. Okay, so we have a, a pump shotgun, which has been very helpful up until now, where we're going to swap it out for the auto shotgun. <clears throat> Modify, we're going to squirt that in there, squirt that in there, and I can't actually put anything else on that, so I do have one extra spot, because this, uh, this this thing that's in here, this uh, this tube extender only works for uh, the pump shotguns, so it's all that all that it's going to work for. So we got an a auto shotgun now, which is awesome, and we got this. Now, they're only tier 3, so actually it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Actually, real quick, before I go... Does, does she have, like, a tier 5 here that maybe I can just go do? Uh, modify job. Hello, traveler? I actually already have a job for you, don't I? We're going to remove that one. And this tier 1 clear, I don't need. We're just going to simplify our quest here. Do you have any jobs? Yes, you do. Do you have any that are near here? No, you don't. Let's test the auto shotgun. Okay, that thing does not seem to be killing anything. That guy's still not dead? Maybe this was a mistake. Wow. Okay, I guess I gotta put some points in the shotguns or something. How about the SMG? Is this better? Yeah, the SMG works a lot better. Okay, 
All right, let's get the show on the road. I got to get back to the base real quick here and grab whatever supplies I want to grab from there and bring them up forward to the uh, to the desert base, to the dead rooster. Good old home sweet home. Now, I don't actually have... Was I making anything here? I don't actually have a chem station there, and I don't think I can even make one because I think I got this as a reward. Oh, no, I can. I can make one. It takes a lot of materials, though, doesn't it? What if I just, like, uh, picked this one up and took it with me? I think that might be a better idea. There we go. Got it. Anything in here that I was cooking up? There's a lot of stuff. Uh, can I just... Can I make steel here? No, no, I can't. I can make iron, though, so why don't I just make that as much as I can and get this thing going so that we can empty this out with whatever I can here. Yeah, let's empty out everything out of there. Nothing going in here. Don't really need to move anything. Uh, electronics, anything of value in here? I mean, there's there was a there's a robotic sledge. There's a blade trap, which I have a blade trap bundle I'm going to be opening up. There's a bunch of gas, which I'm going to actually take a big chunk of this here. I'll leave a little bit here in case I get into a situation. A generator bank. I can't remember if we have one of those things. And I'll grab it at a couple engines, too, just in case we need them. And some of the higher-end batteries, too. I'll bring those, too. Parts. Are they in here? I do not have steel club parts at all. Look at that. Okay, so I don't actually need anything from there, then, that means. And anything in here that could go into, like, our shotgun also. Shotgun choke tightens the spread of shotguns. I guess that might... I think that goes against the duckbill one that I currently have in there right now. I can put a light on there. That'll help the shotgun out at least a little bit. Alright, are, are there any building materials in here at all? It looks like I used a lot. I'm going to grab the stones while I'm here, though, because those will come in handy. And the wood frames. Sure, why not? And the brass and anything else that can be scrapped into brass, I'll take with me, too. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Uh, excuse me, Wilson, could you hold on to a whole lot of this stuff that I don't really need to hold on to? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the pump shotgun. Uh, probably keep that, you know, for a rainy day. Maybe I'll use that sometime or another. But inventory seems a lot more clear now. All right, so we got everything taken care of here. Anything in any of these chests on here? I don't think so. I think this place is good. I think we're going to leave Grumpy's in the past here. And we're going to move on down to... Yeah, I could check I could check uh, Rex place down here, but it's kind of out of my way. Let's go check Gen 2 real quick, and then we'll head on down to Bob, and maybe we'll go over to Rex, I'm not too sure. But we'll see if Gen 2 has any nearby quests for Tier 5s or something where we could get some good reward. I just totally turned completely around. That was awesome. Uh, see if she has a Tier 5 quest nearby, and maybe, maybe, maybe go quickly try to knock that out. Tier 5s are where I'm going to get the good rewards now. So I kind of have to focus on them, and I'm doing a lot of dilly-dallying here where I'm taking my time and stuff, and I, I really should be, like, at the quest already. We've got the best prices in the wasteland. First things first, I'm going to check our inventory because it did restock. I'm going to grab all your Molotovs. Thank you very much. Because uh, they come in handy for a Horde Knight. There's also some armor-piercing rounds here, too, which I don't have enough money to buy all of them. There's some more Molotovs. I actually don't have a lot of money. I should probably stop spending a, an egregious amount of it. Um... It's got the drone schematic, which I already know. Herbal antibiotics, which would be handy, but not super important. There's a fireman's almanac. Fire-based weapon effects like torches and molotovs burn 10% longer. That's actually really good. I can I can afford it, though, and I can, I, or I can afford it, so... I don't think there's any... Oh, there's a tier 3 drone. Ooh, I, I spent all my money. <laughs> Day 19, your stuff restocks. Okay. First off, let's buy this, and then just brighten my day. let's read that. Do you have any you. jobs that are really, really, really close? No, you don't. Now, you have ones that's pretty far away. What is We're this? It's a factory, huh? Let's go do this. Let's go do this, and we should get a hefty reward for it. Maybe we'll be able to buy the better drone then. Clear right here. Oh, it's it's in Rex's neighborhood. All right, let's go, let's go take care of this. Let's go get this before this uh, Lieutenant Dan slowly crawls up to me and, uh, and attacks me. It's a Shamway factory. Oh, goody gumdrops. All right, so let's open this up real quick. Let's dump everything in here that I don't need. I actually don't need this at all. I'm just going to eat that on the ground. Keep the ammo because I'm going to probably need that. Everything I don't need in here. And I might want to keep uh, my, some of those things on me too. All right, let's start this off. I just got to clear it. There's some people outside. Who seem to be upset that I'm in here shooting up the place. Is there a wandering horde around or something like that? Holy cow. Nope. I guess just the locals that heard me shooting up the place. Alright. Let's get on in here. I'm not really too interested in looting even. I'm just more interested in getting this cleared out as quickly as possible.
took his head clean off. All right, so that was pretty awesome. There's a lot of boxes in here too, but like I said, I am, ooh, I am rushed. I shouldn't have reloaded there. I am in a rush, so I'm going to just murder and go. Cut to that zombie killing montage. Okay, I guess we're going out the window though because it looks like it's open and that's kind of the way we're supposed to go Do I have to jump across to those things? It looks like I do parkour <laughs> Broke my leg leg is broken broken too. That's not good. So the frame rates get a little choppy as we go and As a result stuff like this happens where I struggle. Where's my vehicle? I don't think I have any splint or the ability to make a splint easily. Splint, I think, it takes duct tape if I'm not mistaken. Cloth fiber, wood, duct tape. Yeah, it does. Uh, now I can barely move. This is a real problem. Suddenly, I'm in a lot of danger. Uh, let's see. What do you got on you? I didn't grab any duct tape. I I had the cloth fibers and I thought I grabbed glue. Oh, I put that in my vehicle. All right, let's work our way. It's on the completely opposite side of the factory. Of course, it is. This is gonna take a while. Since I'm not, oh my god, there's another building in the way. Okay, this is going to take me a month of Sundays to get around there. Give me an hour. As I was saying, though, so we're slowly working our way around this building. This is a huge drawback. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to complete this quest because of this, actually. As we're slowly working our way around this building. Um, I usually play on a server whenever I'm playing, and so the frameness, framey choppiness isn't really much of an issue there because a lot of it's server side. But since I'm playing this single player, this is all my computer. And it is struggling. It's taken a long time, but I managed to walk around the building finally and get over here to where my bike is at least. So I have glue in here so I can make duct tape, which means that I can make a splint, which means I can get moving just a little bit faster. All right, let's go ahead and stash everything else in here. Not the splint, use that actually. All right, um, question is, is do I try to press on? See, I can move a little faster, but it's going to hurt my leg. And I don't want to hurt it any more than it already is. I do. Look at how slow I move. Oh, oh this was such a bad mistake. Do I have... Oh, I need, if I had steroids, that would make my life my a lot easier. Have up yeah, my sensors have too. If I had steroids, that would make my life a lot easier too. I could just run on it, but... I don't want to leave. I don't want to fail the quest. My desire to actually succeed is outweighing my better judgment. Of course, if nighttime rolls around, which I'm not sure I can clear this out fast enough, nighttime rolls around and I can't really run, I could be in some serious trouble. I don't know why I'm going in this way. I could have gone in where my bike is. All right, I'm even running on it. You don't really move. Ugh. I'm. Gonna, I think the safest bet would be to admit defeat. Although this is already like half cleared. Ah, so frustrating. Because I can't. I can't move. I need to wait a half hour and I need to go get myself a health bar. All right, I, I'm waving the white flag. 
I failed this quest, and I'm gonna just have to take it. Uh, I can still hit up the other traders and stuff while there's still daytime. I still have to turn in that other tier 5 quest, too. So, I'm gonna have to just admit defeat on this one. Go hit up the other traders and see if I can get my rewards for that. Because this broken leg thing totally screwed up this mission. And it happens. Sometimes things don't go so well. And I'm just gonna have to, like I said, take the L on this one and hobble my way over here instead. Alright, defeat it is. Let's, uh, let's start hanging. I don't care about Rex inventory. I don't have, I don't have the, the stuff to buy. I don't have the money to buy anything. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to just go turn in this quest to Jen instead and take the reward for that and see if she has anything. Maybe I'll have to come back and see if Rex has anything later. There it is. Quest failed. Ugh, I hate doing that. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. That was definitely goes into the lose some category. It happens. It happens, it happens. But we're gonna, we're back here in the desert now. Heading on over here. Man, it bums me out though. Like, I don't, I don't like failing. The, uh, we'll, we'll have to get our redemption. We'll have to get, try to get that quest again and get back there. Although that was a kind of a terrible quest to do. Not because there's a lot of hard zombies, but because I had no idea where I was going in that factory. I've never cleared that one out either. But usually, even if you go through an area that you've never done before, there's kind of a path laid out that you can follow where you can follow the lights and stuff like that. There was just junk everywhere in that factory. I have no idea where I was supposed to go. So it was more annoying than it was helpful. And I'm so frustrated that I wasted so much time actually on it. But all of that is in the past. Oh, we might have a guest. Where's the guest? There he is. Got him. Alright, that was all in the past. Oh yeah, broken leg. Uh, because now here we are at Gen. Is there a health bar in here that I can take right away? Or do I have to wait till I get back to the base? Health bar? Uh, no health bar. Go figure. Alright, let's go talk to Jen and see uh, what we get for this reward. Do we have the right glasses on? We have the right glasses on. See what we get for a reward for doing that tier 5 from last week. Deshong. Uh, Jen, this is terrible rewards for a tier 5. For clearing Deshong, you give me three antibiotics and a tuna fish gravy toast recipe. Jen, you are holding out on me. That is horrible. The steel sledgehammer can sell for only 900 bucks. That's, I'm going to take the nail gun because that's the one that's useful, I guess. I guess the antibiotics? I don't really care about the tuna fish thing. That was terrible, Jen. All right, so the rest of these things look like they're all east, and this one's probably way out in the wasteland. So let's uh, let's just do a clear zombies like to the east. Factory O3, that might be my okay. redemption right there, but we're going to have to handle that later because I need to heal my leg, and I need to get back and sort my inventory and stuff. That was brutal. Jen, oh, I didn't even check her inventory. <laughs> How much money did I get from that? About five thousand bucks too. That was that was rough, rough, Jen. Cleared out to Sean. Got five thousand bucks and a, and a nail gun. That's all he gave me. Plaster cast schematic. If you had a plaster cast, that'd be great. But she doesn't really have anything of any kind of value. So all right, let's get home, sort some inventory here, and see if I can't get myself a health bar to heal, help heal this up a little bit faster. Actually, you know, come to think of it, that other Jen, that other Jen did have. Which one was it? This one had the. Uh, the other uh, drone and I think I think I think hold on I think it was under the effects of sugar butts I could probably afford it so why don't we book it up there quick before she closes and get that other drone the tier 3 one so that I can actually put the morale booster mod on it as well as the extra cargo this episode I guess is all about the drones all right made it back here with just enough time to go buy this actually we do have a lieutenant Dan that was crawling at me before when I was here we're gonna finish him off though all right, do you have a health bar in here by any chance? Uh, nope. No, we don't. I might, that might have been the one I already checked. All right, so let's go turn this, or let's go talk to her and be like, yo, Jen. I didn't finish your quest week because I broke my leg. But you should have, I think, unless I got him confused, this guy, robotic drone. Yes, you do. Now I'm going to go ahead and use that just so I can lower the price a little bit because I'm kind of strapped for cash right now. So let's go ahead and... Purchase ourselves a tier three drone. Save myself about a thousand bucks on there. Business. Now I can't really deploy it because you can only deploy one drone at a time until you increase your mechanic thing, which I'm not doing anything in, your, or your robotics thing, which I'm not doing anything in. Um, so instead, I'm just going to hold on to that, and we're going to beat beat back to our base now and start sorting our things here. And I'll get this other uh, tier three drone up and running since the other one is completely full of goods right now. I did manage to make it down here to Trader Bob. Uh, before he closes, I'm gonna hop out here and I'm gonna go quickly go see what's in his vending machine and also if he has, because I'm still looking for a health bar. Uh, health bar, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go ahead and use that. Let's uh, buy another one of them too while we're at it. Now, I don't have a lot of money, but do you have anything of any kind of Thank value God. here? 
You do have a Shotgun Messiah book that I don't know, which targets uh, with full health take 20% more damage, which I'll probably buy. Magma Force, another Wasteland Treasure one, which I've got to be getting close to completing that series, actually. Um, there's also a Magnum Enforcer. Do 10% more damage with Magnums. That's actually pretty good. You actually got some pretty good stuff here, and I don't have enough to buy everything, so I gotta decide on which one I want to do. Come back which tomorrow. one's... What time is it? What time is, uh, Wasteland Treasures? Where am I at at that? I only need two more books on that, so let's see your inventory. I will take your Wasteland Treasure book. We'll take that, because I'm almost done with that quest. Alright, thank you, man. Thank you very much. And thanks for the help bar, too, by the way. That was awesome. Alright, Trader Joel's is closing. So, I got, uh... The health bar cuts my heal time down to 18 minutes, but it's going to wear off after only about 3 minutes, so it's going to... It'll help me heal faster, but it won't heal it up completely. I also have another health bar that I can take to kind of keep the healing process going. And I believe I have a few back home, too. So, I should be able to sit through the night and heal up my leg once I get back home. Ooh, jump the bar, or jump the, the pipe. Once I, once I get back home, I should be able to heal up and, and get my leg back in order. And then tomorrow we'll head back out to go do some more questing. Some tier 5 questing. Early in the morning, we'll go out to this uh, one that I just got recently from... Uh, I, who, who did I get that from? Was it from the gen out in the desert? Yeah, the one that gave me a, uh, a nail gun and Master, nothing really for uh, for finishing Deshong. That was such terrible trash uh, rewards there. Not good. I was hoping for like a better SMG, like a tier 6 or something. No, no, I didn't get any of that. So, All right, we're going to have to go home. Heal up, though, because I am a hurting unit. There appears to be some guests out front here. That I probably should deal with. I should wake up everybody in the neighborhood. Alright, let's park the vehicle, sort some inventory, back home sweet home. I do want to make sure that I do not re-damage my leg anymore, so I'm going to be eating health bars throughout the night. I really need this thing back up and running by morning. All right, but this drone, I want to take everything out of for a second. We're just going to eat everything into here for right now. Oh, the chem station, actually. Let's talk chem station real fast. I got to put this someplace. Probably does it fit right there? No, it doesn't. I guess against this wall? I'll put it against this wall right there. Uh, I can make gunpowder with that, but I don't really know how much material I have for making gunpowder. I only have 75 of that and not a lot, but I can make a bunch of gas. Let's make a bunch of gas for right now. I should probably go mining, actually. But this thing already has become obsolete. I made it earlier in the episode, and we can just grab I'll be it. Here if you need me. Uh, no, I don't, actually. Modify. Let's take <laughs> this thing out of there. And what uh, we should do, and I should have done this before, is I should have actually got the, the morale booster mod going, but we're going to try to get that going. Let's pop this one into here, because we don't ever need it again. And then this one... No, we're not actually ready for this. Hold on one second. Let's get the morale booster mod going first. All right, the morale booster mod is done. So let's go ahead and uh, we want to do, get my inventory open here, we want to do modify and we're going to squirt the, that thing in there and we're also going to put the morale booster mod on it. So, do I have any, like, dye? I, I can't change this to be like a red red drone. I kind of like the color red in case you guys haven't noticed. Uh, no, I don't. But alright, let's go ahead and slap this bad boy down. Look at the little teddy bear on his head. Isn't that thing adorable? Alright, but with the teddy bear now on the drone on Wilson here, uh, that what that does actually is we get the this right here robotic drone morale uh, booster mod stamina regen is increased by 10% when near your drone That's pretty awesome now I think there's actually a bug where if you take that thing out You can actually swap it out with more inventory space and that'll actually still work just fine But ah, no, I'm not gonna use that bug. I'm gonna keep that on there Plus uh, this thing already has a fair amount of inventory space when you look at it, so I think I'll be all right But I need to let my leg heal and it looks like uh I only got 12 minutes left on that thing. I do have some uh, more of these things right here, which I'm going to keep on chowing down on so that I keep on healing up here. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to sit here throughout the rest of the night and let my leg heal, cooking up gasoline, and maybe if I can get some cement mix mixing going here. I don't know how much of that I have either. Got some of this here, and I got some of this here. So, I mean, yeah, and I got that. Yeah. I could make more. I could make some more, for sure. All right, I'm going to make some more cement, and then I'm going to probably be ready to go in the morning. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. So thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I'm still alive. Hopefully we don't have a fiasco like we did, um, like we did today. Because breaking the leg and failing the quest, that was brutal. Had to take the L hard on the chin on that one. So, oh well. But thank you for suffering through it with me. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.